I am Su Huangji, once known as the Wuxia Emperor, a great figure from the past. The place I find myself in now is the Divine Ruins Burial Ground, a place where ancient emperors and countless beings from the Dark Realms were laid to rest. Thousands of years ago, a devastating war occurred when darkness invaded from beyond, causing unimaginable destruction across the worlds. The war shattered the heavens, and no one has dared to speak of it since. The aftermath left our world in ruins, with barely any life or spiritual energy remaining. Since then, no one has been able to ascend to the position of emperor. I am the last of the ancient emperors still alive, but I have grown old and frail, barely able to walk. Yet, I continue forward because I sense that the time has come. Today, the heavens are whole again, and the ancient seal must be broken. As I journey deeper into the burial grounds, I arrive at a source of powerful energy, the ancient divine source. Inside, my son, Su Jioga, has been sealed, waiting for the right moment to awaken. His talent surpasses even mine, and I sealed him away to protect him and his potential during the dark times. Now, the world is ready for a new emperor, and I know it will be him. As I place my hand on the source, I unleash my power, declaring that this era belongs to my son. My body, though old and weak, becomes filled with strength once more. My long golden hair flows, and my presence alone radiates a force that cannot be ignored. The entire universe feels my return, and powerful beings awaken in shock. They all recognize the return of an emperor and wonder who it could be. Meanwhile, in the Su family, they celebrate, knowing that my son, Su Jioga, is awakening ready to take his place as the supreme emperor of this era. As the ancient source cracks, I know that my son will soon awaken and claim his destiny. The ancient divine source holding my son, Su Jioga, began to crack, releasing powerful energy. As the energy surged into him, he absorbed it all, drawing in the surrounding spiritual energy like a bottomless pit. Seeing my son awaken after 100,000 years filled me with joy, and I called out to him, telling him it was time to wake up. When he opened his eyes, they shone with a deep, powerful light, and I knew he was ready to face the new world. He seemed confused at first, remembering how he had been sealed away to protect him during the dark times when the heavens were broken and emperors could no longer rise. Though he had spent 100,000 years trapped in the divine source, his consciousness had remained awake, enduring the long wait. As we spoke, I explained that the dark forces had retreated and the world had begun to recover. The era of emperors had returned, and it was his time to rise. My son seemed curious about the fate of his old rivals, but I assured him that most of them were gone. Perhaps a few, like him, had been sealed away, but they were few and far between. To celebrate his awakening, I presented him with a powerful ancient beast, the Supreme Divine Roar. It had once been the pet of my old friend, the evergreen immortal emperor, but after his passing, the beast had no master. Now, it would serve my son. The massive golden creature, though fierce, quickly submitted to me, and I handed it over to Su Jioga. With my son now fully awakened and ready, I declared that it was time for the world to know that the Su family's emperor's son had returned. We would soar through the heavens, and all would feel the power of our presence. As we ascended, my voice echoed across the lands, proclaiming Su Jioga's rise and demanding that all bow before him. Today, the world will know that the Su family's emperor's son has come to claim his destiny. Standing at the edge of the void, I, Su Huangji, felt immense pride as I gazed upon the scene before me. I stood tall, exuding the power and presence of an emperor. My strength felt across the heavens. Even in my old age, my authority as the last emperor of this world remained undeniable. In front of me, my son, Su Jioga, stood confidently on top of the supreme divine roar, his golden hair flowing majestically. His aura was powerful, and he looked every bit like a young emperor. I wanted the world to know that Su Jioga was the only true heir, my son, and destined for greatness. As we stood there, Powerful figures from across the realms began to arrive leaders of immortal sects, hidden holy clans, and ancient families. Each of them trembled in my presence, knowing that I was still alive, 
and paid their respects to me and my son. The elders of the Sioux family arrived as well, full of emotion, and they bowed before us. They recognized Sioux Joga as the rightful heir, and their voices echoed across the empty void as they proclaimed their loyalty. Seeing the awe and respect directed at us, I knew this was the moment I had prepared for. I introduced my son to everyone, letting them know that he had surpassed all expectations and was ready to take his place as the new emperor. The crowd was stunned by his youth and strength, but they quickly acknowledged him as the true heir. As Su Joga addressed them with calm confidence, I could see that he had the qualities of a great leader. Despite the praise and admiration, he remained humble and composed, leaving a strong impression on everyone present. I knew that one day, they would all worship him just as they did me. This was the beginning of his journey, and with the power of an emperor behind him, Su Joga would rise to dominate the heavens. As I stood beside my son, Su Joga, I couldn't help but feel a sense of accomplishment. I had done what I set out to do pave the way for him in this vast and dangerous world. The leaders of powerful factions had gathered, paying their respects and ensuring they understood the importance of my son's place in the universe. Even as I spoke modestly, asking them to be patient with Su Joga as he adapted to the world, I knew my message was clear. Anyone who dared challenge him would face my wrath. As we prepared to leave, I noticed the reverence in the eyes of the Sioux family disciples. They were in awe, knowing they were under the protection of the last emperor. Su Joga smiled, feeling the weight of their respect, and we departed, heading back to our ancestral home. I could tell that the presence of my power lingered even after we left, a reminder to all of the strength that backed my son. On our journey back, I could see the excitement in Su Joga's eyes as he dealt with the admiration of our family's elders. It must be strange for him, considering his time in the Divine Source, but I could see he was handling it well. He even bantered with one of the elders, showing his ability to connect with others, something I knew would serve him well. As we traveled, Su Joga activated his system, opening a special delayed reward he had earned from his long time in the Divine Source. The system gifted him powerful abilities, including the ability to foresee events and control his destiny. I could see the excitement in his eyes as he received these rewards, knowing that they would make him even stronger in the challenges ahead. I watched him with pride. Su Joga was ready to take on the world, and with the power of the system and my support, I knew that nothing could stand in his way. We were returning to the Su family, but this was only the beginning of his journey to greatness. As I walked with my son, Su Joga, through the ancestral grounds, I couldn't help but feel the weight of time pressing down on me. The journey had taken its toll, and I could feel my once mighty body weakening. When we reached a quiet spot, I turned to my son and told the rest of the Sioux family to leave us. I knew they wanted to stay and bask in the presence of their emperor and his son, but it was time for a private conversation. I explained to them that I would soon enter a period of rest, and they understood the unspoken truth I was nearing the end of my life. As they left, I felt a mix of pride and sadness. Even though I had survived for so long, even outlasting others like the evergreen immortal emperor, I knew that my time was running out. My son, sensing this, asked if there was any way to extend my life. But I told him that not even the most powerful elixirs could save me now. The only way to truly escape death would be to reach the legendary realm beyond the emperor, a feat I had only briefly touched upon. Despite the grim reality, Su Joga suddenly brightened. He remembered that his system had given him a rare treasure creation divine liquid, a powerful substance that could help a person glimpse the realm above their current state. He quickly handed me a bottle filled with this liquid, and I was shocked. Even as an emperor, I had only managed to collect a few drops of this precious liquid during my life, but here was my son offering me far more than I had ever possessed. The sight of the liquid filled me with hope. Maybe, just maybe, with this, I could extend my life long enough to break through to that higher realm. I was overwhelmed with emotion, both by the power of the treasure and by the care my son had shown in giving it to me. This could be the key to defying fate, and I realized how fortunate I was to have such a son. As I held the bottle, I felt a surge of determination. I might not have much time left, but with this gift, I could fight against the inevitable just a little longer. 
As I stood by, watching Su Jioga, he casually shrugged and made up a quick excuse for how he obtained the powerful creation divine liquid. I could tell he wasn't being entirely honest, but I didn't press him further. Instead, I focused on the immense opportunity this presented. With this divine liquid, I felt a renewed sense of hope, realizing that I had a chance, however small, to break through the limits of an emperor and reach an even higher realm. The thought filled me with excitement, and I couldn't help but express my joy. I asked Su Jioga about his plans, and he mentioned his desire to explore the different realms and restore our family's reputation. His determination reminded me of my younger self, and I encouraged him to go forth and conquer the world. I assured him that as long as I was here, he would always have my support. Just as we were about to part ways, my son received a notification from his system that a destined protagonist was nearby. This intrigued me, and I watched as Su Jyoga's gaze focused on a figure in the Su family's main hall. The young man, seemingly ordinary, caught Su Jyoga's attention, and I could sense that this encounter would be important for my son's journey. In the main hall, the family was engaged in a heated discussion with visitors from the Yuhua Holy Sect. A young man named Lin Yi was challenging one of our family members, Su Yang Yu, to a duel. The tension was palpable, but before things could escalate further, Su Jioga made his entrance. As he appeared, the atmosphere shifted dramatically. His presence commanded the attention of everyone in the room, and it was clear that he was someone to be reckoned with. The powerful aura he exuded, combined with the majestic appearance of the supreme divine roar he rode, left no doubt that Su Jioga was a force to be feared and respected. It was now clear that this confrontation would not be a simple one, and I knew that my son was ready to handle whatever came next. As I watched the scene unfold, I could see the shock in the eyes of the Yuhua sect's leader, and Ching He had clearly not expected to encounter me, Su Huangji's son, Su Jioga, in this situation. Even Lin Yi, the young man challenging our Su family, seemed taken aback by my presence and the respect I commanded. His small golden bird, perched on his shoulder, was visibly terrified of the supreme divine roar I rode. When I entered the hall, the Su family's leaders, including the head of the family, Su Tian, immediately greeted me with reverence. They were surprised to see me, as they thought I was still in the ancestral grounds with my father, the emperor. After a brief exchange, I noticed Lin Yi, and my system identified him as a destined protagonist. He had impressive abilities and treasures, but I could sense his fear as our eyes met. Despite his bravado, I could tell that he felt the pressure of my presence. And Ching He, trying to defuse the situation, explained that they had come to resolve a minor conflict between Lin Yi and one of our family members, Su Yang Yu. However, Lin Ye's pride got the better of him and he accused me of protecting my family unfairly. His words angered in Ching He, who tried to get him to apologize, but Lin Yi refused, insisting that he had done nothing wrong. I calmly asked if they were seeking justice from the Su family, knowing full well the implications of such a challenge. And Ching He quickly backtracked, insisting that they had no intention of causing trouble, but the tension in the room was palpable. This confrontation had become more than just a simple dispute it was now a test of strength and resolve. I could see that Lin Yi wasn't backing down, and I knew that how I handled this situation would set the tone for future encounters. As I observed Lin Yi, I saw that he was filled with determination, yet his trembling hands betrayed his fear. He boldly challenged me, questioning whether the Su family was just a group of cowards. I remained calm and told him there was no need to be afraid because I am a reasonable person. However, I reminded him of a crucial fact. The Su family, the imperial family, must not be insulted. With that, I unleashed my overwhelming power, letting it crash down on him. The pressure was too much for him to bear, and he fell to the ground, struggling to stay on his feet. Despite his defiance, I could see the fear in his eyes. His master, and Ching He, desperately tried to calm the situation, but Lin Ye's pride wouldn't allow him to back down. I then questioned Lin Yi about the so-called phoenix blood he claimed Su Yang Yu tried to take, but I pointed out that the phoenix blood was now within him, which shocked everyone. The truth was, Lin Yi had absorbed the phoenix blood through a secret ritual, something only he and his beast, Xiao Yao, knew. Without explaining further, 
I used my power to pull Xiaoyao, the golden bird, towards me. Lin Yi, furious and desperate, attacked me in a fit of rage, but he was quickly subdued by his master. The Su family elders were ready to strike him down for daring to challenge me, but I remained composed. I then offered Lin Yi a choice. I could restore the phoenix blood to Xiaoyao, but it would cost him all his blood and his cultivation, leaving him a crippled mortal. Faced with this dilemma, Lin Yi was torn, unable to accept such a devastating loss. Seeing his hesitation, I grew bored. I realized that Lin Yi, despite being a destined protagonist, was far from the challenge I had hoped for. I casually tossed Xiaoyao back to him, but before Lin Yi could react, the bird exploded into a bloody mist before his eyes. The loss of his beloved companion broke something inside Lin Yi. His rage and despair erupted, and he vowed to kill me. But to me, his outburst was just another reminder of how insignificant he truly was. The system notified me of my success in weakening his fate, and I couldn't help but smile at the turn of events. Lin Yi, consumed by his fury, was ready for a final, desperate fight. But in my eyes, it was clear that his struggle was futile. As Lin Yi unleashed his rage, his eyes filled with bloodlust, he summoned all his powerful artifacts, desperate to fight back. But despite his efforts, he was no match for the overwhelming power of our Su family. The family's leader, Su Tian, easily crushed him with a single wave of pressure, breaking his bones and leaving him on the ground like a shattered doll. Everyone could see the power of his phoenix blood as it tried to heal him, but I knew it wouldn't be enough. Then, our family's second ancestor appeared, furious that someone dared to attack me within our home. His presence alone terrified Lin Ye's master, and Ching He, who quickly realized the gravity of the situation. The second ancestor didn't hesitate to strike and Ching He down, leaving him gravely injured. And Ching He, now desperate, begged for mercy, offering anything to save his sect. But it was too late. The second ancestor was furious, and our family wasn't known for forgiving insults easily. And Ching He even disowned Lin Yi on the spot, blaming him for bringing ruin upon their sect. The scene was pathetic seeing a once proud master grovel at my feet. The system informed me that Lin Yi had lost his connection to his master, further weakening his fate. It amused me how easily their bond broke under pressure. When in Ching He begged for the lives of his sect members, I pretended to consider it, then coldly suggested wiping out their entire domain from existence. My words hit him like a thunderbolt, and he realized how serious I was. His despair deepened as he understood that the Su family didn't leave loose ends. The second ancestor agreed with my decision, fully supporting the complete eradication of their sect. I calmly sipped my tea, knowing that with a simple order, millions could be wiped out, and it wouldn't bother me in the slightest. This was the reality of power, and I wielded it without hesitation. After I gave the order, the second ancestor tore through space and headed straight for Shintian Dao Domain. As a supreme being, he could cross vast distances in just moments. Watching him disappear, and Ching He, the master of Lin Yi, was left in despair. He knew that because of Lin Yi, their entire domain was doomed. And Ching He tried to beg for mercy, offering his life in exchange for sparing the millions of innocent lives in Shintian Dao domain. But it was too late. He knew deep down that his sex fate was sealed. Desperate, he decided to end his life as a final gesture, hoping it would somehow lessen the punishment. He struck his head with a powerful blow and collapsed, dead before us all. Lin Yi, now witnessing the death of both his beloved and his respected master, was filled with overwhelming hatred. But despite his fury, his body was broken, and even the powerful phoenix blood in his veins couldn't fully heal him. As his Tao heart shattered under the weight of everything, his cultivation plummeted rapidly. I watched as Lin Yi struggled, his eyes filled with rage and despair. I asked him if he hated me, and though he couldn't speak, his eyes told me everything, but I wasn't moved. I reminded him of the blood extraction technique I had mentioned before, and as I began to draw out his powerful phoenix blood, he pleaded in fear. But I didn't stop. Soon, a drop of his precious blood floated in my hand. A glowing red like divine fire the blood of the undying phoenix. 
In that moment, I knew that Lin Ye's fate was sealed. His once promising future as the destined hero was crushed under my power, and his struggle, though fierce, was ultimately futile. The blood was now mine, and Lin Yi, broken and defeated, was left with nothing. Is this the blood of the immortal phoenix? As long as this blood can be refined, the immortal divine phoenix body can be achieved. The elders of the Su family had fiery eyes. Even Su Tian couldn't help but be very moved. Su Yangyu, who had been silent all this time, had a flash of light in his eyes. It was for this blood that he traveled thousands of miles to the Xintian Dao domain to capture the Golden Plume and Zhu Phoenix. Bite. The protagonist of Destiny, Lin Yi, lost his immortal Phoenix body and his luck value was damaged by 2000. Ding. Congratulations to the host for triggering the triple critical hit reward of the Destiny villain title. Obtain villain value of 6,000. Oh? It actually triggered a critical strike? Interesting. After gaining 6,000 villain points at once, Su Jiuga was in a very good mood and turned back to his seat. Looking at the blood of the immortal phoenix in his hand, he flicked his fingers, and the blood of the immortal phoenix fell quietly in front of Su Yangyu. A treasure that makes even those who enter the holy realm very emotional. In front of Su Jiuga, it is like trash thrown out casually. Su Yangyu was stunned. Not only him, but all the elders of the Su family and the patriarch Su Tian were also stunned. I'll give it to you, Su Jiuga said calmly. Su Tian was anxious and said quickly, My lord, why is this? With such blood, your lord, if you fuse it, your strength will increase dramatically. The elders also looked eager, and even Su Yangyu's biological father, the sixth elder, said, Your Majesty, that's not allowed. How can Xiao Yu he to refine such divine blood? Sir, please take it back quickly. Su Yang Yu was extremely excited and clenched his fists. He knew what this immortal phoenix blood meant, even though he wanted it very much. But as the future hope of the Su family, the emperor is undoubtedly a more suitable candidate than him. Su Yang Yu held the piece of immortal phoenix blood raised it with extremely respectful hands and said, Son of the Emperor, please take back this drop of divine phoenix blood. Only you, the Emperor, are the most suitable being for refining. Facing the pleadings of all the clan members, Su Jioga had a headache. He looked at Su Yangyu who had a look of awe in front of him and said without any doubt, I don't need this kind of thing yet. You are the genius of my Su family and this divine phoenix blood is rewarded to you by my son. He already has an innate chaotic body, which is the strongest physique in the world. 1. The blood of the immortal phoenix was just the icing on the cake for him and had no significant effect at all. The immortal divine phoenix body was not even ranked high in the emperor's fall era. If this was the origin of that girl's innate Taoist body, I might still consider it. Su Juga thought so. Looking at Su Jioga with a majestic look on his face, Su Yangyu hesitated for a while. When he saw the displeasure in the emperor's eyes, he accepted it, knelt down and said in a deep voice, The emperor's great kindness. Yang Yu will never forget it. Yang Yu swears allegiance to the emperor. From now on, Yang Yu's life belongs to you, the emperor. Faced with Su Yang Yu's show of loyalty, Su Jioga couldn't help but care waved his hand and said, Okay, let's go and refine it. This immortal phoenix blood is not so easy to refine. If you are not careful, you will explode and die. Just be careful. After all, as a member of the Su family of the Imperial clan, people want to work for themselves. If you can't even refine the blood of a mere divine phoenix, then you will die. Su Yang Yu nodded with firm eyes. He secretly swore in his heart that he would practice well and be able to help the emperor in the future. Such a gesture made all the Su family elders nearby look shocked. Su Tian stepped forward when he saw this scene. He glanced at Lin Yi, who was full of death, and asked, Your Majesty, how should we deal with this guy? Su Jioga thought for a while. This fateful protagonist has almost been squeezed out by himself. But there are still 3,500 luck left. 80% of the time, there is still some backup plan that hasn't come out yet. Su Jioga couldn't help but sigh. 69. So strong. But after playing for so long, Lin Yi still found it difficult for him to get excited, 
and he was inevitably a little uninterested. To kill or not? After pondering for a moment, Su Jyoga's eyes lit up as if he thought of something. Said with a smile, Just send him back to the Ascension Holy Sect. Oh, that's right. Seal the Shintian Dao Domain and tell all the creatures in the Shintian Dao Domain everything that happened here. Tell them that in three days, Shintian Dao Domain will the heavenly domain is destroyed. Hiss, even the patriarch Su Tian, who has lived for thousands of years, can't help but his eyelids twitch wildly. The emperor's hand was really cruel. After all, what is more terrifying than death is? Heart killing. The elders on the side knew what the emperor meant. Hearing nodded and said in agreement. This is a wonderful move by the emperor's son. This will not only make the superpowers and other realms aware of it, but also establish the prestige of our imperial clan, the Su family, and also allow this son to be criticized verbally and writtenly by the entire Shintian realm. Shrouded in despair, this man dares to attack the emperor, so it would be easier for him to kill him directly. Lin Yi, who was still alive, had dull eyes, and when he heard this, he kept muttering something. Kill me. Kill me. Su Tian stepped forward, glanced at Lin Yi on the ground with disgust, and said to Su Yang Yu, In that case, Yang Yu, then take this guy to the Shintian Dao Domain. Try to hurry up. It would be bad if the second ancestor has destroyed the Shintian Dao Domain. Su Yang Yu nodded respectfully. The circulating Zhenxi directly rolled up the old and embarrassed Lin Yi on the ground and left the Su family's main hall. Looking at the two people leaving, Su Jyoga stood up lazily stretched and walked out of the hall, while saying, How then I have nothing to do? I'm leaving. He had to go back and fuse the karma eyes quickly. After all, this is an existence that is not weaker than the innate chaotic body. I gained a full 10,500 villain points from Lin Yi, thanks to triple critical hits. Su Jyoga was very satisfied. Su Tian on the side saw this and hurriedly followed him and said, Emperor, I will take you to your residence. All the elders shouted in unison, Farewell, Your Majesty the Emperor. After seeing Su Jyoga leave, a group of Su elders looked at each other and talked to each other. The Emperor's son is ruthless and worthy of being the son of the Emperor. Yes, our Su family can have such an Emperor's son. As time goes by, a new Supreme Emperor will inevitably appear in the world. Really? My Su family is lucky. Ha ha ha, after all, the Emperor's sons were among the top geniuses in the Emperor's Fall era. You must know that any monster in that era would be a dimensionality reduction blow now. I guess so. It's because Emperor Zun is so talented that he can seal the Emperor's son in the ancient divine source for hundreds of thousands of years. Wait a minute. Since Emperor Zun has such means, then who is the daughter of Emperor Zun's best friend? The evergreen immortal emperor? Wouldn't it be possible? After all, that person is the innate Taoist holy body. At this moment, there is a forbidden area of life in the world. The Boundless Sea. A bronze immortal temple buried in Chongyuan seawater with a depth of 10,000 meters. There is actually a piece of ancient divine source that is exactly the same as Su Jyoga's. Countless immortal spiritual stones are piled next to the ancient divine source, filled with rich spiritual energy, and the Tao Yun is flowing. In that divine source, sleeping was a beautiful woman with skin as smooth as gelatin and shining like the person in the painting. The woman's black hair is spread like a waterfall, her clothes are whiter than snow, her temperament is unworldly and unsullied, and she is like a fairy who has fallen into the world and cannot be desecrated. The surrounding fairy aura is integrated into the woman's body all the time. At this time, the eyes of the beautiful woman in the divine source trembled slightly, and she slowly opened her eyes. The eyes are like blue waves, clear and translucent. A trace of confusion flashed in her beautiful eyes. She looked around and murmured, A splendid and majestic ancient palace. The supreme god roared lazily at the entrance of the temple, squinting his eyes slightly and taking a deep breath. The hall is illuminated by a thousand-year-old night pearl and there are countless treasures of heaven and earth and immortal spiritual stones piled beside it. The air is filled with spiritual energy that is even visible to the naked eye. It is so dense that it is like being immersed in an ocean of spiritual energy. Just taking a breath here is refreshing. 
Su Tian looked at the emperor beside him and said respectfully, My lord, the emperor, this is your sleeping quarters. My lord, please rest assured that no one here will disturb your practice. If you have any instructions, just say hello to this servant. Su Jioga nodded. He looked around and said calmly, Not bad. Thank you for your hard work. Su Tian grinned and shook his head. Your majesty, what are you talking about? It's an honor for me to be able to serve your majesty. In that case, I'll step down first. Su Jioga, yes. After Su Tian left, Su Jioga sat at the head of the hall and slowly closed his eyes, calling up the panel. Master, Su Jioga identity, son of the Su family of the Imperial clan, son of the Wuxia Emperor realm, ninth level of Yuanzhan realm physique. Innate chaos body, golden holy blood, 10,000 slash 100, Kung Fu. Wu Shu Emperor Sutra, 10,000 slash 5,000. 13 halberds of the reversed path, 3,000 slash 3,000. Qian Yuan Golden Body, 1,000 slash 1,000. Treasures, Divine Liquid of Creation 50, Killing the Saint Golden Halberd, Sky Suppressing Spirit Pearl, Shangqing Emperor Sword. Villain Value. 10500 Golden Holy Blood? Su Jioga noticed this and asked with some confusion. System, what is Golden Holy Blood? Ding. To return to the host, you need to spend 500 life points to answer this question. Su Jioga was startled and stupid. It started, right? I'm asking for the first time. Can't you give it away for free? The system was silent for a while. Bite. There is Golden Holy Blood hidden in the host's body which is the blood of the ancient gods. It proves that the host's ancestors have been in a realm above the emperor. Only a few people can activate it. The activated golden blood will change personal characteristics. Su Jioga pondered for a while, curled his blonde hair with his index finger, and looked at it. It's a bit interesting. No wonder he has different black hair from the Su family members, but he is quite popular. So, my father also activated the golden holy blood. Su Jioga then asked, Then what's the use of this villain? Ding. Return to the host, and the villain value can be used to improve your cultivation level, accelerate the progress of your skills, and redeem items in the system mall. Opening the system mall for the host, a dazzling interface appeared in front of Su Jioga with dozens of pages, all of which were famous and capable of changing lives. The Divine Art of Creation, the 3000 Tribulations Demonic Sutra, the Supreme Merciless Art, the Immortal Killing Gourd, the Taihuang Sword. Even extremely terrifying physiques such as the Ancient Holy Body and the Heavenly Divine Body can be purchased. However, the required villain value is even more frighteningly expensive, costing as much as 300,000 yuan. Su Jioga couldn't help being speechless and said, Lin Yi, the protagonist of Destiny, only has 10,000 luck points. These things are ridiculously expensive. Do you want me to kill 30 of them? When the villain points reached 300,000, the day Lily became cold. New book Bars HX, ding. Hosts, don't be discouraged. The system can recycle. Only, destiny protagonist items. Su Jioga felt more comfortable after hearing this, although it was a pity that the blood of the immortal phoenix had already been given to Su Yangyu. However, he didn't pay too much attention, but noticed a weapon. A long halberd with a body as black as ink and an aura as deep as an abyss. Black Emperor Abyss Halberd E Emperor grade a treasure from outside the territory, engraved with countless ancient runes, destroying the illusion and emptiness, and cutting off everything. Forged from ancient mysterious essences, innate Taoist stones, and various supreme treasures, it weighs 100,000 kilograms. It is also integrated with a quasi-emperor realm purple gold demonic dragon. The dragon soul protects the body and keeps gods and demons away for thousands of miles. Villain value required. 10,000 Su Jioga's eyes were a little fiery. Su Jioga was not interested at all in swords or anything like that. Just imagine, if a powerful man nearly two meters tall was holding a long sword, wouldn't it be too funny to compare with his height? Halberd is the romance of men. Moreover, the main killing magical power he cultivates is the 13 halberds of the inverse path. This is the weapon that is most suitable for him. Su Jioga spent 10,000 villain points to exchange for the Black Emperor's Abyss Halberd without hesitation. Bite. The Black Emperor's Abyss Halberd was redeemed successfully. 
Current villain value. 500. A dark light emerged. The black halberd revealed a supreme and terrifying aura. The body of the halberd is entangled with black and gold dragon-shaped gilt patterns that extend upward, vividly like a dragon soul roaring. The tip of the halberd shimmered with silver light and was extremely sharp, as if it could destroy everything solid in the world, making people feel heart-stopping. Su Jyoga knew it when he saw the Black Emperor's Abyss halberd for the first time. I read that right. It is definitely the most suitable weapon for you. Su Jyoga's eyes widened, and he stretched out his hand to hold the halberd. Time, an ancient and majestic dragon roar sounded, and a ferocious purple-gold demon dragon with terrifying demonic flames broke out from the Black Emperor's Abyss halberd. It had an astonishing aura and came directly towards Su Jyoga. Roar. Su Jyoga shouted in an extremely domineering voice without fear. I am your master. Only by following me can the Black Emperor's name be resounding throughout the heavens again. His eyes were blazing and his words were unquestionable. The purple gold demonic dragon soul actually stopped. It seemed that he was taken by Su Jyoga's domineering attitude. Majestic Lungmu seemed to be looking at Su Jyoga carefully. Then it surrounded him and sank directly into his body. The Black Emperor's abyss halberd trembled slightly, no longer resisting. The dragon recognizes its master. Su Jyoga raised the corners of his mouth, obviously in a very good mood. He gently stroked the body of the Black Emperor's abyss halberd, resisting the urge to try it, and took it into the sea of consciousness. There is one more thing that has not been done. He turned his palm and took out the source of the God of Cause, an effect from the storage space of the system. A golden ball of blazing light like the sun floated quietly in front of his eyes. This extremely bright light illuminated the entire empty palace, revealing an extremely ancient power. As soon as this object appeared, even the supreme god roar outside the hall opened his huge eyes and looked into the hall with some doubts. Su Jyoga looked at the source of the causal eyes in front of him. Even his own innate chaotic body was faintly touched. This eye of cause and effect is no weaker than the origin level of any divine object. It can see through all things and reverse the world. Su Jyoga spoke softly. Let me see how this karma divine eye compares to the innate chaotic body. Su Jyoga closed his eyes, and the spacious hall was silent. The spiritual energy from countless immortal spiritual stones around him slowly poured into Su Jyoga's body. In the space around it, dense ancient runes appeared, which were extremely mysterious. As if he was peering into the world's truth, an ancient and desolate regular atmosphere emanated from his body from the inside out. If you listen carefully, the sound of the great road is endless and endless. At the same time, I don't know when the sky was filled with dark clouds, gathering directly above this ancient palace. In the dark clouds, extremely violent thunder and lightning surged, and the lightning and thunder seemed to be brewing a terrifying and extremely destructive force. Everyone in the Su family felt that the air was filled with an aura that they had never felt before. They all looked in the direction of the ancient palace. This direction. Is the emperor's son, Su Tian, the patriarch outside the main hall, murmured with slightly startled pupils. Could the emperor's son be breaking through the power of thunder and calamity? An elder said after seeing this scene. No, this aura doesn't look like a catastrophe of breakthrough. What is the emperor's lord doing? What a weird aura. It seems like some kind of physical catastrophe. Could it be the innate chaos of the emperor's lord? Physical calamity caused by the body? There are different opinions. Seeing this, Su Tian said in a deep voice, Whether it's a physical calamity or not, the emperor must not make any mistakes. Let's go and have a look. After saying that, Su Tian rose into the air and rushed towards the ancient palace. Inside the ancient palace, after an unknown amount of time, Su Jyoga suddenly opened his eyes. Suddenly, a golden light rises into the sky. This ray of light directly penetrated the ancient palace and broke through the sky. Boom. Thunder sounded in the dark clouds. What a pair of stunning eyes. As bright as the stars, extremely dazzling. It seems to contain the alternating repetition of life and death, and the movement of the avenue seems to illuminate both the past and the present. If you look carefully, 
you can see that there are extremely mysterious divine patterns deep in the eyes. Hidden in the supreme principles of heaven, the power of rules can break through all cause and effect and illusion in the world. At this moment, Su Jyoga's temperament became even more otherworldly. His long golden hair is flying like flames, and his aura is noble and domineering, like a great emperor standing supreme in all worlds. His whole body is shining with the divine light of Tao Yun, which makes people admire him. The terrifying thunder appeared in Su Jyoga's eyes. The god of cause and effect can predict the present and future. His first cause has been planted, and the thunder calamity that can wipe out everything is the result. Heaven does not allow such a divine object to appear. The god of cause and effect is too powerful. Su Jyoga closed his eyes, and when he opened them again, his ancient and indifferent eyes returned to their original state. Thunder disaster? Su Jyoga said calmly with a calm expression. The Black Emperor's abyss halberd suddenly appeared in his hand, and Su Jyoga walked out of the palace unhurriedly. The Supreme God's roar has long since awakened. His huge body looked up at the terrifying thunder disaster that had been brewing for a long time in the sky and let out low roars. There was no fear in his eyes. Su Jyoga looked at the roar of the Supreme God, smiled lightly, and said, This is my physical calamity. I will do it myself. He slowly raised the Black Emperor's abyss halberd in his hand, pointed it straight at the sky, and shouted with high spirits and fighting spirit, Come on. Boom. As if being alarmed by Su Jyoga's provocation, the thunder cloud suddenly sounded a deafening roar. Thunder surged, and a blue light illuminated the dark clouds in the sky. A thunder calamity as thick as a thunder dragon crashed down towards Su Jyoga below, roaring with the power to destroy the heaven and the earth, as if it was going to devour and annihilate him. The extremely violent thunder is the most rigid and pure supreme power in the world. Su Jyoga chuckled at this, and the divine light in his eyes was even more dazzling than the thunder. He held the Black Emperor's abyss halberd and soared into the sky. In the distance, Su Tian hurried over with a group of Su family elders. New book bar when they saw the Emperor's son in the sky. Everyone's eyes were shocked and they were slightly distracted. Singer Su Jia was seen holding the Black Emperor's abyss halberd, which further highlighted his heroic and majestic figure. Surrounded by magic dragons, his temperament is unparalleled, and his blonde hair is flying freely, just like an ancient emperor walking in the world. This tiny figure actually appeared to be getting taller and taller in front of this thunder disaster, like a god or a devil. Everyone was shocked. The emperor. It's really the emperor. The emperor is surviving the physical calamity. Chief, do we want to help the emperor? Su Tian's eyes flashed. And at this moment, an old voice said sounded, Don't take any action, just watch quietly. Everyone turned to look. First ancestor? Why are you here? Su Tian said unexpectedly. There are also the third and fourth ancestors. Several ancestors of the Su family appeared here at some unknown time. Their old faces looked at Su Jyoga in the sky, their eyes full of relief and excitement. Izu said slowly, it is impossible to do anything about this physical calamity, the emperor. The emperor is the son of the great emperor Wu Shi. after all. A monster in the age of the emperor's fall. After everyone heard this, they saw their ancestor saying this without blinking. Suddenly he looked into the air. The black emperor's abyss halberd in his hand was like a huge sword, and the Wu Shi emperor's sutra was moving, and the cultivation of the ninth level of the Yuan Zhan realm surged out without reservation surging forward. Su Jiu Singer held the Black Emperor and swept away the thick and roaring thunder pillar that was coming towards him. Thirteen halberds against the path. Rebellion. An extremely thick golden divine light swept across, runes after runes, to crush the power of thunder, and the terrifying aura seemed to be able to obliterate the avenue. The intersection of two majestic and infinite forces. Boom. Wherever the halberd light passed, the space was torn apart, and the terrifying thunder pillar was cut in half. But the power of the halberd light remained unabated, sinking into the thunder clouds in the sky. Boom! The dense dark clouds were punched open by Su Jyoga's blow. Sunlight filtered through. This huge sound alarmed many people in the Su family. 
They rushed here one after another. When they saw the Emperor of the Sky displaying his power, they all clenched their fists and were even more excited than they were when they broke through. The power of the Emperor's Son is unparalleled in the world. The power of the Emperor's Son is unparalleled. The immortal thunder surged in the dark clouds and fell one after another. Everything it touched was instantly turned into powder, and deep pits emerged like doomsday. In order to prevent harm to the clan members, upon seeing this, several ancestors of the Sioux family raised an indestructible barrier with a wave of their hands to envelop the clan members and the main hall. Su Jyoga's eyes were excited, and he laughed. Well done. He has the divine eyes of cause and effect, and can perfectly predict where each thunder disaster will fall. He turns into a golden divine light, soars into the sky, and reaches deep into the dark clouds, like an extremely hot sun passing by. Pink Tion. Boom. The dazzling white light drowned the sight of all the Sioux family members below, when everyone opened their eyes again. This thundercloud covering thousands of miles was actually torn into two halves by Su Joga using the Black Emperor and instantly dissipated between heaven and earth. The world seemed to be silent, and everyone stared blankly at the scene in front of them. The dark clouds have dispersed and the sky is clear. Singer Su Jio stood in the air holding the Black Emperor's abyss halberd, which was as black as ink and had a majestic aura. The handsome face is extremely calm and the eyes reveal aloofness and indifference, looking down on all living beings. The sunlight fell on the long golden hair, as if covered with a layer of flowing divine glow, making him appear even more dazzling and noble. The supreme god's roar in front of the temple suddenly let out an extremely majestic and deafening roar. Roar everyone was shocked, like waking up from a big dream and realizing it later. The next moment, the faces of all the Su family disciples turned red. There was an unprecedented cheer. Su Tian looked at the peerless martial figure in the sky with fiery eyes, and he whispered in admiration. Two moves. This terrifying physical calamity actually looks so weak in front of the emperor. After today, Su Jyoga's figure will be etched in everyone's hearts for life. Even the first ancestor and others, the ancestors of the Su family, smiled and nodded with smiles on their faces. The first ancestor said while stroking his beard, The emperor's son is a body of innate chaos. He is a rare and proud son of heaven. Such a behavior is naturally reasonable. Su Juga's face was calm. When he noticed the elders and ancestors of the Su family, he seemed a little surprised. He came through the air, and behind the merged causal eyes, he now has an even more noble and ancient temperament that cannot be looked directly at. Your Majesty the Emperor. Su Tian came forward with a group of elders and said with a smile, It's only been a while, but I didn't expect that the Emperor gave us another surprise. The first ancestor also stepped forward with a smile. Emperor, look at the younger members of the Su family who are all looking at you, the Emperor. Su Jyoga glanced at the clan members below with fanatical eyes. He smiled helplessly, waved his hands and said gently, Okay, okay. Let's all go back. It's just a thunder tribulation. There's no need to make such a fuss. An elder heard this and laughed. This physical calamity is not that simple. I am afraid that in the entire world, only you, the emperor of our clan, can break through it. Yes, if this matter spreads, it will be really shocking. The other geniuses are in despair. The emperor's strength, I estimate, can kill a being in the false god realm. Su Jyoga felt dizzy when faced with these two compliments. At this time, the system sound suddenly sounded. Bite. Lin Yi, the protagonist of Destiny, had his limbs cut off by the ancestor of the Ascension Saint sect, and his cultivation was abolished. Luck value lost 1,000. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 1,000. Oh? When he heard the system sound, Su Jyoga's eyes lit up and the corners of his mouth raised. It seems that Su Yangyu has arrived. He said a few casual words and returned to the ancient palace. Integrated with the extremely mysterious god of cause and effect, he still needs to get familiar with how to use it. My own cultivation at the ninth level of Yuanjian realm was actually a little loose. It seems that it won't take long to break through to the virtual god realm. This is also thanks to Lin Yi. Su Jyoga's eyes were a little playful, 
and he was vaguely looking forward to what type of fate the next protagonist would be. He stretched and said to himself, The vast sea immortal sect. I hope you won't make me too bored. Looking at the back of the emperor as he left, Izu's eyes narrowed slightly, his previous amiable look no longer existed, and his expression suddenly darkened. Don't be angry, and speak slowly. Sution, Sution, I am here. Ancestor. No other forces can know about today's matter, understand? Sution was startled, and soon understood what the ancestor meant. The tree attracts the wind. The other elders of the Su family are also human beings, so they can naturally understand the meaning. But some elders still said doubtfully, Ancestor, why is this? With the strength and identity of the emperor's son, the younger generation in the world cannot compete with him. As the son of the emperor Wuxur, those old guys wouldn't even dare to take action, right? Why are they so secretive? In my opinion, the reputation of the emperor should be resounding throughout the world. Our imperial clan, the Su family, is not afraid of anyone at all, said another elder. Could it be that Ancestor is worried that someone will risk everything to defeat the enemy? Ancestor nodded and said slowly, What you said makes sense. Sooner or later, the reputation of the emperor of our clan will be heard throughout the world. But not now. The first Ancestor looked at everyone, his eyes burning, and he said loudly, the Emperor's son is the hope for the future of our Sioux family. With such a monster's talent, if the enemies of our Sioux family find out about it, they will probably take action at all costs. If something happens to the Emperor's son, all of you will be killed. The sinners of the Sioux family have no face to face the Emperor and the ancestors of the Sioux family. Although the Sioux family of the Imperial clan is huge, it is not without its opponents. New Book Bar there are very few ancient imperial clans who can even compete with the imperial clan Su family. Su Tian nodded and said thoughtfully, In that case, why didn't the first ancestor arrange a protector for the emperor's son? In this way, some accidents can be avoided to a great extent. The third ancestor next to him lit up his eyes and nodded. That makes sense. How about letting the second child be the protector of the emperor's son? The elders were shocked when they heard this. Second Ancestor? You must know that the Second Ancestor is a being in the Supreme Realm. With such cultivation, he is now at the pinnacle of the Upper World. No matter where he is placed, he is a being at the level of life and death of the clan. For such a big man, is it too luxurious to be a protector? But you said the person you were protecting was the Emperor's son? That's okay. What the Third Patriarch said makes sense. I agree. No objection. The elders said seriously. The first ancestor thought for a moment and said, No, the second one has a hot temper and may not be able to protect the emperor. By the way, Su Tian, I remember that there is a half-step supreme realm in the shadow lineage, right? Su Tian pondered for a moment and said, You mean Mr. Shadow? The shadow lineage is the deadliest servant of the Su family. Ancestry nodded and said calmly, The secret of shadow is unmatched by anyone, not even the supreme can detect it, and his temperament is absolutely calm, so there won't be any problems. With him here, he can complete some things for the emperor. As for the second child, let him protect him. When you are with the emperor, you will never show up unless necessary. For the sake of safety, the first ancestor also believed that it would be most appropriate to arrange a supreme one next to the emperor. Su Tian nodded seriously. The third ancestor looked around and asked, Where's the second guy? Why haven't you seen anyone else? Su Tian honestly said, There is an eyeless Taoist in the Shintian Dao domain who offended the emperor's son, and the second ancestor went to destroy the Shintian Dao domain. Huan Dao domain? The third ancestor looked a little strange, but I didn't care. It's just a Dao realm. Since it offended the emperor, it will be destroyed if it is destroyed. Two days later, within Shintian Dao domain, Su Jyoga was riding the Supreme God's roar with a terrifying aura. Wherever he passed, all the birds and beasts were prostrate on the ground and trembling. Because the Su family of the Imperial Clan announced the reason why the entire Shintian Dao domain would be destroyed in three days. There are only a few people around, and the streets are full of messy stalls. Even the passers-by have sad faces. The entire Taoyun was shrouded in despair. Hmm. 
The Feathering Saint sect seems to be in front, right? Su Jyoga murmured to himself. A hoarse old voice came from the empty body. Your Majesty, the Ascension Saint sect is in front of us. What did the Ascension Saint sect say? Su Jyoga asked calmly. Ing Lao's figure slowly appeared, without any emotion, and said in a calm voice. Lin Yi has suffered so much humiliation these days. Not only was his limbs chopped off by the ancestor of the Ascension Saint sect, but he was also hung on the judgment peak of the Ascension Saint sect for the entire Xintian Dao domain to watch in humiliation. Today is the day for his execution. Judging from the intentions of the Ascension Holy Sect, it seems that he wants to apologize to you, the Emperor, for this. It's just that because the second ancestor blocked the Dao domain, they can't contact you, the Emperor. Su Jioga shook his head after hearing this. It's so miserable. Let's go take a look and send him on his last journey. Ing Lao nodded and asked, Why did the Emperor wait for three days before destroying the Xintian Dao domain? Wouldn't it be better to destroy it directly? Su Jioga narrowed his eyes, glanced at him sideways, and said lightly, You talk a bit too much. Ing Lao's expression changed, and he gradually disappeared into the darkness. The corners of Su Jioga's mouth raised slightly unconsciously. The reason why he was given three days was to make Lin Yi a sinner in Xintian Dao domain. And the more important point is, Lin Yi still has 2,500 luck points left. This is enough to show that he still has some trump cards that have not yet appeared. I just wanted to see if there would be any turning point at the last minute. After all, the unexpected is the most typical operation of the destiny protagonist. When he thought of this, Su Jugga felt very good. Today, on the judgment peak of the Ascension Holy Sect, countless people gathered. They are monks from all over the world in Xintian Dao Domain, traveling thousands of miles to come. No one else, just because it was three days ago. The ancestor of the Su family of the Imperial Clan sealed off the entire Xintian Dao Domain and issued a notice. Three days later, Xintian Dao Domain. Destroy. A simple word but it revealed the endless domineering and self-confidence of the Su family of the Imperial Clan. And the originator of all this, Lin Yi, was because he offended a certain supreme being from the Su family of the Imperial Clan. Only then will the fish pond be affected. On the judgment peak, the forest leaves were like a pile of rotten meat, with no intact part of the body. All of his limbs were severed, and his bloody appearance looked shocking. All the disciples of the Ascension, Saint Sect, stared at him with desperate and furious expressions. That look seemed to want to eat Lin Yi alive. Lin Yi, you beast, I never thought that you would be so audacious and dare to offend the Emperor of the Su family. Not only will the sect leader be implicated in his death, but also all the creatures in the Xintian Dao domain like us will be buried with you. You are so cruel. I should have known that this boy would be a scourge in our Ascension Saint sect. What on earth have you done to make people angry? I don't want to die. You. It's all you. In the matter of life and death, countless people cried, complained, cursed, and even collapsed because they couldn't bear it. If it weren't for the elders of the Ascension Holy Sect who stopped him, they would have killed Lin Yi millions of times. The resentment of everyone present seemed to be drowned by Lin Yi. Seeing those amiable and kind fellow disciples in the past become so ferocious and eager to devour others. Lin Yi lowered his head, his eyes were silent, and his hair was messy, as if he was silently admitting his crime. The elders of the Yuhua Holy Sect know the resentment of the disciples, and even they themselves hate it extremely. He was practicing well in the sect, but he suffered this unreasonable disaster. It is impossible for anyone not to have great resentment in his heart. The great elder of the Ascension Holy Sect looked at the old ancestor who was as skinny as firewood and extremely old. He asked with an anxious look, Ancestor, what should our Shintian Dao do now? What sins did our Ascension Saint Sect commit to face such a desperate situation and the destruction of our entire family? They burst into tears and couldn't help but look up to the sky. Sigh. A whole Dao realm. There are more than billions of creatures here. Now they are all withered bones in the grave, waiting helplessly for death. Do we still have a chance to save it? With so many disciples of my Ascension Holy Sect, can they all just wait to die? Lin Yi, this beast, 
No matter how much you do now, it's useless. He has implicated hundreds of millions of living beings. Life. If I die, I will die. If the Yuhua Holy Sect is destroyed, how will Jochuan face the ancestors? If I had known this, we should have dealt with this directly. Kill me. The angry elder gritted his teeth and wished he could cut Lin Yi into pieces. The ancestor sighed softly. At this moment, he seemed much older. The body's death aura, which had already entered the five decline of heaven and human beings and was about to sit down, became even more intense as if it would die in the next moment. Even as a saint, he thought he had seen everything, but he couldn't help but say, There is no way. There is no way. The entire Shintian Dao domain has been blocked by the Su family, and I can't even get in touch with them. I have become the holy sect, standing for thousands of years, and my energy. Is it really all over? The ancestor's cloudy pupils were full of despair and death. In his twilight years, I wanted to protect the children of the Ascension Holy Sect. But he didn't expect that he would have to witness the destruction of the entire Shintian Dao domain with his own eyes. No one could tell him the solution. Even the ancestors are like this, let alone the disciples of the Ascension Holy Sect. New Book Bar Circled him after several days of verbal and written criticism, their voices have become hoarse. Some elders could not accept this reality, their eyes turned red and they roared. I'm going to kill this culprit. Seventh elder. Stop. The great elder, who had been silent for a long time, suddenly shouted. The elder was stunned for a moment, with a look of decadence on his face. Great elder, why? Why do you want to keep this person alive? The great elder reprimanded loudly. Don't you think I don't want to kill him? I want it more than any of you. But we can't do that. Do you still remember the young master from the imperial clan who came a few days ago? If it weren't for him, that young master, our Shintian Dao domain has been destroyed a long time ago. Since the emperor chose to keep us alive for the time being, there must be a reason. Speaking of this, the great elder looked at the extremely miserable Lin Yi hanging on the judgment peak. This is the only hope. The elders were shocked when they heard this. Why? The great elder said slowly. We can't let him die now. The key to this problem lies with him. The ancestor of the Ascension Saint sect said with a dark look and a long sigh. Oh, I hope that the Emperor's son can spare the lives of thousands of creatures in Shintian Dao domain for the sake of what we do. Emperor Wuxia. Among all the worlds, he is the only living emperor. Just the weight of the word alive is like a Mount Tai shrouding the hearts of all living beings in the world. No one would offend an emperor who has a living emperor standing behind him. Because the price is too heavy. Compared to the Shintian Dao realm creatures who were wailing all over the sky, Su Jiuga was obviously in a good mood at this moment. He hummed a little tune and came to the Ascension Holy Sect unhurriedly. There are quite a lot of people. Su Jiuga said with narrowed eyes, his pupils as deep as abyss. He discovered Lin Ye's figure on Judgment Peak. The roar of the Supreme God has a terrifying aura, and once it appears, it carries a thick coercion over the judgment peak. Someone noticed this scene. Look, who is that? In the sky? What kind of monster is that? What a terrifying aura. Are they coming to judge us? Many elders of the Yuhua, holy sect, naturally also discovered that person in the sky. A figure like the sun. Everyone was shocked. Entering the holy realm? Who is this powerful person coming from? Everyone felt a sense of admiration in their hearts. Looking at the roar of the supreme god in the sky, the incomparable golden hair of the divine horse is flying in the air, and its thick and powerful limbs are full of explosive power, like a huge mountain. It makes people breathless. The sense of oppression brought about by entering the holy realm shocked everyone present. Except for the ancestors of the Ascension Holy Sect, everyone else was trembling and frightened. And what's even more shocking is, Above this terrifying monster, there is actually a blonde young man with a face like jade, a dragon and a phoenix, and a powerful and handsome figure. The young man has a domineering temperament, and his golden pupils are full of confidence and contempt for all living beings. This is. The great elder looked up at that dazzling figure. The forest leaves hanging above the judgment peak suddenly seemed to be reflecting back on the light, and they kept making low growling sounds from their mouths. 
Shadow Lao's figure appeared on the right side of the Supreme God's roar, overlooking the feathered saint-sect creatures as weak as ants below. The half-step supreme aura on his body made their legs weak, and they couldn't help but kneel here one after another. Ing Lao frowned and spoke slowly. My son, the emperor of the Su family, has arrived in Xintian Dao domain. You guys, why don't you prostrate yourself to welcome him? At this point, his voice became much louder, like the dull sound of an ancient bell, hitting everything hard. Human heart. Imperial clan. Su family. The ancestor was the first to kneel down after hearing this. I, Gunyan, the supreme elder of the Ascension Holy Sect, would like to greet the emperor's son. Ancestor? Seeing that the ancestors knelt down, the expressions of all the elders changed drastically. The great elder scolded in a deep voice. Why don't you all kneel down? At this moment, all the surrounding creatures, disciples, and elders of the Shintian Dao domain within a radius of thousands of miles of the Yuhua holy sect knelt down in unison. The scene was spectacular. Everyone lowered their heads to the ground with awe and surrender in their eyes. The voices soared into the sky, shouting in unison, Welcome to the Emperor's Son. Welcome to the Emperor's Son. Everyone knew that this person was the legendary Emperor's Son. It was precisely because of him that Shintian Dao Domain faced such a catastrophe. But in their hearts, without exception, they could not bear any resentment towards the Supreme Emperor in front of them. On the contrary, he hated Lin Yi even more. From the Emperor's Fall era, that top-notch evildoer emerged one after another. It frightens them to their souls. Is this the genius of the Emperor's Fall era? The Emperor's Son of the Su family. The elder pressed his head deeply against the ground, trembling all over. Su Jioga was not surprised by this scene. He glanced at Shadow Lao and murmured, Why do you do this? Mr. Ng said respectfully with an admiring look on his face. Only this is consistent with your status as the emperor's son. Is it pompous? Su Jioga thought to himself. He gave a faint smile. Do you think the bright sun needs fireflies to set it off? He jumped across the void and walked from the sky, like an immortal descending into the world, and all living beings surrendered. Under his feet, countless mysterious runes rippled, and under the sunlight, he appeared tall and majestic, like a golden god king walking towards him. I, it's that bright sun, Su Jioga said in an extremely domineering tone. He slowly fell down, his black robes were engraved with golden dragon patterns, and his every move carried the aura of a superior. The ancestor of the Ascension Saint Sect had trembling eyes and said in a hoarse voice, Your Majesty the Emperor. Su Jioga said calmly, You guys, you all know? The ancestor nodded and kept kowtowing. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, it is our Ascension Holy Sect that has failed to discipline its disciples. Our Ascension Holy Sect is willing to sacrifice the entire sect to make amends and I will let you claim everything. But please spare the life of Shintian Dao Domain, your majesty. They are all innocent. The great elder kowtowed beside him and said, Please have mercy, your majesty the emperor. Please have mercy, your majesty the emperor. We elders are willing to die to apologize. The other elders said in loud voices, the disciples of the Ascension Holy Sect and the creatures who were kneeling on the ground outside the Judgment Peak all raised their heads and looked at this place when they heard this, and shouted loudly with tears in their eyes. Ancestor, Elder, if we don't leave, we will die together. The voices of everyone who regarded death as home could be heard constantly in their ears. Su Jioga glanced at everyone lightly. He said softly, not loudly. Okay, everyone. Get up. Seeing the emperor's words, the ancestor of the Ascension Saint sect and all the elders slowly stood up, but the disciples were still kneeling down. It wasn't that they didn't want to get up, but that they were unable to move under the pressure of the Supreme God's roar and shadow elder. Su Jioga glanced at Lin Yi who was staring at him on Judgment Peak, and said unhurriedly, I didn't expect that you actually chopped off his limbs. This beast offended the emperor's son and will die. He deserves it. An elder said immediately. Su Jioga said nothing. These guys are pretty smart. He originally thought that they would kill Lin Yi directly. Although the remaining luck value in Lin Yi would dissipate, 
it would save him some trouble. Everyone held their breath before Su Jyoga said anything. New book bar it's like waiting for the death sentence. Su Jyoga spoke slowly. I don't think it will be easy for you to survive the Ascension Holy Sect for 10,000 years. I have seen your sincerity. Let's do this for now. When they heard this, the elders of the Ascension Holy Sect felt as if they were struck by lightning, with expressions of disbelief on their faces. Color. The ancestor was even more excited and burst into tears, as if he had been granted amnesty. How could they not understand the meaning of the emperor's words? This clearly means that the emperor will no longer hold the Ascension Saint sect and the entire Shintian Dao domain responsible. The Ascended Saint sect was transformed into a holy sect because of the emperor's words. Live. The ancestor gasped for air and kept talking. Many, many thanks, your majesty the emperor. Thank you very much, your majesty the emperor. The elders were also full of joy at surviving the disaster, and they looked at Su Jyoga even more eagerly. The great elder took the initiative to speak. Your Majesty, the Emperor's son, is so great. I, the Shintian Dao Domain, owe you a great favor. I sincerely ask the whole clan to follow the Emperor's son and become an affiliated force of the Su family of the Imperial clan. I will never betray you for eternity. If you violate it, I, the Ascension Holy Sect will be doomed. I hope the Emperor will agree. The Ancestor's eyes lit up. Good dot good dot good. That's right. I can't repay His Majesty the Emperor's great kindness. Please allow us to work for His Majesty the Emperor to make up for our previous mistakes. Following Su Jyoga's words, the entire Shintian Dao domain was enveloped and the feathers were transformed. The haze of the Holy Sect was dispelled completely forgetting that it was precisely because of Su Joga that Shintian Dao Domain faced such a disaster. In their hearts, all this was done by that rascal Lin Yi, and at this moment, Su Joga seemed to be everyone's great benefactor. We are willing to follow His Majesty the Emperor. We are willing to follow His Majesty the Emperor. Waves of voices filled the air, and the disciples kneeling on the ground screamed at the top of their lungs. Everyone was extremely excited. The forest leaves surrounding the Judgment Peak had red eyes and kept roaring. No, don't ask him. It's obviously him. It's obviously him. But in this sea of people, his voice was as small as dust, and he couldn't even make a splash. Su Jyoga looked at the enthusiastic crowd. It perfectly explains what human heart is. His expression was calm, as if the effectiveness of the entire Shintian Dao domain was nothing more than a trivial matter in his eyes. If you want to thank me, just thank you for having a good sect leader. If it hadn't been for him, this matter wouldn't have been that simple. Su Jyoga said lightly. The elders were stunned for a moment, and then they came to their senses. On that day, the sect leader and Ching Ha, in order to protect the Yuhua holy sect, Xintian Daoyu committed suicide in the Su family of the imperial clan. I felt even more angry. It's all that beast's fault. The sect leader loves him so much but he didn't expect that he actually harmed himself. Sir, Lord of the sect. Sir, the emperor. Please let us kill him. Yes, kill him. Kill him. He. The hatred towards everyone was concentrated on Lin Yi. What a wave of resentment this is. This resentment has even become infinite, and around Lin Ye's body, there is a curse on countless Shintian Dao realm creatures. Even as the protagonist of Destiny, he couldn't bear the resentment of these billions of creatures. Bite. Lin Yi, the protagonist of Destiny, was abandoned by the entire Shintian Dao domain and lost 500 luck points. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 500 villain points. Su Jyoga is very satisfied with the current situation. Everything is under your control. As for the last 2,000 points of luck, Su Jyoga narrowed his eyes slightly. Could it be that Lin Yi has some trump cards? Just when he thought of this, Ng Lao beside him seemed to notice something. He stepped forward and whispered in Su Jyoga's ear. My lord, there is a powerful force coming from outside Shintian Dao Domain. At this moment, the Supreme God's roar in the air continued to make deafening roars like thunder toward the sky. Accompanied by the rumbling sound of thunder, it shrouded right above the judgment peak. This sudden scene left everyone at a loss. What is this? Is it a thunder tribulation? 
Is it a powerful person from our Ascension Holy Sect who is overcoming the tribulation? No, this does not have the aura of thunder tribulation. Rao is a member of the Ascension Holy Sect. The elders were also very puzzled. This, the ancestor looked at Su Jyoga beside him, lowered his head and asked, I dare to ask, my lord, but are the nobles here? Su Jyoga said nothing. His golden eyes seemed to be looking directly at the sky through the vast sky. Ing Lao said slowly, This breath, at the lowest level, it is a saint level existence. Su Jyoga looked at Lin Yi in the distance with a calm expression. Probably know something. Is this your last trump card? He wanted to see what kind of surprise the so-called destiny protagonist would give him in this truly desperate situation. It would be too ridiculous to expect that a saint-level person could change the situation at hand. In the sky, there was suddenly a sound of thunder, lightning and thunder, like the end of the world. Boom! A terrifying round-shaped beast that covered the sky and the sun emerged from it. Everyone's eyes widened. It was not a dark cloud. Instead, it was a ferocious beast filled with thunder and lightning. Thundermon. Standing on top of the thunder beast was a middle-aged man dressed in unicorn attire. The man has a domineering temperament, his eyes are like swords, and his aura is as deep as an abyss. When he saw the miserable Lin Yi with his limbs cut off on the judgment peak, he was startled for a moment. Then his eyes turned red and he let out an extremely angry roar. Who dares to take action against my son? The expressions of the people below changed drastically when they heard this. The elders of the Ascension Holy Sect were even more shocked. This man turned out to be Lin Ye's father. From the man, a burst of extremely destructive energy suddenly burst out, tearing the sky, accompanied by endless thunder and lightning, falling straight down. Su Jyoga looked at Lin Yi and the middle-aged man with a strange expression. There is some similarity between the eyebrows. A father in the saint realm? The Ing Lao next to him snorted coldly when he saw this. He waved his hand, and the power of countless dense runes enveloped that power. The breeze and the clouds calmed it down. Saint level is still far from enough in his half-step supreme eyes. Lin Songhai was startled, with a look of surprise in his eyes. Looking down at Mr. Ng with some disbelief, he murmured, It's actually the Supreme? Impossible. The feathered holy sect. How could there be a Supreme level figure? On the other side, the thunder beast appeared, and the Supreme God's roar in the air seemed to be provoked. Its huge pupils were full of violence and murderous intent, and its thick claws swung directly towards the thunder beast, for extremely sharp scratches were torn out across a large space. The thunder beast's fat and bloated body was instantly broken open, and large swaths of blue blood spurted out. Ugh Thundermon roared in pain. The body was shaky, making Lin Songhai above him stand unsteady. Thunder beast! The supreme god roared, spraying mist from his mouth and nose, as if he was very disdainful, and slowly fell to Su Jyoga's side. Lin Songhai was a little confused at the moment. He did not expect that the Ascension Saint sect would actually have a supreme level existence. Just two days ago, when he was in the Lin family of the Hidden Saint clan, he felt that the fire of Year Soul was shaking, and it was obvious that he had suffered a catastrophe. As Lin Ye's father, Lin Songhai invited an old man to come and tell fortunes when Lin Yi was born. This son of mine is destined to be a man of destiny, and he will definitely achieve extraordinary things in the future. It's a pity that he is destined to have a calamity of death, almost ten times of death without rebirth. If you can survive it safely, you will be like a hidden dragon emerging from the abyss, soaring in the nine heavens without any restraints. Otherwise, the path of death will disappear, and Lin Yi will no longer exist in the world. After Lin Songhai asked for advice, the old man finally told him a way to avoid it. That is to let Lin Yi leave the Hidden Saints and spend 20 years safely. Maybe he can avoid the disaster. Even Lin Yi himself didn't know that his father was still alive. He always thought that he was an ordinary member of a small clan. Now, Lin Songhai knows that Yi's death has come. As a saint, he must help his son survive this disaster at all costs. Lin Songhai stared at Mr. Ng below and said in a deep voice, Who are you? Half-Step Supreme? Is this Yi's death? Ng Lao frowned, 
A chill flashed in his eyes, and his hoarse voice was bone-chilling. Who allowed it? You stood above the emperor of our clan and spoke? Get off here. He was extremely angry. The status of the emperor's son is supreme. Who among all the heavens and worlds can compare with him? Now, there was a mere saint-level being who dared to despise the emperor like this. This made him not angry. The aura on his body became more and more frightening, making the entire ascension holy sect feel frightened like a stormy sea. A huge hand appeared out of thin air in the sky, and with a sudden grab, the thunder beast was tightened, and blood burst out like a fountain from all over its body. Green blood spilled from the air. Roar. The thunder beast was in extreme pain. This injury was even 10,000 times more painful than the roar of the supreme god. He almost died from an explosion. There is no way to resist the pressure of the half-step supreme realm. Lin Songhai's expression changed drastically. Thundermon smashed towards the ground like a falling meteor. Boom. The elder's eyes twitched. Is this a strength that is infinitely close to the supreme realm? Ing Lao was still about to take action, but Su Juga said calmly, Okay, Ing Lao. Ing Lao was startled, looked at Su Juga with some confusion, and said in awe, Your Majesty the Emperor, this person dares to break in when our Su family has banned the entire Shinyan Dao domain. He clearly doesn't take you seriously. Su Juga waved his hands carelessly, looking at the fall with amusement. A glance at Lin, Songhai on Judgment Peak. He managed to stabilize his figure, and no longer looked as calm as when he came, looking at him with a vigilant expression. He just loves his son so much, we should understand. Seeing the emperor's words, Ing Lao temporarily removed his overwhelming pressure, only focusing on Lin Songhai. Year. When seeing Lin Ye's miserable look, Lin Songhai couldn't even care about anything else. He hurried to his side with a painful look on his face. He trembled all over after feeling Lin Ye's physical condition. What a cruel method. What a cruel method. Dao's heart was broken, his cultivation was completely gone, and his limbs were crippled. He has become a living useless person. Lin Songhai raised his head suddenly, like a wild beast. How dare you, the Ascension Saint sect, do this to my son, Lin Songhai. The aura of the saint realm made all the disciples breathless. The ancestor snorted coldly, directly breaking the pressure that enveloped the disciples. The elders behind him discussed, Is this Lin Ye's father? I never thought that the father of that beast was actually a strong man in the saint realm. Huh. So what about the saint realm? If it weren't for that little beast, how could our ascension saint sect offend the emperor's son? My lord. I haven't seen him call out the saint level dad before. Now he is here. Could it be that he still wants to save people? I ran out. I think you really want me to become the holy sect and be saved forever. The hidden saint clan has a very high status in the world, but it is a big family that truly exists in the supreme realm. An ascension saint sect can only reach the saint realm at its highest level. It is not worthy to carry shoes in front of the hidden saints. This is also the reason why he, as a saint, dares to enter the Shintian Dao realm so unscrupulously. Looking at the dying Lin Yi, a trace of guilt flashed in Lin Songhai's eyes. He stepped forward and continuously took out the extremely precious healing medicine from the storage ring and fed it into Lin Ye's mouth. Any one of them is a valuable elixir to the outside world. Lin Ye's face looked better. Lin Songhai murmured, Year, year, father will take you home right away. But before that, he will cut into pieces the person who treated Year like this. But before that, my father will avenge you. Lin Songhai said in an extremely domineering tone. The elders looked at each other. Unexpectedly, Lin Yi turned out to be a member of the Hidden Saint Clan. Although they were fearful in their hearts, the elders were not afraid as the emperor's son was here. No matter what the Hidden Saints are, your son Lin Yi has provoked an existence that he can't afford to offend. Sparing him alive is all because of the mercy of the emperor. That's right. So what about the hidden saints? Could it be that my whole life should the creatures of the Shintian Dao realm be buried with your son? None of the elders of the Yuhua holy sect showed any fear when they saw that the Lin family had moved out. Lin Songhai frowned and said coldly, Emperor's son? Ing Lao snorted coldly. 
His figure appeared in front of Lin Songhai at some unknown time. So what about the Hidden Saint Clan? Do you really think that our Imperial Clan, the Su family, does not exist? Su Jyoga and a group of elders from the Ascension Saint sect also came slowly from a distance. The Su family of the Imperial Clan? When he heard these words, Lin Songhai was shocked. A few days ago, the great Emperor Wuxia and his son from the fall of the Emperor appeared in the world, and the heavens and worlds were shaken. It can be said that the current Su family of the Imperial Clan is the most powerful existence in the entire world, and no one dares to provoke it. Within the Xintian Dao domain, why do people from the Su family of the Imperial Clan appear? He looked at Ing Lao with a wary expression but saw that this being who was infinitely close to the supreme realm actually gave up his position respectfully and stood next to Su Jyoga. Lin Songhai was shocked. With long golden hair falling down like a waterfall, the majestic and heroic young man in front of him looked so dazzling in the audience, like a son that makes people look up to. Even as a saint, he couldn't help but be amazed. You are. Lin Songhai suddenly felt a bad premonition in his heart. The elders of the Ascension Holy Sect were the first to speak. Are you Lin Ye's father? Did you know that the person in front of you is the Emperor's son of the Su family? Your son Lin Ye is so bold that he dares to offend the Emperor's son and almost implicates our entire Xintian Dao domain. He deserves death. The Emperor's son? Lin Songhai was shocked when he heard this. He looked at Su Jyuga who was smiling. He was horrified and murmured in disbelief. Are you the son of Emperor Wuxia? The ancestor of the Ascension Saint sect said with a sneer. The person standing in front of you is the Emperor's son. Who else could it be? Lin Songhai made it clear that he was here to cause trouble for the Ascension Holy Sect. Therefore, the ancestor did not give a good look to this person. Looking at the elders with joking faces. And Su Jyoga, who looked calm and showed no expression. Lin Songhai panicked. His expression became gloomy and uncertain. There were 10,000 questions in his mind. Why did the emperor's son of the Su family appear in Xintian Dao domain? And what happened to their claim that their son had offended the emperor? After suppressing the doubts in his heart, Lin Songhai took a deep breath and spoke sincerely. I am Lin Songhai of the Lin family of the Holy Clan. I have met the emperor's son. I wonder how my son offended the emperor's son? I saw that Lin Songhai had lost all his previous toughness. The elders of the Yuhua Holy Sect laughed, smiling extremely happily. Now you know you are afraid? Weren't you very arrogant before? You also said you wanted to destroy our Yuhua Holy Sect? Why are you so weak now? Su Jyuga looked up and down at Lin Songhai, who had his head lowered. Just standing there without speaking, there was an invisible pressure around him. Even if he is facing a powerful being in the saint realm, his expression remained unchanged and calm. Ing Lao on the side said with a sneer, Lin Songhai? Your good son Lin Yi dares to take action against the emperor's son in our Su family's territory. Our emperor's son hasn't even spoken yet, and you want to take him away without permission? Of course. How brave you are. Is this also what your holy clan, the Lin family, means? As soon as he said this, Lin Songhai's whole body went cold, breaking into a cold sweat. Year, actually offended the Su family's emperor? He said quickly, No, no, Lord Emperor, this senior. But what is the misunderstanding? I heard that the emperor's son was just born. How could my child? He just raised his head and was about to look directly at Su Jyoga's face, but was suppressed by the pressure of the half-step supreme realm from the shadow elder. Huh, that's it for now. No need to say more. Buzz. A terrifying pressure suddenly emerged. Lin Songhai's expression suddenly changed, and he wanted to say something else. Ing Lao's eyes were as bright as fire, and he scolded angrily. Kneel down. Boom. The gap between them is only one realm, but it is like a natural chasm. Under this pressure, Lin Songhai gritted his teeth and knelt on one knee, holding his hands on the ground to prevent himself from kneeling. Lin Songhai is extremely proud. At his age, he can be ranked first among the saints, and he has never knelt down to anyone, even if the person in front of me is a supreme being. Seeing this, Su Jyoga raised his eyebrows and became interested. Lin Ye's father seems to be as tough as Lin Ye. 
The thunder beast in the distance seemed not to be able to bear to see its master suffer such humiliation. A cracking sound of electricity surged around him. The originally clear sky suddenly became violently windy and turbulent. Thundermon let out a strange roar. Noisy. Sujoga frowned and murmured. He touched the long, smooth, and lush golden hair of the supreme god Roar beside him. He said calmly, Let it be quiet. The supreme god Roar understood, nodded in a very humane manner, and rubbed Sujoga intimately with his huge body. Then he jumped up and moved. The perfect and thick body instantly appeared in front of the thunder beast. The terrifying beast's power was overwhelming, like the king of beasts, and the beast's pupils were full of violence and bloodthirsty. Its extremely sharp fangs seemed to be able to tear everything apart, turning into a golden arc and flashing away from the thunder beast's body. Tear and pull with the surging green blood, even the skin and flesh, it actually bit off most of the thunder beast's bloated body. Boom. An extremely rare ancient ferocious beast, a thunder beast at the level of the god king. Together with the demonic beast's inner elixir, it was easily torn into two halves by the roar of the supreme god. Falling to the ground. Roar. The supreme god roared with a trace of disgust flashing in his eyes. He combed his golden hair in disgust. A faint golden light flickered, and the blood of the thunder beasts that had fallen on him was evaporated. Standing proudly here, majestic and golden, looking noble, ancient, and majestic. After easily dealing with the thunder beast, the supreme god Roar returned to Sujoga's side, lazily crawling down and wagging his tail. It is completely inconsistent with the previous brutal and violent image. Seeing the supreme god Roar looking so docile in front of the emperor's son, the elders and disciples of the Yuhua holy sect were all shocked. Their eyes widened. If they hadn't seen it with their own eyes before, they might have thought it was some domesticated pet monster. What kind of monster is this emperor's mount? It's too terrifying, someone said with a shiver down his spine. Yes, I feel that just one of the imperial sun's mounts should be able to destroy our ascension holy sect, right? It's so domineering. I'm afraid only such a divine beast can be worthy of his majesty the son of God. The elders of the Yuhua holy sect kept touting behind them. Su Joga looked calm. He stroked the mighty head of supreme god Roar Shwoda and praised it. Well done. Thunder Beast. Lin Tsonghai roared. I saw that his eyes were about to burst, and his eyes were weeping with blood. This Thunder Beast has been following me since I was a boy. The Thunder Beast that he once approached was only the size of a palm. Under his own training, one person and one monster have overcome countless difficulties and obstacles. Rather than saying that Thunder Beast is his mount, it is more like a family member. When I heard Lin Tsonghai's painful roar, Suddenly, he returned to the day when he dealt with Lin Yi. Su Juga's expression became a little strange. You two, father and son, could it be that you both like this? A smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, and he smiled lightly. Ing Lao. Ing Lao said, Here. Su Juga looked at Lin Songhai, who was kneeling on one knee and struggling to support himself, and said calmly, Relieve the pressure on him. He wanted to see if Lin Songhai would be like his son. Take action suddenly. Ing Lao was a little confused, but he didn't ask any more questions. He just thought about it. The pressure that enveloped Lin Tsonghai completely dissipated. Lin Tsonghai felt light all over and gasped for air. He stared hard at Su Joga and the supreme god Roar with a contemptuous expression. His fists even drew blood, and his voice was hoarse. Su Joga stepped forward unhurriedly and looked down at Lin Tsonghai. His eyes were full of teasing and amusement. After playing around for a while, he finally got to the point and said, The Lin family, a hidden holy clan? You came here too. Seeking justice for your son? Lin Tsonghai was startled. He lowered his head and said nothing. Ing Lao sneered disdainfully. Lin Tsonghai, did you know that the last one wanted to seek justice from the emperor of our clan? Has he committed suicide in our Su family? Don't say that you are a small saint. Even if you are in the realm of saints, the Lin family's supreme leader will meet the same fate. The cultivation level that can achieve the saint realm is one of the best in the world and cannot be blasphemed. Faced with Ing Lao's ridicule, he couldn't even refute. 
not to mention the intimidating power of the four names of Emperor Wuxia, the unfathomable heritage of the Su family of the imperial clan alone makes people despair. Perhaps once upon a time, the eternal immortal clan and those godless clan among the heavens could have a rivalry with the Su family. But now, the emperor is here and the emperor's son is traveling, and whoever sees it doesn't give way. Offending the emperor's son is no different from offending Emperor Wu Shi. My son, I ask this your destined fate? Lin Songhai recalled the old man's shocked expression. I just regretted that I didn't find out and stop him earlier and take Lin Yi with me. But it's useless to say anything now. Lin Songhai seemed to be dozens of years older for a moment. Compared with offending the emperor, this humiliation was nothing to mention. Now, he can only beg the other party not to involve his Lin family. Su Jioga waited quietly for a long time. Neither of them saw the other party take action. It seems that, at least compared to Lin Yi, his father's character is much more stable. The elders of the Ascension Holy Sect present could feel Lin Songhai's decadence. But no one sympathized. Instead they laughed and gloated. Oomph, why did you go so early? Originally it was just the misfortune of my Ascension Saint Sect, but now it has made me angry, and it even involves the Lin family, the Hidden Saint Clan. I really feel bad for him to have such a son. Like father, like son. Ng Lao sneered. Your majesty, in my opinion, there is no need for the Lin family to exist anymore. What? Lin Songhai's pupils on the ground shrank, and his breathing quickened. Su Jioga glanced at him lightly. Turning to stare at Lin Songhai who was half kneeling on the ground, he said with a smile. You said, I will kill you and your son right now. What will your holy clan, the Lin family, say? Lin Songhai was shocked when he heard this. The emperor's master is asking you a question. Seeing that the other party was silent, the ancestor of the ascension, Saint Sect scolded. Lin Songhai's expression was extremely complicated. He didn't understand what the Su family's emperor wanted to do. The elbow temporarily lost its supporting strength. Kneel down on the ground. The head could not be lowered any lower. No matter what his identity is, it will be of no use in front of the living emperor's son standing behind him. Even if Su Juga kills him now and carries his head back to the Lin family, the group of supreme beings in the clan would probably only say one thing about killing well. Lin Songhai looked struggling and said through gritted teeth, Go back to the emperor's son, the Lin family. I won't say anything. Su Jioga laughed loudly after hearing this, stroking his hands and said, Okay, it seems that you, the Lin family, are all sensible people. His imperial eyes narrowed slightly, flashing a captivating arc. He spoke. From what the elders of the Yuhua holy sect say, it seems that this is the first time that you and your son have met each other. This emperor's son has become a beautiful man today. Let you and your son have a good talk. Su Jioga waved his hand. An emerald green holy pill filled with vitality rolled down in front of Lin, Songhai's field of vision, like a crystal clear gem. As soon as this emerald green elixir appeared, the dead trees became spring again, and the surrounding air seemed to become much sweeter. The smudged lines on it are extremely mysterious, and they are actually the long lost pill patterns in the heavens. What's even more amazing is that this elixir rolled down to the ground. There was grass sprouting out of the bluestone slab, like a miracle. Lind Songhai was startled, his eyes a little blank. An elder recognized this elixir and murmured with big pupils. This is Qing Emperor Pill? Qing Emperor Pill? Isn't this the imperial elixir refined by Emperor Changqing? It is said that anyone under the emperor who takes this elixir can save a life no matter how serious the injury is. Not only that, but it can also prolong life. Its longevity increasing effect is even great for saints. Since Evergreen, after the fall of the immortal emperor, no more blue emperor pills appeared in the world. Last time, a few were found in the sacred ruins 5,000 years ago, but many supremes came to auction them. Why does the emperor have such a magical thing? Everyone's expressions became extremely fanatical, with a hint of desire flashing across their faces. Evergreen Immortal Emperor is a person from the Holy Realm. I heard that he has a very good relationship with Emperor Wuxia. As the Emperor's son, it is not surprising that he can possess the Azure Emperor Pill. It's just, 
What on earth is the emperor doing this for? Even the ancestor of the Ascension Holy Sect asked in confusion. My lord, this is. Su Jiuga said calmly, looking at Lin Songhai who had his head lowered. This Azure Emperor pill should be what you need most right now. Do you want it? As soon as he said this, the whole place was in an uproar. Not only the elders of the Ascension Holy Sect, but also Lin Songhai had expressions of disbelief. His eyes were fixed on the Qing Emperor pill, not letting it go for a moment. Did I hear you correctly? Your Majesty the Emperor, you want to save that beast? Why is that? Both of them, father and son, have offended you, the Emperor's son. They should have been punished with death, so why are they still being rewarded? Such a treasure? The value of Qingdi Dan is not comparable to that of Tin Lin Yi. Lord Emperor, please think twice. Everyone's heart was bleeding. They could never understand Su Jioga. What is the purpose of doing this? The Imperial Qingdi Pill is given to disabled people who have committed the most heinous crimes. If this spreads out, I'm afraid countless people will be unable to sleep at night. After all, the competition in the cultivation world is extremely cruel. A Qingdi Dan is almost equivalent to giving all the monks a chance to live a second life, which is hard to find. Except for Emperor Changqing, no one can refine such a magical elixir. Su Jioga looked at the elders who were thumping their chests and frowned. Isn't it just a Qingdi Dan? What are you excited about? He has no less than a hundred Qingdi Dan among his storage rings. When I was still young, my father took me to visit the evergreen immortal emperor and extorted many treasures. Su Jioga didn't bother to explain too much to everyone's doubts. He naturally had his own purpose in doing this. Making the best use of everything, this Qingdi pill allowed Lin Yi to release his last afterglow. Seeing Lin Songhai who was trembling all over, Su Jioga said calmly, Except for the Qing Emperor pill, there is no perfect way to recover your son's injury. Do you want the Qing Emperor pill, or don't you want it? Everyone's pupils shrank when they heard this, and they looked at Lin Songhai who was kneeling on the ground with envy. I wish they were the ones kneeling in front of the Emperor's son at this moment. How could Lin Songhai not know the importance of this Qingdi pill? He said as if he had been greatly favored. I want that I want. Thank you. Your Majesty the Emperor. He looked so humble and could not tell that he was a powerful person in the saint realm. Su Jioga glanced at him mockingly, his eyes filled with the indifference of a superior. When he saw Lin Songhai reaching out to pick up the Qing Emperor pill, Su Jioga raised his eyebrows, slowly stepped forward, and the moment Lin Songhai touched Qing Di Dan with an excited expression, he lightly stepped on his palm. Bang! The entire Qing Emperor pill was also crushed to pieces. This kick didn't use much force. Lin Songhai was shocked, and his pupils instantly dilated. He looked at Su Jioga with a joking look on his face in disbelief. He said with a smile, Even if it turns into powder, it will still not affect its efficacy. The shadow elder on the side stepped forward, his eyes without any emotion. He spat out four simple and clear words very coldly. Kowtow and thank you. Kowtow? Let him kowtow as a saint? Such humiliating words were tantamount to tearing his face into pieces, showing no dignity at all. Su Juga's voice sounded. Why, don't you want to save your son? Is the emperor's kindness so easy to bear? Lin Songhai's face was full of struggle, and Yir had lost his protection since he was a child. It would be a lie to say that I don't feel guilty about the debt I felt over these decades. A fierce ideological battle was going on in his mind. For a long time finally lost to reality. I saw him lowering his body very piously. He kowtowed his head heavily. Bang, bang, bang. He kowtowed three times before stopping. Lin Songhai said with humiliation on his face. Thank you, your majesty the emperor. At this moment, the elders of the Yuhua holy sect looked at Su Jioga even more enthusiastically. Kowtow in the realm of saints. This is the son of the Su family emperor the son of Emperor Wu Shi. Among all the heavens, there is only one person who can make a saint-level power kneel down and kowtow with his cultivation in the Yuan Zhan realm. Apart from Su Jioga, I'm afraid there is no one else. Su Jioga smiled. A playful smile appeared on his handsome face. His figure is tall and powerful, like a god overlooking ants, with his blonde hair flying. 
He lowered his imperial eyes and spoke softly. Get up. I have to say, compared to your son, you know a lot more. After hearing this, Lin Songhai's eyes turned red, and the terrifying aura of the saint realm overflowed. The surrounding elders were shocked. What's wrong with this guy? Is he trying to attack the emperor's son? Protect the emperor's son. The ancestor noticed the clue and raised his hand. Stop it. He, who was also in the saint realm, could see Lin Songhai's current situation. After being so humiliated, he knelt in front of a junior in full view of thousands of Shintian Dao realm creatures. Lin Songhai suppressed the breath in his body, stretched out his hand, and picked up the dregs of the Qing Emperor pill on the ground. He stood up slowly, under Su Jyoga's somewhat mocking gaze, heading towards Lin Yi, looking at the broken Qingdi pill in his hand. It was like his own Taoist heart. But for year, for the survival of the entire Lin family. Only one word. Tolerate. Lin Songhai fed the crumbs into Lin Ye's mouth. A miraculous scene appeared. As soon as Qingdi Dan entered his stomach, Lin Ye's body was filled with strong life force, shrouded in light green light. The majestic vitality is constantly repairing and nourishing the damaged qi si of the forest leaves and the severed limbs. Countless fine granulations surged from the wounds on the limbs. Just a breather. The body that originally had no intact part of its body and all its limbs was completely intact. Even his breathing became much calmer. If it weren't for the ragged clothes and the dried blood on them, those previous injuries were as if they had never happened. Lin Songhai's pupils were filled with ecstasy, and he murmured with pale lips. Year dot year. Such a scene amazed many elders and disciples of the Ascension Holy Sect. Is this the effect of the Qing Emperor Pill? It's amazing. Such a magical pill is as good as a second life. Lin Yi can recover from such injuries. This Qing Emperor Pill is worthy of its reputation. It's the elixir refined by Emperor Changqing. Countless elders were heartbroken. Such a magical substance was given to the culprit. Su Jyoga's eyes were as calm as water, without any ripples. No one could guess what he was thinking. Lin Yi, it's time to release your last remaining heat. At this moment, Lin Yi felt warm in his body. He gradually woke up from his coma, slowly opened his eyes. When he saw Su Jyoga, he suddenly woke up. The boss's eyes were wide open as he kept struggling and roaring. It's you? The emperor's son of the Su family. I want your life. Let me go. Let me go. I want to avenge Xiaoyao. His eyes were gnawing at everyone, as if he was going crazy. If not for being tied to the pillar. I'm afraid they will start violently and take action immediately. Lin Songhai, who was originally very distressed, changed his expression immediately after hearing this. You rascal. Why don't you shut up? He slapped him angrily. Pa. Lin Yi was stunned. Like a splash of cold water. Lin Yi was stunned and looked at Lin Songhai with a puzzled face. Who dot are you? He felt an unprecedented sense of closeness from the man. It was as if I had seen him somewhere before. Looking at his confused son, Lin Songhai's angry heart suddenly softened. His eyes became gentle and guilty, and he explained softly, Year dot year, I am your father, Lin Songhai. Father? When Lin Yi heard these two words, his pupils shrank. Memories that have been sealed for a long time seemed to be unlocked. He muttered in disbelief, Are you my father? Lin Songhai nodded and said with tears in his eyes, Year, that's right. I am your father. When the word father was spoken, Lin Ye's worldview seemed to collapse at this moment. He believed from an early age that he had no father or mother. And today, a man who claimed to be his father suddenly appeared. How could he accept this? His eyes were full of doubts, confusion, and doubts. Lin Ye said tremblingly, Impossible. This is impossible. My father has died a long time ago. Su Jyoga said lightly, He is indeed your father. Your father is a great power of the hidden saints. Are you happy? Lin Yi trembled all over, and he kept repeating the three words impossible. Lin Songhai, on the other hand, kept telling the origin of everything. The father and son were like two defeated dogs in a state of embarrassment, licking each other's wounds. No, no. Then why have you never come to me for so many years? Lin Yi kept questioning. As if he thought of something, 
His eyes suddenly became fierce and ferocious. Since you are my father, then help me kill him. He stared at Su Jioga. Even now, he is still filled with overwhelming resentment and wants to kill him quickly. Aren't you my father? Aren't you a saint-level existence? Then kill him for me. Kill him. His hair was disheveled, as if he was crazy. Under the heavy blows, Lin Yi finally couldn't bear it anymore. Collapsed. Su Jioga glanced at him with some pity. Qingdi Dan can restore the physical body, but it cannot restore the broken Taoist heart. He knew that Lin Yi would let him go now. No different than a useless person. Lin Songhai looked at his only son sadly. I just wanted to allow Year to avoid the fatal disaster. But he didn't want to, but it hurt him instead. I am incompetent, even though I have infinite regrets in my heart, it is of no use now. It was my father who killed you. Lin Songhai let out a long cry of grief. It was my father who harmed you. Lin Songhai looked at Su Jioga with red eyes. He knew that this noble emperor's son would never let his father and son go so easily. He spoke in a hoarse voice. Your Majesty the Emperor, Lin knows that Yi'er sins have not been forgiven. From today on, I, Lin Songhai, will withdraw from the Lin family of the Holy Clan and have nothing to do with the Lin family anymore. I only ask the emperor to be magnanimous and not to be involved. A member of the Lin family. Su Jioga raised his eyebrows upon hearing this. He said with calm eyes, Oh, my son, I have never said that I want to blame the Lin family. Lin Songhai smiled sadly. The mood and anger of the superior are elusive. The man was so angry that blood spattered on the spot. And the person in front of me is one of the most noble beings in all the worlds. In front of the opponent, his hidden saints are no different from ants. With the last glimmer of hope, Lin Songhai asked tentatively, I dare to ask the emperor, can I exchange my life for years' life? Everyone was in an uproar after hearing this. They even doubted whether they heard correctly. Is this guy crazy? This is a saint-level existence. He is on the same level as the ancestor. He is not a big deal. The oppressive power of the emperor's son. It's so powerful that even a saint can't bear it. Everyone looked at the emperor's son, who was as noble and dazzling as the bright sun. They wanted to see what the emperor's son would decide. Su Jioga's eyes were lowered. After listening to what Lin Songhai said, he slowly opened his mouth and said without sadness or joy, One life for a saint? Not enough. Not only Lin Songhai, but also all the elders were shocked. Could it be that in the emperor's heart, the life of a saint is not as good as that of a useless person? They didn't know that for Su Jioga. The meaning of being Lin Yi, the protagonist of destiny. Ha ha. Lin Songhai laughed to himself. This result seems not surprising. He nodded. I understand. As a father, it's the father's fault if his son doesn't teach him. It's better to be a father in vain than to watch my son die in front of me. It's better to take the first step. At this time, Lin Songhai turned his head and took a deep look at the crazy Lin Yi, who was still roaring and struggling. Lin Songhai's eyes were softer than ever before, as if he had seen through everything. He touched Lin Ye's face and murmured with a loving expression, Year, I never thought that when you and my father and son meet, it will be like this. It's really God's will. My father is incompetent and can't pull you out of this abyss. I hope that in your next life, you can be reincarnated into an ordinary family and live in peace for the rest of your life. Yulua. Lin Songhai looked up to the sky and laughed. This laughter was full of helplessness and unwillingness. In front of the great emperor, even as strong as a saint, he still had no power to fight back. If he, Lin Songhai, were a lonely man, he would avenge Yir even at all costs. But standing behind him was the entire Lin family of the saint clan. A majestic power suddenly burst out from Lin Songhai. This aura made one's heart palpitate, the golden divine light flashed, and the brilliance of this moment even temporarily overshadowed Su Jioga. On the judgment peak, countless creatures looked horrified. What is he going to do? Ing Lao protected Su Jioga, but Su Jioga did not move at all. Watching all this indifferently, he knew that from the moment the other party knelt down, he would never dare to take action against him. Endless saint power surges into the sky. Above the vast sky, the mournful sound of the avenue suddenly sounded. 
There was a brilliant glow in the sky, and a dull aura filled the entire Shintian Dao domain. When the saint dies, the great road screams. Lin Songhai, who was in the saint realm, actually chose to give up everything, body, cultivation, and even soul, and die as a martyr. Lin Songhai's last reverberation sounded. Your Majesty the Emperor, I, Lin Songhai, have now committed martyrdom and cultivated my life throughout my life to obtain a saint's Tao fruit. I hope that after the Emperor accepts this saint's Tao fruit, he will let go of the Lin family of the saint clan. The voice gradually faded. Far. Countless people stared blankly at the scene in the sky, feeling so shocked that they could not calm down for a long time. When thousands of divine lights disperse, a crystal clear red fruit surrounded by countless Tao Yun slowly fell from the sky. The saint's path and fruit will only appear when a saint chooses to give everything back to heaven and earth and die as a martyr. This is a gift from heaven. Throughout the ages, there are only a handful of saints who can do this. Because the price of martyrdom is the true dissolution of the soul and the complete disappearance of an existence, there is even no chance of reincarnation and rebuilding. Ordinary people can become saints immediately after taking it. Although they do not have the power of a saint, they have the long lifespan and understanding of the way of heaven. If a cultivator takes it, even a useless person can cultivate to the saint's state as long as he does not perish. People with extraordinary talents are even more terrifying. With the help of the saints' Tao fruit and self-understanding of the holy path, they have a greater chance of becoming one body and two saints. It can be said that a saint's Taoist fruit is a dream that all practitioners dream of, but it is an existence that is elusive. After all, no one is willing to pay so much. At this moment, everyone fell silent. Even Ing Lao did not expect this. Lin Songhai chose to give everything. The sound of the system rang in my ears. Bite. The biological father of the protagonist Lin Yi, Lin Songhai, died as a martyr, losing his last refuge and losing 2,000 luck points. Ding. Congratulations to the host for triggering the triple critical hit reward of the destined villain title. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 6,000. Congratulations to the host for completely erasing all the luck values of the destiny protagonist. Now you can get special rewards for killing. The saint's Taoist fruit slowly fell into Su Jia's singer. There is a longing for the atmosphere of the avenue. New book bar. Su Jia's expression was calm. He murmured softly, Is this your apology? I understand. He put the saint's Tao fruit into the storage ring. Lin Songhai's behavior was indeed very touching. But in Su Jioga's heart, it didn't make any waves. If you want to blame, you can only blame him for not having a father who is at the level of a great emperor. In this era, his identity seems to be, indeed very scary. Su Jioga suddenly felt a little bored. He looked at Lin Yi. The stars scattered in the sky fell on his face. Lin Yi was tied to the pillar, head raised, motionless. It seems to have been affected by Lin Songhai's death. His eyes gradually changed from violent and crazy to sober. Then, it turned into shock, disbelief, and regret. His eyes widened, and he suddenly shouted, Father! 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 Everyone looked at the scene in front of them with cold eyes. This kid is really a disaster. How many people will be implicated because of him? Some of the disciples below couldn't help shouting, If I were him, I would have committed suicide long ago. How could I survive until now? Yes. Do you still want to implicate other people? Die quickly. Die quickly. Under the judgment peak, countless disciples shouted loudly. Lin Ye's expression was numb. First it was his beloved woman, then his most respected master in Qingha, and finally his biological father Lin Songhai. The three died in front of him one after another, and they all died because of himself. He could no longer accept this reality. Ha dot he he. Ha ha ha, he laughed loudly. Everyone looked at each other. Could this guy have lost his mind and gone crazy? Su Jioga. Lin Yi suddenly looked at Su Jioga, who had a calm look from beginning to end. He laughed ferociously. I will wait for you, I will curse you all the time down there. So what if you have a father who is in the realm of the great emperor? Your fate is destined to be no better than that of me, Lin Yi, he yelled. He raised his head high and used all his strength to hit the pillar behind him hard. 
This collision seemed to be filled with endless regret and curse. Bang. I was dizzy. But it seemed that because the remaining effects of the Azure Emperor pill had not yet dissipated, the powerful vitality actually pulled him back from the brink of death. This collision. Wanna die. But it didn't happen. Lin Yu was stunned. Su Jioga was also stunned. This funny scene made him unable to hold back for a moment. Flaughed out loud. Su Jioga said with some laughter. I don't know when I will die, but I know. You will die soon. Don't worry, I am not a person who likes to whip corpses. Su Jioga returned to his previous calmness. Appearance. Ing Lao. Ing Lao. Here you are. Su Jioga turned around and raised his hand lazily. He said calmly. Send him on his way. After saying that, he turned and left without looking back. Ing Lao nodded. Looking at the leaving figure of the emperor's son, the elders of the Ascension Holy Sect looked at Lin Yi with some pity and ridicule. Then he hurriedly chased after him. Ing Lao appeared in front of Lin Yi, his expression extremely cold. If you want to blame, I can only blame you for not having eyes and offending the emperor. If you had died earlier, there wouldn't have been so many things. In the next life, be careful. Lin Yi didn't even look. Know when the other party takes action. The head rolled to the ground. I will never die with my eyes in peace. The great elder dismissed many Xintian Dao domain creatures outside Judgment Peak. Because of Lin Yi, the entire Xintian Dao domain has been shrouded in despair these days. I am in fear every day. Even now, he still has lingering fears about this feeling of surviving a disaster. Fortunately, the ending is good now. The Emperor's Lord was magnanimous and spared the entire Xintian Dao domain. The great elder sighed deeply as he looked at the disciples who were gradually returning to peace. It's not easy. Finally, my feathered saint sect did not fall into the hands of myself and others. And now that he has embraced the emperor's lap, as long as he performs well, maybe the ascension holy sect can reach a higher level. Thinking of this, the great elder couldn't help but smile. Sect master, I think I can rest in peace under your nine springs. In the huge sect hall, Su Jioga closed his imperial eyes, his flaming blonde hair hanging down, resting on the front seat with his head supported by one hand. The supreme god roared prostrate on his right, exhaling a dense white mist from his mouth and nose, his breath was like an abyss, and his domineering presence was revealed. It was like facing an emperor, and you could hear a pin drop in the palace. The elders of the Ascension Holy Sect below looked at the majestic figure on the first seat with expressions of awe, and no one dared to disturb him. Ing Lao's figure appeared in front of Su Jioga like a ghost, said respectfully, Your Majesty, the matter has been resolved. Su Jioga slowly opened his eyes and said without sadness or joy, Got it. The system's voice had already told him Lin Ye's fate. After getting rid of a destiny protagonist, he didn't have much trouble in his heart. He brought up the panel and looked at the several newly added items in the system storage space. Many of them belong to Lin Yi, the protagonist of Destiny. These are considered good skills and magic weapons in the outside world. But in his eyes, they were no different from rags. But it's not completely useless. At least, it can be recycled to the system and return some villain points. Bite. Do you want to recycle the items belonging to the protagonist of Destiny with one click? Yes. Su Jioga said without hesitation. Calculating item value. Recycling. Recycling successful. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 500 villain points. Current villain value. 17,000 Su Jioga's face turned dark when he heard this. 500? System. Are you kidding me? With so many magical weapons and skills, Lin Ye's total wealth is only 500 villain points? Bite. Returning to the host, only things related to the destiny of the protagonist have higher value. Su Jioga was numb. A thing of luck? After all, everything related to Lin Ye's own luck has been polished by himself. Wait. I seem to have thought of something. Su Jioga suddenly reacted. If you take away the destiny protagonist's luck, then recycle it to the system. Wouldn't it be possible to get? Two villain values? It's like discovering the door to a new world. Su Jioga's pupils suddenly brightened, and he looked extremely moved. Next time, I must give it a try. 500, just 500. Something is better than nothing. 
His eyes rested on the two imperial red treasure chests rewarded by the system. Emperor grade red treasure chest includes everything in the world and can at least produce red quality elixirs, magical powers, techniques, formations, magic weapons. Do you want to open it? Oh, open a blind box? This is somewhat interesting. He spoke with some anxiety. Open. New book bar. Opening the Imperial Red Treasure Chest. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the Emperor-level magical power. Chaos Halberd Bahuang. Red. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the Taigu Holy Cloth. Wanyuan Molen Armor. Red. Is actually an Emperor-level killing magical power and Imperial weapon. Su Jioga's eyes lit up. Even though he was the Emperor's son, he had seen countless extremely precious treasures in the heavens. I couldn't help but be very moved at this moment. You must know that there are very few magical killing skills about halberds. The 13 halberds of the reversed path that I am currently practicing, which are mainly used for killing, are only supreme level magical powers. As for the defensive imperial equipment, it is not as rare as the Luanji Bahuang. Su Jioga raised the corners of his mouth slightly and murmured. Looks like I'm lucky. It has been detected that the Wanyuan Emo Lin armor, which is suitable for the host's imperial equipment, is being worn. Buzz. A faint black light flashed. The Wanyuan Emo Lin armor was worn on Su Jioga like a thin film. The scales on it are as smooth and translucent as ink jade, and the aura in them is thick and domineering. Su Jioga could clearly feel that as long as he thought about it, this imperial weapon, the Wanyuan Molin armor, would turn from virtual to real. After wearing the imperial equipment Wanyuan Molin armor, the aura coming from his body was even more breathtaking. A strong imperial power emanates from the Wanyuan Emo Lin armor, which is full of oppression. In the eyes of the elders, the emperor's son in the first seat suddenly became more hazy and mysterious. The supreme truth between heaven and earth surrounds him. His domineering aura leaks out from all sides and his every move carries the aura of a king like superior. Many elders were shocked. Is it my own illusion? Lord Emperor. Why does he look more domineering? After getting these two treasures, Su Jioga was obviously in a good mood. He glanced at the people below and said calmly, I plan to stay here for a few days. Is there a suitable place for cultivation here? Su Jioga did not plan to return to the Su family so early. During this trip, Dealing with Lin Yu was just a small step. He has never met the protagonists of Wuji Immortal Sect and Vast Sea Holy Sect. I hope you won't disappoint me too much. Emperor Su Jioga's eyes flashed, and he murmured softly. The Emperor's son actually wants to stay in the Ascension Holy Sect? Hearing this, the great elder looked happy and flattered. He hurried forward and said with great enthusiasm, Yes, yes. Sir, I will take you there right now. The shadow elder on the side was very puzzled. Is there any place in this barren land suitable for the emperor's son to practice? But since this was the emperor's decision, as a servant he would not ask any more questions. All the elders also looked happy. After seeing the strength and power of the emperor's son, everyone knew it clearly. If the Ascension Holy Sect could hold the emperor's lap, it would really be a great success in the future. Your Majesty, the Emperor condescended to come all the way. We, the Ascension Holy Sect, must not slack off. Yes, this is something that is wrong with our sect. Your Majesty the Emperor is broad-minded and will not let us care about it. We must not do it. You've lost your etiquette. They gave Su Jiuga a warm welcome if he planned to stay in the Yuhua Holy Sect. I wish the Emperor could stay a few more days. The great elder was so groveling that his body seemed to be bent to the ground. He looked like a servant. He said with great respect, Your Majesty, please come with me. Su Jioga nodded slightly, stood up, and patted the supreme god Roar who was lying beside him. Under the awed gaze of all the elders, follow the great elder and leave the main hall of the sect. Looking at the back of Shunwu with blonde hair like flames, the elders shouted loudly, Your Majesty, Move slowly. This is the center of the Ascension Holy Sect, where the previous sect leaders have lived. Isolated from the world, extremely pure. What is depicted around them are countless closely connected small spirit gathering formations and large formations that build the entire formation. 
It is filled with the extremely rich spiritual energy of heaven and earth. Just taking a breath will refresh your heart and mind. The decoration inside the pavilion is exquisite and elegant, with dragons, phoenixes, and unicorns carved on the eaves and wooden pillars. There are spiritual flowers and herbs planted outside the house. The sound of clear springs and the lingering fairy mist add to the beauty. Under the arrangement of the great elder, the servants in the pavilion had already cleaned up and down the place extremely neatly. The great elder said coldly to the group of servants, Take it all tidy up for me. If the emperor's son is in any way uncomfortable, you can't afford it. After explaining this, the great elder turned around and immediately put on a friendly face. Expression, said with a smile, My lord, I wonder if you are satisfied with this place? Su Jyoga glanced casually. He said with a calm expression, It's true. With the words of the emperor, the great elder felt relieved. He took a long breath, fearing that his service would be inconsiderate. He said with cupped hands, Don't worry, these servants will leave soon. Absolutely no one will disturb your practice here. He promised. Su Jyoga nodded and flicked his fingers. A green emperor pill floating with green light floated away quietly. The great elder's pupils shrank, and his breathing became somewhat rapid in an instant. Your Majesty the Emperor, what are you? Su Jyoga didn't say anything. Ing Lao next to him glanced at him and said lightly, The Emperor's son rewarded you. Why don't you thank me? The great elder's breath was stagnant, and his eyes were fixed on the Qing Emperor pill, not letting it go for a moment. He slowly raised his old hands and took the Qing Emperor pill. This feeling is like a dream. His eyes became more enthusiastic and admiring. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Emperor. This blue emperor pill is too important to him. With his cultivation level at the God King realm, after living for such a long time, his lifespan is long gone. If you have this Qingdi Dan, you can not only greatly extend your lifespan, but also hope to reach the realm of sainthood. It is impossible to say that I am not excited. He is worthy of being the son of Emperor Wu Shi. Such a precious imperial pill is like throwing a stone. At this time, the shadow elder beside him stepped forward and asked with some confusion, Your Majesty, there is something that I don't understand. Su Jyoga? Oh, tell me. Mr. Ng, why do you want to stay here, Your Majesty? He looked around. Although this place is full of spiritual energy, it is still far behind our imperial clan, the Su family. If you want to practice, isn't it the best choice to return to your own clan? Su Ju Song glanced at him with a smile. I don't plan to return to the Su family so early this time. As for why, this is not something you should worry about. There happens to be something for you to do. Ing Lao said respectfully. But according to the emperor's orders, I will not give up even if I die. Su Jyoga waved his hands and smiled. It's not an important thing. While I'm in seclusion these days, you go collect the information on the two sects, Wuji Immortal Sect and Hanhai Holy Sect, and give them to me especially those outstanding elders and disciples. Do you understand? Ing Lao nodded, and his figure gradually disappeared. Watching Ing Lao disappear, Su Jyoga took out the Saint Dao fruit. The Saint's Dao fruit is extremely lustrous and full of the Saint's Dao. The great elder's eyelids trembled when he saw this scene. Isn't this Lin Ye's father's Saint Dao fruit? New Book Bar Ordinary People will probably be ecstatic and dance with joy when they get the fruit of sainthood. But Su Jyoga didn't feel much at all. Saint Realm, for a peerless monster like him, it's just a starting point. For hundreds of thousands of years among the ancient gods, what he pursued was the supreme emperor like his father. The position of the great emperor is what he should consider. A saint's way, although it is desirable. But Lin Songhai's holy path is not suitable for him. Thinking of this, Su Jyoga was ready to put away the Saint Dao fruit. But at this moment, the supreme god roar from the side came over. He rubbed Su Jyoga's body very intimately, his eyes full of desire. With fluffy golden hair all over his body, he looks like a big golden cat. It is simply unimaginable that this is a beast that everyone talks about, the last remaining divine beast in the world, the supreme god roar. Su Jyoga was startled, touched his hair, and said softly, What's wrong? He looked at the Saint Dao fruit in his hand and then at the coveted supreme god's roar. 
The emotion transmitted from the Supreme God's roar made him suddenly understand something. He couldn't help but laugh. Do you want to eat this St. Dao fruit? Supreme God Roar nodded in a very humane manner. Su Jyoga pondered for a moment and then said with a slight smile, If you want it, I'll give it to you. The great elder on the side froze in place as if he was petrified. Did I hear that correctly? Feeding a mount the saint's Dao fruit? Isn't this a waste of natural resources? The great elder stared at the scene in front of him with wide eyes in disbelief. The Qingdi pill in his hand suddenly lost its fragrance. Pain. Heart-wrenching pain. I want to become the Grand Elder of the Holy Sect, and I can make the Shintian Dao realm tremble with just a stamp of my feet, and be respected by thousands of people. It was even inferior to the Emperor's mount. Su Jyoga didn't notice the Great Elder's expression of doubt about life. The Supreme God's roar is now at the peak of the Saint Realm, and will soon break through to the Saint Realm. With this Saint Dao fruit, it can also help it break through quickly. Su Jyoga directly threw the Saint Dao fruit into the mouth of the Supreme God. The Supreme God's roar's pupils suddenly brightened, and it opened its bloody mouth like an abyss. Swallow this Saint's Taoist fruit into your belly in one gulp. Suddenly, golden light flickered from it. Countless divine clouds overflowed, and the golden hair on the Supreme God's roar became more supple and translucent and his huge body shone like a sun in the daytime. A series of mysterious runes surrounded it, gradually integrating into the body of the Supreme God's roar. Suddenly, roar, the wind was strong, and the Supreme God roared upwards with a deafening roar. This huge sound seemed to tear through the clouds and spread to the sky. This smell made the great elder's eyelids twitch and his scalp numb. Is this not the aura of the holy realm? Although I had known that the emperor's mount was extraordinary and no ordinary beast, but as a god-king, he never expected it. The emperor's mount is so terrifying. I saw that the aura on Shinho's body gradually became calmer, but there was still a circle of golden light glowing. Stepping forward, he found an open space, knelt down and slowly closed his eyes, digesting the remaining power of the saint's Dao fruit like a majestic mount tie. The current Supreme God Roar is not yet in the realm of a complete saint. It is estimated that it will be almost ready after the Saint Dao fruit in its body is completely digested. Emperor Su Jyoga's eyes flickered. The villain value obtained by killing Lin Yi was close to 20,000. It seemed that it was time for him to break through. Moreover, the Emperor Level Halberd and eight desolate magical powers made his heart tense. Su Jyoga turned around and looked at the great elder who had a stunned expression on his face, and it was obvious that he had not recovered yet. He said calmly, Okay, I'm going to stay in seclusion for a while. Step back. If your lord, the emperor, needs anything else, just ask me directly. He couldn't wait to go back and take the Azure Emperor pill. After dismissing the servants, the great elder respectfully excused himself and left. After the crowd dispersed, Su Jyoga was the only one left here. He mobilized the Emperor level magical power chaos Ji Bahuang from the storage space of the system. A white light flashed, and the magical power file floated in front of him. After just a cursory viewing, he benefited a lot. There are nine styles in total of the chaos halberd and the eight wastes. The power of each style is terrifying and can cut down the sun, the moon, and the stars. It is worthy of being an emperor-level magical power. If combined with the Black Emperor's Abyss Halberd, his combat power will definitely be greatly improved. Thinking back to the beginning, during the Emperor's fall, Su Jyoga suffered a loss in his skills. Among all the heavens, only the daughter of the evergreen immortal emperor, the innate Tao embryo holy body, is on par with her. But with this offensive magical power, the meaning is different. It's a pity that 100,000 years have passed, and I haven't heard any news about that woman. Come to think of it, he must have died. Su Jyoga shook his head regretfully and murmured softly. It seems that living a long time is also a skill. Even my father has become the only great emperor in the world. Putting his thoughts away, Su Jyoga suppressed his slightly excited heart. The emperor's eyes flickered, and he spoke slowly. System, how many villain points does it cost to understand this chaos? The system's voice sounded. Bite. It will cost a total of 5,000 villain points to return to the host. 
So much? Su Jyoga was startled and then said, Forget it. I'll do it myself. After all, a villain's worth is spent on the blade. As a body of innate chaos, he is also the son of the Emperor Wuxia. His talent and understanding are naturally beyond doubt. Black Emperor, Su Jyoga murmured. A stream of extremely dark air swirled around his hand. The aura is breathtaking, and the extremely domineering Black Emperor's Abyss Halberd appears in his hand. Holding the Black Emperor's Abyss Halberd in his hand, Su Jyoga understood every move in the chaos of the Halberd. The surrounding rich spiritual energy of heaven and earth surged in like a sea. They gathered into a huge whirlpool of spiritual energy, and the entire venue was filled with an extremely mysterious aura. He entered a wonderful state, tirelessly waving the Black Emperor's abyss halberd in his hand. From day to dark. Three days later. Inside the Yunxian Pavilion of Waterside Pavilion. After Su Jyoga understood the last move of Chaos Ji Ba Huang, he suddenly opened his extremely bright golden eyes. The eyes are like swords, captivating. His long blonde hair flutters like flames, his figure is majestic and majestic, and he is wearing ink-colored unicorn armor, like an ancient god and demon galloping on the battlefield and looking down upon the nine heavens and ten earths. His whole body was surging with blood and there seemed to be an extremely terrifying force brewing from his body. For a moment, winds and clouds rolled around, and huge waves surged into the sky. Su Jyoga's eyes burst out with divine light, ripples appeared under his feet, he stepped on the runes and rose into the sky. The Black Emperor's abyss halberd waved in his hands, and the demon dragon's shadow surrounded him, blasting towards the sky. The ninth style of chaos halberd Bahuang Chao Gu. Countless golden lights exploded from the sky, and the clouds were torn apart by this bright and terrifying power. Boom! As this killing power blooms, under this power, there is no cloud in the sky. The scorching sunlight fell down. The entire Yunxian pavilion was enveloped in a golden sea of light. Even the sleeping supreme god Roar was awakened, raised his huge head, and roared to the sky. When the aftermath of terror dissipates, Sujio singing held the Black Emperor's abyss halberd, standing like a god king stepping into the air. There seemed to be divine fire burning in his eyes, becoming even hotter. Is this the chaos? What a powerful power! Sujioga's eyes flashed and he murmured softly. After three days of practice, he has completely understood the chaos of the eight desolations. It is common for ordinary people to spend hundreds of years and ten years cultivating an emperor-level magical power. But Su Jyoga, who was an innate chaotic body, only spent three days. Although, in the end, in order to save time, he still consumed a certain amount of villain points and perfected his own skills and cultivation. New book bar. Circled him but this is enough to show the power of the innate chaotic body. And he had reached the ninth level of the Yuanzhan realm, and had also broken through to the virtual god realm. Bite. This practice consumes 3,000 villain points. Su Jyoga whispered. System, bring up the panel. Master, Su Jyoga identity, the son of the Su family of the Imperial clan and the son of Emperor Wu Shi realm. First level of virtual god realm treasures. Black Emperor Abyss Halberd, 10,000 Abyss Ink Lin Armor, Divine Liquid of Creation 50, Saint Slaying Golden Halberd, Sky Suppressing Spirit Pearl, Shangqing Emperor Sword, Azure Emperor Pill. Villain Value. 14,000 left, is the villain worth 14,000? Su Jyoga murmured. He slowly fell down and looked at the Supreme God Roar who had also made a breakthrough and became even more divine. He was in a very good mood and gave a rare compliment. Not bad. At this time, the space on the side became distorted. Ing Lao's figure slowly appeared from it. He hid in the dark and observed for a while. Seeing that the emperor was practicing, he waited quietly without disturbing him. Ing Lao said with awe-inspiring eyes and raised his hands. Congratulations to the emperor's breakthrough. Su Jyoga glanced at him and said calmly, You're here. How did that matter go? Ing Lao said, Your majesty, please rest assured. I have collected all the slaves in the past few days. He told everyone what he knew. The Wuji immortal sect now has a relatively strong position among the heavens, and the disciples within the sect are also full of vitality, with geniuses emerging one after another. 
there are no less than dozens of talented people who can claim the title as told by Mr. Ng. Su Jioga felt a little dizzy after hearing this and raised his hand to stop him. Okay, okay, where is the Hanhai Holy Sect? Ng Lao said after hesitating for a moment. Compared to the Wuji Immortal Sect, the Hanhai Holy Sect has received very little news. It is said that the talents within the sect have withered and they have been living in seclusion. After a conversation, Su Jioga got a general idea of the two sects. Condition. I didn't find anything special. His imperial eyes were slightly lowered, and his expression was calm, making it difficult to guess what he was thinking. Su Jioga suddenly smiled lightly. It seems it's time to get ready to leave. As for where to go, he had already made a decision in his mind. Inside the main hall of the Yuwashing sect, all the elders looked at the great elder with envy. Congratulations to the great elder for your breakthrough into the saint realm. This really makes us envious. Yes, if nothing else happens, the selection of the new sect leader should be yours, great elder. Becoming a saint. Ah, I don't know when I will be able to touch this threshold. Ha ha ha, my fellow disciples are overly praised. The great elder's face was glowing now, and he looked much younger. I saw him stroking his beard and laughing. This sound was vigorous and powerful, and he was obviously in a good mood. This is all thanks to the help of the emperor. If it hadn't been for the Azure Emperor pill that was gifted by the emperor's son, I would not have been able to break through to the holy realm so easily. The elders all sighed after hearing this and said with envy, Hey, why don't we have such a good life and be rewarded by the emperor's son? This Qingdi Dan is an emperor-grade elixir. After taking it, it will increase your lifespan by a hundred years. The elder shook his head. Sorry, as someone who actually took this pill, he was the only one present who knew the true efficacy of Qingdi Dan. This is more than a hundred years. Not to mention the increase in lifespan brought about by entering the holy realm. Just this Qingdi Dan lasts for a thousand years. However, in order to avoid arousing the jealousy of others, the great elder did not tell the matter, but secretly rejoiced. Ahem, the emperor is generous. As long as you serve the emperor well, there is no chance. He said righteously. Sure enough, as soon as these words came out, the eyes of all the elders present lit up. Yes, the emperor's son has been with us in the Ascension Holy Sect these days. Maybe we will have a chance? The great elder was smiling cheerfully. Just at this time, the roar of the supreme god suddenly came from outside the temple. This voice is the emperor's mount? Could it be that the emperor has left seclusion? Quick, 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 I'll go out to greet you. After seeing the reward the great elder received, everyone in the palace the elders rushed out of the hall non-stop, afraid of being a step behind others. Outside the palace, Su Jyoga sat on top of the supreme god's roar, with blonde hair and a calm face. Ing Lao followed closely behind. The elders in the hall rushed over in a hurry. The great elder led the elders behind him to kneel down to greet him. Your Majesty the Emperor. Su Jyoga nodded, his expression calm. He glanced at the great elder below, his eyes slightly surprised. Did you achieve a breakthrough? The great elder replied repeatedly. Thanks to the gift of the emperor, I never thought that I would be able to break through and become a saint in my lifetime. I have no repayment for the kindness of the emperor. Immediately afterwards, there was a series of flattery. Su Jioga waved his hand and stopped. He said calmly, Okay, I am here this time to prepare to leave the Yuhua holy sect. What? The faces of the elders changed greatly after hearing this. The emperor is leaving? Why is this, your majesty the emperor? But what is wrong with our ascension holy sect's lack of hospitality? If your majesty the emperor is dissatisfied, you can ask me to wait. Is there no one to serve the emperor? My granddaughter is pretty good. She is very beautiful. How about I arrange for her to come? The elders said with sincerity and sincerity. With that kind of appearance, he almost treated Su Jioga as his biological father. Su Jioga glanced at the people below strangely. He waved his hand. It has nothing to do with you. I came here this time to deal with Lin Yi. It's almost time now. It's useless to stay any longer. The elders looked at each other. They were deeply reluctant to give up, but there was nothing they could do. Seeing that the emperor's son had decided to leave, the great elder spoke. 
Okay, you can decide what the emperor's son wants. Everyone be quiet. The elder who received the blue emperor's pill has become the most loyal supporter of the emperor's son. The other elders cursed secretly in their hearts. Pooh, this old man got an advantage and behaved well. The great elder stepped forward, raised his hands towards Su Jyoga, and said respectfully, Your Majesty, the Emperor's kindness to our clan is as great as a mountain. Please accept this token. A white jade colored token appeared, with the word feather engraved on it. I saw the great elder holding up the token with both hands, his face looking pious and awe inspiring. My ancestor asked me to give this to you, the Emperor's son. This token is the life and death order of our Ascension Saint sect. With this order, we can mobilize all members and disciples of our Ascension Saint sect. The status is supreme, even one level higher than the master of my sect. I hope you will accept it. Su Jyoga glanced at it, nodded, and did not refuse. After putting the token into the storage ring, he turned around and left. At this time, a scolding voice suddenly sounded outside the main hall. Let me go. Let me go quickly. I want to see the emperor. When they heard this voice, the elders were slightly startled. Su Jyoga was also stunned. He looked outside the hall. I saw a girl wearing the uniform of a disciple of the Ascension Holy Sect, being blocked by several gatekeeper disciples. She kept trying to get in, shouting, Your Majesty the Emperor! Your Majesty the Emperor! A gatekeeper disciple came over in a hurry and whispered something. The great elder's face suddenly darkened, scolded loudly. How do you guard the door? How can I let a disciple break into the palace of the Ascension Saint sect? If you disturb the emperor's son, even if you die ten times, it won't be enough. That feeling in his heart, I'm so angry. I originally wanted to leave a good impression when the emperor left. Unexpectedly, a disciple suddenly broke into the door and ran here. He quickly turned around and apologized to Sujyoga. My lord, I'm really sorry. It's okay to discipline the disciples within the sect, but let an outer sect disciple break in. At this moment, the girl outside the door was still reluctant and struggled to shout. Your Majesty the Emperor, please, let me see you. Sujyoga's expression was calm and he couldn't see any mood swings. He asked calmly, what's going on? This. The great elder said hesitantly. It's like this. During the time you stayed in our Ascension Holy Sect, the news spread out somehow. In the past few days, there have been many disciples of our sect who admire you and monks from the Shintian Dao domain. I want to come and see your majestic appearance, Lord Emperor. And this disciple is the most bizarre. He has to make trouble here for several hours almost every day, and even stayed there for three days. He also said, there is really nothing we can do. After all, this woman has a special status and cannot be dealt with forcefully. Su Jyoga looked a little strange when he heard this. The system's voice suddenly sounded. Bite. It is detected that the protagonist of destiny appears next to the host. Ding. It is detected that the protagonist of destiny appears next to the host. Su Jyoga was startled. There is actually a destiny protagonist among this Ascension Saint sect? It couldn't be. As if he thought of something, Su Jyoga looked towards the girl's position. Name, Lin Miaoi Identity, Protagonist of Destiny, Disciple of the Ascension Holy Sect Realm, Fifth Level of Sea Condensation Realm Physique, Red Lotus Divine Body with Unawakened Skills, Red Fire Technique, Ascension Heart Sutra, Qing Feng Step, Treasure, None Current Luck Value, 12,000 Is This True? Su Jyoga's expression was a bit wonderful. He never expected that the girl outside the door clamoring to see him would turn out to be a destined protagonist. I couldn't help but feel a little interested. The Great Elder. I will expel this woman right now. Su Jyoga. Let her come in. The two said in unison. Ah. The Great Elder was stunned. A little confused. The Emperor actually wants to see her. Although he was doubtful, the Emperor said so. He could only nod his head with a puzzled face and strode to the door. Lin Miaoi said with a fierce glare, How many times have I told you? When the emperor leaves, you will have something to eat. Come in. Lin Miaoi's beautiful eyes were happy when she saw that the gatekeeper no longer stopped her. He ignored the great elder's harsh words and hurried to Su Jyoga's side. Then without saying a word, he knelt down with a pop sound. Bang bang bang. 
There were three loud noises. Your Majesty the Emperor, I finally see you. Please accept me. Your Majesty the Emperor, and let me work for you. I can do anything you want. This unexpected kneeling made all the elders gasp. Dumbfounded. What are you doing? Get up quickly. Huh. It's a beautiful thought. With his status as the emperor's son, if he wants to recruit followers, he probably has to line up from the east of Shintian Dao domain. Go to the west. Not to mention the people from the Shintian Dao realm after witnessing the divine power of the emperor's son. The girl in front of her was only at the sea condensation realm, not even as good as a handyman disciple. Isn't this wishful thinking? The great elder was sweating profusely and his eyelids were twitching. He glanced at Sujyoga with some fear. Sujyoga couldn't help but find it a little funny. Destined protagonist? Work for me? It's really a long time to see you. This destiny protagonist is a bit interesting. Looking at Lin Miaoi kneeling on the ground, Sujyoga slowly spoke with a calm expression. Keep your head up. Like these thousands of disciples, they looked up to Sujyoga's divine power. Such an extremely domineering and unquestionable majestic appearance is admirable. The emperor's son. Even the usually aloof elders of the Yuhua holy sect bowed and knelt in front of the emperor's son, like servants. This made Lin Miaoi's heart filled with hatred actually have a ripple. Standing in the crowd, her beautiful eyes looked at Su Jioga above with confusion. Before her death, her mother told herself that in the future, many people would like her. But if you are looking for a future Taoist companion, you must not look for someone who is indecisive or cowardly. Because her mother ended up like this because she fell in love with a man she shouldn't have loved. That man is her father. Because of his cowardly character, under the arrangement of his family, he abandoned the mother and daughter when he was born and married another woman from another tribe. Therefore, when Lin Miaoi was very young, her mother instilled her will into her mind. This made Lin Miaoi decide that the person she would spend her whole life with in the future must not be as timid and hesitant as that man. He must be an extremely domineering person who speaks the truth, even if there is more than one beauty by his side. After seeing Su Jioga, Lin Miaoi felt a strange feeling in her heart. Su Jioga, surrounded by the elders in the center, was like a sun, so dazzling and noble, extraordinary and unreachable. Just taking a look at it from a distance makes you feel ashamed. And today, she finally met the emperor's son. Su Jioga rides on the supreme god's roar, looking down at the girl of destiny kneeling on the ground. He said calmly, raise your head. The great elder's expression changed. He said quickly, my lord, this is absolutely impossible. This girl is ugly. How can she insult your eyes? Su Jioga raised his hand. The great elder shut his mouth for a moment. Lin Miaoi was startled when she heard this and came back from her thoughts. She slowly raised her head. I have met the emperor's son, a small face with slightly freckles and a pair of big buck teeth. The skin is withered and yellow, and the bridge of the nose is collapsed. Sister Fong, but what is surprising is that underneath this ugly face, there is actually a pair of beautiful eyes. Crystal clear like two black gems inlaid in a pool of rippling autumn waves, black and translucent, with a feeling of stubbornness and admiration unique to a girl. Looking directly at Su Jioga, this is a sharp contrast. Su Jioga was stunned. He really didn't expect that this girl of destiny would look so ugly. No matter what, he is also a person blessed by God with great luck. It wouldn't be like this. The great elder's face was ashen, and he cried out in mourning. It's over. Such an ugly girl. Wouldn't this make the emperor's heart worse? He said angrily. That's enough. If your mother hadn't had a relationship with our ascension holy sect, I would have handed you over to the punishment hall. Get out of here. The other elders also shook their heads and sighed. You know, if you can shed your mortal body and become a cultivator, you can get rid of the dregs, and most of them won't be too ugly. Not only in terms of temperament, but also in appearance. For example, the appearance of a medium-grade product will become a high-grade product, and a high-quality product will become more perfect. This is also the reason why there are so few ugly people among cultivators. People like Lin Miaoi are rare species in the Shintian Dao domain. Lin Miaoi was stubborn and did not speak. In her eyes, it was as if the emperor's son Su Jioga was the only one. 
This person's eyes are indeed beautiful. Su Jiuga saw awe and admiration in Lin Miaoi's eyes. Is there a trace of hatred hidden deep inside? Um, it seems that something has been discovered. Su Jiuga, who was fused with the divine eyes of cause and effect, quickly looked at Lin Miaoi's face. A hint of dissonance was discovered. It seems to be shrouded in mist. Emperor Su Jiuga narrowed his eyes slightly. Suddenly, he stared at Lin Miaoi with a half-smile and said, What's your name? Before Lin Miaoi could speak, the great elder on the side spoke first. Your Majesty, the Emperor's son, this girl's name is Lin Miaoi. She is the daughter of a former female elder of our Yuhua Saint sect. It's just because of some things that happened at home. She lost her parents when she was young. So she has been living in our Yuhua Saint sect. Zong is waiting. Su Jioga glanced sideways at the great elder, said somewhat displeasedly, Did I ask you a question? Upon hearing this, the great elder felt a chill all over his body and broke into a cold sweat. He quickly shut his mouth. Lin Miaoi. Su Jioga looked at Lin Miaoi who was kneeling below and said with some fun, There are too many people who want to serve this emperor. What qualifications do you think you have compared to others? Is it just based on your cultivation in the sea condensation realm? Lin Miaoi was silent. She hesitated for a moment. He said with a firm face, Please accept me, Your Majesty the Emperor. I am more loyal and respectful to you, Your Majesty the Emperor, than any of them. It was as if I had heard something funny. Su Jioga suddenly laughed. He got down from the Supreme God's roar and walked slowly to Lin Miaoi's side. The Emperor stared at her and said unhurriedly, Loyalty? Loyalty in your mouth, does it mean? Using a magic weapon to cover one's true appearance? As soon as he said this, the elders were all shocked. She looked at Lin Miaoi on the ground with a puzzled face. Lin Miaoi's delicate body was shocked, and her eyes were full of disbelief. The only treasure left to him by his mother during her lifetime. Fantasy Moon Mist Yarn. This is an existence that even the elders cannot detect. How could the emperor? Su Jioga waved his hand, turned around and said lightly, Okay, I don't care what you look like. I don't need your so-called loyalty. Seeing the emperor turning around and leaving, Lin Miaoi felt flustered for a moment. He explained hurriedly, Your majesty, stay here. She bit her lip, struggling in her heart. In the end, I chose to remove the effect of Huanyue Mist Veil. I really want to follow you. Lin Miaoi raised her head and looked at Su Jioga's back with misty eyes. Lin Miaoi took off the Huanyue mist veil. The ugly face before no longer exists. Instead, a pretty and charming face. Her eyes are bright and her teeth are bright. Her skin is like gelatin, and the crystal clear skin can be broken by a blow. The nose is delicate and small. The lips are red and attractive, with the shyness unique to a girl, and the beauty is like a delicate flower in bud. Just by taking one look at it, you can't help but feel loved and want to take care of it. Lin Miaoi bit her red lips lightly, after revealing her true appearance. Some didn't dare to see the emperor's son. Your majesty the emperor, will you dislike me? She thought with some worry. When all the elders saw this scene, their eyes widened. This expression is even more exciting than seeing the great elder making a breakthrough. What's more, he rubbed his eyes in disbelief. I wonder if I saw it wrong. How is this possible? This girl. This girl is so charming. Am I right? This is. Lin Miaoi? Lin Miaoi came to Yuhua Shangzong when she was 10 years old. Stayed for 7 years. He has always shown his ugly face to others. Now she suddenly told him that her appearance was all fake, and this was her real appearance. How is this not shocking? After the shock, an elder murmured. I have already said that her mother was the most beautiful elder of our Ascension Holy Sect back then. As her daughter, how could she be so ugly? Why has she hidden her appearance for so many years? Is there something wrong with her? A shameful purpose? Did she live like she was before for seven years? The elders talked a lot. But Su Jioga didn't even turn around and look at her. Lin Miaoi's beautiful eyes, which were as bright as the stars, turned a little red. She clenched her hands and kept pleading. Your Majesty, I didn't mean to hide my appearance. My mother made herself do this when she passed away. Over the years, I have been laughed at. She had even gotten used to it and almost forgot about it. Su Jioga stopped.
He slowly turned around and looked at Lin Miaoi, who looked pitiful and yearning, with a calm expression. A trace of surprise flashed in his eyes. As the son of the emperor of the imperial clan, I have never seen any women during the emperor's fall era. The ice-cold fairy, the charming witch, the dignified and elegant Saint Saint. And in the Emperor Luo era, the innate Taoist holy body was unparalleled in both talent and appearance. Lin Miaoi does not belong to this category. But I have to say that Lin Miaoi gives people the feeling of pure and pleasant beauty of Zaiji Biyu. Especially those bright eyes are impressive. Su Jiuga raised his eyebrows and came to Lin Miaoi's side. Slowly squat down. Lin Miaoi did not resist such an outrageous and frivolous act. Instead, her delicate body trembled and her pretty face looked straight at Su Jioga with a blushing face. Feeling the aura of the emperor's body, Lin Miaoi felt her heart beating rapidly. Seeing the emperor's face up close, he could see it ten thousand times more clearly than he had a few days ago. Handsome and evil, her eyes are like abyss, full of scorn and domineering unruly. Lin Miaoi actually slowly closed her eyes. It was just the unconscious trembling of her long eyelashes that revealed her inner restlessness. Isn't this pretty? Why do you have to show your face to others? Su Jioga smiled lightly and stood up. He said calmly, Get up. A ray of breeze blew by, and Lin Miaoi's stiff body was lifted up uncontrollably. Her legs were a little weak, her beautiful eyes were like jade beads, the stream of light was turning, and her voice was quieter than a mosquito. Thank you, your majesty the emperor. Seeing this scene, the elders were even more shocked. Could it be that the emperor's son was so affectionate because he was attracted to Lin Miaoi? Countless thoughts flashed through their minds. I became excited for a moment. Okay, if Lin Miaoi can really be favored by the emperor, then he will really take off once he becomes the holy sect. No one expected that the seemingly reckless woman in front of them, who had always hidden her appearance, could actually attract the attention of the emperor's son. Su Jioga stared at Lin Miaoi and pondered for a moment. His expression was calm and somewhat unpredictable. The protagonist of Destiny takes the initiative to serve himself. This was something he had never thought about. All along, he had subconsciously felt that since he was a destined villain, then all Destiny protagonists should hate themselves. Fire and water are incompatible. Lin Miaoi's appearance caught him off guard. What to do? Su Jioga became entangled. To be honest, Lin Miaoi's cultivation at the condensing sea realm cannot help him much and may even drag him down, even if she is destined. Moreover, as the protagonist of Destiny, she has her own destiny. Su Jioga said secretly in his heart, System, what's going on with this destiny protagonist? Ding, the host has a domineering spirit, so it is normal for the protagonist of destiny to be unable to resist it, my dear. Su Jioga twitched the corner of his mouth. Are you very happy now? Do you have all the information about the protagonist of destiny? Return to the host, consume 1,000 villain points, and view the complete personal information of the protagonist of Destiny. Oh? In order to know more clearly what is going on, Su Jioga spent 1,000 villain points without hesitation. All the information about Lin Miaoi appeared before his eyes. Name? Lin Miaoi Identity. Protagonist of Destiny. Disciple of the Ascension Holy Sect. Newly added EH. 17 newly added. Character. Yandra. Stubborn. Hateful Realm. 5th level of sea condensation realm newly added e-physique. Red lotus divine body, not awakened. A body with thick accumulation and thin hair. Once awakened, the color of the world will change. It is born with the red lotus divine fire, which can burn and refine all things. It is the master of flames. The perfect red lotus divine body and its dual cultivation can gain a lot of cultivation and the truth of heaven. 3000 rank 34th among the divine bodies. Kung Fu, Red Fire Technique, Feathering Heart Sutra, Qing Feng Step, Newly Added E Treasure, Huan Yu Wuxia Newly Added, Life Experience, Abandoned by His Father Since Childhood, Mother and Son. The two depended on each other for life. When their mother died when they were 10 years old, they hid their appearance and worked hard to avenge their mother. They searched for their biological father and asked for an explanation. They hated men extremely. Current Luck Value. 
12,000 such a harsh life experience is very suitable for the protagonist of Destiny. But what's up with this Yandera and her extreme hatred of men? Su Jyoga was stunned. He looked at Lin Miaoi, who looked uneasy, strangely. It has nothing to do with hatred at all. There is obviously no problem with the system information. In the end, Su Jyoga could only attribute it to Lin Miaoi working for him and wanting to avenge his biological father. Red Lotus Divine Body. He thought for a while and said, System, is there anything in the mall that can activate her Red Lotus body in advance? Ding, back to the host, the creation Tongxin pill. Can activate any hidden special body. Disadvantage, if you don't have a physical constitution, taking it has no effect. Villain points required. 3,000 do you want to redeem? So much? Su Jyoga exchanged a piece of creation Tongxian pill with some distress. After redeeming the creation Tongxian pill, he looked at Lin Miaoi and said calmly, Your current strength is still too weak. Lin Miaoi was startled when she heard this and suddenly felt lost. He lowered his head unwillingly, suppressed the discomfort in his heart, and spoke slowly. I understand. Lord Emperor, it's Miaoi's wishful thinking. She knew that with her cultivation in the sea condensation realm, she was considered the lowest existence in the Yuhua Holy Sect. Not to mention that the person in front of him is the emperor of the Su family who has the highest status in the world. The elders also sighed when they heard this. Alas, what a pity. Seeing that Lin Miaoi was disheartened, Su Jiuga found it interesting and started to smile. You get discouraged so easily. How do you follow this emperor's son? What? What the emperor meant? Lin Miaoi's beautiful eyes became extremely stunned, and she looked up at Su Jyoga in disbelief. Su Jyoga's face was calm. With a wave of his hand, a storage ring floated quietly in front of Lin Miaoi. He spoke. Whenever you reach the Divine Machine Realm, you will come to the Su family of the Imperial Clan of the Holy Emperor Realm. Lin Miaoi was confused. This happiness really came too suddenly. She didn't even recover for a while. The elders of the Yuhua Holy Sect were trembling with excitement. The great elder knelt down with a plop and said with extremely bright eyes, Miaoi, why don't you quickly thank the emperor for his grace? Lin Miaoi nodded numbly. Su Jyoga glanced at the great elder and said calmly, Your Ascension Holy Sect has produced a pretty good disciple. Opportunities are often obtained by oneself. Just like Lin Miaoi, if she hadn't taken the initiative to come, she might have missed it. The identity of the protagonist of Destiny is Lin Miaoi's own bargaining chip. Even she herself didn't know this. After saying this, Su Jyoga turned around and rode on the roar of the Supreme God. It turned into a golden light and left this world. When leaving, Ing Lao took a deep look at Lin Miaoi on the ground. His eyes flickered and he spoke in a deep voice. Lin Miaoi, since the Emperor awakened from the ancient divine source. You are the first follower the emperor has received. Although I don't know why the emperor did this, I will never accept you for no reason. This is my secret order. You must not disappoint the emperor. Shadow. The old man flicked his sleeves and threw out a black and gold token. Several ancient ferocious beasts are carved on it, with the eye-catching word shadow engraved in the center. Su family shadow guard. Then Ing Lao disappeared and followed Su Jyoga. The first one. These three words echoed in the hearts of everyone in the venue. The elders looked at Lin Miaoi in disbelief. The first follower of the emperor's son. I, the Ascension Holy Sect, really got lucky this time. Miaoi, I don't care why you hid your appearance before. But now, with the protection of the emperor's son, you can truly ascend to heaven alone. I, the Yuhua Saint Sect, are really going to rise. The followers who can be recognized by the emperor's son are even more important than the entire Yuhua saint. Zong's effectiveness as the emperor's son is even higher. The elder's face turned red, and he looked excitedly at Lin Miaoi who was still a little distracted and said, Miaoi, from today on, you are the only true disciple of this elder. Lin Miaoi ignored the voices from the outside world. Instead, he looked at the storage ring in his hand with a look of obsession. This dot was given to me by the emperor's lord? Her breathing was a little rapid, and her hands couldn't help but clench the storage ring. In my heart, a seed was secretly planted. From now on, anyone who dares to go against the emperor's son will be his enemy. 
She will do whatever it takes to clear all obstacles for the emperor. Lin Miaoi raised her head, her pretty face looking up in the direction where the emperor's son was leaving with a pious expression. Murmured, My lord, I will never let you down. There was a huge crowd of people, and many disciples were waiting here with excitement and anxiety. The elders of the sect were chatting and laughing with the sect leader, sitting above the martial arts stage, witnessing the competition between the geniuses of the sect one after another. The scene was very lively with everyone fighting against each other. The whole sect is in good condition and full of high fighting spirit. Because today is the sect competition held once every 10 years by the Wuji Immortal Sect. Not only can they improve their sect status and receive valuable rewards, but outstanding ones can be favored by the elders and accepted as true disciples. Chuhi, I have been in seclusion for three years just for today. Today, I must defeat you. Humph, you were my defeated general before, and it is the same today. I wonder if I can hope to enter today? Door, I didn't expect that senior brother Lee has such a level of cultivation now. It's really intimidating to us. The disciples started talking. Lai Qianyong, the leader of the Wuji Immortal Sect, looked at the fiercely competing disciples below with a smile. Apparently, he was in a very good mood. He laughed boldly. It seems that the competition among my Wuji Immortal Sect disciples is also very fierce this year. An elder praised with a smile while stroking his beard. It's all due to the wisdom of the sect master. Our Wuji Immortal Sect is flourishing under your leadership, sect master. This year's talented disciples are emerging in endlessly. I wonder if the sect master has a favorite disciple to choose? Ha ha ha, Lai Qianyang said. He laughed. This flattery obviously touched his heart. He said in a good mood. It's just the beginning of the day, and the talented disciples in the sect are still hiding. These boys are much better than I used to be. An elder beside him said with a smile. This is a good thing, sect master. There is fierce competition among the disciples. Only outstanding juniors can make our Wuji immortal sect stronger. It seems that I and these old bones can abdicate as soon as possible. I heard that Elder Lu's disciples are there is a disciple who is extremely outstanding, and his cultivation has already reached the realm of unity at a young age. Why don't you bring such an outstanding disciple to me, Elder Lu? Hearing this, all the elders turned towards him. A woman with a cool temperament in a white dress looked over. The woman's temperament is cold, like an iceberg that has not melted for thousands of years, rejecting people thousands of miles away. It's just that her beautiful face is so stunning. A pair of alluring red lips are like fire, her thin eyebrows are as curved as willow leaves, and her beautiful eyes are as calm and peaceful as a cold spring. Her skin is like cream, and her figure is plump and concave, as if she is plump and juicy at the moment, just like a peach. Sitting beside him, Song Tsong Yu gracefully picked up a cup of tea and drank it into his mouth. Every move he makes is full of aloofness. A trace of desire flashed in the eyes of many elders. This is the most beautiful elder of the Wuji Immortal Sect, and the dream lover of almost all disciples, the ninth elder, Lu Qingyan. Lu Qingyan remained calm, her beautiful eyes slightly lowered, and she slowly spoke. My disciple, I won't bother the elders to worry about you. The voice was like jade beads falling on a plate, clear and moving. It would be better if there was some emotion involved. My personal disciple is participating this time just to avenge his previous shame. If your disciple doesn't come, how can it be done? Lu Qingyin said calmly with a calm face. It will be the same a few more times. The elder's face changed and he sneered. That's not necessarily the case. The scene was filled with a strong smell of gunpowder. Sect leader Lai Qinyang laughed loudly when he heard this, raised his hand and said, Ha ha ha, competition among disciples is a good thing. Elder Lu, since you have such a talented disciple, don't hide it. Let the boys below take a good look at it, so that they can be motivated. For the sect leader Lai Qinyang, Lu Qingyin was still very considerate and said with a slight nod, I understand. It's still early now. My disciple should be here soon. Lai Qinyang nodded and didn't pay too much attention. After all, as a genius, you should have some pride of your own. At this moment, a disciple hurriedly came forward to report, Lord Sect Master, 
Lai Qianyang saw that the other party was covered in sweat and looked very hurried. He raised his eyebrows and said with some doubts, Um, what's the matter? Why are you so panicked? What have I warned you all the time? When encountering any situation, you will be shaken by the collapse of your eyes without changing your expression, and your mind will be bright and open-minded. The disciple glanced at the elders and raised his eyebrows. He cupped his hands and said in a deep voice, Sir, Sec Master, there are two people outside the door asking to see you. I want to see you, Sec Master. Seeking? Lai Qianyang waved his hand impatiently and said, Who is it? No, today is the grand competition of our Wuji Immortal Sect. If anything happens, let them come back the next day. After hearing this, the disciple hesitated for a while and then continued with a strange expression. But the other party, if you have something to say, say it quickly. Seeing the disciple hesitating, the elder on the side scolded him with an unpleasant look on his face. Disciple. The other party said they were from the Su family of the imperial clan. One of the young men with blonde hair and a ferocious beast also claimed to be the emperor's son of the Su family. What did you say? Like Hianyanji I hearing this, he was so frightened that he jumped up from his stool. Emperor of the Su family? Why didn't you tell me about such an important thing earlier? These words almost scared him out of his wits. A few days ago, the ancestors of the Wuji immortal sect went to the end of the Boundary Sea to pay homage to the Emperor Wuxur and his son. After coming back, he passed the portrait of the emperor to all the senior officials of Wuji immortal sect. With such an existence, even the ancestor is like an ant in front of others. How can their Wuji immortal sect be able to offend him? Lai Qianyang was in a good mood, but suddenly he panicked. Not only him, but also all the elders looked shocked. What? He's actually the emperor's son of the Su family? But the emperor fell monster who broke the seal from the ancient divine source a few days ago? Among these heavens, there is only one emperor, Wu Shi Great Emperor. Do you think there can be other emperors? Listening to the excitement of the elders, Lu Qingyin's beautiful eyes twinkled. The emperor's son of the Su family. Where is the emperor's lord? Lai Qi and Yangu stared at the disciple with his eyes wide open. The disciple had never seen anything like this before and said quickly, just outside the door. Lai Qianyang said nothing and instantly turned into a stream of red light and disappeared from the place. Following closely behind were a group of elders who looked at each other. The sect leader is gone. What should I do with this sect competition? Competition? The emperors of the Su family are here, and you don't go to greet them. Why don't you just compete? Didn't you see that the sect master is gone? I, it's better to go quickly, otherwise it will be over if you make that adult angry. Seeing the elders leaving in a hurry, the disciples who were still in the middle of the competition looked a little confused. Su Joga lay lazily on the supreme god's roar, with his blonde hair hanging down and his appearance unruly. Ing Lao's face turned darker and darker. He said coldly, This Wuji immortal sect is quite a big deal. I dare you to wait outside, my son. Su Jioga stood up slowly, stretched, and said with a smile, Ing Lao, after all, this emperor came to visit unexpectedly. It's understandable that they don't know the news. My Su family, we still need to be polite. As soon as he finished speaking, several words came from the horizon. The streamer fell to the ground. When they saw Su Jioga, all the elders couldn't help but be slightly startled. He is handsome and evil, with long golden hair shawl, majestic and tall figure, domineering temperament, and eyes filled with the scorn and pride of a superior. None of them had ever seen such a magnificent genius. The emperor's son of the Su family. Lai Qianyang recognized Su Jioga at a glance. He quickly led a group of elders to greet him. Lai Qianyang, the leader of the Wuji immortal sect, led a group of elders to welcome the emperor's son. The emperor's son. The elders shouted one after another. Lai Qinyang's heart was pounding. My lord, why are you here? Why didn't you tell me to wait, so that I could bring my disciples and elders to pick you up? Su Jioga said lightly. I just stopped by to take a look. Ding. The presence of the heroine of destiny has been detected here. The presence of the heroine of destiny has been detected here. Note. Not the protagonist of Destiny, but the heroine in Destiny protagonist, oh? So fast? Su Jioga was slightly surprised. 
He originally thought he would have to look for it for a while. In this case, it's easy to handle. His eyes stayed on Lu Qingyan. After all, she was the only woman in the audience. Although he has seen many women like this, since he is a destined woman, he still has to take a good look at her. Name? Lu Qingyan Identity, Destiny Heroine, Ninth Elder of Wuji Immortal Sect Realm, Seventh Level of Virtual God Realm Physique, Foxy Divine Body E Complete, High Understanding of Heaven and Earth, Excellent Cauldron, Sensitive Constitution, Yuan Yin can greatly improve the opponent's cultivation level, Kung Fu. Miao Xian Heart Sutra, Frost Sword Technique, Ji Ling Frost. Current Luck Value, 7000 Foxy Divine Body? Su Jioga was stunned. Looking at the cold tempered heroine of destiny in front of him, he couldn't help but think of a certain witch from the Emperor's Fall era. The two of them are equally beautiful, but why do they have completely different painting styles? If it weren't for the system being able to check the other party's information, Su Jioga would never have believed that the destined heroine in front of him would be a fox like goddess. Among the crowd, Lu Qingyin felt the emperor's unabashedly aggressive and domineering gaze in front of him. She was already a little sensitive, and her delicate body couldn't help but tremble slightly. Most people looked at her with lustful eyes, which disgusted her. But for some reason, she didn't see desire in the eyes of the emperor in front of her. It was just as if he was admiring something. She couldn't help but lower her head. Ying Lao looked at Lai Qinyang coldly from the side. Are you the sect leader of the Wuji Immortal Sect? Lai Qinyang replied respectfully. Senior. Yes. Mr. Ying said. Huh. Your disciples of the Wuji Immortal Sect are so majestic. They blocked me, the emperor of the Su family, from outside. Could it be that you don't take my Su family seriously? Lai Qinyang looked shocked when he saw this and hurriedly explained. The disciples in the sect are blind and don't know the identity of the emperor's son. I hope the emperor's son will atone for his sins. He regretted it. He had known that he would also pass on the portrait of the emperor's son to the disciples for viewing. I have long heard that the monsters in the imperial clan are all arrogant, but I don't know if the emperor in front of me will magnify this matter. New Book Bar Su Jyoga smiled lightly, waved his hand and said, It doesn't matter. It's just a trivial matter. That person was just doing things according to the situation. Those who don't know are not guilty. He resolved the matter lightly. After all, I came to Wuji Immortal Sect to find the protagonist of Destiny, so there was no need to do all this. As soon as he arrived, he was the first to discover the destined heroine. Such quick efficiency made Su Joga feel very good. At least there is a direction. Lai Qinyang heard that he was amnesty and hurriedly praised it. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, is so generous and generous, I really admire you. It is an honor for us, Your Majesty the Emperor, to condescend to visit our Wuji immortal sect. Please. Su Joga nodded and got down from the Supreme God's roar. He patted the Supreme God's roar and said lightly to Lai Qianyang, Master Lai, I'll ask your sect to take care of my mount. Lai Qianyang naturally understood, he said with a smile. This is natural. This is natural. He winked at an elder beside him. The elder understood and stepped forward, bowed in front of Su Joga, and looked at the huge roar of the Supreme God. The strong pressure coming from the Supreme God's roar made him shudder for a moment. But there was no other way, the sect leader ordered, so he had to bite the bullet. He tiptoed to the side of Supreme God roar and murmured carefully, That, Lord Mount, let's go. The Supreme God's roar glanced at him, then opened his abyssal mouth and roared at the elder. A huge stream of air burst out of his mouth, carrying majestic majesty and domineering air. That elder was only at the level of the God King. He had never seen such a terrifying beast. His legs went weak, and he was almost scared out of his wits. Plop and he knelt down. What a big joke. The scene was a little quiet for a while. The Supreme God Roar raised his head proudly, full of disdain. Su Jioga was also stunned. He laughed and patted the head of Supreme God Roar, said with a hint of seriousness, Be quiet, don't be irrational. Seeing the Master's words, the Supreme God roared to the Elder's side. The Elder was so frightened that his whole body was numb, and he lay motionless on the ground. With this look, he won't be able to get up for a while. Su Jioga said, Master Lai, 
I'm really sorry. My mount has just been tamed and has a bad temper. Lai Qinyang glared at the elder on the ground fiercely. This useless piece of trash has brought such a huge disgrace to the Wuji immortal sect as soon as it came up. On the one hand, he was frightened by the emperor's mount in front of him, while Lai Qinyang waved his hands generously and smiled. Ha ha ha, what are you talking about, Emperor Zisama? The elders under my sect have never seen such a magnificent mount, and they lost their minds for a moment. That's it. I'll do it. At this point, he glanced at the elders behind him and said, You will lead the emperor's son to visit my Wuji immortal sect. Don't neglect it, understand? In order to avoid making a fool of himself again, the emperor's son looked down on his own Wuji immortal sect. Lai Qinyang had no choice but to take action himself. The leader of a sect personally came forward to lead the emperor's son's mount. I am afraid that only Su Jioga can enjoy such treatment. The elders looked at this scene with even more awe. Among the crowd, Lu Qingyin's beautiful eyes flashed, looking very surprised. Is it my own illusion? Why do I always feel that the emperor in front of me seems to be looking at me from time to time? I have to say that Su Juga's appearance is excellent. The dragon and the phoenix look handsome. Even his temperament is domineering and unparalleled. Coupled with such a noble status, there are basically few women in the world who can resist. Even Lu Qingyan, a woman who is as extraordinary as a fairy, can't help but feel good about her. The place he passed was empty, Su Jiuga said with some confusion. Why have you come all the way and never seen the disciples here? An elder beside him said with an attentive look, My lord, you don't know something. Today is the day of assessment for the disciples of my Wuji immortal sect. The geniuses of our sect are all in the martial arts field now. Oh, assessment? Su Jiogu raised his eyebrows, feeling a little more interested. Seeing that the emperor was interested, the elder said with a smile, Your Majesty, do you want to go and have a look? Su Jioga nodded slightly and said playfully, Then let's go and have a look. It's been so long in the world, and I still don't know what level the current geniuses are. The elder waved his hand and shook his head and said, Hey, it's just a fight among the inferiors. I can't stand your discernment. The other elders praised me one after another. Yes, your majesty the emperor. You are a monster from the emperor's fall era. The little guys in the sect will be under great pressure when they see you. The emperor's lord. Isn't that right? If they see you, the emperor's lord, I think those disciples will have no intention of competing. The elders had humble smiles on their faces and were extremely respectful. However, Lu Qingyin was the only one who didn't speak much and seemed a little out of place in the crowd. As if he just noticed it, Su Jiaga looked at Lu Qingyin and said, This is... Lu Qingyin was startled and seemed a little overwhelmed when the emperor suddenly asked him. The elders looked over and couldn't help but sigh. It's good to be born with a good skin. Everyone desperately wanted to make their presence felt in front of the emperor. Fortunately for Lu Qingyin, he was noticed by the emperor's son without even saying a word. An elder introduced with a smile. Your majesty the emperor, this is the ninth elder of my Wuji immortal sect, named Lu Qingyin. She is a cold and charming flower of my Wuji immortal sect. Elder Lu, I haven't met the emperor's sect yet. The great elder said. Said. Lu Qingyin didn't like the gazes of so many people. She glanced at Su Jioga with her beautiful eyes. He found that the other party was also looking at him with a smile. Su Jioga suddenly understood, without any airs, and said with a warm face. That's right. He nodded in praise. I was blind before, and I didn't notice such an iceberg beauty among the crowd. If such frivolous words were said by others, I would definitely not give them a good look. But just now Lu Qingyin clearly felt it. The emperor of the Su family looked at him openly and unabashedly. More than just one glance. But why do you say you just discovered yourself? This made Lu Qingyin unable to help but speak. I am nothing more than the beauty of a willow tree. Among my disciples, there are countless women who are more beautiful than me. I can't stand your eyes. The tone was calm and soothing, although there was no closeness. But by no means alienated. This made many elders slightly surprised. Elder Lu usually cherishes his words like gold, but today he unexpectedly said so much. Snort. Sure enough, 
Even the noble and cool Elder Liu could not resist the temptation in front of the emperor's son. Some elders thought to themselves. Su Jioga raised his eyebrows upon hearing this and walked forward with a smile, coming to Lu Qingyan's side, said, Oh, according to Elder Liu, there is an even more stunning woman in this Wuji immortal sect? Su Jioga had an extraordinary figure, a majestic figure, and a head of flowing dazzling blonde hair hanging on his shoulders. Just standing there needs to be looked up to. New book bar heart suit. He lowered his head and looked directly at Lu Qingyin's cold and stunning face without any hesitation. There was a nice faint fragrance coming from the tip of my nose. The plump and deep ravine on the chest can be clearly seen. Lu Qingyin slowly raised his head when he saw Su Jioga's aggressive eyes. The beautiful eyes couldn't help flashing with a hint of anger, and a little bit of shame and anger. Her graceful figure took a step back and did not answer Su Jioga's question. Instead, she spoke softly and cautiously. My lord, please respect yourself. Su Jioga laughed loudly. The emperor's eyes were full of amusement, which was quite novel. He said with a smile, Elder Liu is full of personality. I have just come to your sect, and there are still many things that I don't understand. I wonder if Elder Liu can give me a favor and introduce him to me? Lu Qingyin was stunned. It seems that he did not expect that the emperor would say this. The elders looked on and were jealous. I just hate that I am not a woman. They even wanted to agree directly on behalf of Lu Qingyan. After all, being able to serve the emperor's son is not an opportunity that ordinary people can get. Seeing Lu Qingyan's hesitation, several elders felt itchy with hatred. He roared in his heart. Say yes quickly. Lu Qingyan pondered for a moment. She didn't speak, but she didn't refuse either. Ying Lao frowned at the side and was about to speak, but was stopped by Su Jioga raising his hand. Su Jioga glanced at him and shook his head. After all, he planned to boil the frog in warm water for this destined heroine, so he would take his time. It seems that Elder Liu is not very willing. Su Jioga took a step forward and said lightly, The distance between the two of them is almost close to touching each other. Feeling the breath coming from Su Jioga's body, this caused a trace of crimson to appear on her snow-white skin, which was already sensitive due to her foxy body. Lu Qingyin's legs closed unconsciously, and there was no way to retreat. In all my years of practice, I have never encountered such a domineering man. She, who had always been calm and calm, suddenly disrupted the formation. In the end, he could only whisper helplessly. It all depends on the emperor's orders. Su Jioga smiled. He knows. To deal with this type of woman, generally speaking, you should approach slowly to gain her favor. But that's something only a destiny protagonist would do. What's more, he didn't feel any rejection from Lu Qingyan. Su Jiaga lowered his head, leaned into Lu Qingyan's ear and said, You have a good figure. However, it's better to wear more clothes. I don't like it. After saying this, he ignored the expression of disbelief on Lu Qingyan's beautiful face. Su Jiaga laughed and turned around and walked forward. The elders stared at this scene blankly looking at each other for a moment. Lu Qingyin took a while to react. I was actually being treated lightly. Her expression, which had remained unchanged for thousands of years, finally had a slight change. The Taoist heart that had been silent for hundreds of years was a little restless. A hint of blush appeared on her cheeks, and her beautiful eyes seemed to have melted the glacier, turning into blue waves. Gritting his teeth, he looked at Su Jioga ahead. Shameless person. Lu Qingyin cursed secretly in his heart. She looked a little embarrassed. She never expected it. This seemingly mighty, domineering, and dazzling emperor of the Su family turned out to be such a prodigal. Although she felt disgusted in her heart, her jade hands like white lotus roots unconsciously pulled up the skirt and tube top on her chest, covering the deep and charming ravine. It's so elastic that it seems like it's about to pop out from between the tube top. Led by a group of elders, they arrived at the martial arts arena. The thousands of disciples in the martial arts field looked surprised when they saw the elders coming back. Elders. It's the elders who are back. Huh. Where's the sect master? Why don't you see the sect master coming back? But soon, they discovered the extraordinary looking and blonde Sujoga among them. After all, 
With his long golden hair and tall and majestic figure, he is really eye-catching. The elders followed Su Jioga with flattering expressions on their faces and kept talking about something. Su Jioga, on the other hand, was expressionless and nodded from time to time. The disciples in the Wuji Immortal sect were all shocked when they saw this. What a handsome young master! Which senior fellow from our Wuji Immortal sect is he? A female disciple said in a nymphomaniacal manner with eyes like stars. Why are the elders so respectful? Who is that person? He looks like he has a high status. Oh my god, am I reading that right? Why are the usually so majestic and punishing elders acting like a coward? Disciples there was a lot of discussion, and it seemed very unbelievable. A disciple screamed. Ah, uh, Elder Lu. Elder Lu, the goddess in my dreams. Doesn't she hate men the most? How come she is so close to that man? Humph. There is also a goddess in my dreams. Didn't Elder Lu take one in? Male disciple? You may not know what happened. Can Sun Yin's appearance compare with this young master? It's just that his talent is better. I don't believe that Elder Lu can like him. I think so. Maybe this person has something to do with Elder Lu. Lu Qingyin frowned as he listened to the voices of the disciples. Su Jioga glanced around casually, but did not find the protagonist of destiny. Didn't it say that the disciples of the Wuji Immortal sect will all participate in the martial arts field today? Why didn't they see the protagonist of destiny? He thought with some doubts. After hearing what one of the disciples said, Su Jioga's eyes lit up. He looked at Lu Qingyin, who was expressionless, and said with a smile, Elder Lu, do you have a male disciple? Lu Qingyin nodded slightly. There is a man named Sun Yin. She said calmly. As if she was afraid that Su Jioga would misunderstand, she quickly added, Sun Yin has outstanding talent, and he is the genius of my Wuji immortal sect. Because he helped me before, I accepted him out of kindness. There is nothing between him and me. Why should I please the emperor? Don't think too much, sir. Su Jioga raised his eyebrows and said with a smile, I didn't ask these questions. Why, judging from what Elder Lu meant, could it be that he cares about what this emperor thinks? Lu Qingyin was startled and quickly realized that something was wrong with what he said. Her beautiful eyes looked at him angrily but said nothing. Su Jioga didn't care, but said, Where is your disciple? Is he also present? Lu Qingyin opened her red lips and said softly, He is still in seclusion. If we count the time now, it is almost here. Su Jioga nodded, and in a few words, he made a close guess. The disciple Su Yin mentioned by Lu Qingyin. If nothing else, he is the destined protagonist in the Wuji Immortal Sect. It's quite interesting. Su Jioga's eyes became a little playful. He looked at Lu Qingyin's plump and beautiful curves wantonly. Master and Disciple Looking at the current situation, our destined protagonist is not progressing particularly smoothly. Let me do it. One of the elders on the side came to the martial arts stage and said to the disciples, Today, our Wuji Immortal sect is lucky enough to be favored by this distinguished master and come to our Wuji Immortal sect. It really makes our sect proud. Sir? The disciples said strangely, Who needs all the elders and sect leaders to come and greet you? 69. Do you think it could be the blonde and powerful young master? Hiss, everyone was shocked. Elder. Ahim, everyone, be quiet. The disciples became quiet. The elder continued. You are right. The person next to me is that lord. His identity is the emperor's son of the Su family of the imperial clan. Su Jioga. As soon as this was said, the whole audience was in an uproar. Although they were mentally prepared, many people were still shocked after the elders announced their identities. What? Someone from the Su family of the imperial clan? Or the emperor's son? How is this possible? The emperor's son is the emperor's son. Isn't there no emperor in the world anymore? Oh my god, it's really true. Is it fake? Even if he is not the emperor, his identity is still extraordinary, right? The news of the birth of Emperor Wuxer was only known to those with extremely high status in the sect. It is natural for these disciples not to know this news. The great elder of the Wuji Immortal Sect stepped forward and affirmed, There are so many that you don't need to know too much. As long as you know that this lord's identity is supreme, why don't you quickly pay homage to the emperor's son? The disciples were silent for a moment, 
and then shouted in unison, Greetings to the Emperor's son. The great elder smiled with satisfaction, stepped back to Su Jioga, and said respectfully, My lord, these are the juniors of my Wuji immortal sect. Su Jioga nodded. He stepped forward and looked at the disciples. He had a gentle smile on his face, and his voice was as gentle as jade, making people feel like a spring breeze. He spoke, You're welcome. I have always heard that the Wuji Immortal Sect is very powerful. Now it seems that the disciples under the sect are all talented and have good cultivation. I didn't know that I came here this time for a sect competition, but I ended up empty-handed. I didn't bring anything with me. Let's take these as rewards for this sect competition. At this point, Su Jioga waved his sleeves, and countless stars filled the air. With a wave of his hand, there were tens of thousands of immortal spiritual stones and many holy elixirs. Among them, there is a supreme level magic weapon. Such a generous gesture made the elders and disciples present stare with their eyes straight. Such rewards add up to more than all the rewards from his Wuji immortal sect. Many people were breathing rapidly, and their eyes were filled with excitement and excitement. This generous move immediately won the favor of a large number of disciples. Even Lu Qingyin, who had always been cold and cold, couldn't help but feel slightly absent-minded. After all, some of the elixirs even helped her a lot. Is this the emperor's son of the Su family? The elders were so excited that their ears turned red, and the eldest elder even said loudly, Did you all hear that? These things are just a drop in the bucket to the emperor. If you perform well in this set competition, there may be some outstanding ones who can win the favor of the emperor. Accept him as a follower. The future is very bright, with countless precious treasures and the pavement of the supreme magic weapon. At this moment, the disciples in the Wuji Immortal Sect burst out with unprecedented enthusiasm. Countless people were eager to try and shouted with high emotions. Understood. Such a sound even startled a young man with an ordinary face who was rushing over from a distance. The young man was dressed in Tsing Yi and looked ordinary. He was someone you couldn't find among the crowd. It is flying in midair. When I heard the noise coming from the martial arts field, Sun Yin was shocked and murmured with confusion on his face. Martial arts arena? What's happening? He didn't stop for too long, but speeded up. When I thought about being able to see Master, I felt a little excited. If Master knew my current cultivation level, I think he would be very happy. Sun Yin murmured with some anticipation. Little did he know that at this moment, the iceberg beauty master, whom he admired so much, was making tea with Su Joga upstairs in the martial arts arena. Su Joga was sipping tea while admiring the disciples of the Wuji immortal sect who were competing on the martial arts stage below. So uncomfortable and happy. Many of the female disciples below were not even interested in competing, looking at Su Joga with fascination. Sect leader Lai Qianyang also returned after settling the Supreme God's roar. He was a little frightened because he never thought that the Emperor's Mount was actually at the holy level. This level of cultivation is even higher than that of his sect leader. Lai Qianyang sat on his seat. Su Jioga took his previous seat and didn't care. Instead, he wiped his sweat and took a sip of tea. Looking at Lu Qingyin who was refilling tea for the Emperor, he said with a smile. Your Majesty, you are so lucky. I am able to have the Frosty Elder Lu of my clan personally serve tea. This kind of treatment is something that even I, the sect leader, have never enjoyed. After all, you, my sect, have face. Su Jioga raised his eyebrows upon hearing this, glanced at Lu Qingyin who had a calm face in front of him, and laughed. It seems that I am still the first person? Lai Qinyang could clearly see that the emperor seemed to be interested in Elder Lu. Echoed from the side. Ha ha ha, emperor, what are you talking about? It is Elder Lu's honor to serve the emperor with tea. You think so, Elder Lu? Lu Qingyin said nothing. Lai Qinyang felt a little lost in face and glanced at Lu Qingyin calmly. He knew Lu Qingyin's character, but who was this person in front of him? That is the son of the great emperor. So he secretly transmitted the message. Elder Lu, this is the son of the emperor. If you can be favored by the emperor's son, you will be very prosperous in the future. Lu Qingyin sat in his seat again, as if he had never heard anything and was indifferent. Lai Qinyang's face darkened, 
and he put the teacup in his hand on the table with some resentment. In order to avoid the scene being a little deserted, Lai Qinyang asked tentatively while chatting. I don't know what the purpose of the emperor's visit to my Wuji immortal sect this time is. Su Jioga took a leisurely sip and did not respond to the topic. Instead, his eyes lit up and he murmured, Good tea. Lai Qinyang was stunned, but he soon laughed loudly and said, This is natural. Sir Emperor, knowing that you are coming, I have specially prepared the enlightenment tea that has been treasured for a long time. This tea can not only increase one's understanding of the way of heaven, but also has a better chance of taking it under the unified state. Breakthrough. Wait. Speaking of this, Lai Qinyang was slightly startled, and he looked at Su Jioga, whose expression was calm and unruffled. No special reaction at all. This means that the emperor's son in front of him is at least in the Yuan Zhan realm? His pupils were condensed, looking a little unbelievable. According to what the ancestor said some time ago, this emperor's son is only 20 years old. Can he have the cultivation level of Yuan Zhan realm? Among the disciples competing under his Wuji immortal sect, the most outstanding ones were only at the Tao Palace realm. How terrifying is this talent? He is worthy of being the genius of the emperor's fall era. Lai Qinyang's face became even more odd. At this moment, a lot of movement broke out among the crowd below. Eh, look, isn't that Elder Lu's disciple, senior brother Sun Yin? Someone spoke, and everyone looked around. I saw a figure speeding towards me in the distant sky. Sun Yin's eyes lit up when he saw Lu Qingyin in the spectator seats. It's really senior brother Sun Yin. He is the most outstanding disciple of my Wuji immortal sect. He has cultivated to the Dao Palace realm at a young age. I don't know if he has broken through to the Gi realm after so many years. Senior brother Yuan, the disciple of the sixth elder, is also here. Do you think the two of them will fight in this year's sect competition? He must be ready to avenge his shame. Looking at the person in the air, Emperor Su Jioga narrowed his eyes slightly, checked Sun Yin's information. But when I saw Sun Yin's age, Su Jioga's pupil shrank. He's actually a 5,000-year-old destined protagonist? Name, Sun Yin Identity, Protagonist of Destiny, Direct Disciple of Wuji Immortal Sect Age, 5475 Character, Steady, Master Controlled, Resourceful Realm, Return to the First Level of the Realm Physique, Eternal Evergreen Body, The Years Are Long, and There Are No Boundaries for 10,000 Years. He Has a Long Lifespan. The increase in lifespan is several times that of people in the same realm. Ranked 19th among the 3,000 divine bodies. Kung Fu, Puro Xin Gong, Symbols of All Living Beings, Heavenly Secrets Tenju Formations. Treasures, Mountain and Sea Scrolls, Huayuan Gourd, Immortal Formation Flags. Life Experience, Cowherd Boy, originally the son of a villager in a small Dao domain, was killed by a monk fighting a magic family when he was young. After joining a small sect, his talent was extremely poor, and he was still in the body-refining realm after practicing for decades. At the age of 50, he successfully broke through to the Yuan building realm and found that his appearance had never aged compared to those of his peers. Due to his dull talent, he stayed in the Yuan building realm for 700 years without ever breaking through, but his lifespan actually exceeded that of a monk in the soul pill realm. Until he stayed in the Yuan building realm for a thousand years, even the ancestors of the sect died. In the end, after receiving some advice from an expert, I discovered that I had a special constitution and was immortal. He was ecstatic after losing the restriction of longevity. In order to save his life, he practiced steadily since then. It took him four thousand years to break through the Tao palace realm before he was forced to leave the Tao domain and join the Wuji immortal sect. Current luck value. 12,000 because of Sun Yin's specialness, he specifically consumed the villain value to view Sun Yin's complete information. Emperor Su Jioga's eyes flickered. He was originally thinking that, normally speaking, the protagonist of Destiny who is 5,000 years old would still be playing tricks. He has already achieved great success and is invincible in the world, so he might as well just let Dad take action. Fortunately, the Destiny protagonist's talent is extremely different and he has only cultivated to the first level of the returning realm at the age of 5,000 years. Is it an eternal green body? 
This kind of body has an extremely long lifespan and can live for a long time. His father's good friend, Emperor Changqing, relied on this physique to live from the age of the emperor to his death 20,000 years ago. It's just that this physique has no other effect at all except long life, except for the existence of the great emperor realm, which can see through the inner source, it looks no different from the mortal body. But unexpectedly, he would be mistaken for eternal life by this destined protagonist? How can there be such a good thing in the world? The corner of Su Jyoga's mouth raised slightly. This novel destiny protagonist actually made him quite interested. How to play well. At this time, Sun Yin still had no idea that he was already in Su Jyoga's mind. He landed in the auditorium and was shocked when he saw his most beloved master serving tea to Su Jyoga. His face was full of incredulity. I doubted I read that correctly. The master who has always been cold and holy is actually pouring tea for others. Sun Yin looked at Su Jyoga, his pupils shocked. Almost everyone had this look on their face when they saw Su Jyoga. Even the protagonist of Destiny is no exception. Without him, it was just because Su Jyoga's aura was too strong. That innate noble and arrogant temperament, coupled with his handsome and demonic face, and his head of long golden hair flowing like flames. Just sitting there makes me feel insecure and oppressive. He slowly stepped forward, bowed his hands towards the elders and sect leaders, and said respectfully, Master, sect leader, elder. I'm sorry, disciple is late. Lu Qingyin didn't seem to expect that his direct disciple would come so suddenly. I felt a little at a loss for a while. Lai Qinyang was obviously very satisfied with this disciple. He waved his hands and laughed, saying nonchalantly, Ha ha ha, you're here, Sun Yin. It's okay, it's okay. Compared to the sect competition, personal cultivation is more important. Sun Yin nodded and looked at the master and Su with some confusion. Jyoga asked, This is. Lai Qinyang suddenly understood and introduced with a smile. This, this is a distinguished guest from the imperial clan. The emperor's son of the Su family, Master Su Jyoga. The emperor's son is passing by our Wuji immortal sect, so he came to take a look. Just in time, I will introduce it to you. A moment. Having said this, Lai Qinyang turned to look at Su Jyoga. Your majesty, the emperor's son, this is Sun Yin, the genius of my Wuji immortal sect. Sun Yin, why don't you come to meet the emperor's son? It must be said that he is also a destined protagonist who has lived for more than 5,000 years. What scene have I never seen? Sun Yin's eyes were deep and old-fashioned, and he looked calm. Even if the person in front of him was an imperial clan adult, his expression did not change, and he raised his hands and spoke in a neither humble nor arrogant manner. I've met the emperor's lord. Lai Qinyang on the side nodded with satisfaction when he saw Sun Yin's unfazed look. However, Su Jyoga clearly saw a trace of vigilance and hostility in his eyes. The destined protagonist of the immortal stream is cautious. Su Jyoga thought to himself. Su Jyoga looked at him with amusement, nodded slightly, and said softly, It's indeed good. It's rare for someone to cultivate to the Gi realm at such an age. Even in the Emperor's Fall era, one sentence revealed his cultivation level. What? Return to one place. Lai Qinyang and a group of elders were overjoyed after hearing this and hurriedly investigated. After feeling it, Lai Qinyang's eyes couldn't help but be filled with joy. He even said three good words in a row. Okay, okay, okay. To be praised by the emperor's son and to be able to break through the Gi realm at such a young age. You are worthy of being the most outstanding genius of our sect. Sun Yin, you are very good. Elder Lu, you have recruited a good disciple for my Wuji immortal sect. Lu Qingyin's beautiful eyes were a little surprised, and she said lightly, It's Sun Yin's talent, but I didn't help him. Su Jyoga's eyes were a little strange when he heard this, and he couldn't help laughing. The most outstanding talent? 5,000 years old? I have been cultivating to the realm of unity since I was 10 years old. And when my father was 5,000 years old, he didn't even know how many years he had been in the great emperor realm. This speed of cultivation was indeed rare in the Emperor Luo era. Lai Qinyang waved his hands and smiled. Well, since you are out of seclusion, you still have to participate in this sect competition. Just think of it as a formality. 
You can see the supreme level magic weapon on the martial arts stage. Sun Yin looked over. His eyes suddenly became extremely hot. That is actually a piece of supreme level armor that is extremely rare and valuable in the world. He asked with bright eyes. Is this the reward for this sect competition? Lai Qinyang said with a smile. Ha ha ha. Exactly. This supreme armor is a gift from the emperor. You all must thank the emperor properly. After all, such a valuable treasure is rare in the world. Is it the emperor again? Sun Yin looked at Su Jioga. I saw him smiling and chatting with Lu Qing Yin. He couldn't help but secretly clenched his fists. Master. Su Jioga glanced at Sun Yin out of the corner of his eye and seemed to increase his intensity, pretending to touch Lu Qing Yin's jade hand accidentally. Ice is cool, soft and boneless. Lu Qing Yin's delicate body trembled. Her beautiful eyes looked a little ashamed and angry, and a trace of displeasure flashed across her beautiful face. But Su Jioga spoke. Elder Lu always refills the tea for me. Thank you for your hard work. Okay, I'll fill this cup for you. The elders around him cast envious glances upon seeing this. The emperor himself poured tea for him. What a blessing. Lu Qing Yin was stunned for a moment, a little confused. Could it be that I made a mistake? Was it just an unintentional act that the emperor touched him just now? After thinking about it, Lu Qing Yin could only understand that she had misunderstood. Su Jioga was so polite, modest, and decent that she couldn't help but look at him and said with some guilt, Thank you. Emperor Zisama. She held up the tea and drank it in one gulp. This made Sun Yin's eyes wide open. From his perspective, the beautiful master he respected the most was taken advantage of by the emperor in front of him. On the contrary, he remained indifferent. And the most disgusting thing is, what is that look of jealousy in the master's eyes? This feeling is like being NTR to someone's face. Sun Yin's state of mind, which he has been hiding for thousands of years, has not yet shown itself. He gritted his teeth and clenched his fists tighter. He raised his hand and excused himself. New book bar. Master, if nothing goes wrong, this disciple will go down to participate in the sect competition. Lu Qingyin then remembered that his disciple was still present. She was as pure and pure as before, as cold as 10,000 years of ice. He nodded slightly and said softly, Go. The different treatment between the two made an unknown fire surge in his heart. Sun Yin looked calm, nodded, and came to the martial arts arena. At exactly this moment, a discordant voice sounded. Sun Yin, you're finally here. I thought you were scared. I, Yuan Hong, have been waiting for this day for a long time. Not far from the martial arts field, I saw a tall, sturdy man the man came over. The man has a Chinese character face. His whole body is full of explosive muscles, and his limbs are strong and powerful. Even the blue Taoist uniform of Wu Ji Xianmen cannot cover up his physique, like a bloodthirsty beast in the jungle. He said with an unruly face and bloodthirsty eyes staring at Sun Yin, Today, I will definitely avenge my shame and make you my defeated general. It turned out to be this guy Yuan Hong. Sun Yin frowned. This person is arrogant and simple-minded. As soon as he entered, he defeated him and stood out. He has always been hated by him. Unexpectedly, today would come again. Sun Yin's eyes flickered. He could see that Yuan Hong had now broken through to the Dao Palace realm. Otherwise, he would not dare to challenge himself. But since you can break through, I am not the Sun Yin I used to be. Sun Yin raised his head and glanced at Su Jioga above. He looked at Yuan Hong in front of him again. Suddenly, his eyes lit up. It seemed like he thought of something. He smiled and said to Yuan Hong, It seems that I didn't defeat you in the previous battle. I am defeated. When Yuan Hong heard this, his face changed drastically, and his pupils were full of anger. He said, gearing up, That was before. Today, I will let you see how powerful I am. He has always regarded Sun Yin as his biggest enemy in life. Only by defeating this person can he become the number one in the Wuji Immortal Sect. Genius. Sun Yin chuckled, stared at him, and said slowly, Now that I have returned to the One Realm, do you think you will still be my opponent? What? You broke through? Yuan Hong looked at him in disbelief. Sun Yin nodded and continued, It's not that I don't want to compete with you again. 
It's a pity that my opponent is someone else. If you still want to compete with me, you can only wait until another day. Yuan Hong frowned and raised his voice. Great, he shouted. Who? Sun Yin looked at Su Jiuge above, and Yuan Hong followed his gaze. His pupils condensed, and he said, You mean the emperor's son? Oh, you know that too? Sun Yin was a little surprised. He nodded and said, Exactly, if you really want to defeat me, then you might as well go and compete with the emperor's son on the stage. He is a genius from the imperial clan. If you can defeat him, I will I will admit that I am not as good as you Yuan Hong. This is his purpose. Sun Yin, who has always been cautious, naturally cannot take action personally. It would be great if Yuan Hong could test the background of the emperor's son for him. No matter who it is, he will not let go of anyone who dares to covet his master. Sun Yin thought to himself. He wanted to see who this legendary emperor's son was. Yuan Hong looked strange when he heard this, and said with a look like a fool, Are you stupid, or am I stupid? Sun Yin was stunned. Why don't you follow the routine? Wouldn't it be normal for this stupid guy to challenge it? Yuan Hong. You want me to challenge the emperor's son? Although he is big and thick, he is not stupid. Sun Yin was a little confused when his idea was discovered. He smiled pretending not to care. He said with a helpless shrug, Then there's nothing we can do. I won't fight with you. After all, my pursuit is much higher than yours. After saying this, Yuan Hong clearly saw the disdain and contempt in Sun Yin's eyes. Yuan Hong was unhappy and said, Provoke me? Huh, just fight. I just happened to see the strength of the emperor's son. How can I, Yuan Hong, not be as good as you? Wait for me. Sun Yin breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, the result was good. I didn't expect this stupid guy to agree to it for such a reason. Yuan Hong hurriedly came to the auditorium and looked up at Su Jiuge above. Just by looking at it, you can feel its deep majesty and oppression. For a moment, a desire to retreat arose in my heart. But when I saw Sun Yin's disdainful gaze, Yuan Hong took a deep breath, bravely clasped his fists and shouted loudly, Your Majesty the Emperor, I am Yuan Hong, a direct disciple of the sixth elder of the Wuji Immortal Sect. I am here to ask for your advice, Your Majesty the Emperor. I hope the Emperor will give me a chance. As soon as these words came out, everyone was shocked. Everyone was dumbfounded. The sixth elder's eyelids twitched wildly for a moment, and the teacup in his hand shattered to the ground. At this moment, I even wanted to die. Su Jiuge's eyes narrowed slightly when he heard this, and he looked thoughtfully at Sun Yin, who was smiling. He slowly put down the cup in his hand and spoke with a joking and playful expression. Oh, you want to ask me for advice? Not only them, but also the disciples below were in an uproar. His senior brother Yuan, is he crazy? What is he going to do? Didn't you hear? He seems to want to challenge the emperor's son. Oh my god, the emperor's son is. My distinguished guest from the Wuji immortal sect. How dare he do that? Sun Yin couldn't help but grin. He never thought that this simple-minded guy would be able to help him one day. He looked at Su Jioga in the audience, only to find that the other person happened to be looking at him as well. That playful expression seemed to see through him directly. Sun Yin couldn't help but feel cold all over. His eyes were shocked, and he quickly lowered his head. Is it my imagination? Could it be that he was discovered by this person? He thought to himself in disbelief. Emperor Su Jioga had a smile in his eyes and he noticed the expression on Sun Yin's face that showed his treacherous plan had succeeded. Look at Yuan Hong below who doesn't look too smart. I probably understand what's going on. If I guessed correctly, this person was going to challenge me, and most likely he was bewitched by the protagonist of the immortal fate. Do you want to kill someone with a borrowed knife and test yourself with this person? Su Jioga thought secretly, but he was wrong. In the face of absolute strength, any conspiracy would seem ridiculous. Lai Qinyang was absent-minded for a while, then stared at Yuan Hong below angrily and said, Yuan Hong, do you know what you are talking about? Yuan Hong can be regarded as a famous genius in his Wuji Immortal Sect. Yuan Hong's master, the sixth elder of the Wuji Immortal Sect, also reprimanded. You rascal! You still can't shut up? What is your identity? What is your identity as the emperor's son? 
Yuan Hong said firmly with a stubborn look on his face. Master, sect master, please give this disciple this chance. Then he looked at Su Jioga and begged. Your Majesty the Emperor, can you give me some advice? Seeing that his direct disciple was not able to come in, the sixth elder became very angry. What kind of madness is this? The elders looked at the emperor's son worriedly, but he saw that Su Jioga's face was calm, without any disturbance, and he didn't seem to mean to blame. Yuan Hong, go back. Lai Chenyang's face was gloomy and he wanted to say something, but he saw Su Jioga raising his hand and saying with a smile, Master Lai, since my son was born, I have not fought with anyone of the same age for a long time. The disciples of the immortal sect are very brave. It is not a bad idea to give him a chance. He looked at Yuan below with a smile. Hong said in a calm and gentle tone. Lai Qinyang paused, and his face looked a little hesitant. How could he not understand what the emperor meant? It's just that Yuan Hong is only at the Dao Palace realm, and the noble emperor's son in front of him has the lowest cultivation level at the Yuan Zhan realm. The cultivation level between the two is as different as heaven and earth, and Yuan Hong is definitely no match. Isn't this asking for trouble? But since even the emperor agreed, he naturally couldn't say anything more. Instead, he looked at Yuan Hong with a displeased face and said coldly, You haven't thanked the emperor yet? Seeing the emperor's agreement, Yuan Hong's face lit up, and he clenched his fists excitedly and said, Thank you, Lord Emperor. Please give me some advice, Lord Emperor. It is definitely a rare opportunity to fight against the emperor of the imperial clan. Of course, most of it was because of Sun Yin, but there was also the fact that he himself wanted to challenge himself to see the gap between him and the monsters from the Emperor Luo era. New Book bar the sixth elder side and shook his head. Lu Qingyin's beautiful eyes flickered, and she was a little surprised that the emperor would agree to Yuan Hong's request. The elders and disciples present were also very curious about the strength of the emperor's son. Ying Lao was expressionless behind Su Jioga feeling very disdainful. A sect disciple also tries to challenge me, the emperor of the Su family? How ridiculous. Su Jioga took a sip of tea and said calmly, Your name is Yuan Hong, right? Yuan Hong. Yes, Lord Emperor. Su Jioga nodded slightly, looked at Elder Lu Qingyin and said, I would like to ask Elder Lu to add a new cup of tea. Lu Qingyin was stunned, not knowing what he wanted to do but he still poured another cup of tea honestly. When the cup of tea was filled, he was lifted up by a magical force. Floating quietly in front of Su Jioga, Su Jioga looked at the teacup filled with tea in front of him and said lightly, As long as you can catch this cup of tea, this emperor will lose in this competition. Of course, the same goes for crushing. His tone was calm, and he said the most arrogant words in an understatement. The elders looked at Su Jioga with astonishment after hearing this. This? The disciples below also looked shocked and said in disbelief. How is this possible? This is just an ordinary teacup. Senior brother Yuan Hong is a strong man in the Dao Palace realm. Is the emperor a little too confident? Even Sun Yin, the protagonist of Destiny, frowned, murmured, so conceited. Yuan Hong's face changed upon hearing this. He felt that the emperor in front of him was a bit humiliating to him. This is a bit too contemptuous of oneself. He spoke with some displeasure. Sir, are you serious about what you said? Su Jioga smiled lightly. Of course. Yuan Hong hesitated for a moment, nodded and said. Okay. He was ready to go, his eyes fixed on the cup of tea. The corners of Su Jioga's mouth raised slightly. The breath is so peaceful that one cannot even feel the flow of qi at all. I saw him gently flicking his hand, and a majestic force exploded. The cup of tea started spinning rapidly and disappeared from the spot in an instant. So fast, Yuan Hong's pupils shrank when he saw this, and he almost lost sight of the cup of tea for a moment. At this moment, he did not dare to be careless and mobilized all his energy when he caught the sound of tea. Yellow true energy as thick as the earth surged out and condensed in his fists. When the two came close, it was obviously just a teacup that was not big enough, but with the blessing of Su Jioga's power, in Yuan Hong's eyes, it suddenly became like a towering Mount Tai rumbling down. He seemed to have turned into a tiny ant. His breath was stagnant, and his face was filled with disbelief. 
Only those who face it directly can feel the horror. Yuan Hong was shocked and bit his lip to wake himself up. He shouted loudly and punched out. Break it. Suddenly, a huge roar sounded. Boom. The majestic power converged, and the terrifying power contained in it poured out like a tsunami, sweeping the entire place. Just a trace of leakage caused all the disciples to feel extremely frightened. Everyone's eyes stayed in that direction. But Su Jioga took a sip of tea slowly without even looking down. Yuan Hong was kneeling on the ground, his eyes dull and filled with deep fear. Ding! A clear voice sounded. The teacup, despite Yuan Hong's full attack, was intact and landed firmly in front of him. The tea in the cup was shaking. Not even a drop was spilled. The whole place was silent. Hiss everyone gradually widened their eyes and took a breath. Su Yin's pupils shrank and he rubbed his eyes in disbelief. Su Jyoga said lightly, This tea must be made by a beauty to have a special taste. The elders had shocked expressions, and only they could clearly understand. With such exquisite control, it was difficult to defeat Yuan Hong without causing any damage to the extremely fragile teacup. Even if it was Lai Qianyang, he couldn't help but be speechless. A huge noise suddenly erupted among the disciples below. Did I read that correctly? The emperor's cup of tea was intact? Look at that. Not even a drop of water was spilled. Is this a trick? Senior brother Yuan Hong even didn't even let the emperor know that you were defeated without even catching a move? What move? Did you see the emperor use his magical power? It's so powerful. What kind of cultivation does this emperor of the Su family have? He can actually do it. So strong? Lai Qianyang murmured. The strength of the emperor's son is really terrifying. He calmed down, looked at Yuan Hong below, and shouted, Yuan Hong, this is the result you want. Are you satisfied now? The sixth elder also said sadly, Yuan Hong, why don't you quickly thank the emperor for not killing him? These sounds reached Yuan Hong's ears. His consciousness gradually became clearer, and he stared blankly at the cup of tea on the ground. His whole body was shaking uncontrollably. If the emperor hadn't spared his hand, he would have fallen directly with that blow just now. At this moment, Yuan Hong's eyes were full of awe and fear, and he said in a hoarse voice, I dot lost, a cup of tea, defeating the genius of the immortal sect. This scene was so shocking that countless female disciples in the Wuji immortal sect looked flushed and excitedly looked at Su Jioga above. Su Jioga looked calm, as if in his eyes, this was just a trivial matter. He spoke slowly. This tea is the enlightenment tea of your Wuji immortal sect. Don't waste it. Yuan Hong's head was still buzzing. He picked up the cup of tea and said with great respect, Thank you, Lord Emperor. At this time, the system's voice sounded. Bite. Congratulations to the host for smashing the conspiracy of Sun Yin, the protagonist of Destiny. The other party is afraid and loses 200 luck points. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 200. Su Jyoga glanced in Sun Yin's direction. Sun Yin was extremely frightened at this moment. Yuan Hong, who was able to fight with him back and forth, never expected that he would not be the enemy of the Su family emperor's son. Years of living experience told him. This person is absolutely invincible. His eyes were uncertain, and an idea suddenly popped into his mind. Go. Right just keeping silent as before. As an immortal person, he has unlimited lifespan. As long as I live long enough, no matter who the emperor or the son of the emperor is, even the emperor himself can survive. Only the one who laughs to the end is the winner. Sun Yin kept comforting himself. His somewhat unstable Taoist heart calmed down a lot for a while. Just seeing the other person getting close to his master was an experience he had never had before, and it was extremely uncomfortable. The sixth elder apologized to Su Jioga. Your majesty, please don't take it to heart. The rebels don't know the heights of the world, and I have no intention of offending you. Su Jioga waved his hand nonchalantly and said with a smile, It's just a small matter, no problem. The sixth elder breathed a sigh of relief, his eyes twinkling. Although his disciple is usually arrogant, he is definitely not that arrogant person. Everyone knows today that the emperor's son has a distinguished status and is a distinguished guest of the Wuji immortal sect. Now that he came to challenge and collided with the emperor, 
Wouldn't it put the entire Wuji immortal sect in a dilemma? Fortunately, the emperor was not only merciful, but also did not blame him too much. Yuan Hong has a relatively straightforward personality, and maybe he was provoked by villains. The sixth elder thought to himself, those who can become immortal sect elders are without exception, they are all thoughtful people. The possibility quickly occurred to him. Staring at the lost Yuan Hong below, he spoke. Hong er, tell me, why did you come to challenge the emperor? Lai Qinyang frowned, looked at the sixth elder with some confusion, and asked. Sixth elder, what do you mean by this? The sixth elder said respectfully. Sir, my disciple is straightforward, but he is by no means a blind person. I suspect that there is something fishy about Yuan Hong's challenge to the emperor today. Maybe he wants to drive a wedge between our Wuji immortal sect and the relationship between the emperor and his lord. In order to excuse his direct disciple and prevent the sect leader from causing trouble later, he did not hesitate to exaggerate the matter. Upon hearing this, Lai Qinyang's pupils burst out with a captivating light, and he said in a deep voice, You mean someone is causing trouble? The sixth elder said, Exactly. Su Jioga was slightly stunned and looked at the sixth elder in surprise. I didn't expect that the elders of Wuji Immortal Sect could think of this. Why is it different from what I know? The corner of Su Jioga's mouth raised, showing a nice curve, and he looked at Lu Qingyan aside. But that's okay. Let your master take a good look at the true face of the protagonist of the Changsheng style. He is obviously a loser with extremely poor talent, but he lies about his age and pretends to be a genius in the Wuji Immortal Sect, occupying a lot of resources. Coupled with the scheming against fellow sect members, no matter which part of this is exposed, I'm afraid our Changsheng Ryu protagonist will not get any good results. Lu Qingyin noticed that Su Jiuga was looking at him with a smile. The extremely domineering scene before, coupled with the other party's handsome and evil face. Her heart actually fluctuated a little, and her chest rose and fell. She took a deep breath and shook off the strange thoughts in her mind. Lu Qingyin, what are you thinking about? He is an elder of the immortal sect. If we really talk about his age, he is hundreds of years older than the emperor's son. Bite. The destiny heroine Lu Qingyin's heart has fluctuated and the destiny protagonist Sun Yin has lost 300 destiny points. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 300. When he heard the system sound, Su Jioga was stunned, and his expression gradually became a little weird. What is going on? Is this woman thinking about something? Is it true that as the system said, his domineering spirit is so awesome? Why did he start cutting before he even started? Su Jioga felt a little baffled. However, this free villain value is still very delicious to hold. After Lai Qianyang had a conversation with the sixth elder, he frowned and nodded slightly. He looked at Yuan Hong below and spoke with a voice like thunder. Yuan Hong, come on, you came to challenge the emperor, but you were ordered by others? Sun Yin's expression changed and a bad feeling came out of his heart. Why do you ask this suddenly? When he heard this sentence, Yuan Hong suddenly remembered the scene that Sun Yin said before. If it hadn't been for him, he wouldn't have dared to challenge the emperor regardless of life or death. As if he noticed something, Yuan Hong's pupils condensed, and he turned his head full of hatred to look at Sun Yin, who had a guilty look on his face. At this moment, he finally reacted. All this is Sun Yin's purpose. He wanted to use himself to test out the emperor's strength so that he could easily challenge the emperor. You've been fooled. Are you plotting against me? Yuan Hong said angrily. Lai Qianyang, who was above him, frowned even deeper when he saw this, and he said coldly, What? Hurry up and say it. Yuan Hong took a deep breath and said without hesitation, Lord Sect Master, it's Sun Yin. All this is what that guy Sun Yin asked me to do. He glared at Yuan Hong in the distance with some anger in his eyes, unable to believe that the other party would confess him. Having lived for more than 5,000 years, although he was extremely talented, he believed that he could play everyone in the palm of his hand with his city. So deep down in his heart, there was always an inexplicable sense of superiority, able to hide age and even hide through entering the holy realm fierce dry sun. Mixed in the Ishian sect for decades undiscovered, obtained massive resources for cultivation, 
This kind of means and courage alone is not something that ordinary people can do. When they heard Yuan Hong's words, a number of elders above looked shocked. What did you say? They couldn't believe that the person who instigated was actually Sun Yin, the most outstanding disciple of the Wuji Immortal sect. Lu Qingyin's pretty face turned cold, and her voice was cold and she opened her mouth towards the sixth elder. Sixth elder, I have always heard that your disciple has some grudges with my disciples. But do you really think that the disciples of this seat are easy to bully? She also thought that Yuan Hong's words meant the sixth elder. As Sun Yin's master, he is naturally familiar with Sun Yin's character. He, a disciple, was gentle and friendly with others, and rarely had a conflict within the door. Definitely would not do such a thing. The sixth elder also reacted and sneered. Humph. This elder is not that kind of person who doesn't distinguish between right and wrong. Elder Lu, please don't be a filthy person at will. Lu Qingyin snorted coldly and said nothing. As a bystander, Su Jioga quietly watched the scene in front of her. He wanted to see what the destiny protagonist would do. Lai Qinyang frowned at hearing this and raised his hand to say, Okay, stop arguing. He looked at Yuan Hong below and said with sharp eyes, Yuan Hong, you have to understand that this sentence is not a trivial matter. I know you and Sun Yin have some contradictions in it, but if you dare to hide something or lie, can you know the consequences? It was about the emperor's son. This is no small matter. Don't look at the fact that Emperor Emperor was now so kind-hearted that he didn't say much, but he couldn't guarantee that he secretly wrote down the matter in his heart. If some of the great clans were arrogant and bad-tempered Tian proud demons, they would have long regarded them as the blasphemy and disrespect of the Wuji immortal sect to themselves. Lai Qianyang did not dare to neglect and decided to pursue the case to the end. Yuan Hong nodded seriously. He can be said to have hated Sun Yin completely now. He almost offended Emperor Emperor by using himself as a gun. Assured very firmly, Lord Sect, if what I, Yuan Hong, is false, I am willing to commit suicide here and apologize with death. If Sun Yin hadn't provoked me, I would never have done such an unwise thing. Apologizing with death? The disciples in the martial arts arena were frightened, and many of them whispered. Brother Yuan's words are too harsh, right? I did see Brother Su and Brother Yuan say something before. Could it be that Brother Yuan really didn't lie? I also saw that Brother Sun Yin should not be like this people. I dare not challenge Emperor Emperor, instead let Brother Yuan go first. Sun Yin was still very prestigious in the Wuji immortal sect, willing to help others, and strict with himself. The disciples said with a dubious attitude. Sun Yin's face was incomparably ugly. He didn't expect that this guy Yuan Hong could even say such a thing. He had already had a thousand explanations in his heart, but as soon as he said this, he almost confirmed that it was the reason why he instigated him. Lai Qianyang frowned tightly. He turned to look at Sun Yin in the distance and said in a deep voice, Sun Yin, come here. Sun Yin had a hard time and walked over. As much as he could, he appeared calm and unfazed by waves. He can hide it from others but he can't satisfy the party involved, Yuan Hong, and Su Jioga on the stage. Sun Yin arched his hands and spoke in a calm voice. Sect Master, the new book Bar 77, asked, Have you heard everything Yuan Hong said before? Sun Yin, I heard it. Lai Qinyang's voice became louder. Is everything he said true? Sun Yin was silent for a while and said nothing. Lu Qingyin above could not sit still, her red lips parted lightly and she opened her mouth. Sun Yin, you can speak with confidence and boldness. The teacher will preside over justice for you. Justice is in the heart. Uft. Su Jioga couldn't help but laugh. Lu Qing Yin looked over, frowned, and said in confusion, What do you mean by Lord Emperor? Su Jioga waved his hand. It's okay. You're busy. Sun Yin was in a dilemma at this time. He looked at the master in the stands. I was very confused. Master defends himself in this way, but he did it himself. How to explain it? My mind was spinning rapidly, and for a while I couldn't think of any good ideas. Yuan Hong looked at him coldly and sneered. Sun Yin, a manly man, dare to take action. Are you still a man? Sun Yin ignored him, but took a deep breath and said slowly, Sect Master, Elder, Master, I did say this. What? 
Seeing Sun Yin's admission, many elders were extremely surprised, and even Lai Qinyang didn't expect it. It turned out to be Sun Yin's doing. In their impression, Sun Yin has always been a very high disciple in terms of character and talent. How could you instigate others to do something that is harmful but useless to Wuji Immortal Sect? Lu Qingyin's delicate body trembled, and her beautiful eyes looked a little unbelievable. After being a master and apprentice for many years, it was like getting to know myself as a disciple all over again. There was only a deep look of disappointment in Sun Yin's eyes. Bite. Lu Qingyin, the heroine of Destiny, has a grudge, and Sun Yin, the protagonist of Destiny, loses 300 luck points. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value. 300. Su Jioga sat aside, sipping tea lightly, as if he was an outsider. The sixth elder heard this and sneered. I have known for a long time that this boy is definitely not a good person. Elder Liu, it seems that your disciple has disappointed you. Lai Qinyang's eyes flickered, and his eyes were as gloomy as water. Sun Yin, you bewitched Yuan Hong and offended the emperor. Why? Do you know that you are harming him? Sun Yin was a little afraid to look at the master. He seemed to have guessed that Lu Qingyin's a look of great disappointment. But if this matter is not explained clearly, Sun Yin's hard work for so many years will be in vain. It took a lot of effort even for him to be able to enter the Wuji Immortal Sect to this point. Sun Yin took a deep breath and slowly raised his head. His face was magnanimous, and he spoke righteously. I do want to challenge this emperor's son. The emperor's son has a noble status. He is a member of the Su family of the imperial clan. Who wouldn't want to challenge such a monster? Although I, Sun Yin, know that I am not as good as the emperor's son, I still can't hide my burning heart and want to face it. The true genius among all the heavens. Speaking of this, Sun Yin paused and spoke with emotion. I just talked to senior brother Yuan Hong a little bit more, but I didn't want senior brother Yuan Hong to misunderstand and misinterpret my meaning. Disciple, I have never had any other ideas. His words were sincere, and he looked like he was he is the victim. Lai Qinyang was stunned for a moment when he said this. Yuan Hong on the side heard this and his eyes widened. He glared at Sun Yin angrily and reprimanded. Jerk face. Don't confuse right and wrong, you guy. Didn't you ask me to challenge the emperor? Sun Yin shook his head sadly, as if he wanted to say something, but finally stopped. Senior brother Yuan. Hey. The sixth elder was furious. What a sharp-tongued person. You will turn this black thing into white. Lai Qinyang's eyes flickered, and he fell silent. He can probably understand Sun Yin. A true genius has fighting spirit and dares to challenge. Even if he faces an emperor, he is willing to fight. The Taoist mind is persevering, which is a good thing. But the man in front of him is the emperor's son of the Su family after all. For a moment, he was in a bit of trouble. This. Lu Qingyin's face looked a little better. Su Jiuga glanced at Sun Yin below in surprise. Good guy. He can really act. He avoided the important matter and ignored the instigation. He didn't mention it at all, but on the contrary, he gained a good impression. If he were an ordinary person, he might have been fooled by Sun Yin. He is not afraid of power and even looks up to him in his heart. Su Jiuga's eyes became a little playful. Such a thoughtful and destined protagonist. It's quite interesting. Since you like acting so much, I'll have some fun with you. Lu Qingyin glanced at Su Jioga apologetically, bowed and said, Your Majesty the Emperor, since it was my disciple's fault, as master, I apologize to you, the Emperor's son, on behalf of Sun Yin. She came to Su Jioga and bowed slightly. Perhaps it was because the white rabbit being squeezed on her chest was too big. The tube top that had been lifted up before inadvertently slipped down a little. A flash of snow white pink actually jumped out from it, revealing deep ravines. Happy together. It does seem sincere. As if she felt something, a trace of blush flashed across Lu Qingyin's beautiful face, and her jade hands quickly pulled up her chest. Su Jioga smiled lightly. It's not a big deal at all. Lu Qingyin didn't believe it. The superior person is moody, and if he says this, he may not hold any grudge behind his back. Her red lips parted slightly, wanting to say something else. But Su Jiuga saw through her thoughts. Said softly, If Elder Lu is really sorry, you might as well agree to a condition for this emperor. 
Lu Qingyin was stunned. What? Su Jioga raised his hand mysteriously. Lu Qingyin was a little confused. Seeing this, Su Jioga simply bowed his head to her ear, opened his lips slightly, and whispered something. At night, Lu Qingyin's delicate body trembled when she heard this, and her pink ears instantly turned red. Shock and anger flashed in her beautiful eyes, and her beautiful face turned red as she stared at Su Jioga closely. Please respect yourself, my son. Su Jioga obviously found it very interesting to tease the heroine of destiny, and he raised the corner of his mouth and said with a smile, Since Elder Lu has not denied it, then I, the emperor, must have agreed. Lu Qingyin stamped her feet angrily, and she calmed down. No words were spoken. She returned to her former iceberg beauty appearance and returned to her seat. An elder beside him asked curiously when he saw this, Elder Lu, what did the emperor say to you? Lu Qingyin said coldly, It has nothing to do with you. On the other side, seeing that the emperor didn't want to pursue anything, Lai Qianyang, who had been thinking for a long time, finally spoke. Sun Yan, I think you are just a young man with a young mind and don't know the bounds of heaven and earth, and the emperor is magnanimous, so I will spare you this time. But whether you did it unintentionally or intentionally, you have offended the emperor after all. You will be punished by deducting the training resources provided by the sect for five years. After the sect competition, you will go to the Hall of Merit and Punishment to receive your punishment. After careful consideration, this is almost the best result. Fortunately, nothing major happened. With five years of training resources and Sun Yin's strength, as long as he can win first place in this sect competition, he will definitely be more than capable. Although Lai Qinyang thought so, Sun Yin was different. When he heard that he had been punished with five years of training resources, his expression suddenly changed. Five years? The reason why he came to Wuji Immortal Sect was because of the benefits of the sect here. My own talent is extremely poor, but to be able to cultivate to this point, how much cultivation resources have been consumed. The resources he needs alone are almost as much as those of dozens of disciples combined. Sun Yin's face was gloomy and uncertain, which was a bit difficult to accept. When he arrived, his cultivation level had actually reached the ninth level of the Dao Palace realm. In order not to expose his talent, he would reveal some of it every other year, so that outsiders would look worthy of the name of genius. It took ten years to break through from the ninth level of Dao Palace realm to the first level of Gi realm. If resources are cut off now, I will definitely not be able to maintain the lead in cultivation for many years to come. This is what he doesn't want to see. Seeing that Sun Yin didn't speak, Lai Qinyang frowned and said in a deep voice, How? Are you dissatisfied with my sex punishment? Sun Yin finally realized and said quickly, No, I am willing to accept all the sex disposal. His heart was bleeding. He had lost a lot. Lai Qinyang nodded with satisfaction. But Su Jioga didn't intend to end it so easily. Are you planning on running away? How can that work? Su Jioga slowly put down the teacup in his hand. He looked at Sun Yin below and said calmly, So, you actually want to challenge me? Sun Yin was startled. He nodded and clasped his fists and said without missing a beat, Yes, but after watching senior brother Yuan Hong, I know that the gap between my own strength and you, the emperor's son, is like a gap in the sky, and I feel ashamed. So, no need. Su Jioga interrupted and said jokingly, Since you are so eager to compete with me, then I will satisfy you. Huh. Sun Yin was stunned. He originally thought that he was being humble and showing weakness, and with his superior status as the emperor's son, he would never be looked down upon. Unexpectedly, the other party did not play according to the routine, and such a noble person was willing to condescend to compete with him? He is not a person who likes to take action. After seeing Yuan Hong's miserable situation, how can Sun Yin, who likes Go, still have such thoughts? Yuan Hong, who had been holding back his anger, laughed loudly and said, Ha ha ha. Wow. Smartness leads to a mistake. Sun Yin, weren't you your target before? The emperor's son? It's okay now. The emperor's son has agreed to fight you. Why don't you kowtow to express your gratitude? Under the crushing force of his real strength, Sun Yin's cleverness in front of Su Jioga disappeared in an instant. Sun Yin hurriedly waved his hand and explained hastily, 
No, that's not the case. Your Majesty the Emperor, Su Jioga, I heard from sect leader Lai that you are the number one genius of the Wuji Immortal Sect. You have cultivated to the Gi realm at such a young age. Such a talent, even this emperor is envious. As he said this, Su Jioga stood up after sitting for a long time. The steps are slow, and the steps are empty. High above, like a bright sun hanging in the sky, overlooking Su Nian with a look of astonishment below. Su Jioga smiled lightly and said with great pride, For a true genius, naturally it cannot be like before. This emperor will suppress his cultivation to the first level of the Tao Palace. I wonder if you can let me see the strength of the Wuji Immortal Sect's first genius? In order to give this the protagonist of Godao Cheng Sheng Liu Tianming has a little courage. He specifically suppressed his cultivation to the Tao Palace realm, which was a whole realm lower than Sun Yen. Don't all the protagonists of destiny like to be slapped in the face? Such a great opportunity. I give it to you. Tao Palace realm? The emperor actually wants to suppress his cultivation to the first level of the Tao Palace realm? The elders looked a little unbelievable. You must know that Sun Yin is the genius of his Wuji immortal sect's Gi realm. In a whole realm, even if the opponent is the emperor's son, it shouldn't be that easy to win, right? Lu Ching Yin's beautiful eyes flickered, and Su Jioga's domineering figure was instantly imprinted in her heart. He even forgot that the person below was his direct disciple. Lai Qinyang's expression changed greatly. If Sun Yin hurt the emperor's son, then the Wuji immortal sect would have committed a serious crime. Compared with the shocked elders, Ying Lao's face was surprisingly calm, and he didn't seem to be worried about Su Jioga's safety at all. Sun Yin paused and looked at the arrogant emperor above with some disbelief. He said tentatively, Your Majesty the Emperor, this, isn't it not good? If the other party really suppressed his cultivation to the first level of Tao Palace, he really wouldn't be afraid. As the protagonist of Destiny, I still have some confidence. Moreover, this is a good opportunity to make a name for yourself. If he, Sun Yin, could defeat the Emperor's son, not only would his status in the Wuji Immortal Sect be greatly different, but even his beautiful master would look down upon him. Sun Yin seemed very moved. Su Jioga's eyes were playful. I probably figured out Sun Yin's character. The other party will not take action until they are absolutely sure. But it's not him who has the final say. Su Jioga suppressed the cultivation of the virtual god realm to the first level of the Tao Palace. The aura on his body weakened a bit, but it is still full of innate majesty. Su Jioga looked calm and spoke slowly. Let's get started. Sun Yin seemed to have no choice but to hand over his hand and said in a deep voice even though he got an advantage. In this case, please enlighten me, Lord Emperor. I'm offended. Puo Xin Gong circulated rapidly, and behind him, countless faces of joy, anger, sorrow, and joy suddenly appeared. At this moment, Sun Yin was neither sad nor happy, as if he had become a Buddha looking down on all living beings. A bronze Buddha figure emerged behind him. The Buddha's shadow opened its eyes angrily, and its face was ferocious, full of violence and anger. All living things, angry and sunny. There was an uproar among the disciples below. This is the appearance of senior brother Sun Yin's unique skill and magical power. No way. Is senior brother Sun Yin really going to challenge the emperor? What kind of cultivation is the emperor? When I defeated senior brother Yuan Hong before, I, I didn't see clearly when the emperor took action. You think, does senior brother Sun Yin have a chance in this fight? Sun Yin was united in his mind. The experience of living for 5,000 years tells myself, when a lion fights a rabbit, he must use all his strength. Even when facing Su Jioga, who had already suppressed his cultivation, he did not dare to be careless in the slightest. Sun Yin looked at Su Jioga and said in a deep voice, Emperor, please. Su Jioga glanced at the living beings and the phantom of the Buddha behind Sun Yin and murmured, Does the Dharma appear in heaven and earth? It's interesting. He moved. With just one breath, Su Jioga told him who the lion was. The golden figure instantly appeared directly above Sun Yin. Sun Yin's pupils shrank. He controlled the angry Qing phase waved his huge bronze palm, and swatted upward. Rumbling the cultivation of Gi realm was released without any reservation. Like big waves washing away the sand, 
overwhelming mountains and seas. Many disciples were shocked when they felt this aura. No, senior brother Sun Yin seems to have broken through to the Gi realm. What? His Majesty the Emperor suppressed his cultivation to the Dao Palace realm. Isn't it a whole level lower than senior brother Sun Yin? Lai Ganyang stared closely at the scene in front of him, ready to go. If one of them is bad, they will take action. Barbook 69 knew Lu Ching Yin looked at the bright and domineering figure in the sky and looked down at all living beings. Her beautiful eyes flickered, and for some reason, a faint feeling of worry arose in her heart. Above the martial arts arena, the huge palm of the angry Ching Xiang slapped Su Jioga. Su Jioga's face was calm and unfazed. With the god of cause and effect, he can clearly see every move of new Ching Xiang. Just when the huge bronze palm was approaching, he slowly stepped downwards. Buzz. From under his feet, wisps of runes spread outward like ripples in water. Her long golden hair spread out, bathed in the sunlight, like a holy spirit descending into the world. Click. The bronze palm, covered with spiderweb like lines, shattered and exploded in an instant. The ferocious looking image of Nu Qingxiang was destroyed by a supreme power. Sun Yinru was hit hard, and he took a few steps back, covering his chest with a look of disbelief on his face. How is this possible? He didn't even see clearly when Su Jioga took action. Su Jioga's body was still falling slowly. At this moment, Sun Yin finally realized how powerless Yuan Hong was when he received the cup. The storage ring in his hand flashed, and he no longer kept it. Suddenly, a huge formation rose up. Another huge map of mountains and seas looms overhead. Ten secret formations. Mountain and sea picture scroll. All the magic weapons are out. Su Jioga fell on the scroll of mountains and seas that covered the sky and the sun. The entire Tianji Tin evil formation, together with the scrolls of mountains and seas, turned towards Sun Yin in the opposite direction. Rumble. Sun Yin's expression changed and he activated the Puo Xin Gong with both hands, struggling to support the mountain and sea scroll. Like a towering Mount Tai pressing down. Five meters, three meters, two meters. Sun Yin was about to be buried in it. Sun Yin gritted his teeth, and the veins in his hands popped out. He couldn't hold on for a while, and he even half knelt down. Is this really just the power of the first level of the Dao Palace realm? Why is it so strong? Not only him but also the elders on the stage had horrified expressions. Is this the monster of the emperor's fall? The emperor's cultivation has obviously been suppressed, but why can't our sect's first genius even let him take action? It's too scary. Sun Yin is not the emperor's at all. Opponent. This is almost no longer a battle, but a one-sided crushing. Sun Yin's face became very ferocious. His eyes were red and he looked embarrassed. He couldn't accept his defeat so easily. Wake me up, Sun Yin roared. After getting up, countless sentient beings rushed towards the mountain and sea scroll. Su Jioga stood on top of the scroll of mountains and seas. Using only the cultivation of the first level of Taoist palace, he used all his trump cards. Sun Yin, who tried his best to return to the first level, was so depressed that he could not lift his head. The black cyclone surged, and the domineering black halberd appeared in his hand. Holding the black emperor's abyss halberd and bathed in the golden light, Su Jioga's figure looked particularly tall and majestic, like a peerless divine king. The elders looked extremely moved. I have long heard that during the emperor's fall, monsters appeared in endless streams like Crucian carp crossing the river. There are even more monsters to fight in the higher realms. But when they really saw Su Jioga, who was so confident and dazzling, they still couldn't help but feel shocked in their hearts. This emperor's son came from a hundred thousand years ago. It makes people seem to go back to the era of the emperor's fall, when evildoers were everywhere and the great struggle was brilliant. Everything seems to be so natural. The emperor falls and the evildoer should dominate the whole life. At this moment, no one cares about Sun Yin's life or death. Everyone's eyes were filled with madness looking up at the tall golden figure that attracted the world's attention. The emperor's son of the Su family. Emperor Su Jioga's eyes flashed and he murmured. The protagonist of the eternal life life. It's nothing more than that. Buzz. 
The Black Emperor's abyss halberd in his hand turned into a demonic dragon, roared towards the mountain and sea scroll and struck it down, like falling ancient stars hitting the earth. The terrifying and majestic power directly tore this holy magic weapon apart. Countless sparks sputtered from it. As a defensive magic weapon, the Shanhewi scroll was as fragile as paper in front of the Black Emperor's abyss halberd, and a huge hole was instantly pierced. The scroll of mountains and seas is broken. The secret of the ten absolute formations is broken. Sun Yin's breathing stagnated. The Black Emperor's abyss halberd shattered not just two magic weapons, but also Sun Yin's usual pride and pride deep in his heart. A strong desire to die filled his mind. In 5,000 years, he had never suffered such a big loss from a person. Desperate. Too strong. Really too strong. Is this really the power that the Dao Palace realm can exert? Am I going to die? This is Sun Yin's only thought now. A brilliant light burst out, and the entire martial arts arena was shrouded in the terrifying aftermath. Rumble Lai Qinyang's pupils condensed, and he immediately released his power to protect all the disciples of the Wuji Immortal Sect. When the aftermath dissipated, Sun Yin slumped to the ground in shock. He looked straight at the golden figure above that looked down upon all living beings and opened his mouth. In the open space next to him, a huge pit appeared. The emperor kept his hand. Everyone held their breath. This spectacular act was 10,000 times more shocking than the previous scene. Su Jyoga fell to the ground. He passed by Sun Yin and stayed for a moment. He smiled lightly and said in a voice that only two people could hear. Do you really think that this emperor didn't see your little tricks? It's ridiculous. Sun Yin was shocked. Bite. Sun Yin, the protagonist of Destiny, is frightened. Cracks appear in his Taoist heart, and his luck value is lost by 500. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 500 villain points. Oh, 500? Su Jyoga raised his eyebrows. He breathed a sigh of relief as if he was a little tired stretched his body and said calmly, That's it for today. I'm a little tired. Ing Lao, let's go. After all, the highlight is tonight. After saying this, Su Jyoga turned around and left the court without looking back, leaving Sun Yin with a shocked look on his face. Ing Lao's figure suddenly appeared behind him and left with him. After Su Jyoga left, the disciples in the martial arts arena exploded. With the strength of the first level of the Dao Palace Realm, the Emperor defeated my Wuji Immortal Sect's number one genius, Senior Brother Sun Yin, with just one move? It's so terrifying. The Emperor's combat power is simply unparalleled in the world. Until now, I haven't forgotten that move just now. It's not that Brother Sun Yin is too weak, but that the Emperor is too strong. I don't even dare to face such an opponent. Even the Elder above they all looked at each other. Sect Master, what should we do now? Lai Qinyang was lost for a while before he came to his senses. He glanced at the two huge pits below, as well as Sun Yin, who was in a state of despair. He said angrily, What else can I do? Didn't you see that the martial arts arena is gone? Today's sect competition has been postponed. It will continue tomorrow. After speaking, Lai Qinyang stood up directly and left with a flourish of his sleeves. He also has to arrange a residence for the emperor's son. At present, neither Yuan Hong nor Sun Yin is able to hold another sect competition. This emperor's son from the Su family is really terrifyingly strong. Lai Qinyang's eyes flashed and his heart palpitated as he thought. The sixth elder felt secretly happy. Being able to make Lu Qingyin's direct disciple suffer such a big loss was considered as revenge for Hong'er. At this moment, Lu Qingyin's mind was still filled with Su Jiuge's unparalleled scene. Elder Lu, Elder Lu, your disciple is still down there. It wasn't until an elder beside him kept calling that Lu Qingyin calmed down. Lu Qingyin nodded and said in a cold voice, I understand. Lu Qingyin came to his disciple Sun Yin. Sun Yin looked at Lu Qingyin blankly and murmured, Master, I lost. Lu Qingyin said with calm eyes, It's not your fault. The emperor is a monster of the imperial clan. Even if someone else comes, it will be the same. Sun Yin smiled sadly. He looked blankly at the broken mountain and sea scrolls and the Tianjiju formation on the ground that had lost all their spiritual energy. 
I have always been invincible, and I have never been crushed by someone so easily. He needed time to calm down. Lu Qingyin looked at his disciple's miserable expression, which was in a state of utter confusion and sluggishness, which was in sharp contrast to the relaxed Su Jioga, coupled with the previous provocation. He frowned. An inexplicable feeling of disgust arose in my heart. Even she herself didn't notice that after these few times, her heart seemed to be more inclined towards the emperor. Looking at the direction Su Jioga left, Lu Qingyin murmured secretly in her heart. At night, after experiencing the incident between Yuan Hong and Sun Yin, the entire mountain peak of Wuji Immortal Sect was discussing the exciting battle during the day. Many people couldn't sleep at night. Even if they were not the ones involved in the battle, the powerful back of the emperor was deeply imprinted in their hearts. It is estimated that for a long time, the disciples in the Immortal Sect will be shrouded in the shadow of the emperor. At night, it is quiet and silent, and the chirping of insects is playing music. At this time, Su Jiuga was sitting in a quiet courtyard. The bright moonlight illuminated his handsome and charming face, and the cool evening breeze blew by, making his robes flutter. Su Jiuga's eyes flickered, as if he was thinking about something. Ying Lao's figure was like a ghost, and he stepped forward faintly and asked, The emperor seems to have something on his mind? But what is the reason for Sun Yin? the genius of the Wuji immortal sect during the day. Su Jioga looked at him and said lightly without explaining. Found it? Ying Lao nodded and said respectfully. It has been found that Sun Yin's residence is on the neighboring peak of Xuanji Peak. He was seriously injured today and is currently recuperating in seclusion in the cave. It is estimated that tomorrow's sect competition will no longer be able to compete for first place. There used to be four disciples under Lu Qingyin all of whom were women except Sun Yin. Some of the strange things are that Lu Qingyin's eldest disciple failed to break through to the Tao Palace realm and died unexpectedly. This has always been Lu Qingyin's heartache. Oh? Su Jioga raised his eyebrows and grasped the key point. Death suddenly? Ying Lao said in a deep voice. Yes, and the cause of death is strange. It is said that he visited Sun Yin's cave before his death, and Sun Yin had just joined the Wuji Immortal Sect not long ago. But because it took too long, the matter was dismissed. Su Jioga pondered for a moment, grinned slightly, and murmured, It seems that our protagonist of the immortal fate is not without flaws. The eternal evergreen body is an extremely rare and special physique among the heavens. Even an ordinary person with no cultivation can live a thousand years. Not to mention that after practicing, lifespan has doubled. Since Sun Yin has always believed that he is an immortal person, wouldn't it be interesting if he could watch his lifespan run out with his own eyes? Su Jioga's eyes flickered, and a huge plan gradually emerged in his heart. Since what you are best at is means. Then, my son, I will use what you are best at to have fun with you. He waved his palm, and an ancient book that was already a little yellow appeared. On the table, it was clearly written on it. Soul Burning Secret Technique Give this magical secret book to Sun Yin if you have an opportunity. By the way, we will investigate the sudden death of the disciple. Thank you for your hard work. Ying Lao said seriously with a humble face. Working for the emperor is what a shadow should do. As the secretly trained shadows of the imperial clan Su family, they are best at investigating and concealing assassinations. This is also the reason why the elders of the Su family are willing to let Ying Lao become the protector of the emperor's son. Su Jiuga nodded slightly and asked, What time is it now? Mr. Ying said, Second update. Su Jiuga smiled. It's time to go to our elder Lu's residence. After all, during the day, Lu Qingyin hadn't promised him anything yet. Do it. He stood up slowly and walked towards Xuanji Peak unhurriedly. Ying Lao's figure disappeared from the spot. Inside the cave, Sun Yin was so furious that he kept smashing items one after another. He growled, Jerk face, jerk face, think about me, Sun Yin. As a person with immortality, I have lived for more than 5,000 years. How could I lose to a rascal emperor who is still young? Isn't it just because of my birth? A little? How can he compare to me? At this moment, Sun Yin completely lost his calmness and composure during the day. His mood has not fluctuated for a long time. 
and Su Jyoga's sudden appearance disrupted almost all his plans. After some venting, Sun Yin calmed down. Looking at the mess on the ground, Sun Yin's eyes flickered. He sat down and thought to himself, No, I have to calm down. Over the years, he has never seen any big storms or waves. There are countless people who are more powerful than him. Most of them have turned into withered bones, but he has survived them all. Only the one who survives to the end is the ultimate winner. What happened today was that I was too careless. The emperor of the Su family was just passing by for a visit, and he would probably leave soon. There is no threat to yourself. Mainly because of the closeness between the other party and his master today, it made him a little impatient for a while. It seems that my state of mind still needs to be improved. Sun Yin summarized some of his own shortcomings, which was a habit he had developed over a long period of time. The somewhat anxious heart also calmed down a lot. The top priority is the sect competition tomorrow. Sun Yin murmured. The mountain and sea painting scroll and the heavenly secret Tenju formation were damaged, and now his Qi Si was empty, and he was deprived of five more years of training resources. He must get the reward for first place in this sect competition. Sun Yin mobilized the few heavenly materials and earthly treasures he had left in the storage ring to restore his true energy and began to absorb them. But because of his extremely poor talent, he can only absorb less than one-tenth of the spiritual energy of heaven and earth contained in a treasure of heaven and earth. Sun Yin felt the true energy in the Sea of Qi, and now it was even inferior to that in the Tao Palace realm. His face was a little ugly, and his brows were furrowed. If this continues, there will be some problems competing for the top ten in tomorrow's competition. What should we do? Just as Sun Yin was pacing back and forth, contemplating a way to break the situation, a hoarse, gloomy voice suddenly sounded in his ears. Want to win? Sun Yin was startled by the sudden voice. He turned around suddenly and scolded him coldly. Who's there? There was no one around. Sun Yin frowned. That cold voice sounded again. Tomorrow's sect competition? Do you want to win? Sun Yin was frightened. His expression was wary, and he said in a gloomy tone, Who are you? I don't need your help. Get out of here. Sun Yin, who was wary by nature, shouted coldly. The sound did not sound, but a yellowed and broken ancient book with some dried blood stains on it floated in front of his eyes. This secret book can help you. Sun Yin frowned and he noticed the ancient book. As if feeling something, the ancient book was slowly opened. It turned out to be a supreme-level magical power and secret book. Sun Yin looked shocked. He looked at the ancient book in front of him in disbelief, said loudly, Who are you? Why do you do this? After living for so many years, his experience told him that there is no free lunch in this world. Everything that is free comes with a price. He never believed that such a good thing would happen to him. As if aware of what he was thinking, the voices sounded from all directions. GGG this thing is called the soul-burning secret technique. Practitioners can burn longevity to burst out with power far beyond their current level. Of course, this is not without cost. My name is Soul Eating Master. Those who practice this method, when your longevity is exhausted, I will come to collect your soul. As for whether you practice or not, that's your own business. Soul Eater? Soul burning secret method? Sun Yin was horrified. Is there such a magic in the world? He slowly picked up the ancient book that recorded the secret method of burning souls and fell silent for a moment. Is the price to be collected after the life force is burned out? Sun Yin smiled. His heart was full of disdain. To others, this may be a life threatening talisman, but as an immortal person, I have endless lifespan. When you die, I will still be alive. Isn't this the most suitable magical technique for you? Such magical powers might really be able to help me win first place tomorrow. Sun Yin admitted that he was moved. A captivating light burst out from Sun Yin's eyes, and he said, I see. Do you want my soul? Okay. I agree to this condition. Soul eating master. Ha ha ha. A loud laugh sounded. Good boy. I advise you not to use it too hard. Then I will wait for the moment you fall. The voice gradually faded away. Ing Lao's figure slowly appeared outside Sun Yin's cave. He looked at the cave and murmured. As expected by the emperor, Sun Yin is cautious by nature. 
He will never practice such magical powers without asking for a price. His eyes became a little pitiful. Although I don't know why the emperor did this, he was worried about him. The so-called genius of the Wuji immortal sect didn't know that he was heading towards the abyss step by step. With a thought in his mind, he directly controlled two Xuanji Peak disciples to pass here. The two disciples had dark eyes and talked numbly. Have you heard? I just saw the emperor's son heading towards Elder Lu's residence. Do you think the emperor's son has something to do with Elder Lu? Otherwise, why are you coming to my Wuji immortal sect? Really or not? How can I lie to you? That's what I saw with my own eyes. Hiss the emperor's majesty is peerless, let alone Elder Lu. Even a grown man like me can't resist it. This is a good thing for our Wuji immortal sect. That's right. If our Wuji immortal sect can embrace the lap of the emperor, it will be considered a great success. Inside the cave, Sun Yin, who had watched the soul-burning secret technique and was looking ecstatic, was shocked when he heard the sound and shadow outside. His eyes were enchanting, and he stood up full of murderous intent. Opening the cave, he stared at the two disciples in front of him as if he wanted to eat people, and said coldly, What did you say? In an elegant and beautiful palace, the room was lit with a calming fragrance. Lu Qingyin was wearing a blue gauze skirt, which perfectly outlined her graceful curves. Her beautiful eyes were like water, and she sat on the chair with some uneasiness, as if waiting for someone. Her jade hands gently grasped the tool like hem of her skirt, and her heartbeat speeded up for some reason. Looking at the night scene outside the window, Lu Qingyin thought to himself, Emperor, will you really come? She couldn't explain how she felt at the moment. The emperor's son once said this during the day. Second update today. I have something I want to discuss with you in the house, Qingyin. Lu Qingyin bit her red lips lightly, her beautiful face tinged with a hint of crimson under the candlelight. What Qingyin? This emperor is indeed a frivolous person. What else can we discuss in the middle of the night? Lu Qingyin, what are you expecting? You are the ninth elder of the Wuji immortal sect. Lu Qingyin had a lot of thoughts and random thoughts in his mind. Yu Xiu pushed open the door, but happened to bump into Su Jioga who came from afar outside the door. Eyes facing each other. At this moment, Su Jioga was lightly dressed in a black robe. Under the illumination of the moonlight, it is not as domineering as the white sun. Instead, it adds a sense of transcendence like a cynical young man in troubled times. He has a handsome and enchanting face, sword-like eyes and starry eyebrows, and imperial eyes as deep as the abyss. The broad and tall figure is straight and full of security. The two of them bumped into each other. Su Jioga raised his brows and took a look at the neat and elegant room behind Lu Qingyin, feeling a pleasant fragrance coming from the tip of his nose. He said softly with some fun, it seems that Elder Lu has been waiting for this emperor's son for a long time. Lu Qingyin was stunned, and a trace of her little daughter's panic suddenly flashed in her beautiful eyes. He quickly moved out of the way and said softly, Your Majesty the Emperor, you are here. Su Jioga raised the corner of his mouth, and his eyes did not shy away, resting on Lu Qingyin wantonly. He said with a faint smile, Why, you seem to be. Are you afraid of my son? Lu Qingyin already possesses the spirit of fox charm and can clearly feel Su Jioga's fiery gaze. My heart suddenly started beating loudly. It felt like there were ants crawling all over my body, and I was agitated. After forcing himself to calm down, Lu Qingyin slowly raised his head, stared at Su Jioga with his beautiful face, and said, I wonder what the emperor is doing. You want to talk alone so late? Su Jioga chuckled. He turned around looked at the full and bright moon in the sky, and invited. You're lucky. The moonlight is quite beautiful tonight. Xuanji Peak is also very quiet. Why don't you go out for a walk? Lu Qingyin was startled. Her beautiful eyes looked at Su Jioga with some doubts. She nodded slightly and followed. I have to say that Lu Qingyin has good taste. In her residence, there are small bridges, flowing water, water pavilions and pavilions, and many spiritual flowers and herbs are planted, and the scenery is pleasant. The night was cold, and under the reflection of the silver moonlight, Lu Qingyin's snow-white skin, like sheep's fat, became even more delicate and attractive. The two of them crossed the bridge, 
talking to each other from time to time. I saw that the emperor in front of me had always been polite and well-behaved, with no strange behavior. Lu Qingyin also gradually let down his guard. She sat in the pavilion and said softly, Emperor, can we talk now? Su Jioga asked back, Elder Lu really wants my son to leave? Lu Qingyin was speechless for a moment and looked a little embarrassed. Su Jioga laughed loudly, You and I don't have to be so constrained. Let's just give up the title of Emperor and Son, okay? New book this. Lu Qingyin was a little embarrassed. She lowered her head. This the woman who was as cold as ice outside was always being led by Su Jioga in front of her. Lu Qingyin. Then I'll call you Mr. Su. Su Jioga nodded and said without blushing. To be honest with what Elder Lu said, I came all the way this time just to ask you some questions about your cultivation. I have been in this state for a long time but I still have a lot of knowledge about cultivation. I would like to ask Elder Lu to help me clear up my doubts. Lu Qingyin was stunned after hearing this. There is nothing to disbelieve. As a fox may God, his understanding of heaven and earth is far beyond that of ordinary people. Even Lai Qianyang, who has entered the holy realm, is inferior. This is why his disciples are among the top geniuses in the Wuji immortal sect. This is almost a fact recognized by the entire Wuji immortal sect. She nodded slightly, opened her red lips slightly, and spoke. Is that so? Su Jioga teased. Why? It seems to me that Elder Lu is quite disappointed. Lu Qingyin glanced at him with a somewhat resentful look and said. Then I don't know what Mr. Su's cultivation level is. Su Jioga said lightly, Virtual God Realm. Virtual God Realm? Lu Qingyin's beautiful eyes widened, and she looked at him in surprise. It seems very unbelievable. How old is the emperor in front of you? I am only in the God King realm now, but the other party is already in the false God realm. The elders in the daytime had guessed that the emperor's son should be at the Yuan Zhan realm, but they didn't expect it and still underestimated it. Lu Qingyin was surprised for a while before he recovered and murmured, Master Su, Su Jioga, what's wrong? Lu Qingyin, the talent is really amazing. Is it possible that in the era of the Emperor's Fall, there are many outstanding geniuses like you, Master Su? She asked very curiously. Su Jiuga said with a smile, There are indeed many monsters in the Emperor's Fall era. With my talent, I can't even be called the strongest. Lu Qingyin was greatly shocked. There is someone who even the Emperor is ashamed of? Who is it? Su Jiuga continued. In the Emperor's Fall Era, Chou Yinyue, the daughter of the Evergreen Immortal Emperor, has an innate Taoist holy body. She can be said to be one of the most dazzling monsters in the Emperor's Fall Era. Her talent and appearance are both stunning for eternity. When I am still Gi when she reached the realm of virtual gods, the innate chaotic body and the innate Taoist holy body, as one of the three most ancient and powerful divine bodies in the world, each have their own advantages. In terms of combat power, as an innate chaotic body, I was able to fight against the Void God at the Gi realm. However, in terms of cultivation speed, the innate Tao embryo holy body, even the innate chaotic body was inferior. Speaking of this, Su Jioga paused and said without shame. But, compared to this emperor's son, it's still a little worse. Lu Qingyin's beautiful eyes flickered, and the light flowed. She didn't pay attention to the second half of the sentence, but was immersed in the story of the peerless woman from the Emperor's Fall era. As a woman, she could appreciate the power of this person who was praised by the Emperor and the Emperor in front of her, and couldn't help but murmur. Such a stunningly talented and beautiful woman. It's a pity that I wasn't in the Emperor's Fall era, otherwise I really want to see her. Su Jioga muttered. What's there to see? She doesn't know how long she has been dead. At this time, the void world see, a peerless woman dressed in white, whiter than snow and unstained by dust, walked in the void. As if he were the darling of heaven and earth, he was surrounded by countless ancient Taoist patterns with incomparable divine power. Her temperament is holy and refined, like a goddess left behind in the world. Seems to be looking for something. Suddenly, the woman stopped, looking at a Tao realm, the beautiful eyes as bright as the stars flashed with a hint of splendor. As if he noticed something, Su Jioga paused, looking at an uninhabited land, and raised the corners of his mouth slightly. 
Is it finally here? After getting the news, Sun Yin, the protagonist of the longevity style, sneaked into Xuanji Peak where the master was. In his heart, his master, Bing Qing Yujia, is definitely not the kind of person who hangs out with men at night. But when he saw the scene before him, Sun Yin collapsed. The master whom I respected and admired the most was actually talking and laughing with that abominable emperor of the Su family under the moonlight. Lu Qing Yin was sometimes shy and angry, and sometimes thoughtful. Anyone with a discerning eye could tell at a glance that the two had a close relationship. Sun Yin's eyes suddenly turned blood red. He gritted his teeth so hard that his lips were bleeding, and he didn't even know it. His chest was filled with anger. Well, you are the emperor of the Su family. You have a noble status. What kind of woman do you want? But why do you fall in love with my master? No man can bear to think about himself day and night. The beloved woman was talking to other men in the evening. Not to mention, that man is far superior to me in appearance and status, and is the best choice. Sun Yin's teeth were almost broken. He originally planned to gradually open his master's heart step by step over a long period of time. But Su Jioga's appearance was like a cannonball, blasting through the city gate unreasonably. Sun Yin was so angry that he punched the wall with his fist. Bang! Who's there? In the silent night, this voice seemed particularly abrupt. Lu Qingyin noticed this voice keenly, she frowned slightly, and with a wave of her hand, a magical power was struck in the direction of Sun Yin. Boom! A hole was directly punched out of the hill. Su Jioga asked, pretending to be confused when he saw this. What's wrong? Lu Qingyin frowned, shook his head slightly, and said, I seem to hear something moving. Maybe I heard it wrong. The system's voice sounded. Bite. The protagonist of Destiny is dissatisfied and breaks the defense, extremely resentful of the host, and loses 300 luck points. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 300. Ding. Congratulations to the host for triggering the triple critical hit reward of the Destiny villain. Get 900 villain points. Su Jioga looked a little playful. Sure enough, it's you. Rua said pointedly. I didn't hear anything. Since this is your residence, there can't be some bold disciples who dare to peek here. This rebellious master commander saw the emperor's son and his most beloved master. Being so close probably makes me feel uncomfortable. Look, look, once you see it too much, you'll get used to it. Lu Qingyin nodded slightly, feeling that it made sense. At this time, Sun Yin was hiding behind a mountain and held his breath. I didn't know when my whole body was already wet and my face was filled with lingering fear. Fortunately, I have practiced the art of turtle breath, and even my master who is in the realm of God King cannot detect anything. When he heard what Su Jioga said, his lungs were about to burst with anger. Keep comforting yourself. Calm down. I want to calm down. The master has always been a clean and aloof person. Over the years, he has always treated other men except himself, keeping them at a distance. It is absolutely impossible to have anything to do with the emperor's son of the Su family. It must be the emperor of the Su family who was so arrogant that the master had no choice but to agree after being overwhelmed. Thinking of this, Sun Yin took a deep breath and his expression softened a lot. But for the next scene, no matter how many explanations he had in mind, it was of no use. Sun Yin breathed quickly and looked over with wide eyes. The expression is particularly wonderful. Su Jiuga finally understood that the destined protagonist of Changshin Gedaliu was the teenage mutant Ninja Turtles. Anyway, no matter what I do, I just can't shut up. He wanted to see how long Sun Yin could endure it. Su Jiuga simply increased his strength. He directly covered his chest, shaking, and his expression looked a little uncomfortable. Well, Lu Qingyin was startled when she saw this. She quickly stood up and stepped forward, supported Su Jioga, and said with great concern, Master Su, what's going on? Su Jioga lay with his head in a piece of soft and fragrant nephrite, and could clearly feel the other person's body temperature and heartbeat. It was so pleasant. I saw him reluctantly waving his hands and saying, I'm fine. I just had some realizations when I was discussing the Tao. For a moment, the energy in my body became a little chaotic. Lu Qingyin's beautiful face showed a hint of panic. She didn't have any doubts about the emperor in front of her. After the previous discussion, 
Sue Joga's studiousness, pragmatism, gentleness, and politeness made her see another side of the Sue family's emperor that no one knew about. I couldn't help but feel good about him. Seeing this scene, Lu Qingyin helped Su Jiuga with concern and said, Master Su, cultivation needs to be done step by step. Don't rush it. You are already one of the best monsters in the world. So why are you in such a hurry? I'll take you to have a rest right now. After that, Lu Qingyin will take Su Jiuga to his boudoir to cultivate. Su Jiuga shook his head. If this spreads out, I don't care. But Elder Lu, Lu Qingyin said immediately, I have a clear conscience, Mr. Su. There is no need to say more. Lu Qingyin helped Su Jioga enter his boudoir. Even so, her pretty face was still a little rosy. She bit her red lips and glanced around at the deserted night. Close the door. Su Jioga, I'm going to kill you. He gasped for air, out of breath, almost blacked out and fainted. In a flash, he left the entire Xuanji Peak and appeared on another peak far away. The true energy in his body rioted, and countless creatures with ferocious faces, teeth and claws appeared behind him like ghosts and gods. Su Yin's eyes were red, and he punched the trees one after another. Like crazy. Su Jioga. Su Jioga. I, Su Yin, must kill you. A man and a woman alone, in a room at night, what do you want to do? At this moment, all his ideas about living long enough and being able to outlast everyone disappeared. Full of murderous intent, he wished he could kill the emperor of the Sioux family right now. But the strength of oneself and the other party is like a firefly and a bright sun, which is intimidating. I don't know how long it took to vent, but a hole was punched through the entire mountain peak. In Sun Yin's hand, the soul-burning secret technique appeared. Just practicing the soul-burning secret technique consumes a lot of lifespan. Sun Yin's face was gloomy and his eyes flickered. Finally, as if he had made up his mind, he started to meditate and practice cross-legged. In Lu Qingyin's wing, Su Jioga was lying on a soft and comfortable bed. When he heard the sound of the system, he was slightly startled. Oh, what he cares about is not the mere ten points of luck, but the sentence in front of the system. The loss of the origin of the eternal body. Emperor Su Jioga's eyes flickered. As the protagonist of the immortal life, his biggest advantage and trump card is to live long. Under the same realm, Sun Yin's longevity with his eternal green body is several times that of the same realm, but he thought that he was an immortal person, and the side effects of the soul-burning secret method were not a concern to him at all. Although the consumption of these hundreds of years is just a drop in the bucket to him, the soul-burning secret technique, as a sorcery from the Emperor's Fall Era, is the most frightening magical power that can bring people power far beyond their current level. After using it, it will be out of control. Now Sun Yin is like a gambler who has tasted the sweetness. In the end, no matter how huge his assets are, he will lose nothing. Su Jioga is looking forward to it. When he discovers that he is not the so-called immortal person at all. Expression. It must be wonderful to look like that. Looking at Lu Qingyin who was already asleep beside him, Su Jioga slowly got up from the bed, opened the door, and left the place. Be crisp and clear, without any nostalgia. Like a scumbag who is heartless afterwards. Early the next morning, on the martial arts field, many disciples of the Wuji Immortal Sect were talking and arguing. Have you heard? The emperor went to Xuanji Peak last night. What happened then? You are stupid. Where is Xuanji Peak? That is the residence of Elder Lu. As soon as these words came out, the disciples looked shocked. It is said that the emperor stayed in Elder Lu's boudoir for one night before leaving. How is this possible? Then it must be something like that. Sure, lower your voice, don't say this nonsense. TSK, TSK, TSK. I didn't expect Elder Lu, who is usually so noble and cool, to be like this. People. Hey, I don't blame Elder Lu for this. After all, a man as powerful as the emperor in both strength and status, I'm afraid not many would refuse. Sun Yin's face was dark, and he stood quietly. The crowd couldn't help clenching their fists. A disciple next to him came forward and asked, Senior Brother Su, did you not rest yesterday? Why is your face so ugly? Sun Yin spat out one word coldly, Get lost. The disciple looked strange, not sure why the usually gentle senior brother Su was so angry. 
In the audience, Lai Chinyang looked at the empty seats and frowned when he heard the discussion of the disciples below. Where are the emperor and elder Lu? The sixth elder, who was already at odds with Lu Qingyin, snorted coldly. Humph! The disciples are all spreading rumors about the emperor's night party last night. It's just the first day for the emperor to come here. I didn't expect that Elder Lu is just pretending to be like him on weekdays. Lai Qinyang was startled and said, Is that rumor true? An elder asked, Sect Master, my disciples saw it with their own eyes yesterday. Lai Qinyang's eyes suddenly brightened, and he said, Okay, this is a good thing. He was a little excited. I didn't expect that the emperor would actually fall in love with Elder Lu. If this matter is true, then there really is an imperial clan, the Su family, as a powerful backer behind the Wuji immortal sect. Many elders also stroked their beards and smiled. Yes, that girl Lu Qingyin is the youngest among us, but she is already quite old. If she can be favored by the emperor, she will be the best destination. Hey, I just have a headache. My precious granddaughter has been clamoring for me to introduce the emperor to her since she came back yesterday. How can I do this with my old bones? If she knew about this, she would probably feel uncomfortable for a while. Bokaha, this is not a big deal. As the emperor's son, there will definitely be no shortage of beauties around him. The elders were talking and laughing, obviously in a good mood. At this time, outside the martial arts arena, Su Jiuga rode the supreme god's roar through the air with Lu Qingyin. The man has an unparalleled handsome face, long golden hair shawl, and extraordinary martial prowess. Coupled with the majestic beast under the seat, it is as dazzling as the bright sun in the sky. The woman has icy muscles and jade bones, a calm and indifferent complexion, a cold temperament, and a long aqua blue dress that is as elegant as a fairy. The two have extraordinary looks and refined temperaments, and they seem like a match made in heaven. As soon as he appeared, everyone was paying attention. Look, it's the emperor and elder Lu who are here. Someone exclaimed. Everyone looked over after hearing this. Lai Qinyang couldn't help but admired. This Lord Emperor looks like a perfect match for me, Elder Zonglu. Thanks to the Emperor's favor, it is really a blessing for my Wuji immortal sect. An Elder shook his head and laughed. Lord Sect Master, this is a great achievement for our Wuji immortal sect. Lai Qinyang said, ha ha ha. His voice was loud and clear. Among the disciples below, only Su Nian looked ugly but I soon felt relieved. I will let Master know who is a good match. However, everything last night still left an indelible pimple in his heart. Su Nian glanced resentfully at the dazzling Su Jioga above. Last night, he finally made up his mind. A gentleman's revenge is never too late in ten years, but it is never too late in ten thousand years for him to take revenge. When the great emperor falls and Su Jioga grows old, he will strike hard. Tolerate. All I can do now is to be patient. I hope this soul-burning secret technique will not disappoint me. Sun Yin thought to himself. Su Jioga and Lu Qingyin fell down, and Lai Qinyang stood up and strode forward to greet them, laughing boldly. Your Majesty the Emperor's son. You are here. The Emperor's son has not arrived yet, and my Wuji Immortal Sect's sect competition does not dare to start so soon. Su Jioga smiled lightly and was in a good mood. Sun Yin practiced all night last night, and the sound of the system that he had obtained the villain value could be heard all the time. In just one day, plus the occasional triple critical hit reward, the villain value I got was close to 4,000. Su Jioga glanced at Sun Yin. Name, Sun Yin Identity, Protagonist of Destiny, Direct Disciple of Wuji Immortal Sect Age, 6075 Character, Steady, Master Controlled, Resourceful Realm, Return to the first level of the realm physique. Eternal evergreen body. The years are long, and there are no boundaries for 10,000 years. He has a long lifespan. The increase in lifespan is several times that of people in the same realm. Ranked 19th among the 3,000 divine bodies. Kung Fu. Soul burning secret technique. Universal mysterious technique. And the image of all beings. Treasures. Tianji Tenju formation. Broken. Mountain and Sea Scroll, Broken, Huayuan Gourd, Immortal Product Formation Flak. Current Luck Value. 8930 Emperor Su Jioga narrowed his eyes slightly and raised his mouth slightly. Raise. Age has increased? 
It seems that Sun Yin has mastered the soul-burning secret technique. He was vaguely looking forward to it. Above this sect competition, how much longevity will Sun Yin consume? System, can you check how much longevity Sun Yin has now? Su Jyoga said secretly. Bite. Return to the host and check if it consumes 100 villain points. Consumption. Ding. All of Sun Yin's longevity was displayed in front of Su Jyoga. Name. Sun Yin a lifespan of 12,000 years? These few are equivalent to the total of a saint. It seems there is quite a bit left. Su Jyoga thought secretly, but he didn't pay too much attention. The soul burning secret technique is not an ordinary magical power. In the era of imperial decline, the most famous cause was the death of a quasi emperor with a lifespan of nearly 30,000 years. It can be said that everyone talks about it. Although Su S cultivation level is lower, this does not affect the effect. After the emperor arrived, Lai Qinyang looked at the disciples below and said loudly, Today, the sect competition officially begins. Good. The disciples below were eager to try and burst into cheers. This sect's grand competition was that the emperor's supreme defense magic weapon and many precious treasures were the lucky draw, and the disciples' emotions were as high as ever. Yesterday, Senior Brother Hong and Senior Brother Su were both extremely exhausted and would not be able to recover for a while. Suddenly, two extremely strong competitors were missing. It can be said that many geniuses present have the hope of winning the first place in the competition. Looking at these energetic disciples, Lu Qingyin took the initiative to add some tea and said to Su Jioga with a faint smile, My lord, who do you think will come out on top in this sect competition? Because of the discussion last night, the relationship between the two people became much closer. The emperor's son is not as overbearing and unreasonable as imagined. Therefore, Lu Qingyin was not too restrained. Lai Qianyang and the elders pricked up their ears, eager to see what the emperor's son said about the disciples of the sect. Su Jioga took a sip of tea and looked at Su Yu lightly below. He said with a smile, Zubar. Oh? Many elders were a little surprised. The unrivaled and unparalleled scene of the emperor's son yesterday. It would be unforgettable. Many of them believe that Su Yu should be safe in this sect competition. But now that several of Su's magic instruments have been damaged a lot, the outcome may be uncertain. Lai Qinyang laughed loudly and said, We'll see. Su Jioga sat lazily on the chair, his eyes twinkling. Next, all he has to do is wait quietly for the villain to be worth his money. Let the protagonist of destiny take the initiative to give villain points. I have to say that this feeling is really so cool. On the martial arts field, a group of disciples began to compete in an orderly manner. Opponent is determined by drawing lots. Hong Zheng looked at Su with fighting spirit and clenched his fist. After he went back yesterday, his master reprimanded him severely. He is simple minded and doesn't realize he is being used by others. Fortunately, he confessed in the end. If it weren't for the magnanimity of the emperor, he might have disappeared from the world long ago. For today's competition, Master specially gave himself some good Dharma items. Su, today I, Hong, am going to avenge my previous humiliation. Hong thought with confidence. The elder put his hand on the lot, and he slowly read the names of the two sides. The shadow elder behind Su Jyoga calmly released a ray of true energy. With his half-step supreme realm cultivation, no one in the audience could notice him. Li Chaofu Battle Poplar When he saw Su Yu's name, the elder was slightly surprised. Su Battle Chin Tianming Chin Tianming? Many disciples were secretly shocked. The direct disciple of the elder of the Wuji Immortal Sect, and his strength is not weak, who has cultivated into the Dao Palace realm is expected to compete for the top three. Unexpectedly, it was such a shocking match from the beginning. It's only been one day, and senior brother Su Yu may be a little hung up on this sect competition. A disciple said, Yes, senior brother Chin Tianming is a disciple of Elder Mi, and the Kanglin Xian Gong he cultivates is not weak. It's a pity. If I hadn't offended the emperor, I should have been able to secure the top position in this sect with the strength of senior brother Su Igue. Lu Qingyin in the audience was also slightly startled. She did not expect that her disciple Su Yu's luck would be so bad. Su Jioga asked, pretending to be surprised. Elder Lu doesn't look happy. Could this Chin Tianming be very strong? 
Naturally, he asked Ing Lao to do it for Su Yu to draw a strong enemy. Otherwise, our destiny protagonist has no sense of crisis at all. So what can we do? Lu Qingyin rolled her eyes at him and said softly, Compared with what you call me, the emperor's son, there is no disciple of the Wuji immortal sect who can be called powerful. Su Jioga smiled lightly and said nothing. The conversation between the two seemed extremely intimate to others. The elders saw that Elder Lu, who had always been as cold as an iceberg, looked a little bit. Today, the feeling of my little daughter's home. This made them even more certain that this rumor was not groundless. Lai Qianyang was naturally eager to see this scene, and he winked at the elders around him calmly. He motioned for everyone to sit farther away, so that the emperor's son could have more convenient close contact with Elder Lu. The elders are also good people, and they all express their understanding. Oops, the view from this position is not very good. I have to get closer to see my good disciple fighting. Hiss I'm a little old, and my eyes are dim. Elder, wait for me. After a while, a clear space was left in the auditorium. The two of them were left alone in the middle. Su Jioga didn't pay too much attention. How could Lu Qingyin not know what these elders were thinking? Her face turned rosy, her red lips opened, and she wanted to say something, but stopped. In the end, he could only shake his head helplessly in anger. These disrespectful guys. Really nothing between me and the emperor. Furthermore, how could the emperor think so highly of such a handsome and noble person? Otherwise, last night would have been. Thinking of this, the icebergs in Lu Qingyin's beautiful eyes gradually turned to water, and when she looked at Su Jioga, her eyes flickered like a pool of spring water. Bite. The heroine of Destiny has a great affection for the host, and the protagonist of Destiny's Su's luck value is 200. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 200. Su Jioga was stunned when he heard the system prompt. Even he, who had always been indifferent, had a strange expression on his face. Isn't it? This destined heroine. Something is wrong. On the martial arts stage. So you noticed this scene on the stage. His face was gloomy and he clenched his fists. The Wuji immortal sect will be destroyed in your hands sooner or later. I will use today's sect competition to impress Master Xian. Su Yu thought secretly in his heart. At this time, a handsome and personable Qingqiu stood across from him. Junior brother Su is very promising and extremely talented. I wanted to fight with you, junior brother Su, in the final battle, but things didn't work out. This time the sect competition is the first. I, Chen Tianming, will definitely win, and I will not show mercy. Su Shi looked over, and when he saw Chen Tianming's handsome face, he inadvertently thought of Su Jioga's disdainful and handsome face. Inexplicably, a trace of resistance arose towards all handsome men. He said coldly, Let's get started. Chun Tiaming frowned. Seeing that the other party didn't take him seriously, he didn't say much. Instead, he activated Kanglin Xin Gong and launched the attack first. Junior brother Sun Yin. Be careful. Sun Yin looked calm. If your strength is damaged before you practice the soul-burning secret technique, you still have to take it into account. But now, the situation is very different. The supreme magical power and secret technique. Let me see how powerful you are. Soul burning secret technique. Buzz. Sun Yin immediately used the soul burning secret technique. At the same time, Bite. The protagonist of Destiny loses his longevity for a hundred years. Luck value lost 10. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 10 villain points. Bite. The protagonist of Destiny loses 200 years of life. Luck value lost 20. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 20 villain points. The soul-burning secret technique, once activated, will consume the user's life span every minute and every second. The sound of the system is like the sound of nature, which is always heard. Sun Yin on the martial arts stage seemed to be a different person. The aura emanating from him suddenly became terrifying and frightening. Feeling the pleasure of the power continuously spurting out from the body, Shou Yuan transformed into wisps of mysterious and mysterious aura that filled his entire qi si. This is the feeling of power. Sun Yin's pupils suddenly brightened, and his expression became extremely fanatical. He looked at his hands in disbelief. 
Return to the first level. My peak again. The breath has not stopped yet. The second level, third level, fourth level of Gi realm. It has been climbing continuously. The soul-burning secret technique does not end. And the increase in strength has no intention of stopping. The elders in the audience were shocked. What's going on? Isn't Sun Yin injured? Such a full and full aura cannot belong to an injured person. It's really unexpected that after the battle with the emperor, he could recover so quickly. Sun Yin really gave us a big surprise. Lu Qing Yin was also very surprised. Although she gave Sun Yin some healing pills yesterday, she did not expect that Sun Yin could recover so quickly. Su Juga's smile became even stronger. Chen Tianming, who was opposite him, was dumbfounded. He froze on the spot, his eyes full of shock. Didn't it mean that junior brother Sun Yin's cultivation was damaged because he challenged the emperor's son, and his true strength was completely different? What's going on with this terrifying aura? Just the unilateral suppression in the realm made Chen Tianming start to become a little timid. He gritted his teeth. His eyes became extremely determined, activated the Kanglin Xian Gong, and shouted away. Song Ocean Howl. The majestic Zhenqi waves like a river and sea rushed towards Sun Yin, as if they wanted to engulf him. After possessing the huge power provided by the soul-burning secret technique, Sun Yin felt that he could do anything. There was no uncomfortable reaction. This made Sun Yin couldn't help but have an illusion. Even if he is facing the emperor of the Su family, he is still capable of fighting. This is the confidence that strength brings to him. The soul-burning secret technique is indeed the supreme magical power that is most suitable for my eternal life. It was as if the long-standing gloom in my heart had all been dispelled. Sun Yin laughed heartily. Ha ha ha. Well done. The poor Xian Gong is running, and the majestic true energy in the body pours out continuously. A fat, half-lying bronze Buddha suddenly appeared. The big Buddha's eyes are kind, with endless bliss and golden Buddha light. All living things. Bliss. The huge bronze body of the bliss phase sat down towards Chen Tianming. The violent collision of two magical powers. Rumbled Song Tsunami was easily crushed. The tsunami was broken, and the bliss phase hit Chen Tianming hard. His face turned extremely pale in an instant and he spit out a large mouthful of blood. The whole person flew out directly. Bang! He crashed under the martial arts stage, his life and death unknown. One move failed. Sun Yin was overjoyed. His unique magical powers so easily. With the blessing of the soul-burning secret technique, this is far from the limit he can reach now. Due to his talent, not only is his cultivation speed slow, but the power he can release from the magical powers he uses is also extremely limited. The reason why I chose the form of living beings is precisely because this magical power requires almost no talent. It was the first time that such a huge power was exerted. This kind of pleasure is unparalleled. Sun Yin was in a very excited mood, and his eyes were dazzling. He was determined to establish his power and seemed to want to tell everyone, I, Sun Yin. He is today's protagonist. A majestic atmosphere enveloped the entire martial arts stage. Immediately afterwards, two Buddha statues rose at the same time, side by side with the form of bliss. Angry and sunny. Empty consciousness. Under the shining of this golden Buddha's light, Sun Yin stood in the center of the martial arts stage. All eyes are on you. The more cheerful Sun Yin was in the audience, the happier Su Jyoga was in the audience. People were almost laughing their heads off. As the saying goes, the more people lack something, the more they get it and want to show it off. Sun Yin's talent was extremely poor and his cultivation path was extremely bumpy. In order to hide the fact that he is not a genius. After obtaining the soul-burning secret, Sun Yin is now like a peacock who can't wait to show off his tail. Even though he knew that using the soul-burning secret technique would consume his lifespan, he even used more power to show off after defeating his opponent in order to establish his authority. Just from this battle, I got as many as 1,000 villain points. Up to now, it is still increasing. Su Jugga looked at the scene below and happened to catch Sun Yin's provocative eyes. He was in a good mood and didn't care about the other person's eyes, but thought to himself, Soul-burning secret technique. I would like to call it Sun Yin's happy technique. 
Use this power to your heart's content. The higher you stand, the moment you finally fall down and know the truth, your expression is the most exciting. The shadow elder behind him looked at the poor guy on the martial arts field with some pity. As everyone knows, if you get power that is not yours, you will eventually be swallowed up by it. Lai Qinyang was trembling all over, and he spoke excitedly. Sure enough, the emperor's vision must be good. Okay, this guy Sun Yin did not disappoint my sect leader. Good boy. Such a crushing scene was something that none of the elders had expected. The elders under the martial arts stage were stunned for a while before they spoke. Winner Sun Yin. A huge noise broke out among the disciples. Am I right? Why does senior brother Sun Yin feel stronger than yesterday? This aura and power are so terrifying that even senior brother Chen Tianming is no match for him. Senior brother Sun Yin is indeed worthy of being the number one genius of our sect. He was defeated by the emperor just yesterday. He knew his shame and then became brave. Looking at it today, it is obvious that his cultivation has improved to a higher level. I am ashamed of such a firm Taoist heart. Listening to the appreciative voices coming from the ears, even the master looked at him with a look of surprise and satisfaction. Sun Yin's vanity couldn't help but be greatly satisfied. This time, he didn't use any dishonorable means. Instead, he relied on his own strength to crush his opponent legitimately. Sun Yin laughed happily, enjoying the gaze of thousands of people. At this moment, he vaguely felt what Su Jioga was feeling. These are the feelings brought to him by the soul-burning secret technique, which he has never experienced before. When the power of the soul-burning secret technique gradually recedes, the appearances of all living beings also dissipate. Sun Yin suppressed the excitement in his heart. He looked at the unconscious Chen Tianming in the audience with a pretended calm expression. He spoke with extreme hypocrisy. It's not that senior brother is too weak, it's that junior brother. Too strong. Senior brother Chun. I accept the concession. As soon as he finished speaking, Sun Yin was suddenly shocked, as if he had been struck by lightning. His face turned pale, and his legs began to tremble unconsciously. His eyes were a little blurry, and he looked shaky while standing on the martial arts stage, like the discomfort caused by overconsumption. Even he didn't notice it. Among the thick black hair, there were a few white hairs at some point. Sun Yin's heart froze, and he supported himself and murmured, I am. What's wrong? After overusing the soul-burning secret, it only took one battle. Sun Yin burned as much as 2,000 years of life. Most of the power is used for useless work. Even Su Jioga couldn't help but secretly admire the ruthless person. People who practice the soul-burning secret art all regard this magical power as their last life saving trump card. Until the final moment when his life is endangered, he will never use this weird and incomparable magical power. Even the user does not dare to activate it for too long. But Sun Yin was lucky. In order to show off, he got the full effect right from the start. Although this point of longevity is insignificant to him, but the sudden loss of life force will still make people feel uncomfortable for a while. Only then did the scene before him happen. Sun Yin, who was on the martial arts stage, slowly adjusted his breathing. The loss of power after the end of the soul-burning secret technique allowed him to recover from the state of controlling everything and possessing power. This feeling of emptiness felt like yesterday. Sun Yin frowned and murmured with twinkling eyes. Is this the sequelae of the soul-burning secret technique? At that moment, something seemed to have disappeared from his body. But he didn't pay too much attention, because what he lacks most is longevity. Sun Yin couldn't hide the joy in his eyes and thought to himself, I only used a small part of the soul-burning secret technique to be so powerful. Then if you push it with all your strength, that can be unleashed will be unimaginable. Sun Yin only regretted why he didn't encounter this powerful magical power earlier. It's like it's tailor-made for you. Yuan Hong looked at the scene just now with some palpitations, and his eyes were horrified. How could this guy Sun Yin still have such strength? The sixth elder on the stage noticed that something was wrong, moved his lips, and said something to the disciple Yuan Hong below. Yuan Hong suddenly became more confident and looked at his master gratefully. In the next sect competition, Sun Yin has become the focus of the audience. 
The opponents he fought against were all defeated in one move, just like Chen Tianming before. This caused all the elders and disciples to go from initial shock to numbness. Senior brother Sun Yin, did you take aphrodisiac? Why are you so strong today? Oh my god, with Sun Yin's senior brother's strength, I think he has the strength to fight against Yuanzhan realm. Yesterday, he was defeated by the emperor's son with one move. You think, wouldn't it be even better for the emperor's son? Is it scary? Yes. You must know that the emperor has set himself up for a huge showdown. Sun Yin demonstrated so hard. Under such a striking contrast, not only did the disciples not feel much, but they looked at Su Joga with an added layer of awe. Bite. The protagonist of Destiny, Sun Yin, lost 2,000 years of life. Luck value lost 200. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 200. Name, Sun Yin Current Longevity. 9860-19645 Sun Yin has less than 10,000 lifespan left. Use the magical power you desperately use as a normal magical power. It's no wonder that his longevity is consumed so quickly. Su Jioga took a leisurely sip of tea. Everything is under his control. Until now, Sun Yin has been moving step by step according to the route he designed. Under Su Jioga's arrangement, after Sun Yin on the martial arts stage defeated another powerful enemy, he held on to his body and gasped for air. Sun Yin's face was a little ugly, and he tried his best to look at ease. No matter how good-tempered he was, he couldn't help but curse in a low voice at this moment. What's going on with this lottery? It's obviously just a battle between a hundred people. So why does every game look like the final duel? My luck today was as bad as grandma's. From Chen Tianming in the first game, to the next two games. The people he faced were all the most talented ones in the Wuji Immortal sect. It feels like the whole world is targeting me. After three games, although from the eyes of outsiders it looks very easy. But in order to maintain his brilliant record, Sun Yin never stopped using the soul-burning secret technique from beginning to end. If he hadn't relied on the support of the soul-burning secret technique, even if his strength had been perfectly restored, he would have been defeated in these few games. At this moment, Sun Yin's state and energy showed a faint look of decadence. He suddenly felt that this soul-burning secret technique might not be as simple as imagined. But the experience and pleasure of gaining powerful power made Sun Yin addicted to it and refused to let go easily. Sun Yin looked at Yuan Hong, who had also finished the battle not far away, with burning eyes. Murmured. Next, there is one last battle. Although this soul-burning secret technique is extraordinary, it is not suitable for repeated use. It's enough to deal with Yuan Hong. Su Jioga above looked calm. Lu Qingyin's beautiful eyes on the side were full of astonishment and shock. Because as a master, she probably knew Su Yin's true strength. In the past few rounds, whether due to bad luck or something else, the opponent Su Yin faced became more and more powerful. The geniuses in the immortal sect who were supposed to be among the top ten in the sect competition were met by him. It seems that in this sect competition, if nothing else goes wrong, Sun Yin should take first place. An elder murmured. Yes, Sun Yin has only been here for fifteen years, but he has achieved this level of cultivation today. I'm afraid he can be regarded as one of the top geniuses in the entire immortal sect. Said coldly. Oomph. The growth of this child's cultivation is really weird. After these few competitions, don't you think it's strange? On weekdays, the disciples still fight. With Sun Yin's cultivation, he defeated the enemy with one move in these three competitions, and his strength was not weak at all. How can this be achieved by the Gi realm? Strength? As soon as this statement came out, the elders all started talking and became a little suspicious. Yes. What the sixth elder said does not sound reasonable, not to mention that Sun Yin was defeated by the emperor yesterday. Such a speed of recovery and progress is really unheard of. But I didn't feel any other aura in this boy. All he used were the magical powers of my Wuji immortal sect. Today is a sect competition. I think the sixth elder must not bring personal grudges into it. The sixth elder's face was a little gloomy and he closed his eyes and said nothing. He would never believe that with Sun Yin's strength, he could defeat other geniuses in the sect so easily. All three games were one with one move, which was really weird. 
Su Jioga glanced at the sixth elder in surprise. It's this elder again. It was this elder who was the first to speak out about Yuan Hong before. Regardless of whether the other party did it intentionally or unintentionally, it seemed that this person and Sun Yin had a lot of entanglements. Perhaps, when closing the net, these six elders should be able to provide considerable help. At this time, the shadow elder appeared faintly behind him. While watching the battle, he disappeared for a while, silently, and no one knew what he had done. Ying Lao leaned over and said something in Su Jioga's ear. Su Jioga nodded slightly, and his imperial eyes lit up. Unexpectedly, Ying Lao would investigate everything so quickly. Well done, Su Jioga praised, said seriously. It is an honor for my shadow family to serve the emperor's son. The person has been brought here. Does the emperor need her to come over? Su Jioga looked at Sun Yin below with a playful expression on his face. He raised his hand and said, No need for now, let her wait outside. Soon, there will be a place where she can be useful. Ying Lao nodded, understood. Su Jioga's eyes were breathtaking. Sun Yin, Sun Yin, I thought I could play for a while longer. After living for 5,000 years, could it be that all of it has ended up in a dog? Unexpectedly, the network can be closed so quickly. Lu Qingyin noticed Su Jioga's smile and couldn't help asking, Why is the emperor so happy? Said playfully, Elder Lu, do you want to see a good show? She said in confusion, A good show? Su Jioga shrugged and tapped his fingers lightly on the table. Said somewhat mysteriously, Want to know? My emperor's shoulders are a little sore after sitting for so long. Su Jioga looked at Lu Qingyin with a half smile. Lu Qingyin was startled when he heard this and a blush appeared on his beautiful face. To talk to me in such a frivolous and disrespectful way. Her attractive red lips opened slightly, and she spoke slowly. This is. Is this an order from His Majesty the Emperor? Said nonchalantly. This emperor never imposes anything on others. However, if you can be served by a beauty like Elder Lu, it will not be a pleasure in vain. The speaker has no intention. The listener has intention. Lu Qingyin hesitated for a while. Surprisingly, she actually came over. The cheeks are crimson and the voice is like a mosquito. Said softly, You are the emperor's son, a guest of Wuji Immortal Sect. This is not my wish. After a short break, the elder at the martial arts arena slowly spoke. This Wuji Immortal Sect competition is the last battle. Sun Yin battle Yuan Hong. As soon as these words came out, the disciples all burst into loud cheers. On the martial arts stage, Yuan Hong looked at Sun Yin, whose aura was already a little sluggish across from him, and was stunned. Is it my own illusion? As one of the people who is most familiar with Sun Yin, for some reason, Yuan Hong felt that Sun Yin's appearance had changed a little. Yuan Hong didn't think much, but stared at Sun Yin fiercely and said loudly, Sun Yin, unexpectedly, it will still be a duel between the two of us in the end. Yesterday you plotted against me. Today, I, Yuan Hong, will let you know the consequences. Sun Yin's eyes had become a little blurry as he continued to use the soul-burning secret technique. Now he just wants to end this battle as soon as possible. Get the reward of first place in the set competition. Sun Yin, stop talking nonsense and let's get started. Yuan Hong snorted coldly. His aura surged. He was lucky. Because all the powerful enemies went to Sun Yin's side, the disciples he faced were all weak disciples. So I have stored a lot of physical strength. A flash of white light flashed. In his hand, a dark, shiny, oppressive looking black giant hammer appeared. From the giant hammer, there was a thick and majestic aura. There were elders on the stage who looked very surprised when they saw this scene. They all looked at the sixth elder. Holy magic weapon. The sky shattering hammer? Lao Lu, you actually gave this magical weapon of yours to Yuan Hong? Said calmly and nonchalantly. Yuan Hong is my direct disciple behind closed doors. Why not if I give him a magic weapon? The appearance of this magical weapon made Sun Yin feel oppressive for a while. His pupils shrank and he muttered in disbelief. It seems that you spent a lot of money to deal with me. Yuan Hong, having said this, Sun Yin's eyes suddenly brightened and thousands of living beings appeared behind him. The carrier's mighty power swept across the entire venue and surged toward Yuan Hong. 
This battle must be ended as quickly as possible. Yuan Hong shouted loudly. Well done. He was tall and strong, and he swung the sky-shattering hammer effortlessly, hitting the living beings heavily. Boom. A huge air flow rolled up from the center, crushing the thousands of living beings in just one breath. After several rounds of fighting, Yuan Hong was extremely relaxed compared to the previous decisive battle, and Sun Yin was able to fight back and forth with ease. The scene was somewhat stalemate for a while. Sun Yin has not used the power of the soul-burning secret technique for a long time. This surprised Su Jiaga, who was enjoying Lu Qingyin's massage in the audience. Oh, is this guy aware of something? The elders also discovered something keenly. What's going on? Sun Yin's steps are erratic and slow. He is completely different from the three battles just now. Something's wrong. With Yuan Hong's strength and the sky-shattering hammer, the most he can do is defeat Qin Tianming. But the previous battle between Sun Yin and Qin Tianming only used one move. The true energy is a little chaotic, as if injured. The elders frowned. From their perspective, they had never seen an ancient magical power like the soul-burning secret technique from the Emperor's Fall era. Lai Qianyang frowned. The strangeness in Sun Yin's body gave him a vague premonition of something bad. Could it be that Sun Yin used some evil trick? This talented disciple did not want the other party to go astray by any means necessary in order to win the fight. All the disciples were also talking about it. He has been unable to win this competition for a long time, and has even been at a disadvantage. This made Sun Yin on the martial arts stage anxious, hitting Sun Yin's qi barrier with a bang. Bang. Like a heavyweight. Sun Yin kept giving way, obviously not daring to compete with him. Yuan Hong laughed wildly and arrogantly. Ha 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 ha. Sun Yin, I really look up to you. You are so shy. Is your method limited to this? Smash it for me. Boom. Another magical power that was like a mountain collapsing and the earth split apart. At this moment, the violent shock coming from outside the barrier even caused a trace of blood to spill from Sun Yin's mouth. His eyes were fierce and he could no longer stand Yuan Hong's constant taunts. The pupils seemed to be burning with blazing flames. Soul-burning secret technique. Buzz. The majestic power poured into his body from nowhere. As if he was irritated. This time, he unleashed the soul-burning secret technique to its limit. The vast and infinite power allowed Sun Yin to be resurrected directly with full blood. The aura on his body was surging as if he had transformed into a terrifying demon. Bite. The protagonist of Destiny, Sun Yin, lost 500 years of life. Luck value lost 50. Bite. The protagonist of Destiny, Sun Yin, lost a thousand years of longevity. Luck value lost 100. Bite. The protagonist of Destiny, Sun Yin, lost 2,000 years of life. Luck value lost 200. Su Jioga narrowed his eyes and smiled without saying a word. Power that does not belong to oneself is not so easy to control. With a flick of his finger, an undetectable Jinshi locked Yuan Hong in place. Sun Yin's terrifying power added fuel to the flames. Helped. Drink. Sun Yin seemed to be going crazy. The huge wave that erupted from his body directly knocked the sky-shattering hammer out of Yuan Hong's hand. This sudden scene made Yuan Hong startled, and he pressed his fists against his chest alternately. A giant bronze palm filled with Buddhist patterns and as big as the sky struck towards Yuan Hong from top to bottom. Under the soul-burning secret technique, Sun Yin could no longer even control the huge power in his body. The power burst out from it has even far exceeded the limit that Gi Realm can exert. Extremely scary. Invincible. Yuan Hong turned pale with shock, his pupils full of fear. This guy, wanna kill me? The sixth elder in the audience saw this scene and his eyes were splitting, and he shouted angrily. Sun Yin, stop it. Killing a fellow sect member is a treasonous crime. Not good. It's too late. The elders could no longer sit still and stood up suddenly. Lu Qingyin's face was moved, and she couldn't care about the matter at hand for a moment. Meimu said in shock, Sun Yin, stop it. In the field, Su Jioga was the only one who felt safe and content. Yuan Hong on the stage faced the huge bronze palm coming towards him, 
his face full of fear, and his lips moved slightly as he murmured, I admit defeat. I give up. The power of the burning soul secret technique is far beyond one's own realm. How can it be so easy to master? That giant bronze hand is like a majestic Huangshan mountain, carrying the power that can destroy anything and suppress everything. Rumbling down. Boom. The Jinshi barrier in front of Yuan Hong shattered instantly, and his physical body was torn apart by this force, along with the entire martial arts stage, which was shattered under this giant bronze hand. Along with the huge dust mist, Yuan Hong lay in the deep pit, his body covered with bruises and blood. No life left at all. A living disciple died like this. Sun Yin was trembling on the stage. After consuming a lot of longevity, his face became extremely haggard. There are also clearly visible strands of white hair on the hair. When he saw this scene, he was stunned. Shocked by the power of the soul-burning secret technique, Sun Yin looked at his hands in disbelief. This. Did I do it? I actually killed Yuan Hong? The scene was silent, and all the disciples looked horrified. Senior brother Sun Yin. Did you kill senior brother Yuan Hong? Not only them, but even the elders who came over were frozen on the spot, unable to believe it. Bite. Sun Yin, the protagonist of Destiny, killed his fellow disciples in public. He lost all his prestige and lost 300 luck points. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 300. Emperor Su Jyoga's eyes flickered, and he slowly got down from his seat. Feeling Yuan Hong's lifeless aura, he pretended to be sympathetic and spoke. This power. I didn't expect Elder Lu's disciple to be so hidden. He even hid it from me. If Su Jyoga had something to say, all the elders would suddenly realize it with an understatement. These words are undoubtedly a big blow. When the sixth elder heard this, his eyes immediately turned blood red as he looked at the body of his most proud disciple. The aura in his body was like an abyss, and he was carrying terrifying magical powers as he headed towards Sun Yin. What a deep scheming. For the sake of this sect competition, I didn't hesitate to hide my clumsiness in the battle with the emperor yesterday. Sun Yin, I want you to pay for hunger with your life. Sun Yin panicked all of a sudden. With an innocent face on his face, he looked at the elders with strange eyes, took a few steps back, and hurriedly explained. No, it's not me. I don't. Lai Qianyang. Sixth elder. Stop. With his eyes wide open, he grabbed the sixth elder who had lost his mind, said with hatred, Lord sect leader, are you trying to protect this kid? He is the culprit who killed Yuan Hong. Lai Qianyang said angrily, Enough. I will naturally handle this matter. The emperor is still here. Do you want the emperor to see the joke of my Wuji immortal sect? Speaking of this, he glanced coldly at Sun Yin, who looked stunned on the stage, turned to look at Su Jyoga and said, My lord, I'm sorry to make you laugh. Su Jyoga waved his hands carelessly and said lightly, It doesn't matter. This is not a trivial matter after all. Sect Master Lai, it's up to you to handle it. Lai Qinyang nodded gratefully. Sun Yin looked at the elders in the audience and kept murmuring, Listen to my explanation. Sixth elder, Sun Yin, kill your fellow disciples. What else do you have to say? You deserve to die. Sun Yin looked at his beloved master. Master, master, I didn't mean it. But at this moment, Lu Qingyin's beautiful face was full of disappointment and alienation. My own disciple actually did such a heinous thing in front of everyone. She didn't believe that this was Sun Yin's unintentional move. He spoke without a trace of emotion. Sun Yin, I thought you were a gentle-tempered and kind-hearted disciple, but I didn't expect that in order to win this sect competition, you would not hesitate to kill your fellow sect brothers. Speaking of this, Lu Qingyin's beautiful eyes showed a hint of struggle. His face was full of strangeness and indifference, without any emotion at all, and he finally spoke. From today on, our fate is master and disciple. That's it. Boom. Lu Qingyin's words were like a lightning strike, making Su Yin freeze in place. Su Jyoga raised his eyebrows. Unexpectedly, this big-breasted and brainless woman could be so reasonable in front of the righteousness of the sect. Bite. Lu Qingyin, the heroine of destiny, is completely disappointed with the protagonist of destiny and their relationship breaks down. 
The protagonist of Destiny loses 1,000 luck points. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 1,000. Name, Soon Yin Identity, Destiny Protagonist Age. 13940 Character. Steady, Teacher-Controlled, Resourceful Realm. Return to the first level of the Realm Physique. Eternal, Evergreen Body. The years are long. There are no boundaries for 10,000 years, and you have a long life. The increase in lifespan is several times that of people in the same realm. Ranked 19th among the 3,000 Divine Bodies. Kung Fu. Soul-Burning Secret Technique. Universal Mysterious Technique. All Living Beings. Treasures. Tianji Tinju Formation. Broken. Mountain and Sea Scroll. Broken. Huayuan Gourd. Immortal Formation Flak. Current Luck Value. 5200 Show You In. 13940. Slash 19645. Su Juga took a look at Su Nian's current panel. Not only did he lose his identity as a direct disciple of the Wuji Immortal Sect, his luck value of 12,000 was less than half. His longevity is only over 5,000 years. It can be said to be a heavy loss. Not enough for Su Jioga. Emperor Su Jioga's eyes flickered, and he winked at Mr. Ng behind him. He said calmly, It's almost time to let that woman in. Ng Lao understood and disappeared in place. Sun Yin was more sad than death at this time. He didn't expect that the master he respected and loved the most for so many years would actually say such heartless words. His face turned pale for a moment, and he knelt on his knees. No matter how many explanations he gave, they all seemed so powerless in the face of the facts. Lai Ganyang said coldly, Sun Yin, the sect competition is a good competition for our Wuji immortal sect, once every ten years. Although you are extremely talented, the last thing you should do is kill Yuan Hong. Kill fellow sect members, abolish your cultivation, and permanently expel Wuji immortal sect. Do you know your guilt? Said with dull eyes. Disciple didn't mean it. It's not intentional. Do you dare to say this to Honger? The sixth elder's eyes were gnawing at people, and he wished he could eat him alive. Lai Qinyang said nothing. In his heart, he was also extremely torn between being the sixth elder of the sect and the most outstanding genius in the sect. Sun Yin's talent has been obvious to everyone since he started. To be fair, there is a dead genius and a genius who is still alive and even better. Obviously the latter is more helpful to the sect. Just when he was hesitating, Su Jioga on the side said calmly, Master Lai, as cultivators like us, accidents always happen during competitions. No one can know the final result. In other words, Sun Yin was able to accidentally kill the opponent when so many elders were unable to stop him. Doesn't this prove that this boy is excellent? Everyone was stunned. Did I hear that correctly? Lord Emperor. Actually speaking for Sun Yin? Obviously just yesterday, Sun Yin offended the Emperor's son. The Emperor's mind is really broad. Even Sun Yin himself was lost for a moment, staring blankly at Su Jioga, who was smiling in the audience. Master doesn't even help him, but instead the person he has always been hostile to speaks for him? It has to be said that when Su Jioga spoke, the weight was extremely heavy. Lai Qinyang, my lord this? The elder's eyes flickered, constantly trying to figure out the emperor's thoughts. They all spoke. Sect master, what the emperor said makes sense. I have always understood Sun Yin's character. He is not the kind of person who would kill his fellow sect members. This competition may have been a mistake. Yeah, how could he do this even though he knew it was against the rules? The sixth elder's eyes widened with anger, but he was too intimidated by the intimidation of the emperor's son to speak out in anger. The scene suddenly took a turn for the better. Seeing the elders speaking, Lai Qinyang also stepped down and was about to speak. Not far from the martial arts arena, a female voice sounded. He is not a genius at all. Sect master, elders, Sun Yin is an out-and-out, out, hypocritical and sinister villain. As soon as these words came out, all the elders looked at him. Lu Qingyin's beautiful eyes were shocked. This voice, is it Xianer? The great disciple who died due to a failed breakthrough a few years ago. Sun Yin's expression on the stage was as if he had seen a ghost. His breathing was stagnant, and his pupils were filled with fear. This is impossible? How could she escape from there? It's over. In the distance, 
a young woman with a beautiful face and somewhat ragged clothes strode towards her. The corners of Su Jiuga's mouth raised slightly. It's over, Sun Yin. Isn't this Elder Lu's eldest disciple Yu Xian? Why is she here? Hasn't she already fallen long ago? Senior sister Yu? How is this possible? Many disciples were shocked when they saw this. Lu Qingyin covered her mouth in surprise. Xian Er, are you still alive? Yu Xian stepped forward and cupped her hands towards the elders. Sect Master, Elder, Master. Yu Xian choked with tears in her eyes. Looking at the stunned Sun Yin on the stage, Lai Qianyang obviously felt something was wrong. He spoke. Yu Xian, what's going on? He clearly remembered that Lu Qingyin, the great disciple, had been dead for decades. Yu Xian glanced at Sun Yin with some hatred. Sun Yin's eyes averted, and he didn't dare to look at her at all. Yu Xian took a deep breath and spoke slowly. He revealed a huge secret that shocked everyone. Back then, I saw with my own eyes that Sun Yin secretly did something to Tianzi Zhu in the middle of the night. During the talent test the next day, his age was shown on the talent column as 70. But I can clearly see that his true age is clearly over 5,000 years old. He's not a gifted genius at all. It is for this reason that when I wanted to secretly report to Master, Sun Yin knocked me unconscious and kept me in a secret and uninhabited dungeon in Xuanji Peak. If the Emperor hadn't noticed and rescued me, I might not have been able to escape until now. Later, Yu Xian added, If the elders don't believe it, you can test it with the talent pillar again. These words were tantamount to a depth bomb, and the whole house was in an uproar. What did you say? Lai Qianyang's pupils were wide open and his eyes were breathtaking. At such an age, he is even much older than the elders in the field. Lu Qingyin's beautiful eyes trembled. She really didn't expect that her disciple would give her another big surprise. The emperor? It turns out that the emperor saved you. When she looked at Su Jioga, her eyes were filled with deep gratitude. The elders also looked over. Su Jioga smiled lightly, did not deny it waved his hand and said, This emperor is just doing it casually. Unexpectedly, the truth is actually like this. Yu Xian shook her head, her beautiful eyes twinkled. She bowed gratefully to Su Jioga and said, The emperor's life-saving grace will never be forgotten by Yu Xian. Sun Yin, is this true? An elder asked with a horrified expression. Sun Yin was staring at Su Jioga. Like a ferocious beast, its face is twisted and its eyes are full of endless killing intent. He roared hoarsely. It's you again. It's you again. It's you again. Su Jioga, how did I, Sun Yin, offend you? Why do you want to ruin my good deeds over and over again? His appearance had already answered everyone. Oh? Su Jioga narrowed his eyes upon hearing the emperor's words and spoke slowly and unhurriedly. What do you think? Is this emperor targeting you? As soon as he finished speaking, a supreme coercion was like a huge force, pressing Sun Yin heavily to the ground. Boom. Just a look made him unable to move and covered in blood. If the realm is not suppressed, this terrifying power will even make the God King realm palpitate. He said with disdain, My son, this emperor, does whatever he wants. How can you care about the feelings of an ant? If it weren't for Qing Yan's sake, you would have been dead when you said those words just now. Su Jioga's eyes were full of ridicule and intriguing. It was like a sun looking down at him from high above. Long golden hair shawls and a handsome face filled with contempt. It was in sharp contrast to Sun Yin, who was in a mess and looked calm on the ground. How can a firefly compete with the bright sun? Under Su Jioga's light, it seemed that all darkness was invisible. Lu Qingyin's beautiful eyes were touched and her heartbeat accelerated. Similarly, he was extremely disappointed with this disciple and said, Your Majesty, I have nothing to do with this person. Sun Yin was trembling all over, unable to resist in front of this overwhelming force. Feeling filled with regret, he raised his head with all his strength and stared at Su Jioga with a ferocious expression. And you Xian, if I had known earlier, I shouldn't have felt pity and killed this woman. This extremely domineering scene reminded the elders suddenly. The man in front of me is the supreme son of the imperial clan in the world. The sixth elder was overjoyed when he saw this. Honger had hoped for revenge and immediately shouted loudly, Okay, 
Sun Yin, I've known something was wrong with you for a long time. There has never been anyone of my age with such a mature mind. I didn't expect you to hide your age. You even hid it from all the elders of our Wuji immortal sect. A person with such evil intentions may have used some evil magic just now. Sect Master Lai Qianyang's face turned gloomy after knowing the truth of the matter. As the leader of a sect, it's ridiculous that I still thought that the Wuji Immortal Sect had found a treasure. His voice was extremely cold, and he suddenly sneered. Ha ha ha. Okay, you Sun Yin, you can hide it so deeply. Even this sect leader was deceived by you. Lai Qianyang's pupils were like tigers gnawing, and he shouted angrily. Explain. What is your purpose in coming to my Wuji Immortal Sect? The disciples were also infuriated by the crowd. I'm going to tell you why senior brother Sun Yin's realm fluctuates up and down. It turns out that he has lived for so long. What kind of senior brother? This person is obviously a sneaky person. He has been in our Wuji Immortal Sect for so many years, and he has consumed so many cultivation resources that originally belonged to us. Sect Master. Kill him. Yes. Kill him. Avenge senior brother Yuan Hong. The group rose up and attacked. Countless looks of hatred converged. Faced with the anger of thousands of people, Sun Yin could not argue. I thought that I had lived for 5,000 years, hiding everything from the heavens and the sea, and playing with the entire Wuji immortal sect in the palm of my hand. I never thought that I would end up like this. His whole body felt cold, and he couldn't accept this reality for a moment and spit out a stream of blood from his mouth. The breath becomes even more depressed. Ahem. Bite. Sun Yin, the protagonist of Destiny, is hated by the entire Wuji immortal sect. His Taoist heart is broken, and his luck value is lost by 1,000. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 1,000. It has been detected that Sun Yin still has a hidden opportunity all things cauldron energy that has not been triggered and it is recommended that the host keep it. Su Jioga was stunned, said somewhat helplessly. Xiao Tong, remember to remind the protagonist next time he has a chance. Even if I don't want to kill, it's hard to end it now. Su Jioga smiled and looked at the elders and disciples who were filled with indignation and hatred. Anyone who has been deceived as a fool for so many years will not feel better after knowing the truth. Lai Qinyang's eyes were dark and cold. Sun Yin's incident seriously damaged his prestige. If this spreads out and is known to other immortal sects, they will definitely laugh at the stupidity of Wuji immortal sect. Lai Qinyang spoke. Sun Yin, burn the body, peel off the soul, and burn it on the 10,000 bone lamp for eternity. It will be used as a warning to all future sect masters and elders of my Wuji immortal sect. In the end, Lai Qinyang almost gritted his teeth and said, by worn effect especially. What? Burn the soul? When he heard the result, Sun Yin looked horrified and his eyes were uncertain. As a person with eternal life, even if he fails now, he will be east of Hudong in 30 years and west of Hushi in 30 years. As long as you give me time, in the end, all the emperors of the Su family and the great emperors of the ancient clan will bow at my feet. You absolutely cannot die here. Calm down. I want to calm down. Sun Yin tried his best to calm down, his mind spinning rapidly. As if he thought of something, his eyes lit up. Soul burning secret technique. The kind of magical power that has experienced controlling everything and burning longevity is the only way to get yourself out of danger. At this moment, he no longer cared about the consequences. His eyes were filled with the flames of hatred, and he laughed sadly. Hee hee. Lai Ganyang on the opposite side frowned and said coldly, Sun Yin, why are you laughing? Su Jioga narrowed his eyes slightly and noticed something was wrong. Having been played around by me, Sun Yin, for decades, do you think you can defeat me? Sun Yin looked crazy and the aura in his body surged like crazy. A hint of evil flashed across his pupils as he looked at Su Jioga, the emperor's son of the Su family. You are just relying on your identity. One day, I will make you and the entire Su family behind you fear my name, Sun Yin. Su Jioga looked calm and said with a slight smile, Let's survive first and then talk about it. Sun Yin sneered, his eyes brightened. Shout loudly. Then take a look at my true strength, Sun Yin. 
The Soul Burning Secret Technique. Su Jyoga smiled, very happily. Little did you know that the magical power you rely on most was rewarded to you by this emperor. Bite. The protagonist of Destiny, Sun Yin, has lost 5,000 years of life. Luck value lost 500. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 500 villain points. Boom. Countless frantic air currents burst out, and a terrifying aura emanated from his body from the inside out. Regardless of everything, Sun Yin began to burn up his endless longevity. His whole body seemed to have transformed into a demon god, and this majestic power even made many elders present palpitate. Sun Yin, what are you going to do? An elder shouted angrily, said coldly with hatred on his face. It feels like this again. This kid has indeed practiced some evil magic. Stop him. Lai Qinyang moved, and his figure disappeared instantly, and suddenly appeared in front of Sun Yin. When he saw Sun Yin's breathtaking and crazy pupils, he was stunned. This is... Sun Yin? At this time, Sun Yin's face was aging at a speed visible to the naked eye, and it was covered with wrinkles and white hair. All the elders were shocked. Is this his true face? Yu Xin is indeed right. This boy is not a genius at all. He is an old monster who has lived for more than 5,000 years. Sun Yin seemed not to have heard of it. At this moment, he was almost trapped in the whirlpool of power. The power brought by the soul-burning secret technique is like a demon whispering in the ear that can confuse people and make people addicted. Facing Lai Qinyang's powerful magical power, countless living beings were destroyed to resist this power. He only took a few steps back. Sun Yin laughed wildly. Ha ha ha. Power. This is the feeling of power. Countless beings with ferocious faces appeared again, with white hair flying around their heads. Sun Yin didn't notice the changes in his body at all. I saw his body move, and his whole body rose into the sky, turning into a stream of light and heading towards the sky. No. Stop him quickly. He wants to escape. An elder exclaimed. With the blessing of the soul-burning secret technique, Sun Yin is extremely fast and is ready to escape from this realm. A group of elders in the venue chased out together with Lai Qianyang. Only Su Jiaga and Lu Qingyin were left in place. Su Jiaga was slightly surprised. He didn't expect that Sun Yin could escape under the noses of all the elders. It seems that he is quite good at using this soul-burning secret technique. Lu Qingyin's face was full of disappointment. Su Jioga smiled lightly and said, It's almost time. He jumped onto the Supreme God's roar and left this place. Emperor? Lu Qingyin's beautiful eyes were startled, and she quickly followed. But how could she, the God King, catch up to the speed of the roar of the Supreme God in the Holy Realm? In the void, Sun Yin was breathing heavily, and he looked back behind him from time to time. A group of elders from the Wuji Immortal sect are chasing after him. Sun Yin's face turned grim, and he immediately increased the intensity of his soul-burning secret technique. Shoyuan burned even more crazily. I don't know how long it took, but as the vitality in his body passed away rapidly, even though he had an eternal body, he also felt strong discomfort. After throwing away the person chasing behind him, finally, click, it sounded like something breaking. Sun Yin, who was already exhausted, kept relying on the soul-burning secret technique to overdraw. Majestic longevity energy in the body is like a huge hole, draining away like crazy. His young body became dilapidated, and the previously surging blood was like a dry stream at dusk, no longer present. The whole person lost his balance and fell onto a death star. Boom. Sun Yin was stunned. He looked at his skinny arms in disbelief. His expression changed drastically. Endless fear filled his mind. Sun Yin murmured in horror. What's going on? My body. What happened to my body? Am I not an eternal person? The vitality is still passing away. Together with the boundless strength in his body, Sun Yin couldn't believe the scene in front of him and yelled in extreme fear. Stop. Stop it for me. Soul-eating master. Ba Bang Bang. A burst of applause came from behind. Sun Yin's pupils shrank and he turned around suddenly. Roar Su Jioga appeared behind him at some unknown time. Sitting on the huge and majestic body of the Supreme God, it shines like the sun in the void. 
Su Jioga looked very playful and said with a smile, Sun Yin, the power I give you, is it easy to use? As soon as these words came out, Sun Yin's breathing suddenly became stagnant and his whole body became cold. What's the meaning? He was so thoughtful that he suddenly reacted. It's you. It's you? Sun Yin's pupils widened, and he asked hoarsely, You did all of this. Who else besides me? Su Jioga replied with a smile. He looked up and down at Sun Yin, who was stooped and extremely old. Name, Sun Yin Shou Yuan, 18737, slash 19645 Sun Yin's lifespan is now less than a thousand years. On the verge of death, said unhurriedly, the soul-burning secret technique. This technique is really magical. It can contain the monk's power to burn everything, but this power will make people feel controllable and addicted to it. Sun Yin, it's not just you. During the emperor's fall, many geniuses who were 10,000 times better than you also fell under this evil spell. Impossible. Sun Yin roared with red eyes. I am the one who lives forever. I am the one who lives forever. How could I die because of insufficient longevity? Su Ju laughed. The emperor lowered his eyes and said softly, Ignorance, so fearless? Even if you are as strong as the great emperor, you will eventually come to an end. The reason why you live longer than ordinary people is because of your eternal green body. Otherwise, why would you be like this when you use the soul-burning secret technique? What did you say? After learning the truth, Sun Yin looked horrified. He looked at Su Jioga who had a mocking look on his face. Look at his body now with declining vitality and blood. At this moment, the concepts he had believed in for 5,000 years were shattered, and his whole body began to tremble uncontrollably. Bang! He knelt on his knees and lay on the ground, his heart beating wildly. Sun Yin spurted out a stream of essence and blood, and his aura became even more sluggish. He raised his head suddenly. His eyes were blood red, like a beast in desperate situation, full of resentment and hatred, and his face was full of despair and disbelief. Impossible. This is impossible. You must be lying to me. Sujoga, what on earth do you want to do? Answer me. His throat was hoarse and his old body was out of breath. Just saying these words took all the energy out of my body. Sujoga stared at Sun Yin's wonderful expression. The smile in the emperor's eyes became even stronger, very satisfied with his current performance. Said softly, I really want you to see what you look like now. It's so interesting. If your evergreen body is your trump card. So, it's mine now. Su Jioga knelt down and said with a smile on his face. It was as if he was facing an old friend whom he hadn't seen for a long time. But in Sun Yin's eyes, this smile was like a devil, and he was extremely frightened. Su Jioga grabbed it with his right hand, and a strong suction force spiraled out of his hand. The art of substitution. Sun Yin's whole body was pulled up by it. His eyes were horrified, and he struggled crazily full of fear. Let me go, Su Jioga. I have given up. I have lost everything. Please. I swear that I will never take revenge again. I can even do a lot of things for you. What else are you doing? Even the protagonist of Destiny cannot help but lose his mind and show his ugly face under this terrifying power and pressure. Without his eternal green body, Sun Yin is just an ordinary person. The man who thinks he is immortal has seen through all the vicissitudes of life and endured the death of countless enemies. His journey has been too smooth. When facing the emperor of the Su family who crushed him in all aspects, both mentally and physically, even his biggest trump card was taken away. Su Jiuga said with a smile, With this emperor, there is never an option to admit defeat. The little energy and blood left in the body was evaporated, as if the most important thing had been lost. From its abdomen, a blue ball of light was pulled out by Su Jiuga. No, no, don't. Sun Yin shouted in extreme fear. Buzz. Su Jiuga let go. Sun Yin's whole body seemed to have had his bones removed, and he fell limply to the ground. Motionless, lifeless, as if dead. Bite. The protagonist of Destiny, Sun Yin, lost the origin of his eternal body and became a mortal body, losing 2,000 luck points. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 2,000. Su Jiuga stood up, 
glanced at Sun Yin's corpse on the ground with a half smile and then looked at the Cyan Eternal Evergreen Body Origin in his hand. Because Su Nian was overdraft, the original physical aura was extremely weak, but it still revealed a strong vitality. Su Jioga murmured with regret. It's a pity that so much has been lost. But that's enough. Su Jioga didn't forget to take off Su Nian's storage ring. After all, these things owned by the protagonist of Destiny are all villain values. No matter how small the mosquito is, it is still meat. Looking at Su Nian's body on the ground, Su Jioga's eyes flashed. System. Mark. Bite. Consumes 300 villain points. Marking successful. Then he leisurely boarded the Supreme God's roar and left this place. A long time passed after Su Jioga left. The skinny fingers of Su Nian's corpse moved. In the void, Su Jioga recovered all Su Nian's magical weapons and skills and obtained 300 villain points. He did not recycle the origin of the eternal evergreen body together. System. Check the villain's value. Ding. Host's current villain value. 21,500 oops. So much? Because of the special nature of the protagonist of the immortal stream, the luck value consumed is not a one-time event, but occurs layer by layer. This also allowed the title of Destiny Villain to receive triple rewards, which was triggered many times. When I arrived, I only had 9,000 villain points left. After all this, the villain value obtained has exceeded Su Nian's own luck value. This made Su Jioga feel very good. Villain value is a good thing. At this moment, Ing Lao's dark figure appeared and whispered softly, Your Majesty the Emperor, Su Nian has practiced some kind of breath containing magical power and is not dead yet. As a half step supreme master, Su Nian's little tricks were naturally not able to hide from his discernment. Su Jioga seemed to have known it for a long time. He looked calm and said lightly without caring. I know. Turtle breathing technique is the magical power that Su Nian used when he was peeping at Xuanji Peak. Ying Lao was puzzled. Since the origin of the eternal evergreen body has been obtained, why didn't the emperor kill this person? Su Jioga grinned and glanced at Shadow Lao. He was in a good mood and rarely explained. There is a kind of plant in the mortal world. Once it is cut, it will grow back after a while. Regarding Su Nian's last chance, all things are full of energy. Su Jioga was very concerned. If there is no difference from the cauldron of all things in my memory, this is an incredible treasure. The old man looked confused when he heard this. Secular plant? Why did the emperor know this? However, he didn't ask any more questions, but nodded and praised. The emperor's son is so knowledgeable and talented that I am ashamed of myself, said calmly. Okay, as a member of our imperial clan, the Su family shadow clan, you have learned how to flatter me. Ing Lao fell silent. He did not speak, but gradually disappeared into the darkness. Su Jioga looked into the distance. Not far away, the elder of the Wuji immortal sect and the sect leader Lai Qinyang hurried over. When he saw the eye-catching figure in the void, Lai Qinyang was startled and led a group of elders forward. My lord, why are you here? Where's that guy Sun Yin? Su Jioga said with a faint smile. Don't worry, sect leader Lai. I have already solved that guy Sun Yin. The elders were shocked. Lai Qinyang was overjoyed. He didn't expect that the emperor would actually take action. The strength of the emperor's son is obvious to all. Although Sun Yin's soul was not taken back to be burned forever, the result was finally good. Lai Qinyang said gratefully, I'm really troubling you, Emperor. The kindness of the Emperor's son will be unforgettable by our Wuji immortal sect. Ye Lu Qingyin's eyes were crimson, and his beautiful blue eyes seemed to be dripping with water. Bite. Congratulations to the host for getting the foxy divine body Yuan Yin and gaining a lot of cultivation. Increase your luck. Two days later, Su Jioga looked calm and spoke. This emperor is ready to leave. Lai Qinyang was shocked when he heard this. He looked at Su Jioga and asked, Your Majesty, this is? But what did my Wuji immortal sect do wrong? Among the crowd, Lu Qingyin's beautiful eyes trembled after hearing this. After learning that Su Nian was dead, his heart did not fluctuate much. On the contrary, he became restless when he heard that the emperor was leaving. She looked at Su Jioga with some reluctance. The emperor is leaving? said to Lai Qinyang with a smile. 
It has nothing to do with the Wuji Immortal Sect. This emperor has his own affairs to deal with. Now that Sun Yin's matter has been resolved, you can go back later. Lai Qinyang nodded, and all the elders bid farewell to the emperor. The emperor is gone. Looking at the dazzling golden figure in the void, Lu Qingyin couldn't help but be fascinated for a moment. My heart felt empty, as if I had lost something most important. Many elders looked at Lu Qingyin with strange expressions on their faces. Could it be that Elder Lu, abandoned by the emperor's son? Lu Qingyin stood there for a long time and finally opened his red lips, as if he was speaking to himself or as if he was speaking to some people. The emperor's son is a peerless evildoer, even though he has just broken through the ancient divine source. But in the future, he will definitely stand on the top of the heavens, an existence respected by hundreds of millions of living beings. The Wuji immortal sect is too small to accommodate this son. After saying this, Lu Qingyin left here without looking back, and her beautiful face seemed to become even colder. The whole person's temperament is like an iceberg that is thousands of years old, making it difficult to approach. Lu Qingyin, you are just an elder of an immortal sect, and your status is so different. How can you be worthy of the Son of God? Being able to spend a night with the Emperor's son is something that countless people would envy. Su Joga was riding the Supreme God's roar, and there was no wave in the Emperor's eyes. He had no special feelings for Lu Qingyin. If this woman was not the heroine of destiny, he would not even pay attention to her. Just to consume Sun Yin's luck. At the very least, compared to Lin Ye's destined heroine, Lu Qingyin is lucky. Su Jioga's eyes flickered, and he spoke slowly. System, call up them all. After getting so many villain points, it's time to spend some money. Ding. System mall. A variety of familiar interfaces appear before your eyes. Value of 20,000 although the first few treasures on the first page cannot be exchanged, is more than enough for other items. The system mall was reorganized every day, and Su Jioga found a few interesting things among them. Oh, it's actually this. Emperor Grade Divine Power, Red, Soul Master Mark, created by Emperor Luo Soul Master, the Soul Master of all domains. It can enslave all spirits, plant a soul captive mark in the mind without anyone noticing and subtly make the other party loyal to the soul master. Even the emperor can hardly detect it. Required villain value. 10,000 Su Jioga narrowed his eyes and stared closely at the technique in front of him. The soul master's mark is a technique from outside the realm. In the emperor's fall era, the soul lord was a being that terrified the entire world. He can enslave your closest relatives without being noticed and stab you in the back at the most critical moment. Unexpectedly, the system mall even has the soul master's secret skills. If one practices this method and is exposed, it will definitely be tolerated by the monks in the world. But so what? The value that the soul master's mark brings to oneself is far greater than any magical power. This alone is enough. Emperor Su Jioga's eyes flickered. A terrifying light burst out from his eyes, and he shouted, The soul master's mark. Good stuff. I, Su Jioga. Want it? Su Jioga spent 10,000 villain points to redeem this magical power without hesitation. Ding. Congratulations to the host for spending 10,000 villain points to redeem the soul master mark. Redeem successful. Current villain value. 11500 when this magical power was redeemed. A massive amount of memories merged into my mind. Those countless obscure runes are words from the dark side. With the help of the system, Su Jioga was able to understand everything. From within his body, a strange power surged. This aura did not even belong to this world. The olding pupil on the side was shocked. This aura on the emperor's body. It turned out to be. He was in disbelief. But the Shadow Clan's mission told him that this was not something he could ask more about. The Shadow Boss waved his hand, and the terrifying cultivation level directly enveloped the void preventing the aura flowing in this place from leaking out at all. He would never allow anyone to disturb the emperor while he was practicing. Time passes like this minute by minute. One month later. The burial place of Shunshu, the restricted area of life in all the heavens and worlds. It is also the place where Su Jioga first broke the seal from the ancient divine source. Underneath a ruined and desolate land. 
No one could have imagined that there was an ancient temple hidden deep underground. Above the surface, a skinny hand covered in blood and dirt broke out of the ground. Sun Yin, who was already twilight, kept digging at the surrounding soil and crawled out with great effort. He was breathing heavily, and his dim eyes were blood red, as if he had experienced some kind of great terror. Looking at the dark and bloody sky, Sun Yin was lying on the ground, dying. Suddenly, he burst out laughing. Ha ha ha, Su Jioga, I'm afraid you never thought that I, Sun Yin, am not dead yet? Sun Yin's eyes were extremely excited as he looked at the earth yellow wisp of heavenly aura in his hand, from which came the majestic and majestic ancient aura. All things are full of energy. For this thing, he did not hesitate to drag his already dead body and risk a narrow escape to return to this ghost place. He was even almost killed by that ghost. Fortunately, he had lived for 5,000 years, and his soul was extremely powerful. With the help of the soul-burning secret technique, he was able to refine that ghost thing. Cough. Sun Yin suddenly spat out a mouthful of black blood. His pupils flickered, and he murmured extremely weakly. If I don't make a breakthrough, I won't be able to survive tomorrow in my current state. Su Jioga, thank you very much. If it weren't for your soul-burning secret technique, I might have almost died there. Sun Yin spoke to himself. He looked at this cauldron of all things with burning eyes and greedy eyes. This will be the treasure that can change his current situation. Just when he was about to refine and absorb the cauldron energy of all things, a cold, quiet, and pleasant female voice sounded. Why is there his aura on you? Sun Yin was shocked and looked back in horror. Who's there? Behind him, he saw a woman in a white dress with an extraordinary temperament and a beautiful face looking at him and the ominousness and strangeness in the Shinshu burial ground could not invade her at all. Her skin is like gelatin, and her elegance is peerless. She looks like the goddess from the nine heavens has descended and is incompatible with this world. What a beautiful woman! This was the first thought in Sun Yin's mind. Then, he reacted in horror and stared at the other person with wide eyes. How could such a woman appear in Shinshu burial ground? A place that everyone talks about. Is she a human or a ghost? The peerless woman looked calm and did not answer his question, but continued. You have his breath. Him? Sun Yin frowned and said. Who is he? Su Jioga. The peerless woman said slowly without any emotion. Su Jioga? Upon hearing this name, Sun Yin's pupils trembled, filled with overwhelming hatred. He stared at the woman with red eyes and said in a cold voice. Who are you, Su Jioga? The peerless woman looked at him calmly and asked, You hate him? Sun Yin gritted his teeth and said, More than just hatred. I even want to eat him alive. I understand. The peerless woman nodded slightly. She took a step forward and appeared behind Sun Yin in an instant. She didn't even see clearly when she took action, but the cauldron of all things energy appeared in her jade hand. The peerless woman continued to walk forward without looking back looking at the cauldron of all things energy in her hand, and murmured, I don't know if he likes it. And in mid-air behind him, a head was raised high. Sun Yin looked at the headless old body in front of him, his blood gushing crazily. The pupils shrank. This is me? I'm not. Eternal life. No pain, no senses whatsoever. Hit the ground so hard. His eyes widened, full of fear and disbelief. On top of the head and the headless body, fine white ice emerged. With a click, the soul along with it turned into ice crystals and shattered into pieces in the sky and the earth. As the breeze blew by, no trace was left behind. At this time, in the void, above the golden and majestic roar of the Supreme God, the void, which was obviously filled with extremely thin spiritual energy, actually gathered a massive amount of spiritual energy from heaven and earth, turning into a whirlpool and pouring into the body of the handsome blonde man. Su Jioga's aura was like an abyss, and his cultivation became even more unfathomable. The innate chaotic body is feeding back the power of melting everything around it. Ancient and mysterious runes surrounded Su Jioga one by one, making him even more outstanding. Feeling this aura, Ing Lao was horrified. In just one month, 
The Emperor's cultivation level has broken through from the first level of the virtual god realm to the sixth level of the virtual god realm. This speed of cultivation is simply unheard of. My lord, what kind of physique does the emperor have that would make the emperor spend a huge price to seal him from the era of emperor fall to this day? Sudden, Su Joga suddenly opened his eyes. In his extremely bright golden pupils, countless divine patterns were densely covered, bursting out with a light that absorbed the soul. Bite, Sun Yin, the protagonist of destiny, dies and loses the energy of all things. The mark is shattered. Su Joga frowned his gaze captivating. He, who had always been calm and composed, couldn't help but feel a little angry at this moment. Su Yin is dead? Who on earth dares to cut off my beard under my nose? Su Joga. The long golden hair was flying, and countless violent and domineering auras were released like the tide. The cold void here even started to burn. This terrifying fluctuation made Ing Lao's eyelids jump. Even the roar of the supreme god below was a little confused. Ing Lao hurried forward and asked with concern, Your Majesty the Emperor, what's going on? Could it be that the Emperor has encountered a bottleneck in his cultivation? Otherwise, why are you so angry? The majestic and terrifying atmosphere around him gradually calmed down. After completing the Soul Master Seal and breaking through to the sixth level of the virtual god realm, his good mood was suddenly ruined by the death of Sun Yin. Emperor Su Joga's eyes flickered, burning with blazing flames. Su Joga murmured, No matter who you are, you dare to touch my, Su Joga's things. Everyone must be prepared to pay the price for this. System, open the panel. Master, Su Joga identity, the son of the Su family of the Imperial clan and the son of Emperor Wu Shi realm. Sixth level of virtual god realm without Sun Yin's superb leak. This villain value is really not enough. Su Jyoga thought secretly. I originally wanted to let him rest and let him recover slowly, and while looking for the cauldron of all things, he could continuously provide himself with villain points. But just like that, he was given a sharp knife and it was over. It is impossible to say that you are not angry. Etc. Su Jyoga seemed to have thought of something. Although Sun Yin has gained a lot of luck points by himself, he is still a destined protagonist and has great luck to protect him. Who on earth has the ability to kill him so easily? Could it be that he is also the protagonist of destiny? Su Joga frowned and put the matter aside for the time being. Seeing that the emperor's anger had calmed down a lot, Ing Lao stepped forward with some hesitation and said, Your Majesty the Emperor. Su Joga, what's the matter? Ing Lao slowly spoke. There is a message from the clan. The emperor said that your crowning ceremony will be held soon. At that time, our Su family will host a banquet for the superpowers from all over the world. This is also the first time that our Su family has shown its power to the outside world since you, the emperor and the emperor's son, were born. Your majesty the emperor asked you not to forget the time when you are out. And the crowning ceremony? Su Joga. About when? Ing Lao. In the middle of next month. Said calmly. I understand, there is still time, there is no rush. One month is enough. Su Joga murmured. Where is the Hanhai Holy Sect? Ing Lao said respectfully. Emperor, the Hanhai Holy Sect is in Songqing Dao Domain, and I have investigated the situation there clearly. Now the entire Hanhai Holy Sect has discovered a vein of a mortal grade spiritual stone in a mountain range in northern Xinjiang and is fighting for it. Oh, immortal grade spirit stone veins? Su Joga raised his eyebrows when he heard this. That's a bit interesting. Ing Lao. It's just that the situation of the Hanhai Holy Sect is not optimistic. In Songqing Dao Domain, there are people from other realms competing for the ownership of this fairy mineral vein. Even people from the Tsongtian Immortal Clan are here. Tsongtian Immortal Clan? Su Joga was startled. The Tsongtian Immortal Clan ranks high among the heavens even compared to the ancient imperial clan and the forbidden god clan. The people of the immortal clan are all favored by heaven and earth. They have various physiques and can be said to be extremely special beings. Su Joga became interested after hearing this. Songtian immortal clan, what are they doing here? Just a vein of a mortal spiritual stone is not enough for them to take action. Ing Lao, it is said that in this vein of a mortal spiritual stone, there is a treasure belonging to his immortal clan real immortal bones. 
real immortal bones? Could it also be related to the protagonist of Destiny? Su Jiuga's eyes flickered. It's interesting. Let's go. Songqing Dao Domain, within the Xianpin Mineral Vein in northern Xinjiang. The leader of the Hanhai Holy Sect looked at the young prodigy with a terrifying aura in the sky, his expression ugly. Who leaked the information about this fairy mineral vein? Isn't it too exaggerated that so many ancient clans come here just for a fairy mine? There are monsters in the sky with extraordinary abilities and terrifying cultivation. No matter who he is, the forces behind him are not something that the Hanhai Holy Sect can afford to offend. A handsome young man in green clothes with sword-like eyes and star-shaped eyebrows stood on the ancient sword with his hands behind his back. There are several terrifying divine weapons hovering around him, and his aura is like a peerless sword with sharp edges, and he proudly looks at the people from all forces who are confronting him here. Yongjin Sword Sect, Chu Jingxian. Chu Jingxian looked at everyone and said with a faint smile, Unexpectedly, even your excellency the saint of the Tsangcheong immortal clan is here. It seems that this vein of fairy spirit stone is really as rumored, and there are real fairy bones here. On the other side, sat a bloodthirsty black tiger that was full of murderous intent. Said sadly, Ha ha ha, the true immortal bone is a good thing. Chu Jingxian, I never thought that even your Yangjin sword sect would want to get involved. Such a treasure belongs to those who can possess it. We, the Hunyuan demon sect, are bound to get it. The young man in purple clothes is named Shui Wu Dao, and he is the son of the leader of the immortal Taoist Hunyuan demon sect, Qin Shinkong, the genius of the Kongming immortal sect. There is also my Kongming immortal sect. We, the Changha holy sect, are also here. This true immortal bone, how about everyone depending on their abilities? If the saint doesn't hand over the true immortal bones today, she won't be able to leave. Around him, many of the proud men of the Taoist tradition spoke out. Looking at the woman in the sky wearing a purple gauze skirt, with a holy and arrogant temperament. The woman's beautiful eyes are gem-like blue. Her skin is as white as snow. She wears silver bells on her wrists and ankles, and she is not wearing shoes. Her crystal-clear jade feet look delicate and white. His whole body was filled with a noble aura and spiritual power. The Celestial Clan of Heaven Wu Xian Shu Wu Xian Shu glanced at the group of geniuses and said coldly, The true immortal bones were left behind when the great emperor of our clan fell. Isn't this immortal mineral vein enough to satisfy you? Shui Wu Dao smiled and said with evil intent in his eyes, Wu Xuan Shu, give us this true immortal bone, and I will let you go. Chu Jingxian also played with the destruction sword in his hand and said calmly, I am waiting for so many forces here, but I am barely afraid of your Tsang Cheong immortal clan. Wu Xianxu frowned and spoke slowly. Suddenly, buzz, a great pressure rumbled down. Above the sky, a huge hole was torn out in the sky. The terrifying beast, as huge and domineering as a mountain, full of violence and ancient majesty, blocked everyone's sight and roared towards it. Roar the aura of the holy realm made all the geniuses present palpitate, and they looked into the air with shocked expressions. Their pupils shrank. What kind of monster is this? The aura of the holy realm? What's on it is? This terrifying monster is actually someone else's mount? Chu Jingxian, Shui Wu Dao, Jiang Shinkong, and other talented people's expressions condensed, and they looked up into the air with fear. The visitor is not good. Su Jioga stood on top of the Supreme God's roar, looking sternly at the monsters of the immortal tradition below. The terrifying aura of the false god realm enveloped the entire place. He spoke extremely domineeringly. There's no need to argue. True immortal bones. My son wants it. What? Everyone was shocked and looked at the divine martial figure that was as dazzling as the bright sun in the sky. The terrifying and majestic aura of the Supreme God's roar was full of oppression, and the golden hair all over his body burned and danced in the air like flames. The bloodthirsty black tiger under Shui Wu Dao shivered as if he had seen a natural enemy. Shui Wu Dao's pupils shrank. The bloodthirsty black tiger is a ferocious beast in the Gi realm. It also contains a trace of the bloodline of the ancient fierce white tiger howling sky. Are you actually afraid of that monster in the sky? This is not only the coercion of realm cultivation, 
but also the most primitive instinct in the blood. Wu Xinshu stared closely at the blonde-haired martial man in the sky, her beautiful eyes twinkling. Who is this person? This is the thought that everyone has in mind at this moment. Chu Jingxian frowned. What an arrogant guy, he said in a deep voice. Who are you? Do you know where this place is? Xue Wudao said with a pitiful smile. Since we are here to fight for the true immortal bones together, then we are of the same spirit. Su Jioga glanced sideways at the many geniuses below and said calmly, I want this true immortal bone. If you don't want to die, just get out of here. He took a cursory glance at the group of geniuses below and found that there was not even a single destiny protagonist. To him, it has no use value at all. It was Wu Xianxu who made him pay a little attention. Name, Wu Xianxu Identity, Destiny Heroine, Saint of the Celestial Clan of Heaven Realm, Ninth Level of Gi Realm Physique, Immortal Holy Spirit Body, Born with a Strong Affinity for the Tao, and has an excellent effect in absorbing the spiritual energy of Heaven and Earth, a favored child of Heaven and Earth. Could it be that she is a member of the Tsangcheong Immortal Clan? Strange. So the protagonist of Destiny should also be here. Where are people? Su Jioga frowned. The prodigies below heard this and looked extremely ugly. Everyone here is the genius of each immortal orthodoxy. No matter where he goes, he is admired by thousands of people, and he has never been so despised by others. What a rude guy. Who is this person? He doesn't take us and other geniuses seriously. Chu Jingxian's eyes narrowed slightly, with a hint of anger flashing through his eyes. He spoke slowly. I don't care who you are, but I, Chu Jingxian, never like others standing on my head. Get off here. As soon as he finished speaking, Chu Jingxian's pupils shot out a captivating sword light, and the destruction sword hovering around him became a ray of light, carrying the unparalleled gung gold sword intention to destroy all things and come towards Su Jioga. Sounds of breaking through the air rang out. The sword cultivator was one of the best in the world in attacking. This attack was enough to kill any monk in the Dao Palace realm instantly. Wanling's sword art, Shun. Seeing this scene, Su Jioga looked indifferent. He didn't even bother to get out of the way, and didn't even take a second look at this terrifying magical power. The sitting supreme god roared and moved, and his thick limbs were shot out like a huge force. The extremely sharp claws touched the sword of destruction. Clang. The destruction sword was directly smashed to pieces by the supreme god's roar with an understatement. Countless fragments exploded directly in the sky. Chu Jingxian's pupil shrank, and his expression looked a little unbelievable. My sword of destruction is a holy weapon. Not only is it extremely strong, but it also carries its own Gungjin sword intent and is extremely sharp. Even monsters that are born with strong physical bodies are like paper in front of them. How could it be shattered into pieces in an instant? When many geniuses saw this, they were extremely shocked. Chu Jingxian is the best among them. Xue Wudao's smiling face suddenly froze. He looked at Su Jioga with a solemn expression, and a bad premonition surged in his heart. He kept thinking about which orthodox genius this person was, but no matter what he thought about Su Jioga's indifferent and contemptuous face, he could not find such a genius. Who is your excellency? Su Jiuga's face was indifferent, and his eyes stayed on Chu Jingxian. Said softly, I've given you a chance. If you want to die, I will make it happen for you. It's like looking directly at a hot and dazzling sun. But in this gaze, Chu Jingxian felt as cold as ice all over his body, as if he had fallen into an ice cellar. There was a strong desire to die inexplicably in his heart. He felt bad and at the same time he held out three swords in front of his chest to resist. Roar the roar of the supreme god may be like a meteor, and the golden divine flames are burning all over the sky, drawing a half-moon arc in the sky. In just a blink of an eye, the supreme god's roar appeared below. Click, click, click. So fast. Chu Jingxian didn't even see the opponent's movements clearly, and the three swords in front of him were broken. On his chest, Several bottomless huge bloodstains appeared, as if being burned and eroded by a terrifying force, making a sizzling burning sound. Immediately afterwards, countless blood spurted out, and his body was actually covered with spiderweb-like cracks, with wisps of golden light shooting out from them. 
What kind of magical power is this? Bang! The whole person burst into a cloud of blood mist and exploded in the air. Chu Jingxian died. As a divine beast of heaven and earth, the Supreme God's roar has many characteristics. The person injured by it is not only the body, but also the soul. The wound will not heal and the blood will not stop. The power within it will split into countless countercurrents, causing people to explode and die from within their bodies. The soul is destroyed. Everyone's breath froze when they saw this, and their eyes widened. Looking at the scene in front of me in disbelief, Chu Jingxian, dead? How is this possible? Kill him and avenge Brother Chu. Someone said in fear, with this person here, we can't even think of getting this real immortal bone. The monster he sat down on is too terrifying. It must not be strong. Let's take action together. Yes, let's all come together, kill this person first, and then discuss the matter of the true immortal bone. The existence of Su Jioga was so terrifying that it directly broke the balance of everyone present. For their own benefit, they will not allow this man to live. Su Jioga looked indifferently when he heard this and said softly, If you want to go, let's go together. My son's time is very precious. Do it. I don't believe it. With so many geniuses present, he can resist alone. Dozens of geniuses present understood the idea, and they mobilized countless magic weapons and magical powers to attack Su Jioga in a double team manner. Shinkuin Ancestral Fist, Cross Killing Technique, Shinra Dao Seal. Only Jiang Shinkong and Xue Wudao did not act rashly. Xue Wudao glanced at the bloodthirsty black tiger who was sitting down. He was so frightened that the hair all over his body stood on end, and he roared with extreme fear. He had a hunch in his heart that the blonde monster in the sky was definitely not an ordinary person. After all, how could a master who could control such a terrifying beast be so bad at his own cultivation? Facts have proved that Xue Wudao guessed correctly. Su Jioga's blonde hair was flying, and the blood energy all over his body was roaring and rolling like a vast ocean. Countless wild and turbulent black cyclones were surging, and a faint dragon's roar could be heard from them. The terrifying dragon with black and purple arrogance hovered around, and the domineering and majestic black emperor's abyss halberd appeared in Su Jio's singer. Countless purple lightnings are attached to the Black Emperor's Abyss Halberd. In the eyes of the besieging geniuses, Su Jioga's body suddenly rose tens of thousands of feet, like a god or a demon. Chaos and chaos. Su Jioga murmured softly, Zhan Yuan, buzz. A ray of black light suddenly burst out, and the surrounding space was twisting and trembling. Waves of black flames were like the sun penetrating the sky and the unparalleled power collided with the thousands of great supernatural powers around it. The infinite magical power was turned into powder in this halberd's divine light. Rumble not good. Such a powerful strength made the faces of the geniuses who mistakenly thought Su Jioga was weak change their expressions. They clearly felt that their magical powers were vulnerable to the halberd. Quickly retreat. This person's strength is unfathomable. Invincible. They felt something bad was going on, and they all took out their magic weapons in an attempt to escape from this place. Su Jioga's eyes were as deep as the abyss, and he spoke slowly. Now that you're here, let's all stay here. The innate chaotic body crazily absorbed the spiritual energy of the world like a whale. Su Jioga took a step forward, and a demonic dragon full of murderous blood and blood roared out from the Black Emperor's abyss halberd. The demonic dragon that looked down upon the nine heavens and ten earths pierced through the bodies of dozens of geniuses around it. Wherever the demonic flames passed, those geniuses were all reduced to ashes. His Shui Wudao and Jiang Shinkong, the only ones who did not take action, turned pale and sweated profusely when they saw this. Looking at the blonde monster who looked down at all living beings, holding a black halberd in awe-inspiring, unparalleled beauty. There was endless fear on his face. Pa, a drop of cold sweat fell. Shui Wudao's scalp was numb. His throat moved unconsciously, and he swallowed a mouthful of saliva. He murmured with a bewildered expression. This is a peerless evildoer from the Imperial Clan or the God Clan. One person and one halberd easily killed dozens of geniuses from various immortal traditions. 
Jiang Shenkong felt fear in his heart. It was clear that the person he was facing was not him, but he was still covered in ice and his legs were so weak that he couldn't move. At this moment, he was extremely lucky that he had not taken action, otherwise, among the geniuses who turned to ashes in the sky, there would have been one more of him, Jiang Shenkong. Wu Xuanshu's beautiful eyes were shining brightly, and her expression was not much calmer than the two of them. Among her Tsang Chiong immortal clan, only the true immortal Taoist master could possibly fight against such a monster. True immortal Daozi is the only evildoer in the Tsang Chiong immortal clan. His status far exceeds that of the saint's son and saint daughter. He is the foundation for the Tsang Chiong immortal clan to compete for the world. After killing dozens of geniuses, Su Jioga didn't feel any hesitation in his heart. Too weak. All the geniuses in the immortal tradition so weak now? Su Jioga glanced at Jiang Shenkong and Shui Wudao, who were full of fear. The two of them couldn't help but shiver all over. Shui Wudao's expression changed drastically, and he quickly waved his hands and said, I'll leave right away. I'll leave right now. Only a peerless monster like you can be worthy of this true immortal bone. Jiang Shenkong also said with a look of fear. I remember that there are still some important things to deal with in the sect. Ha ha ha, brother Shui. Wait for me. The two of them wished that they had grown four legs at this time, and used all their cultivation skills to head directly towards the sky and escape from this world. Seeing that they were very knowledgeable, Su Jioga didn't bother to pay attention. The disciples of the Han Hai holy sect below were so frightened that their legs were weak. Those dozens of geniuses were almost no different from ants in the eyes of the blonde monster in the sky. The sect master looked even more desperate. Hey, be a good boy. What evil has our Han Hai holy sect done? A group of geniuses just died, and now a more terrifying one has come. With so many geniuses dying in the realm controlled by his Han Hai holy sect, that gentleman is obviously not an ordinary person. But his Han Hai holy sect does not have that confidence. Wu Xianxu hesitated for a moment, then slowly came to Su Jioga with lotuses growing on her jade feet. Staring at the blonde monster in front of him, he opened his red lips and spoke. Thank you for your help, young master. Our Tsangchiong immortal clan will remember this kindness. Don't you know the name of the young master? His tone was calm, revealing an innate arrogance. Su Jioga raised his eyebrows, but this sentence made him laugh, said lightly with some joking. I wonder if you made a mistake? This emperor is here to ask for this true, immortal bone. What does it have to do with your Tsangchiong immortal clan? What is the situation of this destiny heroine? Does she feel so good about herself? Wu Xianxu was stunned. Isn't this person here to help her? Wu Xianxu looked a little stunned and hurriedly spoke. Sir, this true, immortal bone is a sacred object left by the great emperor of our clan. It is very important to our Tsangchiong immortal clan. It is what our true, immortal Taoist disciple needs. Su Jioga frowned. What does it have to do with me? He knew the status of the true, immortal Daozi. The Daozi from the Tsangchiong immortal clan in the Emperor Luo era had been beaten by him countless times. Ying Lao also sneered. Little baby, is it a little fanciful to want to use the Tsangchiong immortal clan to threaten the emperor's son of the Su family of our imperial clan? Wu Xianxu was startled when she heard this. It turned out to be the Su family of the Imperial Clan. During this period of time, she had been out searching for the true immortal bones for the Taoist Clan. So she didn't know the news about the Su family. This is going to be difficult. Wu Xuanshu's beautiful eyes flickered, and she spoke slowly. My lord, the true immortal bones are really important to our Taoist Clan. Can you? Buzz. Su Jioga was too lazy to talk nonsense with her. The pressure of the virtual god realm directly suppressed Wu Xianxu to the ground like a Mount Tai. In front of him, with a cold, beautiful face and an otherworldly temperament, did not react for a moment and fell to her knees with a bang. Wuxuanxu's pretty face was pale, like a fairy who had fallen into the mortal world. Her beautiful eyes were full of anger as she stared at Su Jioga. She had never seen such a rude person, said in an extremely domineering manner. I don't want to say what I said a second time. Do you want to die? Keeps hopping around in front of her without knowing what she is doing. Su Jioga did not recommend that she accompany the previous group of geniuses. After hearing this, 
Wu Xuanshu's delicate body suddenly felt cold and she couldn't stop trembling. She could feel that the radiant emperor of the imperial clan in front of her was telling no lies. As a saint from the celestial clan, she is always surrounded by stars everywhere. How did she, who had always been pampered and pampered, face this situation? At this moment, Su Jioga was keenly aware of an extremely hostile gaze. Looking in that direction, the emperor's eyes flickered and the corners of his mouth were slightly raised. Finally found it. This guy is hiding quite deep. Among the crowd of Hanhai Saint sect below, Su Jioga's eyes rested on a young man with a delicate appearance but a bit of hatred and anger in his eyes. Name, Yishang Identity, Protagonist of Destiny, Outer Disciple of Hanhai Holy Sect Age. 20 Character, Arrogant, Tolerant, Tough Realm, Tibetan Sea Realm 3rd Level Physique, Devouring Divine Body, Not Activated Exercise Method, Vast Sea Scripture, Treasure, Origin Level A Year Wheel, A Remnant Life Experience, Rebirth of Quasi Emperor Current Luck Value. 20,000 After reading Yisheng's personal panel, Su Jioga was stunned because the destined protagonist in front of him, whether it was cultivation or skills and treasures, was the lowest among the protagonists he had ever seen. But its luck value is frighteningly high. 20,000. Neither Lin Yi nor Sun Yin can compare with them. Su Jioga noticed the key and his pupil shrank. The quasi emperor is reborn? And the origin level year wheel? Interesting. This is so interesting. The corners of Su Jioga's mouth slowly raised. There is great interest in this new destiny protagonist. The protagonist of the rebirth stream. This is known to be the best treasure hunter rat. Among the disciples of the Hanhai Holy Sect. At this time, Yishang's chest was full of anger, and he stared at Su Jioga and Wu Xianshu kneeling on the ground in the distance. He was the reborn quasi emperor but unfortunately failed and fell when he became the great emperor. Unexpectedly, I returned to my teenage years again. At first he was ecstatic, because with his own memory, he can detect and activate his devouring divine body early. You can even seize the opportunity to seize countless precious treasures in your memory. If you try it again, you will prove to be the emperor. But soon, he woke up. The top priority is to activate the devouring divine body as soon as possible to improve his cultivation level, so that he can have the opportunity to proceed to the next step. And Wu Xianshu is the most important part. Because if you follow the process in your memory, a big war will break out among these geniuses to compete for the true immortal bone. Little do you know, the ultimate beneficiary will be you, Yisheng. Activate the devouring divine body through the true immortal bone. This is the beginning of his rise. But unexpectedly, the uninvited guest Su Jioga appeared. This caught Yi Sheng off guard. In the memory before rebirth, this person clearly did not appear in the battle for the true immortal bones. Where did this come from? On the other side, after finding the protagonist of destiny, Su Jioga wrote down this person's appearance. Said lightly, Have you thought about it? If you hand over the true immortal bone, I will come and get it myself. When Wu Xianshu heard this, her heart suddenly became cold. She thought with her beautiful eyes, and after hesitating for a long time, she took out a jade bone that was as white as jade and crystal clear from the storage ring. This jade bone is filled with a strong aura of heaven. It is completely natural and looks extremely exquisite, as if it is a masterpiece of ingenuity. With a hint of struggle in her eyes, Wu Xianshu slowly handed over the true immortal bone. He bit his red lips and whispered softly, This is the true immortal bone. An invisible force lifted the true immortal bone up. The true immortal bone just floated quietly in front of Su Jioga's eyes. The countless disciples of the Hanhai holy sect below were breathing rapidly and looked at the jade bone with some longing. Su Jioga murmured, Is this true immortal bone? It seems there is no difference. Ing Lao's eyes flickered and he spoke slowly, Emperor, this true immortal bone can only be produced after the death of the great emperor who is the celestial clan of the sky. It is infinitely wonderful. It is said that it contains a mortal marrow, which can cleanse the body and improve one's perception and understanding of the way of heaven. Oh? Su Jioga raised his eyebrows upon hearing this, put it into the storage ring, and said calmly, That's a good thing. After all, if you can be close to a great emperor, 
No matter how bad you are, it won't be any worse. After seeing Su Jioga pocketing the true immortal bone, Yi Shang's teeth almost broke. His eyes were red, and he kept roaring in his heart. This true immortal bone is mine. It belongs to me. Yi Shang, why is it different from what I remember? Although he was filled with hatred, he did not lose his mind because of it. This man killed dozens of geniuses in an understatement. He was not afraid of the people behind them at all. He didn't even pay attention to Shur's identity. No ordinary person. The hatred in his eyes was undisguised, causing Su Jioga to frown and cast a casual sidelong glance. I couldn't help but feel a little strange. What is the situation of this destiny protagonist? You climaxed before I even started? Wu Xianxu pursed her lips, raised her head, and looked at Su Jioga stubbornly. The voice was cold. Emperor of the Su family, my Songqiong immortal clan will remember this. True immortal bones or not. Before he finished speaking, an arc of light flashed. Wu Xuanxu's head flew high. No one reacted. A woman as beautiful as a flower, pure and pure, was understood by Su Jioga so directly and decisively. Su Jioga's face was calm and without any emotion. Looking at the scene in front of him with extreme indifference, he said, What I hate most is when others threaten me. Mistress of destiny, do you really think that I will not kill you as the emperor's son? Bite. The heroine of destiny, Wu Xianxu, died, and the protagonist of destiny, Yi Shang, lost 3,000 in luck. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 3,000. The sound of the system came to my ears. Su Jioga's eyes flickered but he didn't expect it. How could a destiny heroine cause this rebirth protagonist to lose so much luck? Comfortable. What he didn't know was that Wu Xianxu, as the first destined heroine in Yisheng's life, was of great significance. Not only did he bring him true immortal bones in the early stage, but the Tsangqiong immortal clan behind him in the middle and later stages also provided Yisheng with great help. No. Sure. Yisheng's pupils widened, and he roared in disbelief. Pain. It hurts so much. Heart-wrenching pain. Yisheng looked like a madman, which startled several disciples of the Hanhai Holy Sect on the side. What's going on? The saint of the celestial clan was killed by that mysterious master? His that's too cruel. You can destroy flowers with a ruthless hand. This is a girl who is as delicate as a flower. I said Yisheng. It's not you who killed him. Why are you shouting so loudly? Someone who knew him turned around and looked at Yisheng with a strange look on his face. It's okay if you don't look at it, but you will be shocked when you look at it. I saw Yisheng's eyes were red and almost bulged out, and he shed two lines of bloody tears. Oh my god. Yisheng is crazy. The disciple screamed. Wu Xianxu can be said to be Yisheng's first love during his youth and ignorance. Although that was before his rebirth, the memories of those companionships were clearly visible and deeply engraved in Yisheng's mind. I thought it was just a loss of true immortal bones. I had memories before my rebirth, and there were other ways to activate the devouring divine body. But that man was so arrogant and unreasonable that he killed Shuer too. Who is he? Why does this person never exist in my memory? No matter how much I recall, I can't find any memory of this person. I couldn't accept this fact for a while. Yi Sheng's eyes darkened and he fainted. Bang! Su Jioga had a panoramic view of this scene. The eyes are smiling. Treasure Rat, your memories before rebirth are rare and good things. Come on, cheer up and activate your devouring divine body. Su Jioga secretly encouraged. He sincerely hopes that this new destiny protagonist can become stronger as soon as possible. Although he was reborn as a quasi emperor, his cultivation in the Zhonghai realm was too weak which really prevented him from being very interested. With the lessons learned from the previous two leaks, Su Jioga was not so anxious this time. After all, even the golden age of 100,000 years has been waiting for it. For me, this little time is just a blink of an eye. When it comes to the firmness of Taoism, I am afraid that there are few people in the entire world who can compare with Su Jioga. Having been sealed in the ancient abyss for 100,000 years, his consciousness never fell asleep for a moment. Accompanying him, apart from the memories of the past in his mind, all that remains are the endless and long years of silence. System. Mark. Bite. Marking successful. 
Su Jioga thought for a while, but still seemed a little worried. Sun Yin's incident made him know that the protagonist of Destiny would not die no matter what he did. In order to avoid an accident, Su Jioga came to the head of the Han Hai Holy Sect. The leader of the Han Hai Holy Sect is a middle-aged man with a rough face. Kai Shukuin's face looked a little frightened and frightened. After all, he had just been the sect leader for two and a half years when he encountered such a big event. He was afraid that the mysterious man in front of him would chop melons and vegetables into pieces like he did before. He was confused for a moment and said quickly, Grown-ups, this matter has nothing to do with our Han Hai holy sect. Su Jioga glanced at him and suddenly asked, Do you like raising Kuin? Kai Shukuin was confused. What? Su Jioga didn't say anything more and a strange red light flashed in the emperor's eyes. Soul Master's Mark How could an immortal Taoist leader resist the invasion of Su Joga's majestic spiritual consciousness? In just one breath, he was enslaved by the soul captive Mark. Kai Shukuin's eyes gradually dimmed and lost focus. After a moment of silence, the look in Su Joga's eyes became fanatical and awe-inspiring. He knelt on his knees, prostrated himself on the ground and spoke. Grown-ups, this scene made many elders and disciples of Han Hai Holy Sect look dumbfounded. Su Jioga nodded slightly and slowly gave his first order. Yi Sheng, there is a disciple named Yi Sheng in your sect. You must take good care of him. All the resources of the Han Hai Holy Sect are at his disposal. If anything happens to him, there is no need for the Han Hai Holy Sect to exist anymore. Kai Shukuin was shocked when he heard this and kept kowtowing in assurance. I will obey your orders. Su Jioga nodded with satisfaction. This soul captive mark is quite useful. Imprinting does not change a person's thoughts and will. In addition to being absolutely true to himself, he is still who he is. With this heavy insurance, I can rest assured and let Yi Sheng develop well. Su Jioga's eyes flickered, wondering what he was thinking. Murmured, It's time to go back to the clan. The crowning ceremony is no small matter, said secretly, Your Majesty the Emperor. Su Jioga, huh? What's wrong? Ing Lao, there are many auras coming outside Songqing Dao territory. Su Jioga frowned and said, Who is he? Ing Lao shook his head. I don't know, but the person who came here is not good. Oh? Su Jioga raised his eyebrows and looked into the sky. Suddenly, a terrifying and dangerous atmosphere filled the sky, and beams of light broke through the sky and rushed towards this place. Those are the powerful men from various immortal traditions, behind the previous group of geniuses. The leader is a tall and majestic man from the Tsangcheong immortal clan who is wearing the immortal holy armor. The man in holy armor had a proud look on his face. His voice was like thunder, and he shouted with great rage. Who? Dare to kill me? The saint of the celestial clan? Which beast dares to kill Chu Jingxian, the swordsman of Yangzhen Sword Sect? I want him to pay for it with his life. An old man in plain clothes with an immortal air spoke. And our Changha holy sect. A series of angry voices sounded. The aura of the great masters in the sky is extremely terrifying, not weaker than those who have entered the holy realm. The leader of the Tsangcheong immortal clan is a saintly being. When they came here, the scene was grand, like the end of the world. Countless disciples of the Han Hai Holy Sect were shocked. It's over. They all looked at the mysterious monster with blonde hair. Su Jioga's eyes narrowed slightly, not being affected at all by the powerful men in the sky. He said calmly, The younger one is beaten. The older one is here so soon? Ing Lao frowned and said, Are these guys trying to cause trouble for our imperial clan, the Su family? The supreme god Roar felt so many unwholesome auras that he looked up to the sky and roared. Roar. This thick air flow and coercion caused many powerful figures above to stumble, making them slightly unsteady on their feet. What kind of monster is this? The aura of the holy realm? This monster is actually a saint realm existence? In the sky, there were several immortal Taoists with shocked expressions on their faces. A well-informed person stared closely at the roar of the Supreme God and spoke with trembling pupils. The divine beasts of heaven and earth, the roar of the Supreme God? There is actually a mythical beast that is about to reach adulthood in this world? What? The Supreme God roars? 
They originally came here because of the accidental death of the younger member of the clan, but they didn't expect to unexpectedly discover a divine beast here. For a moment, they all changed directions and stared at the supreme god Roar with greedy expressions. The pupils of the holy armored man from the Tsangcheong immortal clan even burst out with a fascinating light. He grabbed the supreme god's Roar with his big hand, and suddenly, a huge white palm appeared. The man in holy armor shouted, My Tsangcheong immortal clan wants this supreme god's Roar. Their eyes were all fixed on the supreme god's Roar, and they didn't notice Su Jyoga below. Seeing this scene, Su Jyoga's eyes became a little cold. Han Shunk said, Ing Lao, kill them all. Ing Lao understood, and his figure disappeared instantly. The supreme god Roar also roared, his huge pupils filled with violence and murderous intent. It turned into a golden meteor, directly shattered the white palm, and roared towards the powerful people in the sky. The man in holy armor changed his face slightly, then laughed. It's interesting. I just like this unruly monster. After saying this, he showed no fear and turned like a white meteor, hitting the supreme god roar. Countless drops of blood sprinkled the sky. The arm of the man in holy armor was cut off inexplicably. The man in holy armor shrank his pupils. Who? On the other side, the supreme god roared like a tiger entering a flock of sheep. No, don't come over. Roar. The supreme god roared open his bloody mouth and directly chewed up several powerful people who had entered the holy realm alive and swallowed them into his belly. The man in holy armor changed his expression, covered his empty right arm, and shouted loudly. Who? The blow just now was clearly aimed at his neck. If he hadn't been alert, he might have been killed directly. Such a terrifying concealment and instant killing technique is unique in the world. A cold and eerie voice came from nowhere. You dare to covet my emperor's son's things. I think your Tsangcheong immortal clan really wants to die. Shadow Lao appeared like a ghost from the cold void behind the man in holy armor. The extremely skinny arm grabbed it with one palm, and the indestructible fairy armor was like paper in front of Ing Lao, shattering instantly. This is the aura of the supreme? The man in holy armor was shocked. This blow full of killing intent brought a strong sense of death. Feeling that something was not going well, the man in holy armor made a quick decision and shouted violently. Blood escape. In an instant, a huge amount of energy burst out from his body. The energy and blood all over his body was burning, and he no longer looked as carefree and carefree as before. The wolf turned into a crimson light and tried to escape. Still want to leave? Ing Lao said coldly. A dark and deep vortex emerged from his hand, and the man in holy armor was uncontrollably grabbed back by the majestic suction force. Ing Lao snorted coldly, and his hands were like giant pincers, pinching the opponent's neck tightly. The man in holy armor turned red and roared. Jerk face, I am a member of the Tsangcheong immortal clan. You dare to touch me? As a powerful person in the holy realm of the Tsangcheong immortal clan, how had he ever been bullied like this before? The shadow produced a black light and instantly appeared in front of Su Jyoga. On the other side, the supreme god roared and started killing. Facing a group of powerful men from the immortal orthodoxy, the scene was simply a one-sided massacre. Dense rain of blood fell from the sky. The supreme god's roar was bathed in blood, and the beast's eyes tore it apart with murderous intent and swallowed a powerful person who had reached the level of a saint. In just less than a stick of incense, this group of Taoist powerful people from all walks of life, who thought they were right, looked terrified, and fled in all directions like frightened birds and beasts. There is no trace of the arrogance that he had before to conquer the roar of the supreme god. Su Jyoga watched this scene indifferently. Boom. Hit the ground heavily. He kept struggling and roaring. His whole body was burning with holy power, but despite his cultivation in the holy realm, he was as weak as an ant in front of the Ying Lao, unable to resist at all. Let me go. Do you know who I am? I am Wajishan, the dancer of Tsangcheong immortal ancestor. I have crushed the communication talisman. When the supreme leader of our clan comes, none of you can escape. The man in holy armor was still roaring without mercy. Emperor Su Jyoga's eyes flashed. 
that Song Xiong immortal clan is more arrogant than I imagined. Ying Lao, tell him to be quiet. Be honest in front of the emperor's son. Ying Lao's eyes were hard. A flash of black light actually cut off the tongue of the man in holy armor. Blood spurted out from his mouth crazily. The man in holy armor shrank his pupils and let out an extremely miserable wail. A ha without a tongue, he could only roar in agony. Seeing this, the disciples of the Hanhai holy sect in the distance did not dare to move. This bloody and cruel scene almost scared their souls out of their minds. Where does this mysterious man exist? This is the saint of the Tsangcheung immortal clan. Ouch! In the sky, the roar of the supreme god also killed and devoured the dozens of immortal Taoist powers who came. The golden hair was dyed scarlet red by the blood, and wisps of heat burned and steamed. After a while, it returned to the golden and majestic appearance of the horse before. He landed in front of Su Jioga and let out a low roar. Well done. Su Jioga patted the supreme god's roar on the head and stepped forward to take a look at the man in holy armor on the ground. He spoke slowly. Are you also here to trouble me? Wu Jitian raised his head. When he saw this blonde young man with extraordinary martial prowess and noble temperament in front of him, he was shocked all over. My head went blank for a moment. His whole body began to tremble crazily. Without him, just because. This person. He has seen it. It was just a few days ago that the emperor of the Su family, whom the patriarch of the clan had warned many times not to mess with Su Joga, it's over. This was the only thought in Wu Jitian's mind at this time. Because before, all my attention was on the supreme god's roar. He never thought that this gentleman would appear in Tsangqing Dao domain. How is this possible? Su Jioga had a panoramic view of Wu Jitian's appearance. Said playfully, Have you met this emperor? Wu Jitian's pupils were full of fear, but his tongue was cut and he couldn't speak at all. He could only kneel on the ground, hold himself up and kowtow vigorously. Bang! Bang! Every time, he used all his strength as if he wanted to tell Su Jioga his answer. Su Jioga just looked at him quietly and kowtowed. After a while, he spoke. The Emperor's Mount. If you like it so much, oh no, if the Tsangcheong immortal clan behind you likes it so much, then I, the Emperor, must offer it up with both hands and dedicate it to you with tears of gratitude? Wu Jitian was shocked all over. If I had known earlier that this was the Emperor's Mount, even if you give him 10,000 courages, he would never dare to be so rampant. He knocked harder and shook his head vigorously. Ying Lao sneered from the side. Since the imperial clans from all sides stopped coming out, the Tsangcheong immortal clan has become more arrogant day by day. Now that I see the emperor, why is he not as tough as before? The Tsangcheong immortal clan is a clan that is blessed with great blessings from birth. The people in their clan have high ambitions and are arrogant. They even call themselves gods. They are arrogant and arrogant. This is not a matter of a day or two. The disciples of the Hanhai holy sect in the distance were stunned. What is going on? Why was the saint from the Tsangcheong immortal clan so afraid after seeing the mysterious master? They really couldn't think of anything more shocking than this. Su Jioga's eyes flickered, and he spoke coldly. What a disgusting bunch. Grow your saintly fruit and commit suicide. Wu Jikong looked overjoyed when he heard this and nodded desperately. For him, this is definitely the best result. At this moment, a terrifying aura directly locked onto Su Jioga below. An old and ruthless voice, as if from eternity, resounded throughout the heavens. Who dares to touch the dancer of Mai Tsang Cheong Immortal Clan? It seems that Mai Tsang Cheong Immortal Clan has not appeared in the world for a long time. The world has almost forgotten how terrifying that Song Cheong immortal clan is. When he heard this familiar voice, Wu Jitian, who was about to commit suicide, suddenly remembered the communication talisman he had crushed before. His pupils suddenly widened, and he shook his head like crazy. A hug kept coming. At this moment, Wu Jitian was filled with endless fear in his heart. No, no. He wants to tell his ancestor that the person in front of him is the emperor of the Su family you mentioned but I couldn't say a word. Emperor Su Jioga narrowed his eyes slightly. At this moment, he even had the illusion that he was not the villain, but the destined protagonist. 
I finally understand. Why does my father always tell himself that the immortal tradition in the people of the major ancient tribes are the most annoying? Reason with these guys? The younger ones were beaten, the older ones were beaten, the older ones were beaten, and there were even older ones. Or be hated by him for the rest of his life. Or kill them all, leaving no one alive. The celestial clan of heaven. Since this is the case, let's settle it once and for all and avoid future troubles forever. Boom. Deafening thunder sounded, and a terrifying aura filled the air. Before anyone arrived, a roaring thunder pillar took the lead and struck down towards the place where Su Joga was. Seeking death, Ing Lao was furious when he saw this, and instantly he rose into the air and headed towards the thunder. His whole body was wrapped in countless thunderbolts, and he did not show any signs of fading in the face of the vast and infinite supernatural power of the Supreme Realm. The confrontation between two supreme realm powers, rumble the turbulence in the three realms was heard, and many big men in the world felt this supreme aura. This is supreme? Which clan's supreme leader took action? Huh, you're just a half-step supreme. You're an ant. From nowhere, the old and majestic voice sounded. Yi Shang, who was in the distance, was awakened by this breath. Looking at the figure in the sky, his pupils shrank. Isn't this the supreme ancestor of the Shur clan Wu Wanli? Why is he here? But soon, his expression became ecstatic. Well, even the dancer supreme has appeared, and the anger of a supreme, no matter who you are, will not help. Kill him quickly. Revenge for Shur. The highest realm on the surface makes the heavens tremble whenever anyone moves their feet. If the great emperor and the quasi emperor do not come out, the Supreme One will be the strongest. In the center of the sky stood the Supreme of the Sky Immortal Clan with an immortal spirit and a childlike face. He looked at the scene before him with disdain. When his eyes glanced at Su Jyoga below, Wu Wanli was shocked. Immediate cardiorespiratory arrest. His expression was as if he had seen a ghost. So wonderful. The pressure all over his body dissipated in an instant. He opened his mouth and shouted in panic. Emperor's son? The person below is not Su Jyoga, the son of Emperor Wu Shur, whom I met before at the end of the void. Who is he? Wu Wanli, who had lived for who knows how many years and was in a peaceful state of mind, now felt his body was cold and his heart was beating wildly. I just. Did he take action against the emperor? Whoosh. Wu Wanli disappeared into the air and appeared in front of Su Jyoga in an instant. Everyone was shocked and dumbfounded. Pop sound, said with great fear. My lord, why are you here? Seeing this scene, everyone was shocked, and Yi Shang was even more horrified. Supreme, this is the supreme realm. Why? Why are you kneeling in front of that hateful guy? To be able to make a supreme being so frightened is something that even the quasi-emperor before his rebirth could not do. What is his background? Bite, the protagonist of Destiny, Yi Shang is afraid of the host and loses 300 luck points. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 300. Su Jyoga didn't bother to care about Yishang at the moment. Wu Wanli was almost frightened, and her mind kept recalling the scene where she attacked the emperor. He looked at Wu Jitian beside him with great anger. The emperor is here. Why are you silent? Do you want to kill the entire dancer family? Su Jyoga stared at Wu Wanli and sneered. Yu Tsangchiong immortal clan are so majestic one after another. Why, if even you can't do it this time, are you going to have to call out the guardian ancestors of your Tsangchiong immortal clan to come next? Every word is like a sword, piercing Wu Wanli's psychological defense line. Wu Wanli was covered in ice, lying on the ground with his hands, and spoke tremblingly. Don't dare. Don't dare. Your Majesty the Emperor, I was blind just now. Please forgive me, Lord Emperor. No need. Su Jyoga looked at him with a smile, but in Wu Wanli's eyes, he was so charming. My son, I have given you many opportunities. You members of the Tsangchiong Immortal Clan all seem to like comparing the background and the people behind you. I didn't bother you, but you came to my door one by one. In that case, I'll satisfy you. Wu Wanli's pupils froze when he heard this, and he spoke with extreme fear. No, Lord Emperor, please. 
Might Song Chung immortal clan is willing to pay any price. Su Jyoga knelt down and grinned brightly and warmly at him. Although there was a smile on the corner of his mouth, his face was extremely indifferent, and he narrowed his eyes and spoke without any emotion. It's too late. In terms of background, he is the only son of the great emperor in the world. Who can compare with Su Jyoga? I came here to find the protagonist of Destiny to Harvest, but there was always a group of blind people coming. As the son of the great Emperor Wuxi, the Sea of Consciousness naturally bears the imprint left by his father. In the ancestral land of the Su family, Su Huangji, who was practicing, slowly opened his imperial eyes. It seems that the sun, moon and stars are rotating in it, and all the reincarnations are flowing in the eyes. After taking the divine liquid of creation, his aura became more terrifying and mysterious than before. Like an abyss, it is unfathomable and mysterious. Just existing there can shock the heavens. With a movement of his golden body, he crossed tens of thousands of miles across the void boundary sea in the blink of an eye, and the incomparably majestic golden emperor body appeared outside the Tsangqing Dao domain. The defense of Tsangqing Dao domain was extremely fragile in front of the emperor. Just taking one step forward tore apart the barrier of this world. The entire Tsangqing Dao domain was suddenly enveloped by a strong and extremely powerful power of God. What's this? All living beings stopped breathing and looked at the sky in unison. Billions of living beings are trembling, as if some great terror is about to come. Yi Sheng in the crowd was very familiar with this aura. This is imperial power, extremely pure and majestic pressure of the emperor. His eyes were filled with wonder, and his heart was filled with confusion. Impossible! How can there be an emperor in the heavens? Yi Sheng roared. The scene in front of me was very different from what I remembered, and all developments were heading towards an uncontrollable situation. This made him couldn't help but wonder. Had he been reborn? Buzz! The sound of the great avenue sounded loudly and the mighty breath poured in like a rolling wave. A golden and majestic bright sun tore through the sky, like a god coming to judge the world, dazzling and bright, attracting everyone's attention. Ing Lao looked at the sky with fiery eyes and couldn't help but murmured, The emperor, the emperor is here. This majestic imperial power caused countless great clans in the entire world to turmoil. The world is boiling. The breath of the emperor Wuxi. What's going on? Didn't Emperor Wuxi go into seclusion? Why? It's broken. The only one who can make the Emperor appear in this world is the Emperor's son. You don't think he is a blind person? Hurry. Go and see if any of the younger members of the clan have offended the Emperor's son without any good eyesight. The golden bright sun in the sky is blooming with thousands of divine clouds. The energy and blood surged majestically and the golden light made it impossible to look directly at that majestic figure. Su Huangji's heroic and hearty laughter came from it, and he was obviously in a good mood. Like the impact of an ancient bell, it shocks everyone's heart. Ha ha ha, my son, why are you calling your father here? Could it be that you want to be a father? Said lightly. It's not a big deal. It's just the supreme being of a certain immortal clan who wants to kill me. His tone was calm as if he was telling his father a trivial matter. Since the rules were broken, everyone in the supreme realm took action. Do you really think that the father of the great emperor realm is just showing off? As soon as this statement came out, boom the sky in this world seems to have collapsed. The wind was strong, and the clear sky was like a broken mirror for an instant, and violent and chaotic void turbulence emerged from it. The whole world seemed to have turned into blood, and from the majestic and vast emperor's shadow, one seemed to see a mountain of corpses and a sea of corpses. Rumble. The soil under his feet trembled violently and separated, revealing horrifyingly huge cracks. Just a trace of power leaked out, and the void outside could not bear it and shattered into a dead land. The entire Qingtian Dao domain is like the end of the world. This terrifying imperial power made everyone unable to breathe, even their hearts were shaken, and their mouths were bleeding. The Tsangqiong Immortal Clan's supreme dancer Wanli had a look of despair on his face. He kept chanting, It's over. It's over. His heart was filled with endless regrets. Over the past thousand years, 
Everyone in the Tsang Cheong immortal clan had been too arrogant and arrogant, and did not take anyone seriously, including himself, angered a supreme emperor. Dancer from the Celestial Clan. It's over. Hundreds of millions of creatures in the entire Qingtian Dao domain can hardly breathe under this imperial power. Even the ancient great masters in other distant realms are watching this world. The bright sun in the sky crashed down. Emperor Su's eyes were breathtaking as he appeared beside Su Jioga. He glanced at Wu Wanli and Wu Jitian below, as if he wanted to see through them. The emperor's gaze made the two of them feel like they were in danger. Wu Wanli was trembling all over, and he lay face down on the ground. He said in horror, The great emperor Wuxia. Ying Lao looked at the dazzling emperor's body with pious and fervent eyes and knelt down. Emperor, Su Huangji did not speak, but grabbed it with his big hand. The surge of supreme imperial power directly pulled out the memories of Wu Jitian and Wu Wanli. The art of peeling souls. Dancer? Su Huangji murmured in a low voice. A trace of disgust flashed in his pupils. Their pupils were wide open and covered with bloodshot eyes, looking extremely painful. Ah, uh, the soul peeling technique is extremely painful. It feels like being cut into pieces with a thousand knives, cutting off your own flesh and blood piece by piece. After So Hun found out what happened, Su Huang smiled instead of being angry. Dancer, what a dancer. If you dare to attack my son, it seems that my warning is not enough. In his life, what he hates the most is people who use their power to bully others. During the emperor's fall, most of the dark side was shattered because of his son. Unexpectedly, in this future life, there are still some things that don't know how to live or die. Su Huangji's eyes were full of anger, as if there were flames burning. He squeezed hard and crushed their souls. Under the emperor, Everyone is an ant, a saint, a supreme being from the dance family of Tsangcheong immortal clan. His soul was shattered and he lay limp on the ground like a pile of mud, with no life left at all. Just die. Seeing this scene, everyone in the Hanhai holy sect in the distance was frightened out of their souls. That tall, majestic, and dazzling being could actually be a great emperor? The emperor could not look directly at him and many of them even shed two lines of blood and tears from their eyes, and their whole bodies were trembling with excitement. Countless of them have never even seen the supreme realm in their entire lives. Unexpectedly, I would be able to see a living emperor in my lifetime. Yi Sheng's face was even more shocked. He never expected the mysterious blonde young man in front of him. The person standing behind him turned out to be a great emperor, an existence that makes the world look up to him. This is a height that I have dreamed of, a height that I have never reached even before my rebirth. Sense of powerlessness and despair in his heart when facing Shuer. The two words Great Emperor were like a towering Mount Tai, firmly blocking his way. Su Huangji turned around and looked at Su Jiaga carefully. I found that my baby son was not injured at all, and his face looked better. Asked with concern, Jiaga, are you okay? Su Jiuga nodded slightly and said, Fine, maybe it's because of the divine fluid of creation. My father actually looked much younger, and he had returned to the wise, mighty, and energetic person he was before. Su Huangji's eyes flickered, and he asked a question. My son, how do you think we should deal with this dancer? The lives of thousands of dancers are in your hands. Do you want to save it for your own revenge in the future, or do you want your father to take action? His tone was calm as if the dancer of the Tsang Cheong immortal clan, in his eyes, was just an ant that could be beaten to death at any time. After breaking the seal from the ancient divine source, my precious son has been practicing outside for some time. Even his cultivation level has improved by leaps and bounds. He wanted to see what decision Jioga would make about this. Su Huangji just looked at Su Jioga quietly. In this world, father and son are like two dazzling sons and countless people can only kneel down and look up. Su Jioga's eyes were full of indifference and ruthlessness, and he spoke without hesitation. Just erase it. Their outcome has already been determined. Save it for revenge later? Sorry, I am not a destined protagonist. Doing this will only make outsiders more pushy and think you are easy to bully. And he believes that even if he has a great emperor, a member of the Su family is nothing more than this. 
Tooth for tooth, blood for blood. This is Su Jioga's attitude. Okay. Su Huang shouted loudly. Jioga's ideas coincided with his. Su Huangji's eyes flashed with a captivating light, and he slowly spoke. My son, you have to remember. A father cannot be by your side at any time. Only blood can make those old immortal guys have a long memory. If you are afraid, you won't do it again. Ever since Su Jioga was born, he had long expected that this scene would happen. He didn't interfere much. He just wanted to see what choice Su Jioga would make in this situation. Su Jioga's answer made Su Huangji very satisfied. Because the son of Su Huangji will never be the kind of indecisive and soft-hearted person, then kill them all. Su Huangji's eyes penetrated directly through the sky and were firmly locked on the entire Wu family. The entire Wu Jiadao realm was shrouded in great terror. Boom. In the sky, a golden and majestic huge palm suddenly appeared, rolling down the godless power that can destroy everything. The sound was overwhelming, like the end of the world. Among the dancers, the ancestors who had been sleeping for a long time woke up from their long sleep. Suddenly, peerless strong men with terrifying auras appeared in midair. They are all dancers' ultimate trump cards. Each one is not weaker than the supreme realm and the leader is infinitely close to the quasi-emperor. Emperor? Why? What did my dancer do to anger that adult? A majestic and majestic voice that shocked the nine heavens and ten earths resounded throughout the ancient clans of the heavens. Dancer, since you dare to risk your life and let the supreme realm take action against this emperor's son, then you must be prepared to bear the consequences of this emperor's wrath. What? The ancestors of the dancers turned pale. Which reckless person dares to take action against the emperor? Haven't all the tribesmen been warned? The ancestor of the dancers at the head looked frightened and hurriedly spoke loudly. Emperor Wusher, my family is willing to apologize as a whole family. Please spare the lives of these hundreds of millions of creatures. This is definitely not our intention. Please show mercy to me. But the majestic golden giant hand showed no intention of stopping. Rumble suddenly endless divine power burst out from it. A vast golden light that shook ancient and modern times illuminated the entire heavens and worlds. Boom! Dozens of the clan protecting ancestors of the dance family were directly overwhelmed by this overwhelming power and turned into powder in an instant. The heavens tremble. The dancers of the Tsangcheong immortal clan and the billions of creatures in the entire Dao domain didn't even have time to react. Then they were all destroyed under this terrifying palm. From now on, there is no more dancer in the Tsangcheong Immortal Clan. The imperial power has not faded away for a long time. Countless superpowers, the forbidden gods, the immortal cults, the hidden saints, and the peeping young men hidden in the darkness were all disturbed when they saw this scene. A palm. Just such a slap. I thought that this great emperor was old and frail, and that he would die soon. But he didn't expect that he could actually use such amazing magical powers. Destroy an entire realm. When the hearts of countless powerful people were palpitating, Su Huangji's majestic voice sounded again. Today, I, Su Huangji, will tell you all that if my son, the emperor of the Su family, encounters such injustice again, the person who takes action will end up like this dancer. Genocide. As he spoke, Su Huangji used his supreme magical power to communicate the rules of heaven. All the members of the dance family who had escaped thousands of miles away suddenly had a mark of sin on their bodies, and then they all exploded and died. Genocide is no joke. This kind of power is infinitely close to that of the great emperor. At this moment, Su Huangji looked down at all living beings, unparalleled in the world. His eyes were full of pride and arrogance. Seeing this scene, Su Jiuga felt hot inside. Is this the power of the great emperor? Turning one's hands to make clouds and turning one's hands to rain. One can easily decide the life and death of an entire Tao realm with a single movement of his hand. The frightening majestic momentum gradually receded. After destroying the dancer, Su Huang gave a big laugh. Looking at Su Jiuga, he said, My son, if you have a father who makes the decision for you, it doesn't matter whether it's the celestial clan or the immortal tradition. It's the same even if the god clan comes. My son, 
Let's go back to Su's house. With a wave of his hand, he directly rolled up Su Jioga and disappeared. The people in Qingtian Dao Domain who were left with trembling faces were still kneeling on the ground, trembling all over, and did not dare to get up for a long time. Yisheng's heart was filled with fear and self-doubt. The son of a great emperor. Can I really take revenge on such a terrifying existence? Just because the supreme realm took action to offend, even the dancer of the Tsangcheong immortal clan with unfathomable strength and rich foundation was wiped out with a slap. With such a relaxed look, it felt like squeezing an insect to death. The overwhelming hatred in Yishang's heart was mostly melted by fear. At this moment, he suddenly felt that he seemed to be. I don't like Wu Xianshu that much anymore. The true immortal bone is gone, and the dancer who can provide him with a lot of help has also died. Is it really necessary for me to be stupid enough to take revenge on a noble son who even has a great emperor standing behind him? Fortunately, the emperor of the Su family didn't notice him. Yisheng couldn't help but think a little thankfully. As a quasi-emperor and being reborn, his Taoist heart is naturally extremely tenacious. Soon, I figured it out and let go. Yisheng's eyes flickered and he murmured, Sure, don't worry, I, Yisheng, will never forget this grudge. When I become stronger and become the great emperor, I will definitely make that guy pay the price with his blood. It's just that now that the true immortal bone is gone and the devouring divine body is activated, I don't know how long it will take. Seemingly thinking of something, Yisheng's eyes lit up. That's right. Taiyuan Immortal Land. In my memory, Taiyuan Fairyland. A fairyland filled with countless treasures will soon open. Before rebirth, my cultivation was weak at this time, so I didn't get any heaven-defying opportunities. But even so, he still gained a lot and even got to know a woman with a mysterious origin. When he thought of the woman's identity, Yisheng's eyes showed ecstasy. Not only that, he clearly remembers the locations of some of the most famous treasures in Taiyuan Immortal Land. Yisheng was trembling with excitement. My originally gloomy mood improved a lot because of Shuer's death. Laughed loudly. Taiyuan Immortal Land. This is the place where I, Yisheng, can rise again. Ha 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 ha. With such an appearance, even the fellow disciples beside him were frightened. It's over. Isn't this guy Yisheng crazy about gains and losses? In the ancestral land of the Su family, a golden divine rainbow fell. Su Huangji and Su Jioga appeared, with the supreme god's roar following closely behind them. Su Huangji was walking ahead unhurriedly, then suddenly stopped and spoke. My son, how do you feel about going to the outside world to experience these days? Su Jioga thought for a while and said honestly, It's pretty enjoyable. Isn't it pleasant? First Lin Yi and then Sun Yin. These two leaks have fully exerted their own value and become their own nutrients. If it hadn't been for the appearance of the blind Sangcheong immortal clan, Su Jioga wouldn't have even planned to return to the clan so early. Su Huangji, it's the best. Have you found any talents worthy of note? Speaking of this, Su Jioga was a little confused. This has never been discovered, but what is strange is that in this life, the rules of heaven are obviously perfect and the heaven and earth are filled with spiritual energy. But how come today's geniuses are much weaker than those in the emperor's fall era? Su Huangji was startled when he heard this, and then laughed out loud. Ha ha ha, the darkness invaded in the emperor's fall era. If you were not strong, you would have died at the hands of those disgusting things. But now the monks in the world are accustomed to being at ease. However, Jogu, you must not think too highly of yourself and look down on everyone because of this. Among those big clans, the truly peerless evildoers are all well hidden by them. They are the opponents you want to suppress. Su Jiuga nodded slightly. I understand. Su Huangji, okay, once the crowning ceremony is over, you can do whatever you want. But during this period, I still stay at the Su family honestly. I will personally train your Shadow Clan Protector to improve his strength. Half-step supreme, cultivation is still too weak. Yes, Su Jioga nodded. After all, the crowning ceremony is no small matter. As for Yishang, the protagonist of Destiny, he cannot escape even if the mark left by the system is on him. By the way, father, do you need this? Su Jiuga took out Sun Yin's eternal evergreen body origin from the system's storage space. 
This familiar aura made Su Huangji tremble all over, and his pupils were shocked. This thing, where are you from? Su Jioga smiled lightly and did not hide it, but said honestly. It was accidentally discovered during training and ripped out of a monk's body. He's dead. Su Huangji nodded when he heard this and said indifferently, Kill well. Now that you've done it, don't leave any trouble. If you have any relatives or friends, it's best to get to know them too. Looking at the origin of the eternal green body, Su Huangji shook his head and laughed. It's a pity that with my father's current state, this thing is of little use. You have an innate chaotic body, and the original things are of great benefit to you. Keep it for yourself. After the father and son exchanged simple greetings, Su Huangji Ri entered the depths of the ancestral land and realized the realm above the great emperor. And Su Jioga was not idle either. He took out the true immortal bone he had obtained before. The whole body is as crystal clear as jade, with flowing waves, and is filled with the extremely rich aura of heaven and earth. The most precious thing among true immortal bones is the immortal marrow. Ordinary monks can not only improve their physique and understanding by taking it, but their cultivation level can also skyrocket. The effect is better than any natural treasures and elixirs. Emperor Su Jioga's eyes flashed. Click. The true immortal bone in front of him actually turned into two parts. From it, crystal clear chalcedony flows out, and the majestic spiritual power is almost overflowing. Just one whiff is refreshing, exuding a strong power of heaven. Su Jioga would not be stupid enough to take these treasures that were useful to him and have them recycled by the system. The immortal essence is as white as jade and contains a great emperor's lifelong understanding of the way of heaven, unique and ten thousand times more precious than the saint's Tao fruit. No wonder it has attracted so many geniuses from the immortal tradition to fight for it at the risk of offending the Tsong Cheong immortal clan. But in the end, he still benefited from it. Su Jioga's eyes flickered, and a burst of longing came from the innate chaotic body. If this immortal marrow can be absorbed and refined, it will be of great benefit. He also took out the origin of the eternal evergreen body. Looking at these two treasures that countless people long for, Su Jiuga's emperor's eyes bloomed with a brilliant light. A hazy power of chaos suddenly emitted from the body, wrapping these two treasures of heaven and earth in it. Don't let this emperor down, Su Jiuga murmured. Boom. The blending of the immortal marrow and the origin of the eternal green body. A majestic spiritual energy from heaven and earth turned into a white pillar of light and shot straight into the sky. With his long golden hair flowing freely, Su Jioga looked like a god and demon with an astonishing aura, unparalleled dominance. Just a trace of the cultivation emanating from his body would make people feel extremely frightened. With the help of this true immortal marrow's almost infinite spiritual energy. The cultivation level of the sixth level of the virtual god realm has increased dramatically, and he easily broke through to the seventh level in one fell swoop. Su Jioga seemed to have entered a strange state. The white divine clouds fall down, and heaven and man become one, entering a state of selflessness. The extremely rich understanding of the way of heaven in the immortal marrow made his understanding of the divine eyes of cause and effect improve a lot. The seventh level of virtual god realm, the eighth level of virtual god realm. I don't know how much time passed. Buzz. Ninth level of virtual god realm. Emperor Su Jioga's eyes flashed with a captivating light. The overwhelming momentum all over his body slowly calmed down. Su Jioga felt his own cultivation. Just one true immortal bone helped him break through three small realms in a row. Such a breakthrough speed is simply appalling. The true immortal bone is indeed a treasure that can help the destiny protagonist Yisheng activate the devouring divine body. The spiritual energy of heaven and earth contained in it is as endless as the river and the sea. You must know that he possesses such a mysterious and powerful physique as the innate chaos body. It is not that the innate Tao embryo holy body can absorb the spiritual energy of heaven and earth all the time. The spiritual energy required for one's own breakthrough is dozens of times that of ordinary people. If ordinary people had absorbed and refined the immortal marrow in it, they would have already broken through to the god-king realm. Su Jioga was very satisfied with this. 
He clenched his fists, and his condition was as perfect as ever. Not only the realm, but with the help of the origin of the eternal evergreen body, the longevity has almost skyrocketed. Su Jyoga said happily, System, open the panel. Master, Su Jyoga identity, the son of the Su family of the Imperial Clan and the son of Emperor Wu Shi realm, ninth level of virtual god realm physique. Innate chaos body, the origin of the eternal evergreen body, god of cause and effect, 10,000 slash 2,000, golden holy blood, 10,000 slash 1,200, show you in. 19 slash 21939, 20 years old, skills. The Sutra of the Unshivering Emperor, 10,000 slash 10,000, Soul Master's Mark, 10,000 slash 10,000, Chaotic Halberds and 8 Wastelands, 10,000 slash 10,000, 13 Halberds of, The Reverse Path, 3,000 slash 3,000, Chinyuan Golden Body, 1,000 slash 1,000, Treasures, Black Emperor Abyss Halberd, Wanyuan Emo Lin Armor, Divine Liquid of Creation 50, Saint Slaying Golden Halberd, Heaven Suppressing Spirit Pearl, Shangqing Emperor Sword, Qing Emperor Pill, Villain Value, 8,100, not only the cultivation level, but also the karmic eyes and golden holy blood have increased a lot, plus, 20,000 years of life. The corners of Su Jyoga's mouth raised slightly, very satisfied. Although the origin of the eternal evergreen body has been somewhat depleted due to Su Nian's desperate consumption, the longevity it provides is still far beyond that of people of the same realm. Now I finally don't have to worry that I will be tortured to death by my father. Su Jyoga thought happily. More than 20,000 years. Countless people practice desperately, partly to control their own destiny. To a greater extent, it is to survive long enough. No one can have too much of Shou Yuan. Su Jyoga murmured. There is still some time to see if we can break through to the realm of the God King before then. Then, practice started again. Time flies in the blink of an eye and half a month has passed, within the Su family's territory. In order to celebrate the crowning ceremony of the emperor's son, everyone in the Su family has been very busy these days. In front of the huge and magnificent main hall of the Su family, countless banquets were set up, filled with all kinds of precious spiritual fruits and fine wines. At the top of the stairs in the main hall, there is a large bronze cauldron placed in the center. The big tripod is simple and heavy, exuding an ancient and desolate atmosphere. This is the ancestral tripod of the Su family. All disciples of the Su family who reach the age of crowns must burn incense and bathe, and wear crown robes to worship. The red carpet was laid out, the lights were decorated, and the scene was grand. Even in the sky, there are real phoenixes and real dragons specially caught by the ancestors of the Su family hovering, with little stars falling down. The ancestors of the Su family were sitting in the main seat chatting and laughing, which kept the patriarch Su Tian very busy. Su Tian looked around and wiped the sweat from his forehead. He looked at the list of names for the banquet in his hand and spoke to Su Yangyu aside. Yangyu, where's the emperor? Su Yangyu, who is merged with the blood of the immortal divine phoenix, has now reached the Gi realm. He thought for a moment and then spoke. The emperor's son is still in seclusion in his ancestral land. Su Tian looked at several huge, spiritual boats approaching slowly from the horizon. Unable to avoid having a headache, he ordered. Hurry up and ask the emperor to come out of seclusion. All the forces are almost here. This crowning ceremony cannot be done without the emperor. Su Yangyu nodded and turned into a rainbow light and left the place. From outside the door in the distance, there was a loud and powerful laughter. Ha ha ha. Brother Su Tian, the Yun family of our imperial clan, is here to visit us with our clan's most precious treasures. The Enlightenment Tree, the Sky Bead, and three fairy mineral veins. Congratulations to the emperor and his crown. The first one to arrive was the Yun family, who was also from the imperial clan and was the closest to the holy emperor's realm. Then, another voice sounded. The Lin family, a hidden holy clan, carries three holy level magic weapons, the emperor's heavenly sword, the great sun bow, and the immortal killing pin, ten supreme level magic weapons, a thousand pills, and five fairy grade spiritual stone veins. I'm here to apologize. Please, the emperor of the Su family, please don't take what happened a few days ago to your heart. Su Tian was stunned. 
Others are here to congratulate you, but you are here to apologize? And there are three holy level magic weapons alone. Su Tian was a little surprised, but he still smiled and stepped forward to greet him. Ha ha ha, you two are very polite. I will thank you all on behalf of the emperor. In the ancestral land of the Su family, Su Yangyu was a little uneasy. He looked at the golden figure in front of him like a scorching sun. His eyes were awe-inspiring and fiery. The supreme god Roar is sleeping beside him. Su Yangyu said softly, Your Majesty the Emperor. Su Jiuga slowly opened his imperial eyes and glanced at Su Yangyu. It turned out to be him, the disciple of the clan whom I had previously given the blood of the immortal phoenix. What's the matter? Su Yangyu felt that the emperor in front of him seemed to be even more terrifying than before. His aura was like an abyss, unfathomable. Said respectfully, All forces have sent people here, and the crowning ceremony is about to begin. The patriarch asked me to call you over. Su Jioga's pupils flickered when he heard this. Is it so fast? Didn't know how many years he had spent in cultivation, but he felt that he was very close to the realm of the god king. Just one step away. But since the crowning ceremony has begun, as the host this time, I'm afraid it wouldn't be good if I didn't go. Bite. The appearance of the protagonist of destiny has been detected. Bite. The appearance of the protagonist of destiny has been detected. Su Jioga was stunned. Destined protagonist? Could it be the crowning ceremony? Su Jioga said calmly, Lead the way. Su Yangyu, yes. And the crowning ceremony. Guests from all over the country have arrived, and the scene is very lively. Hundreds of graceful and graceful girls shuttled among the crowd carrying fine wine and delicacies. Those present here are all superpowers with names and surnames in the heavens and extraordinary status. Just one stomp of a foot can make the heavens tremble. Many people from the ancient imperial clan, the hidden saint clan, the immortal Dao lineage, and even the Tsangcheong immortal clan also came. If it were a crowning ceremony, the scene would be too shocking. Being able to get so many superpowers to specially send people to congratulate him, I am afraid that only Su Jioga in the entire world can do it, because there is a great emperor standing behind him, and that one showed great power half a month ago and wiped out the Tsangcheong immortal clan dancer with one slap. None of the dancers survived. Such terrifying and overbearing methods have made the superpowers in the world feel in danger fearing that they will be the next to be wiped out. So facing the crowning ceremony of the Su family emperor's son, even if the Su family didn't invite them, they still had to come shamelessly with gifts. Among them, the members of the Tsangcheong immortal clan hated the Wu family even more. Almost every clan was bleeding profusely and came to apologize with countless precious treasures. The Yi family of the ancient imperial clan has arrived with their treasures. Immortal Taoism Qing Tian Taoism has arrived with its treasures. The Xiao family of the Tsangcheong Immortal Clan has arrived with their treasures. Reports from Su family disciples continued to come from outside the main hall. The hundreds of seats originally set up were already somewhat insufficient. Congratulations to Brother Su. The emperor of the Su family was so powerful. That one blow directly wiped out the entire dance family. I still feel scared when I think about it. Ha ha ha. The emperor of the Su family has inherited the style of Emperor Wuxer, and his talent is amazing. He will definitely be another existence that is not weaker than Emperor Wuxer in the future. There is a girl in my clan who is stunningly beautiful no matter how beautiful she is. I wonder if the noble nobleman, the emperor's son, many bosses whose status was no less than his own came to congratulate him, which made Su Tian, the clan leader, blush. I can't even answer it. He knew clearly that these people came to visit for the sake of the emperor and the emperor. Since the era of Emperor Luo, there has been no great emperor in the world, and the status of the imperial clan has long been different from the supreme status it once had. Many immortal sects and hidden immortal clans even think that they can be on an equal footing with the imperial clan. But everything changed because of the appearance of the great emperor and the emperor's son. Su Tian's heart was racing, and he said with a big smile, You're welcome. Please take a seat quickly. A big shot looked around and said with a smile, Brother Su, I wonder where the emperor's son is? Some time ago, I, as members of the Tsangcheong Immortal Clan, 
felt deeply pained when I found out about the incident involving the dancer. This dancer really deserves death for offending the emperor's son. We have also deprived the dancer of the name of Sangcheong Immortal Clan, and we are here to apologize to the emperor. Soon, Su Tian smiled and nodded, indicating that he understood. Then he shouted loudly to the packed guests below, Everyone, please enjoy the banquet first and wait a moment. My lord, the emperor, will be here in a minute. The crowd roared in response. Ha ha ha, don't worry, the emperor is busy with his affairs. I have plenty of time to wait for this visit. Yes, I have never seen the emperor's son in such honor, so I can afford to wait for this little time. Thanks to you, Chief Su, for being so busy. At this moment, a discordant voice broke the lively scene. Head of the Su family, my taboo god clan has traveled thousands of miles from the ancient heaven territory. Why is there no one to greet them? When they heard the word god clan, the expressions of all the guests present changed drastically. Forbidden god clan. Unexpectedly, they also came. Everyone present looked towards the outside of the hall. Outside the hall, an old man with unfathomable cultivation and an old woman in the supreme realm walked in slowly with a group of handsome young girls behind them, dressed in gorgeous clothes. There were about dozens of boys and girls in that group, all handsome men and beautiful women, with extraordinary temperaments and wild eyes. Every one of them seems to be a proud son of heaven, with good cultivation, said with a smile. We heard that the Su family had two emperors and sons born during the fall of the emperor some time ago. I taboo the god clan, and the Nangong family and the younger members of the clan are here to visit. Stared at the other party closely. During the dark invasion of the emperor's fall era, the forbidden gods took refuge in the ancient heaven realm. Although it has also been affected to some extent, the strength it has stored cannot be underestimated. If there is any super strength that can rival the imperial clan, then it is probably the forbidden god clan. The Su family obviously did not invite the forbidden gods, but why did they travel thousands of miles across the border to come? The prodigies of the taboo gods behind the two old men looked at this place curiously. He spoke bluntly and joked with a smile. Is this the imperial clan among the heavens? I don't think it's more than that. Ha ha, these juniors look so weak and vulnerable. Grandma you, didn't you agree to go to Taiyuan Fairyland? What are we doing in this small place? It's a waste of my cultivation time. Many of the powerful people present came with their junior members to see the world. Seeing the other party making such mockery, how could the younger generation accept it? They all looked angry, and when they were about to speak, they were stopped by their elders. This group of people from the Forbidden God Clan did not show any signs of being outside. Under the leadership of the old man and the old woman, they entered the home field directly. A trace of anger flashed in the eyes of the ancestors of the Sioux family, and they shouted loudly. How presumptuous! Do you? The Forbidden God Clan? Really not take our Imperial Clan? The Sioux family? Seriously? It's a great day, but don't force me to take action, said pretending to be confused. Everyone, we are all guests from afar. Isn't this the traditional virtue of your human race? We, the people of the God Clan, have no special interests. Su Tian frowned when he saw this, secretly thinking it was not good. Neither the Emperor nor the Emperor's son showed up. The current situation was beyond his control. Just when Su Tian was at a loss what to do, Su Yangyu hurriedly came in from a distance, sweating profusely. Su Tian asked quickly, Where is the emperor's son? Su Yangyu took a breath and said, Coming, coming. Su Tian was overjoyed, and his high-hanging heart finally relaxed. Even the entire dance family of the Tsang Cheong immortal clan was destroyed at the drop of a hat. A bunch of little brats with no hair at all, they are nothing in front of the emperor. Just when a group of juniors from the Forbidden God Clan were proud and arrogant, a black light as terrifying as an abyss struck. The old woman's expression changed, and she subconsciously protected the younger members of the clan. Boom! A long halberd whose entire body was as black as ink was inserted deeply in front of a group of people from the Forbidden Gods. From outside the door, a cold, overbearing, and extremely disdainful voice came. Guest? Since when can a group of cats and dogs come into our Sioux family's land? 
A group of rats who hide their heads and show their tails in the age of the emperor. Why? If you don't hide in your ancient heavenly realm and live an elusive life, you dare to delay the crowning ceremony of this emperor's son. Anyone who dares to cross the black emperor will die. The emperor's son. The emperor's son is here. Seeing this, Su Tian's pupils glowed with a gleam of light. All the ancestors of the Su family also became quiet. Izu took a sip of tea and said with a slight smile, Since the emperor's lord is here, we old guys should be quieter. The guests below looked at the majestic and domineering golden figure outside the hall, and they lost their minds for a moment. Outside the Su family hall, Su Jyoga was riding the supreme god Roar. One person and one beast became the focus of everyone's attention. It's like facing a sun that shines on the nine heavens and ten earth, and it's amazing. Everyone felt as if they had seen a young emperor. Emperor Su Jyoga narrowed his eyes slightly and looked up and down at the people of the forbidden gods in front of him. His eyes rested on one of the young men with an arrogant face and red hair and the pretty girl beside him. The appearance between the two of them shocked Su Jyoga. Name? Nan Gong Gu Identity, protagonist of Destiny, concubine of the leader of the Forbidden God Clan character, grudge holding, forbearance realm, fifth level of Yuanjian realm physique. Huang Tian Divine Body, the mountains and seas are so majestic that they can shake the sun, the moon, and the sky. The body is like an ancient beast, and the energy and blood are surging like the tide. Ranked 23rd among the 3,000 divine bodies. Kung Fu. 10,000 Emperor's Divine Kung Fu, Dharma Elephant Golden Body, Dao Ming Destruction, Tin Luo Seals, Treasures, Star Remains, Sky Suppressing Map, Demon Soul Corpse, Current Luck Value, 9,000, Name, Nangong Qing Identity, Destined Heroine, Direct Daughter of the Leader of the Forbidden God Clan Character, Unruly, Worshipping the Strong, Unwilling to Admit Defeat Realm, Level 1 of Yuanjian Realm Physique, Divine with spirit body, the holy spirit of alchemy, the essence of the sacred tree, a natural alchemist. The effect of the alchemy increased by 30%, ranked 132nd among the 3,000 divine bodies. Kung Fu. Ancient fire mysterious technique. Mu Chun soul nourishing technique. Blue spirit binding. Treasures. Ancient blue flame. Misty fairy skirt. Current luck value. 7,000 the protagonist of Destiny and the heroine of Destiny came together, and they were actually brothers and sisters? German orthopedics? Su Jyoga didn't know what to do. If he hadn't been able to check the panel, he wouldn't have expected that the relationship between the two would be so explosive. This taboo god clan seems to have a lot of fun. Regarding Nan Gong Gu, Su Jyoga did not check the other party's detailed information. Looking at this person's unruly face, but hiding his calm appearance in the crowd, he probably knew that he was probably a genius who was a family concubine who defied nature and changed his destiny. Among the gods, the old woman you granny said with a sly smile, are you the emperor's son of the Sioux family? Anyone who is called a cat or a dog will not feel comfortable, let alone they come from the noble taboo god clan. Even if the other party is the son of the great emperor, the junior gods don't have much respect in their eyes said lightly. I said before, dare to cross the black emperor. Die. What an arrogant guy. A young man among the gods was displeased. He took a step forward and mocked coldly. I just passed it. So what? The most powerful people in the clan, Feng Lao and Yu Granny, are both here. He didn't believe that the emperor of the Su family really dared to do something. Su Jyoga narrowed his eyes and said slowly, this is the first time I've seen such an unreasonable request. That will satisfy you. A terrifying aura filled the air. The Black Emperor's abyss halberd stuck on the ground, started to tremble violently. Then it turned into a black light and headed directly towards the young man. Grandma Yu's expression changed. She didn't expect that the Emperor of the Sioux family would dare to attack her forbidden god clan in public, said coldly. The Emperor of the Sioux family... It seems that he doesn't take my old lady seriously. Grandma Yu is about to take action. Suddenly, boom, an immense pressure was firmly locked on her body, making her unable to move. This feeling, if he takes action, the opponent will kill him instantly. Whoosh, the jet black light flashed away. The black emperor's abyss halberd was like a demonic dragon, 
and it penetrated directly into the chest of the god clan boy. Countless hot blood flowers surged up, carrying great power. It was firmly nailed to the wall along with its physical body. Die with your eyes open. The body shape of the dead Protoss boy gradually changed, turning into a big red bird. His no one present thought of this. The emperor of the Sioux family in front of him actually killed a person from the god clan in front of a powerful member of the other clan. Grandma Yu suddenly turned her head and stared at the first ancestor of the Sioux family in the main seat. If it weren't for this person, it would be absolutely impossible for me as the supreme being to stop him. Grandma Yu's eyes were full of anger and she asked, You Sioux family really dare to take action? Izu said with a smile. The words of the emperor of my clan mean the meaning of my entire Sioux family. Do you think that because the old man next to you is a quasi-emperor, my Sioux family will be afraid of your forbidden gods? With the words falling, the first ancestor released the aura of his realm without any reservation. The whole house was in an uproar. Quasi-emperor. Grandma, you finally realized why Feng Lao didn't take action just now. It turns out that the powerful opponent is actually a quasi-emperor realm expert. Nangong Gu, the destiny protagonist among the gods, frowned. The cultivation level of this Su family emperor's son can't even be seen through by himself? Said lightly. What do I think? It turns out that the so-called forbidden gods are just flat-haired beasts. If you want to die, come up together. I would like to see what the younger generation of the Forbidden God Clan are like. As soon as these words came out, there was an explosion among the younger members of the God Clan. What an arrogant guy. How dare a son of the Imperial Clan ignore our God Clan in his eyes. Jerk face. Does he really think he is a great emperor? Nangong Ching looked at the extremely domineering Su Jyoga, who was as noble and dazzling as the sun in the sky. The beautiful eyes are twinkling and brilliant. As far as she was concerned, that tribe was dead when they died. On the other hand, the emperor's son of the Sioux family looks quite different. Among the crowd, there was a higher status junior from the god clan who gave an unquestionable order directly to Nangong Gu. Nangong Gu, come on. Although he is the son of the patriarch, as a rascal with impure blood, his status in the forbidden god clan is very low. After being ordered like this, a hint of gloom flashed in Nangong Ji's eyes. He stood there undecided for a moment. Nangong Gu, are you deaf? I call you over. Seeing this scene, Su Jyoga was a little surprised. What's going on? The protagonist of Destiny seems to have a low status? Moreover, why didn't Nangong Ching, the heroine of Destiny, help? System, what's going on with these two guys? Bite. You need to spend 200 villain points to answer this question. Su Jyoga's face darkened. Greedy. Consumption. Consumption successful. Nangong Ching is Yi Sheng's destiny heroine, not Nangong Ji's. The two have no relationship whatsoever, dear. Oh? Su Jyoga raised his eyebrows, feeling a little surprised. This is a bit interesting. The scene was somewhat stalemate for a while. At this time, Feng Lao glanced at the fallen god clan disciple and said expressionlessly, Emperor of the Su family, we and other taboo gods are here this time, just because we heard that today is the emperor's crowning ceremony. We have no ill intentions. Please don't take offense, the emperor. His tone was polite, and he was no longer as rebellious as before and wanted to stir up trouble. All the guests present looked a little unbelievable. Unexpectedly, the god clan, which has always been arrogant and looked down on foreigners, would actually be soft on the Sioux family emperor? Not only them, but also the disciples of the gods, their eyes widened. They were anxious. Lao Feng, it was obviously the other party who made the first move. Yes, we didn't do anything wrong. He killed our tribesmen. Seeing Feng Lao speaking, Nangong Gu breathed a sigh of relief and thought bitterly in his heart. These guys didn't dare to take action so they wanted to go up and die themselves. One day, I, Nangong Gu, will trample all of you under my feet. Su Jyoga smiled mockingly. Oh, now that you know he is the emperor's son and crown prince. Others come with gifts with both hands. But you, the forbidden gods, who claim to be a noble race, celebrate with nothing? Speaking of this, Su Jyoga's tone turned cold, as if one bad move would leave them all here. Still, you taboo the gods. 
Just came here to seek death? This. Feng Lao paused and was speechless for a moment. It is a blessing for your Su family to have the people from the God Clan come here. You dare to ask me if you want a baby? It's a beautiful thought. Humph. That's right. The junior God Clan behind him said without knowing whether to live or die. Nangong Qingjiao scolded. Shut up, everyone. As soon as he finished speaking, the Black Emperor's abyss halberd inserted in the wall shuttled through a group of juniors from the God Clan. With strands of red hair, she returns to the singer Yusuju. The red hair was burned by the purple flames. Even when facing a quasi-emperor, Su Jyoga was not afraid at all. Holding the Black Emperor is like a divine king looking down on all living beings. His eyes stayed on the people who had made rude remarks before. Said with a smile, Oh, what did you just say? This look in his eyes made the people who had made rude remarks feel cold all over, and they froze in place and shivered. A drop of cold sweat fell on his forehead. If the black halberd just strayed a little further, it would chop off more than just hair. Facing this extremely domineering son of the Su family, no one dared to say a word. Emperor Su Jyoga's eyes were full of disdain. Even Nangong Qing, who was a member of the same clan, also looked at them with disgust. This group of uneducated guys are used to being arrogant, but when they meet the real geniuses and evildoers, they all turn into soft-footed shrimps. A bunch of useless trash. Nangong Qing pondered for a moment and said slowly, Mr. Fong, Granny Yu, let me do it. As the direct daughter of the clan leader, her bloodline is pure, and her status is naturally far beyond what others can match. Feng Lao nodded. Nangong Qing stepped forward and bowed towards Su Jiaga with a smile. He spoke slowly. I am Nangong Qing, the legitimate daughter of the head of the Nangong family. I have met the emperor of the Su family. Behave appropriately and speak calmly, neither condescendingly nor arrogantly. Su Jioga didn't expect that the destined heroine would be the first to show up. Under the angry eyes of the gods, Su Jioga looked at the destined heroine in front of him unscrupulously. Wearing a light red ethereal fairy skirt, it complements the flame like red hair. She has willow eyebrows and crescent eyes. Her upturned red lips are plump and moist, and her skin is so delicate that it can be broken by a blow. Nangong Qing's red lips parted slightly. I have been offended a lot before. Please forgive me, Your Majesty the Emperor. Su Jioga smiled lightly and said, It seems that your taboo god clan is not just some brainless rotten fish. The Emperor is in a good mood today. Take the body of that flat-haired beast of yours and get out. No mercy in words. The Emperor of the Su family is probably the only one who dares to be so strong in front of the forbidden gods. When the superpowers from all over the world saw this domineering scene, the shock in their hearts could not subside for a long time. The Lin family, the Hidden Saint clan, and the other members of the Tsangcheong Immortal clan were even more grateful. Fortunately, I and others came to apologize with heavy gifts to show their sincerity. The human emperor's son of the Taboo God Clan also killed him at will, but in front of a quasi-emperor of the other party. Nangong Qing was startled. She couldn't believe that even though he had already apologized, the emperor of the Su family would still drive her and others away. However, compared to Wu Xianxu, the brainless heroine of destiny, Nangong Qing is obviously more than a little smarter. Nangong Qing smiled slightly and didn't care. But he said softly, Your Majesty the Emperor, this matter is indeed the fault of my Nangong family. Of course we are willing to apologize. Congratulations to the Emperor and his crown. The jade hand was raised slightly, and streaks of light flashed past. Suddenly, several supreme level treasures and a quasi-emperor level magic weapon appeared. Such a generous gesture shocked many powerful people present. Most of the people who came to visit only brought a few veins of fairy-grade spiritual stones and supreme-grade magic weapons. Things like the imperial weapons are all the most valuable treasures of each clan and exist as a foundation. They are all in the hands of the ancestors of the clan, and they will definitely not be taken out so easily. After all, they are still members of the Taboo God Clan. Their heritage is intact, and even the younger generation possesses such treasures. Nangong Qing held the quasi-emperor level magic weapon in her hand and chuckled gracefully. I wonder, Emperor, are these enough? Su Jioga's eyes became a little playful. 
Imperial soldiers? Will he be short of this thing? The father behind him is a truly great emperor. A magical weapon that was only at the quasi-emperor level was really not looked down upon by him. Said jokingly, How dare you show off a pile of scrap metal in front of my son? It seems that you are not very sincere in tabooing the gods. Nangong Ching's smile froze. The disciples of the god clan behind him had displeasure on their faces and shouted one after another. Isn't this guy too greedy? This is a quasi-emperor level magic weapon. Even among my god clan, there are not many. Let's go. Su Jyoga's eyes rested on Nangong Gu, the protagonist of destiny among the crowd. His eyes flashed and he spoke slowly. I think his jade pendant is pretty good. My son wants it. On Nangong Ji's body, there is a half-moon shaped jade pendant. Su Jyoga, who has the god of cause and effect, can tell it at a glance. That is the core of the stars. Star relics can only be produced in the realm of fragmentation and death, and the number is extremely rare. Contained within it is the power of an entire Tao realm. Not only can it strengthen the power of its own avenue, but it also possesses a hint of superior destruction and star avenue. Emperor Su Jyoga's eyes flickered. Everyone below the realm of the God King is just an ant. Only by breaking through the God King can one understand the Great Road. He possesses the body of chaos and carries the avenue of chaos innately. Although powerful, Su Jyoga was not satisfied with this. The avenue of chaos is open to all rivers and will not reject anyone who comes. Only by converging countless avenues into one is the godless path that Su Jyoga wants to achieve. Su Jyoga's tone was calm, but it carried an unquestionable flavor. Nangong Ching frowned, a little confused. As for Nangong Gu, who was the protagonist of Destiny, his expression changed drastically, as if he was facing a formidable enemy. Su Jyoga looked at the other party with a smile, quietly waiting for the other party's answer. He knew that Nangong Ching would never refuse. It can be seen from her previous actions that this is a smart woman. Su Jyoga suddenly had an interesting idea in his mind. Yishang's destined heroine offended this rascal's destined protagonist. If two destiny protagonists meet each other, they will fight to the death. Value behind his back. Isn't it interesting? Nangong Ji's face was extremely ugly, and he held the jade pendant on his chest tightly with both hands. Contained within it is the only relic left to him by his mother the remains of stars. It means a lot to you. Even though he knew the preciousness and role of the star core, Nangong Gu never wanted to refine and absorb it. One can imagine the value of this jade pendant in his heart. This jade pendant can isolate everything. From the outside, it looks like an ordinary thing. Even the supreme being cannot discover the star core in it. Why does this Su family emperor want this thing? Could it be that you discovered something? Nangong Ji's eyes gradually turned red, and he looked in the direction of Nangong Ching. Although the other party was a little confused, it was obvious that he was thinking about it. A group of disciples from the Forbidden God Clan also looked over. The emperor of the Su family actually wants this thing? Could it be that that broken jade pendant on Nangong Ji's body is also a good treasure? How is that possible? When we were young, we used to snatch him over to play with, and this guy would go crazy every time. If the emperor of the Su family wants it, just give it to him. In their eyes, Exchanging a piece of broken jade for those quasi-emperor-level supreme-level magic weapons is the best thing. As for Nangong Ji's personal thoughts? Just a rascal with impure blood. He dare to refuse? Nangong Ching pondered for a long time. He didn't ask Nangong Gu for his opinion at all, but was thinking about why the emperor of the Su family wanted a jade pendant? Su Jyoga lowered his eyes and spoke slowly. This emperor's patience is limited. If you don't want to, then get out. Nangong Ching looked up at Su Jyoga and then said with a smile, It's just a jade pendant. If the emperor wants it, we will naturally not refuse it. After saying that, she turned to look at her brother Nangong Gu. Although he is an elder brother, Nangong Ching has no affection in his eyes. He commanded without any doubt. I never thought that even you would be able to show your value one day. Bring it. Impossible. Nangong Gu said, staring at her with red eyes. Nangong Ching. You know, this is what my mother left to me during her lifetime. I can give you anything, but not this jade pendant. 
Upon hearing this, Nangong Ching's beautiful eyes flashed with a hint of impatience. When did this rascal dare to disobey his own orders? I say it for the last time. Bring it. Nangong Gu held the jade pendant tightly and said nothing. Nangong Ching's pretty face turned a little cold. She glanced lightly at the few God Clan disciples beside her. The other party understood immediately and stepped forward directly to push Nangong Gu to the ground. Without saying a word, he pulled off the jade pendant from his neck and said with a sinister smile, Trash, who are you? And you dare to reject a clan girl? Bring it here. You have a broken jade pendant, but it is worth several of our clan's magic weapons. This is your honor. One of the God Clan disciples handed the jade pendant to Nangong Ching. Nangong Ching looked at the jade pendant in her hand that was as smooth as jade. There was nothing special about it. Her beautiful eyes flickered. Then she changed into a different face. She smiled sweetly and said softly to Su Jioga, My lord, here you go. Su Jioga glanced at Nangong Gu who was pushed to the ground and said jokingly, It seems that there is not much harmony among your divine clan. This destiny heroine is decisive by nature. This rascal-like destiny protagonist must not have a good time among the gods. But what does this have to do with me? It's nothing more than a miserable leak. Nangong Ching smiled nonchalantly, pursed her red lips and said, It was my fault in tabooing the gods. If the emperor likes it and has his eyes on something, you can tell me. Oh? Emperor Su Jiuga narrowed his eyes slightly, looked Nangong Ching up and down, and said, Anything is okay? Nangong Ching's delicate body was startled, and her little face looked a little stunned. The disciples of the forbidden god clan behind him were angry. Nangong Ching chuckled. The emperor is really good at joking. A breeze picked up the jade pendant in Nangong Ching's hand and floated it to Su Jioga. Su Jioga raised the corners of his mouth slightly and put it into the storage ring. Bite. Nangong Gu, the protagonist of Destiny, lost the most precious star core and lost 1,000 luck points. Bite. Trigger the title of Destin Villain and triple the critical hit reward. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 3,000. Give it back to me. A roar sounded. Nangong Gu was furious. He could only watch helplessly as the relics his mother left for him were accepted by Su Jioga, but he could do nothing. Su Jioga said with a smile. He seems to be very reluctant. Has this emperor's son won someone's love? Nangong Ching. How could it be? He is just too excited to be favored by you, the emperor. After saying that, Nangong Ching looked at Nangong Gu who was standing aside. The pupil shrank. What a pair of eyes that is. His eyes were red, full of endless hatred, choosing people to eat. Give it back to me. Even Nangong Ching couldn't help but feel chills all over. She had never seen such a terrifying look. But soon, she woke up. I feel so lost in face. Nangong Ching's pretty face was cold. She frowned and stepped forward, raised her hand and slapped him. Nangong Ching. Nangong Go. If you don't want me to let my father expel you from the God Clan, just shut your mouth. Nangong Gu didn't speak, just looked at her solemnly. Even though the person in front of him is his biological sister, there has never been any affection between them. Nangong Gu only hated that he was unable to protect the relics left by his mother. Nangong Ching. One day, you will pay for it. I, Nangong Gu, swear. Nangong Gu roared in his heart with resentment. Bite. The protagonist of Destiny, Nangong Gu, is extremely hostile to the heroine of Destiny, Nangong Ching, which affects the plot. The protagonist of Destiny, Yi Shang, loses 500 luck points. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 500 villain points. Can it still be like this? Su Jioga had a smile in his eyes. If you don't feel a little wronged, how can you be called the protagonist of Destiny? He was very curious. If two protagonists of Destiny fought, who would win? Su Jioga knew about Sun Yin's incident before. The protagonist of Destiny is not immune to being killed by others. System, if I let two protagonists of Destiny kill each other, then whose villain's value will be calculated? System, as long as the event is related to the host, it will not affect the villain value acquisition law lei. Su Jioga raised his eyebrows. Huh? I am the host, dear. Su Jioga nodded, probably understanding. And the other side. 
The old woman Yu Granny didn't say anything when she saw Nangong Gu, but said to Su Jioga, The emperor of the Su family, can you let us in now? Su Jioga spread his hands and said with a faint smile, The visitor is a guest. It is forbidden for the gods to visit. Our Su family naturally welcomes them. Please. Having said this, Su Jioga turned around and walked towards the main seat without looking back. Such a cold look flashed in Granny Yu's eyes as she did not take the members of her taboo god clan seriously. He snorted coldly and said, Let's go in. A group of juniors from the Forbidden God Clan followed Feng Lao and Granny Yu into the banquet. All the guests present secretly gave a thumbs up to the Su family emperor. He is worthy of being the son of the great emperor. It has been countless years since I saw the Forbidden God Clan suffer a loss. Not to mention how happy it is to see the gods defeated today. Although they felt so in their hearts, they did not dare to show it. After all, not everyone dares to offend the forbidden gods. The eyes of the ancestors of the Su family were filled with pride, and they all stood up to greet him. The emperor's son. Emperor's son. Su Jioga nodded lightly and sat at the head of the table surrounded by the ancestors. He looked indifferently and proudly at the group of super-powerful people with extraordinary status below. Today, he is the host of this banquet. Ancestry spoke respectfully. Your Majesty, please wait a moment. The crowning ceremony can begin after a while. Su Jiuga nodded slightly. There's no rush. His gaze rested on the man from the Forbidden God Clan below who looked a bit unnatural. Dozens of people from the Forbidden God Clan came and the seats here were already occupied. A group of people standing in the venue looked particularly dazzling and awkward, with no one to sit down. The junior from the god clan said angrily, Emperor Su's son, what do you mean? We have given you all the things and gifts. Why are there no seats for us and other members of the god clan? Yes, even these mere immortal Taoist forces have a place, but I, the forbidden god clan, do not. Even Nangong Qing was slightly unhappy. It can be said that the attitude of her protoss is excellent. There has never been a time when she was so polite. Su Jioga drank his wine and glanced at the group of gods standing below with unsightly expressions. Calm and calm. He pointed in the direction of an open space and said in a pretentious tone, Oh, I almost forgot about it. It's a pity that there are only so many places today. You can just stand there. It's all the same. It was obviously just a small matter of adding a few seats, but Su Jioga didn't want to do that. Are the forbidden gods very proud? Then I will shatter your arrogance. You. The juniors of the god clan were about to get angry. Nangong Qing took a deep breath and smiled reluctantly. When I understand, I will listen to the emperor. Stand. Just stand. For that matter, I and others must not offend the emperor again. Nangong Qing thought to herself. The superpowers of all parties present here felt their hearts almost beat out when they saw the emperor's domineering attitude. He was afraid that the gods would suddenly take action. The emperor's son, his crown, and the taboo gods who came all the way from the immemorial realm were only qualified to stand and watch. This was something they couldn't even imagine. Su Jioga smiled. After this little episode, clan leader Su Tian slowly stood up and spoke loudly. Then now, the crowning ceremony officially begins. As soon as he finished speaking, the real dragons and divine phoenixes in the sky let out a long roar, hovering in the sky and falling golden stars. The entire venue was covered with a layer of golden clouds. Su Tian stepped forward with an extremely excited face and said, Emperor, please. Su Jioga nodded, holding three incense candles and walked up the steps step by step. When it reached the final point in front of the ancestor tripod, it stopped. Su Tian said loudly, Sacrifice to ancestors. Su Jioga inserted the three incense candles in his hand, and the ancestral cauldron buzzed and trembled. From it, a divine brilliance was suddenly released and enveloped Su Jioga's whole body. This is an inexplicable force that comes from the souls of the ancestors of the Su family. Blessings from ancestors. Boom. 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 At the same time, a golden light rose from the ancestral land of the Su family and cut through the sky, accompanied by the majestic and solemn sound of ancient bells. The voice of the beginningless emperor Su Huangji resounded throughout the heavens.
Today my son Su Jioga is crowned the winner. I, the beginningless great emperor Su Huangji, have opened the door to the sky and provided all living beings with the opportunity to comprehend the eleven great avenues of Xin Yuan, selflessness, Kongming, and Taishang for seven days. Bless the heavens. Boom. Endless imperial power surged directly above the main hall of the Su family. A desolate ancient golden gate slowly emerged, surrounded by fairy mist and divine clouds, from which endless golden avenues surged out. Fourteen in total, the majestic aura pervades every corner of the heavens. Countless creatures raised their heads one after another, and as far as they could see, they seemed to see the majestic door to the sky. The imperial road is paved. This majestic and majestic scene made many super-powerful people present widen their pupils. His eyes were full of enthusiasm. At this moment, Yisheng is far away in an uninhabited land. The peerless woman is parading in the void. Nangong Gu is full of resentment. Everyone was stunned for a moment. The way of the great emperor. The whole heaven is boiling. Countless old monsters who have been dead for a long time and have not made progress in their cultivation have awakened from the ancient tombs. I was so excited to feel the power belonging to the emperor. If they realize it for a long time, they will not only have the opportunity to understand the great road that belongs to Su Huangji, but also get a glimpse of the supreme imperial realm. For these dying old monsters, this is a truly supreme opportunity. The great road of oneself is open and bright for all sentient beings and spirits to understand. Compared to the old monsters hidden among the superpowers. Make a decision. This is the emperor's mind and pattern. The ancestors of the Su family present were excited. Looking at the dazzling golden figure of the emperor above, one can feel the good intentions of the Wuxia emperor. This is the emperor of their Su family. Emperor Su Jioga's eyes flashed, and he shook his head helplessly. Dad created this situation. I wish everyone knew that I was the son of the emperor and that there was a supreme emperor standing behind me. As far as protecting the calf is concerned, I am afraid that no one in the entire universe can compare to Su Huangji. The people of the Forbidden God Clan also stopped breathing, their pupils filled with disbelief. Grandma Yu murmured in disbelief. The fourteen great emperor's ways are unreservedly available for all heavenly beings to understand. The pattern of the Emperor Wuxia is truly terrifying. Isn't he afraid that others will use his imperial ways to deal with him? Feng Lao, who was the quasi-emperor beside him, was the only one who could most intuitively and clearly feel how terrifying the thousands of divine clouds and golden avenues in the sky were. These are all the ways of the Emperor Wuxia. Feng Lao's pupils were full of shocked whispers. No, even if someone can understand it, the Su family's great emperor is not afraid of anyone using his ways to deal with him. This is the confidence that only belongs to the emperor. The ancient emperor appears in this world. Even if he is already in his twilight years, no one can provoke him. Yu Pu, we and the Forbidden God Clan must not be as arrogant as today in the future. For such an ancient emperor with such a broad mind, even if he is a member of the Forbidden Divine Clan, he can't help but admire him. Nangong Qing's beautiful eyes sparkled brightly closely at the unparalleled elegance in front of the ancestral tripod, the emperor of the Su family has a great emperor protecting and paving the way. I am even more determined in my heart that choosing the Su family is the right choice for Taiyuan Wonderland. In front of the ancestral tripod, Su Jiuga slowly turned around. Her long golden hair flutters in the air, and she is majestic and noble. Accompanied by the roar of the supreme god, one seems to see a rising young emperor. Everyone below looked at this scene in awe. Su Jioga's face was calm, and his eyes were filled with indifference and scorn. Speak slowly, he said with no doubt in his tone. In this life I, Su Jioga, I want to become emperor. The supreme god roared with a deafening roar. Roar only then did all the superpowers present react. Su Tian and all the ancestors of the Su family were even more excited and shouted loudly with great excitement. Congratulations to the emperor and his crown. Countless people shouted in agreement. Congratulations to the emperor and his crown. In the sky directly above the main hall of the Su family, the fourteen golden imperial paths are shining slowly 
and everyone is extremely lucky to see this historic scene today. With the great emperor's imperial way for hundreds of millions of beings to understand, the cultivation level of the monks in the entire world will inevitably rise to a higher level. And all this was brought about by the emperor's son Sujyoga. After the emperor paved the way and blessed all the heavens, the entire Su family land became lively. All the guests present were in the mood, drinking wine, talking and laughing happily, chatting about something. The juniors they brought came forward one by one and toasted to Sujyoga who was sitting in the main seat. His face was respectful, with a hint of flattery, said to the emperor, Emperor, let me toast you. Su Jyoga responded with a faint smile, obviously giving enough face to the head of the Su family. Only the people from the forbidden god clan below seemed out of place and extremely embarrassed, because none of the superpowers in the field wanted to pay attention to them. And they, who have always been arrogant by nature, are unwilling to lower themselves to talk to others. It can be said that every minute and every second spent here is undoubtedly a huge torture. They could only whisper, This emperor of the Sioux family must have ignored me on purpose. Grandma you, Mr. Fong, let's go. I really don't want to stay here any longer. Yes, isn't there just a great emperor? Is he so great? A group of junior gods complained. Granny you thought for a while, and then said to Fong Lao, How to say? Listening to the dissatisfaction of the juniors, Fong Lao's face darkened and he shouted, Shut up everyone. How can the great emperor be someone you can discuss? Said very protectively. What are you doing, old man? They are just a bunch of kids. Forget it if you don't help your own people. Blame them. Fong Lao glared at her and said coldly, You are really getting better and better as you live. Have you forgotten what a living emperor is like? Fong Lao looked at the fourteen golden imperial paths in the sky, his old eyes full of awe, and murmured. The nine emperor's paths are already among the most powerful emperors in the imperial realm, and this Wuxia emperor has fourteen emperor's paths. This is simply unheard of. He secretly decided in his heart that after returning to his clan, he must send someone to investigate. Who is this beginningless emperor? After all, the time between the two has been too long. The great emperor has not appeared in the heavens for tens of thousands of years, and they have almost forgotten how terrifying the great emperor is. Granny Yu was silent for a long time, and rarely uttered a rebuttal, but said with a sad look, What now? This emperor of the Su family didn't give me any chance to talk. As for Taiyuan Wonderland, if it were anyone else, the effect would definitely not be the same. At this time, Nangong Ching stepped forward and said, Let me do this. The two elders looked over. Feng Lao thought for a moment and nodded. That's fine. He knew Ching'er's character very well. She was meticulous and meticulous in everything she did. If it hadn't been for Ching'er before, I and the others might not have been able to enter even this time in Guanli. He was quite relieved to leave this matter to Ching'er. Mr. Feng, then I'll leave it to you. Nangong Ching nodded slightly and picked up a glass of wine from the table. Under the somewhat surprised gazes of the superpowers, they slowly stepped forward and came under the main seat. Seeing the visitor, everyone who was talking and laughing fell silent for a while, said lightly, What's up? Nangong Ching's beautiful eyes were calm, and she drank the wine in the glass first. Her snow-white pretty face turned as crimson as her flaming red hair. Nangong Ching's red lips parted slightly, she looked at Su Jyoga above and said in a neither humble nor arrogant tone, I, Nangong Ching, represent the Nangong family of the Forbidden God Clan and wish the emperor and his son the crown. This simple scene shocked all the powerful people present. Who would have thought that this taboo God Clan, which has always been so arrogant, would actually lower its head and lower its body? But when I thought that the person toasting was the emperor of the Su family, I felt relieved for a while. Su Jyoga was slightly surprised. He didn't embarrass her too much. He also raised his glass and said with a half smile, I thought that you, the Forbidden God Clan, would stand there all day. That's enough, I understand. Nangong Ching glanced at everyone present and did not leave, but remained where she was. Said slowly, Your Majesty the Emperor, I, the Forbidden God Clan, have something important to talk to you about. I wonder if you could give me a moment? Oh, something important? 
Su Jyoga smiled and bluntly broke through her thoughts and said, It turns out that your taboo god clan came here this time not only to congratulate my son on his crown, but also to ask for something. Su Jyoga waved his hands lazily. What's the matter? What's the use of telling me the emperor? Isn't the leader of our clan sitting here? Nangong Ching shook her head, stared at Su Jyoga and said, Only you, the emperor, can make the decision in this matter. As soon as these words came out, many powerful people present suddenly sobered up after hearing the drunkenness. Forbidden God Clan, what are you doing with the Su family of the Imperial Clan? They all paid careful attention. Emperor Su Jyoga narrowed his eyes slightly, showing a hint of interest. The ancestors of the Su family on the side also frowned and were confused. What on earth do these people from the Forbidden God Clan want to do? Said very seriously. Emperor, this matter has only advantages and no disadvantages for you and the Su family. The third ancestor of the Su family laughed and said, Ha ha ha, you little girl, what can your movie represent? What you say is so exciting. Aren't the people of your taboo god clan quite good at it? Why, instead, you ask the emperor of our clan for something? Nangong Ching, please give me a chance. Su Jyoga said nothing. The two just stared at each other for a while. Su Jyoga slowly raised his hand, stood up and said, It better be, as you say, a big deal. This emperor's patience is not very good. Amamiya Haru's face lit up when she heard this and she affirmed, I promise in the name of the Nangong family that I will never let you down, the emperor. The elders and ancestors of the Su family were extremely surprised. But since this was the emperor's decision, and this was the Su family's land, they didn't say much. Just like that, Su Jyoga got down from the main seat and walked out of the hall. Upon seeing this, a group of people from the God Clan wanted to follow, but were stopped by Nangong Ching. Mr. Feng and Granny Yu, please wait here for a while. There are too many people. I'm afraid it will make the Emperor unhappy and spoil the big thing. I can go alone. Feng Lao thought for a while and then said, Well, Taiyuan Fairyland appears here, and our Forbidden God Clan really needs the help of the Su family. Then I'll leave it to you, girl Ching. Nangong Ching nodded and followed Su Jyuga's direction. Looking at Nangong Ching's leaving figure, Feng Lao's eyes flashed with a trace of satisfaction and relief. Among the younger members of the clan, only Nangong Ching and Nangong Gu are relatively reassuring. Thinking of this, Feng Lao glanced at Nangong Gu, who was full of hatred in the crowd, and sighed softly. It's a pity that this child's status is too low and his bloodline is not pure. It's not bad to be the guardian of a clan, but if you want to gain power, it's just a dream. Sioux Family Land A place with clear water and green mountains, where birds are singing and flowers are fragrant. The rich spiritual energy of heaven and earth turned into white mist, surrounded by mountains, and the immortal energy floated. There was no one around. Su Jyoga was walking in the front, and suddenly stopped. He said calmly, So, can we talk now? That big thing you said. This was the first time that Nangong Ching had such close contact with the emperor of the Su family. He is as handsome as a demon, with dragon and phoenix postures, and a noble temperament. The tall body looks mighty and domineering, and the long shining golden hair is even more eye-catching. Even among her forbidden gods, she has never seen such a man. Seeing that the other party didn't speak, Su Jyoga frowned. Only then did Amamiya Haru react and said quickly, I wonder if your lord, the emperor, has ever heard of the immortal ancient ruins? Immortal ancient ruins are extremely special existences among the heavens. No one knows the reason for its appearance. According to rumors, those are the incomplete realms that have been destroyed one after another during the immortal ancient period. They are wandering and hidden in the heavens and it is unknown when they will be opened. But what is certain is that whenever the ancient ruins appear, it will inevitably cause a bloody storm. Because there are countless opportunities in the ancient ruins, there were even ordinary monks who obtained the most precious treasure and became the great emperor, creating one legend after another. Such ancient ancient ruins, which are rarely seen in tens of millions of years, are what people in the entire world long for. Su Jyoga said calmly and calmly, What, could it be that what you are talking about is related to this ancient ruins? Exactly, 
Yu Gongqing stared at Su Jiuga and continued. Among the heavens, an ancient immortal relic will soon appear. This relic is called Taiyuan Immortal Realm. It is precisely because of this that our forbidden god clan traveled thousands of miles to come here from the ancient immortal realm. Su Jiuga, why are you so sure? Nangong Qing smiled, stroked her fiery red hair, and said softly, My Nangong family not only knows clearly that Taiyuan Wonderland is about to open, but also knows the exact location of Taiyuan Wonderland. As for why this is, I ask you, Emperor, not to ask any more questions. Su Jioga pondered for a moment. It turns out that the forbidden gods appear in the heavens because of the Taiyuan fairyland that is about to open. Nangong Qing was slightly excited when she saw the emperor's son thinking. She knew that no one could refuse the information about the ancient ruins, even if the person in front of him is the supreme emperor. Because the opportunities in the immortal ancient ruins are so great that it is unimaginable, said playfully. With all that said, do you want this emperor's son? No, my emperor's family, the Su family, to help you? Nangong Qing nodded slightly but did not deny it. Exactly. Taiyuan Wonderland is no small matter, and the opportunity involved is a huge fortune. But if it were to appear in this world, it would definitely cause the heavens to tremble. But as soon as there are more people, the treasures among them will naturally be divided. This time regarding the immortal ancient ruins, I have forbidden the god clan and want to cooperate with the Su family, the emperor's son, to ensure maximum benefits. Tell me about it. Nangong Qing said calmly. The Taiyuan Fairyland appears, and our forbidden gods control the exact location of the Taiyuan Fairyland. And the Su family is now the unequivocal and supreme force in the world, as long as they are willing to take action, plus the assistance of my Tabu God Clan. All the resources in this Taiyuan Wonderland will be obtained by our two clans. Emperor Su Jioga's eyes flashed with a gleam of light, and he looked at the destined heroine in front of him in great surprise. What a big appetite! It turns out that the Forbidden Gods visited the Su family because they wanted to take advantage of the Su family's current power, directly monopolize and occupy an entire ancient ruins. Su Jioga smiled and said simply and clearly, What about profit distribution? This. Speaking of this, Nangong Qing hesitated and said tentatively, Because this Taiyuan Wonderland cannot be found and opened without the help of my Forbidden Gods. In terms of the distribution of treasures, how about our god clan's seventh and Su's clan's third? To be honest, the Nangong family's original plan when they came here was Jui. In their eyes, it is already a great honor for the Su family to be able to give this opportunity to the Su family. It was only after Nangong Qing saw the power of the Su family's son and the Su family's great emperor that she suddenly changed her mind, and then she became 73. Humph! Su Jioga narrowed his eyes and sneered when he heard this. You, the Forbidden God Clan, have such a big appetite. I want my Su family to contribute and offend all the people in the world, but I only get 30% of the benefits. Such rude conditions? Is this your sincerity? Go away. Ridiculous. In fact, Su Jioga didn't mind doing this. Although this will offend the entire world, as long as you can monopolize in ancient ruins, the harvest will definitely be satisfactory. But if this Tabu God Clan wants to treat the Su family of the Imperial Clan as fools, it would be a big mistake. Nangong Qing took a deep breath. She had expected this situation. As I said before, it is just to gain more benefits. Nangong Qing then spoke. I wonder how much profit you want, Emperor? Su Jioga smiled and looked at her playfully. Benefits? Shouldn't it be that our Imperial Clan, the Su family, is kind and will reward you with some of the forbidden gods for opening it? As long as this ancient ruins of immortality are still among the heavens and the world, even if you, the forbidden god clan, are gone, my Su family will still have the final say. Nangong Qing's beautiful eyes widened, and she said immediately, This is impossible. Without the help of my clan, you people in the heavens will never be able to find that Taiyuan secret realm. So? Su Jioga stepped forward with a smile and slowly whispered in Nangong Qing's ear, You have traveled thousands of miles to come here for this ancient ruins. I am not in a hurry. You'd better not turn it on, otherwise, with my son here, people from the God Clan will be forbidden. Don't even think about getting in. 
Thank you for telling me this news. After saying this, Su Jyoga laughed, turned around and walked out without looking back. Want to take advantage of the Su family? Dream. Moreover, they are not necessarily needed. Yi Shang, the protagonist of the quasi-emperor rebirth stream, might know something. Su Jyoga thought secretly. Nangong Ching's pupil shrank, her beautiful eyes filled with disbelief. She suddenly realized that what the Su family emperor said was not a lie. As long as this Taiyuan immortal realm is still in the heavens, once it is born, the fluctuations caused will definitely not escape the attention of the Su family of the imperial clan. With the power of the Su family, even without the help of the forbidden god clan, they can still monopolize it. Nangong Qing, who was originally full of confidence in this matter, suddenly reacted. For a moment, I couldn't help but doubt my life. It was the status of the forbidden gods that made the entire Nangong family too arrogant, making them mistakenly think that this condition was enough to make the Su family grateful. But I didn't expect that they didn't need the help of the gods at all. They even threaten you in turn, but there is nothing you can do. This made Nangong Qing panic for a moment. He hurried forward and chased away. Emperor, wait, Su Jyoga did not stop. 30% profit? Let alone 30%. Even if the Su family got 90%, it would still be too little for him. Su Jyoga was not anxious at all. What's urgent is that they prohibit the gods. As long as he doesn't nod for a moment, the gods will not dare to open this ancient ruins. Su Jyoga said calmly without looking back. When will you recognize your identity and come back to talk to this emperor? You gods are so arrogant. There are many imperial clans in the world. You can definitely find others. Speaking of this, Su Jyoga laughed. It's just that the current imperial clan. Is there still an emperor? Great emperor. The most critical point among them. Because of the appearance of Su Huangji, the only family that can now be truly called the ancient imperial clan is the Su family. Even if she forbids the god clan to find someone else, besides the Su family, they have the ability to face a group of superpowers and swallow up the entire ancient ruins. Do other imperial clans dare? It is estimated that he has been destroyed by other superpowers long ago. Nangong Qing's delicate body trembled, and she said immediately, Your Majesty, please wait. This matter is indeed something wrong with our god clan, but we still have room for discussion. She was really anxious. Because as early as the Emperor Luo era, in order to avoid being affected by the darkness, the ancient immortal realm cut off its communication with the heavens and the world. But now it is not that easy for people from the god clan to enter the heavens. The resources and time spent are not a fraction. Nangong Qing came to Su Jyoga. Her pretty face looked a little panicked. He kept pleading, Your Majesty the Emperor, you know the importance of the ancient ruins. If my Nangong family never opens it, neither of our families will get any benefits. What I just said was not what my entire Nangong family meant. Said mercilessly. You know, it's your forbidden gods who need my Su family. It's not my Su family that needs you. Nangong Qing's expression changed. She nodded and said. I see. Looking at the panicked heroine in front of her. He no longer looked as decent and natural as before. And he was fundamentally superior to others. Su Jyoga couldn't help but feel a little funny. He slowly came to Nangong Qing and looked down at her condescendingly. As the emperor's son, he has an aura of calmness and authority. Nangong Qing pinched the hem of her skirt uneasily. After going through a series of ideological struggles, he looked up at Su Jyoga and said seriously, My lord, the emperor, regarding the distribution of interests in the ancient ruins, how much do you think is acceptable? Said without any doubt. This emperor has already said it. My Su family wants all the treasures in this ancient ruins. If you're in a good mood, maybe I'll reward you with some from the gods. Nangong Qing was startled when she heard this, and her head was buzzing. Not in Qingdu? Isn't this bullying? Facing such a domineering son of the Su family, he was a little confused for a moment. Not to mention the entire Nangong family, even I myself would not be able to agree to this request. Your Majesty the Emperor. Nangong Qing wanted to say something else, but Su Jyoga raised his hand to stop him. Su Jyoga's eyes were playful, and he looked her up and down with a smile. He spoke. How about I make a bet with you? What? Nangong Qing was a little confused. 
Facing the moody emperor in front of him, he was somewhat confused about his thoughts. Said subconsciously, What a bet on? Su Jyoga said with a faint smile. The content of the bed is this entire ancient ruins. Our Su family can find the ancient ruins without the help of your forbidden gods. The time limit is half a month. If you win, let alone 70%, our Su family's efforts will be in vain. So what if we give up the entire resources of the immortal ancient ruins to your forbidden god clan? All resources? Nangong Ching's eyes lit up when she heard this, and she said in disbelief, Is this true? The ancient ruins of the immortals are extremely secretive, and it cost a lot of money for the forbidden gods to know the location of the Taiyuan fairyland, let alone half a month, even if the Su family is given a year. Nangong Ching does not believe that they can find the location of Taiyuan Wonderland. Immortal ancient ruins are rare to see in 10,000 years. If they were so easy to find, they would have been divided up long ago. Said quickly with some excitement. Good. Don't worry, my son. As long as the Su family is willing to take action, even if the ancient ruins are not found. How about the resources obtained are still distributed, according to the 7-3 distribution as mentioned before? Seeing Nangong Ching's face looking confident of victory, Su Jiuga said with a smile, That's not necessary. I, the emperor, always say the same thing. Nangong Ching's beautiful eyes flickered, calming her restless heart. Although he knew that it was impossible for the Su family to find the ancient ruins, in order to reassure the emperor of the Su family, Nangong Ching still pretended to be silent and said, I wonder what the emperor wants from my god clan if he wins? Su Jioga thought for a while, stared at her, and said frivolously, The person who is the son of this emperor. What? Nangong Ching's beautiful eyes suddenly widened. He never expected that these would be words spoken by the emperor of the Su family. Her pretty face suddenly turned crimson. The emperor of the Su family actually fell in love with me? Nangong Ching became at a loss for a while. This girl from the Taboo God Clan became extremely shy. Nangong Ching lowered her head and glanced at Su Jiuga secretly. I have an inexplicable feeling in my heart that this does not seem to be an unacceptable condition. Bite. Nangong Ching Fong, the heroine of Destiny, was heartbroken, and Yi Shang, the protagonist of Destiny, lost 200 points of luck. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 200. Su Jioga was stunned. He glanced at the shy Nangong Ching strangely. What's going on? He simply felt that the divine wood spirit body was extremely rare among the heavens and had the most suitable physique for alchemy, making it very suitable for free work. Yi Sheng's luck is worth so much. Having a destined heroine by his side is like a power bank that can replenish his villain value at any time. Su Jioga suddenly felt that the destiny heroine in front of him was so cute and silly. Because this is a bet that cannot be lost at all. As a reborn person, Yi Sheng, even if he did not find the ancient ruins, it is impossible for him to be really stupid enough to give up the resources of an entire ruin. Nan Gong Ching nodded slightly, not daring to look at Su Jioga. He said in a voice as soft as fine lines, My Nangong family has agreed to this matter. After talking, the two returned to the banquet. Nangong Ching was still thinking about the condition that the emperor said before. As the legitimate daughter of the leader of the Forbidden God Clan, her status is extremely noble. There is an innate arrogance in his bones. Ordinary men can't catch her eye at all. But Su Jioga was different. No matter in terms of talent, strength, or appearance and background, he was the best choice and was very extraordinary. Even among the gods, she had never encountered such a dazzling existence. This made Nangong Ching's heart beat rapidly, as she always admired the strong. I started thinking wildly. With such an agreement, the forbidden gods simply got a huge advantage. Does this emperor really like me? Is the profit distribution of Qi San going too far? By some mistake, Nangong Ching actually started to think about Su Jioga. Until Feng Lao's voice brought her thoughts back. Girl Ching, Girl Ching, how's it going? A group of juniors from the God Clan also came over with curious faces and asked, What do the Su family say? What else can I say? Seeing Sister Ching looking so happy, she must have agreed. Not necessarily. The Emperor of the Su family doesn't seem to be an easy person to talk to. Among the crowd, Nangong Gu glanced at Nangong Ching with some resentment. As a good sister, 
She used her mother's relics in exchange for a deal with the Sioux family of the Imperial clan. One day, I will make you regret it. Only then did Nangong Ching react. After waking up a little, he looked at Feng Lao and Granny Yu and said with a smile, The Emperor agreed. It's just that the Emperor made an agreement with me, which is to give the Sioux family half a month. Agreed? As soon as these words came out, all the people from the Forbidden God clan present looked overjoyed. I'm just telling you, that's an ancient ruin. So what if it's from the Imperial clan? You can't refuse it. Granny Yu's frown relaxed, and she said with a smile, It has to be Ching'er. Feng Lao noticed the key and said, Promise? What's the agreement? Nangong Ching did not hide it, but told the truth. The Su family wants to find the location of the ancient ruins on their own. If they don't find it within half a month, they are willing to cooperate with our god clan. Grandma Yu laughed. The emperor of the Su family is quite confident. The whereabouts of the ancient, immortal ruins are erratic. Our Nangong family has spent hundreds of years searching for the Taiyuan immortal realm. This is because our ancestors once left a trace of information about Taiyuan fairyland. Wanting to find it for half a month, huh, is nothing more than wishful thinking. Old man, I think this matter should be settled. Feng Lao thought so too, nodded and said. The emperor's agreement is indeed thanks to girl Qing. What do you think of the distribution of benefits in Taiyuan Wonderland? Feng Lao asked. This is his biggest concern. Nangong Qing said slowly. Because the emperor behind the Su family still has an emperor's son, I decided to change the distribution of interests without authorization. Jui's words are really unacceptable. So I changed it to 7-3. Feng Lao was pleased when he heard this and nodded with admiration. Well done. The Su family is not as unworthy of its name as other imperial clans. That emperor's son alone is no ordinary person and the great emperor behind him cannot be underestimated. It's only good for our god clan to take a step back. Girl Ching, you did the right thing. After returning to the clan, I will personally report your achievements to the clan leader. Nangong Ching smiled, shook her head and said, This is not the result of Ching'er alone. In the hearts of the Protoss, this is almost a certainty. What just made Feng Lao a little confused? Why did the Su family's emperor do this? Girl Ching, what exactly did you agree on? Speaking of this, Nangong Ching lowered her head in embarrassment and said softly, The emperor said that if our god clan loses, he wants me to be his. What? All the juniors from the god clan opened their eyes wide and their expressions became extremely exciting. Nangong Gu was also stunned for a long time. A sudden realization. I hated it even more. Okay. No wonder you agreed so readily when the Su family emperor asked for his mother's relics. So you guys have had an affair for a long time? Dog men and women. Even Feng Lao and Granny you had strange expressions. They looked at each other. Feng Lao suddenly laughed and said kindly. Unexpected. Unexpected. Ching'er. This girl like you will have such a day. Feng Lao looked at Su Jioga who had returned to the main seat and said with a smile. It seems that the emperor of the Su family has taken a liking to my family's Ching'er. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done this, deliberately selling my god clan a favor. This is a good thing. Although the emperor of the Su family is a bit domineering, he is the best candidate in terms of appearance and identity. The marriage between my Nangong family's legitimate daughter and the Su family's emperor's son is tantamount to a strong alliance. If the clan leader knew about it, he would definitely be very happy. I see. Even if the emperor loses, you two young people can communicate more in private. Nangong Ching blushed when she heard this. Some of the younger daughters lowered their heads and murmured shyly. Mr. Feng, what are you talking about? Oomph. Granny Yu snorted coldly. Unlike Feng Lao, she was not very interested in Su Jioga. Let's not mention that this emperor killed people from my clan. How can our divine clan be together with the human clan? Except for Mr. Feng, Almost everyone in the venue disagreed with this condition. Mr. Feng, Emph, what can you, a woman, know? How can the emperor of the Su family be compared to those ordinary people? The distance between the two is like a firefly and a bright moon, and standing behind them is an ancient emperor with fourteen avenues. The strength is beyond what we, the gods, can imagine. And you have seen the methods of the emperor of the Su family before. He has the cultivation of false god realm at such a young age. 
It is simply terrifying. As a member of the God Clan, Feng Lao naturally does not take the monks in the sky seriously. But there is no so-called prejudice against Su Jioga. Without him, it's just because Su Jioga is the emperor's son, and his own strength and talent are extremely evil. Compared to others, as a quasi-emperor, he knew some secret information and had a clearer understanding of the emperor. Only Feng Lao understood what it meant to have an emperor with 14 imperial paths standing behind him. Similarly, even if the head of the Nangong family knew about this matter, he would definitely approve of it. Mr. Feng, Papuyu, have you forgotten the earliest days of the imperial clan? The imperial clan was once on an equal footing with the god clan. It's just that after the emperor's fall, there is no longer a great emperor in the heavens. This led to the decline of all the imperial clans. Grandma Yu's dim eyes flickered, but she rarely refuted him. It seems that what the old man said is not unreasonable. Thinking of this, Piyu's eyes gradually softened even when she looked at the Su family's emperor. At this moment, Nangong Ching's pretty face was red, and she looked very charming and lovely, still trapped in a fantasy of beautiful things. Little did he know that he had been selected by Su Jioga and became the preparer early on. Su Jioga was sitting in the main seat drinking wine. Half a month. It should be enough. System, call up Yisheng's location. Bite. The system's voice sounded. A huge map appeared. The map is densely marked with various realms in the world. As the map gradually zooms in, a red dot flashes and moves forward. That is exactly the mark on Yisheng. Su Jiuge checked where Yisheng was now. It was found that he had left Qingtian Dao domain. He slowly put down his wine glass. Although I don't know what Yisheng is going to do now. But for the rebirth-style protagonist who knows the future, he is not like the ordinary destiny protagonist who runs rampant and goes wherever he goes. Every step taken has a clear purpose. The corners of Su Jiuge's mouth raised slightly. It seems that this treasure-hunting rat has already started to set off. Top quality plump leak with a fortune value of 20,000. Su Jioga had high expectations. But don't let me down. In the void, in a dilapidated Dao realm, Yisheng broke through the sky and came here. This world is extremely desolate and lifeless. Weeds grow wantonly, and the aura of heaven and earth is thin. Even if you look up, you can see a sky full of huge holes. This place was once a prosperous and prosperous realm, but it was ruined thousands of years ago because it offended a certain superpower. Today, no one lives here. Yisheng galloped in a direction, murmuring with excitement in his eyes. This is the right place. The Taiyuan Wonderland, I remember, was discovered here. Before rebirth, Taiyuan Wonderland was found by the Nangong family of the Forbidden God Clan. The Nangong family joined forces with the Imperial Yun family and initially tried to monopolize the entire ancient ruins. But he didn't expect that due to the emergence of Taiyuan Fairyland, the Yun family's strength could not withstand the combined efforts of all superpowers. This move angered all the monks. The Yun family of the Imperial Clan almost disappeared into the sky. In the end, the Forbidden God Clan and the Yun family were forced to give up the idea. This makes Taiyuan Wonderland a public property that everyone can enter. Based on the current time, it can be inferred that the Yun family and the God Clan are not guarding this place yet. As long as I enter in advance, I can seize the opportunity and secretly profit from the infighting between the Yun family God Clan and the various superpowers. All the treasures in it will belong to me, Yisheng. When he thought of this, Yisheng couldn't help laughing wildly. The mood is extremely happy. Maybe it's because of his rebirth. Although there have been some changes, except for missing the true immortal bone, everything has progressed in the direction he wanted. The leader of the Hanhai Holy Sect personally accepted him as his disciple and spared no effort. He spent almost half of the sect's resources to successfully activate the devouring divine body for himself, and his cultivation level has already reached the ninth level of the Dao Palace realm. With the devouring divine body in his possession, coupled with the understanding of the quasi-emperor state before rebirth, as long as the cultivation resources are in place, he has almost no bottlenecks. You must know that when I first entered the Taiyuan Immortal Realm, I was only at the level of Zhonghai Realm. Yisheng clenched his fist, his eyes flashed, and he said secretly, Now, everything is different. This golden age has begun. 
and many treasures from heaven and earth will be included in my Yisheng's bag. Great Emperor, we are just around the corner. Sure, don't worry, I will definitely avenge you. And Qing'er, this time, I, Yisheng, must make you truly fall in love with me. This time, I will reappear in front of Qing'er with a new attitude. It will never be as bad as the first time. Suppressing the restlessness in his heart, Yishang turned into a divine rainbow and started searching. As if something had been discovered, it fell from the sky. Stay in an open area covered with weeds. Looking at the endless green and lush weeds, Yishang took a deep breath and said to himself, The secret realm of ancient ancient ruins is hidden in every corner of the world. It could be a tree, a stone, or even a blade of grass. I don't know what means the forbidden gods used to find them. If it weren't for them, no one in this ruined realm would have come here for tens of millions of years, let alone discover the ancient ruins here. But it should be right here. Yisheng slowly closed his eyes, unfolded his consciousness, covered this place, and began to carefully search for those things that were different. Su Family Land, Night After the crowning ceremony for the emperor's son of the Su family ended, a group of people from the Taboo God Clan stayed behind. The world were all frightened after seeing the power of the Sioux family emperor, afraid of repeating the same mistakes and becoming the next dancer. Now, Su Jyoga was lying leisurely on the chair, gently stroking the golden hair of the supreme god Roar. A group of black mist surged, and Ing Lao's figure faintly appeared from it. After some training from Su Huangji, Ing Lao's cultivation became even more terrifying. Supreme realm, like a ghost in the dark night, without a trace. Even if I stand in front of you like this and deliberately feel it, I won't be able to detect even a trace of breath. Not only that, in order to make it easier for Mr. Ng to assist his precious son, Su Huangji also specially taught him many magical and ancient techniques from the Emperor's Fall Era. Ng Lao knelt on one knee and spoke respectfully to Su Jioga, the Emperor's son. Su Jioga said calmly without even raising his eyelids. Have you found someone? Ing Lao nodded. I went to that broken Tao realm, and Yi Shang is indeed there. As if looking for something, Su Jioga looked at the roar of the supreme god and murmured, One grain of sand, one world, evolves into thousands. This ancient ancient ruins should be at that location. What did father say? Ing Lao. The emperor said that with him in charge, there won't be any trouble in this world. All decisions are subject to your decision. When Su Jioga heard this, the emperor's eyes narrowed slightly and he chuckled. In that case, let's monopolize it. Speaking of this, Su Jioga's eyes shone brightly and he said domineeringly, Then this ancient ancient ruins. I want the whole Su family. Go ahead and ask the first ancestor and the others to take the sky shielding formation directly to the ruined Dao domain and seal off everything around it. As for Yisheng, don't interfere with him. Monopolizing an entire ancient ancient ruin is something most people would never dare to think about. But the emperor just did this. Ing Lao nodded and said with fiery eyes, Understood. After saying that, the whole person disappeared in place. Su Jio tapped her fingers lightly on the table, wondering what she was thinking. At this time, Nangong Qing's voice suddenly came from outside the hall. My lord, are you looking for me? Su Jioga, come in. Nangong Qing's pretty face walked in with some anxiety, and she didn't know what kind of mood she had. She specially changed her makeup. A thin and bright red dress vaguely revealed her slender legs, and her waterfall like red hair was hanging down, making her look even more unique under the moonlight. It was late at night. What was the emperor of the Su family doing with me at this time? Could it be? Nangong Qing had some thoughts, and a blush appeared on her face unconsciously. Bite. Nangong Qing, the heroine of destiny, is imagining that Yi Shang, the protagonist of destiny, has lost 200 points of luck. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 200. Su Jioga chuckled upon seeing this. You don't have to be so formal. Can you make elixirs? This sudden question made Nangong Qing a little confused and stunned. Said subconsciously, Ah, yes. Su Jioga's eyes lit up when he heard this. Sure enough, since he is a member of the God Clan, how could he not be aware of the fact that he is carrying a divine with spirit body? If you can make elixirs, that will be easy. At Su Jioga's request, 
Nangong Ching refined a batch of God King level elixir on the spot, both in terms of quality and effect. He is at ease and looks extremely relaxed. Su Jiuga looked at the smooth white jade elixir in his hand and thought with a smile. As expected of a divine tree spirit, he indeed has extraordinary talent in this area. Alchemists are extremely rare and have an extraordinary status. With a little training, he should be a good tool person in the future. In this way, Nangong Ching didn't figure it out until she left the next day. What exactly went wrong here? Because the emperor of the Su family didn't do anything last night. Instead, I watched myself refining elixirs all night. Nangong Ching is still a little confused. Does this emperor's son have any special hobbies? After she left, Su Jio turned his palm, and the star core he had previously obtained from the protagonist Nangong Gu appeared in his hand. Su Jioga murmured, With this star core, it's time to step into the realm of the God King. The star core contains the two great powers of stars and destruction. Although it is not complete, if you want to understand the avenue, you must have something related to that avenue. Otherwise, it would be impossible just to imagine it. It's like he has an innate chaotic body and is born with the avenue of chaos. As long as you break through the God King, you will understand it naturally. Depending on one's personal talent and physique, the amount of avenues a person can carry is extremely limited, which will also affect the monk's overall strength. Ordinary monks can be called geniuses if they have three avenues. And like Su Huangji, the 14 articles can simply be described as shocking the world. For Su Jioga, with the innate chaotic body that includes Yang Zengu and can accommodate everything as his own, the more avenues, the better. Su Jioga didn't feel any distress at all and directly crushed the jade pendant that Nangong Gu cherished so much. Click. From it suddenly overflowed with the strong aura of the two great avenues blending together. Destruction and stars. Although I don't understand why Nangong Gu left the star core and used, he got an advantage in vain. Su Jioga's eyes flashed and he smiled lightly. Then I reluctantly accepted it. With his eyes closed, Su Jioga carefully understood the power of the avenue in the core of the stars. Time flies, half a month flies by. The Su family is under strict supervision by Mr. Fong, and the normally arrogant and arrogant juniors of the God Clan are now at peace, and do not dare to cause trouble everywhere. It is worth mentioning that Nangong Qing and the Emperor's son of the Su family have been very close during this period. This almost made everyone, including the Su family, mistakenly believe that the emperor really fell in love with this daughter of the god clan. Feng Lao was naturally very willing to see this scene. Only the person involved, Nangong Qing, knew. Ever since the emperor of the Su family found out that he could make elixirs, things started to go wrong. Over the past half month, I have spent dozens of hours in the alchemy room almost every day. Under Su Joga's arrangement, he adapted to the life of a tool man in advance. Because of Taiwan Fairyland, Nangong Ching did not dare to refuse, worked hard without complaint, and practiced to the point of doubting life. With her divine tree spirit body, her talent in this area far exceeds that of ordinary people. Even among the forbidden gods, they are very rare heavenly alchemists. The refined elixirs can even help those at the God King level. With Nangong Ching's help, the average cultivation level of the Su family's juniors has been greatly improved. This day, Nangong Ching's pretty face, who had just returned from the alchemy room, looked a little haggard. Seeing the visitor, Feng Lao and Granny Yu stepped forward with smiles. When he saw Nangong Ching's sleepy and tired look, Feng Lao, who was still unaware, said as if he had experienced it. Girl Ching, you are still young. At this time, you must practice hard and don't bury your talents. Young man, please exercise restraint. Nangong Ching's delicate body trembled. The expression seems a little subtle. Not only was she not buried. After refining alchemy all day long, my alchemy skills have improved a lot, and I am vaguely close to becoming a holy alchemist. Granny Yu rolled her eyes at Feng Lao, then went straight to the point and spoke with concern. Ching Er, tomorrow is the end of the agreement between our god clan and the Su family's emperor. Then what does the Su family's emperor say? Speaking of this, Nangong Ching forced a smile and said softly. During this period, the emperor said nothing about Taiyuan Fairyland, and he has never been seen sending anyone to search for it. This matter should be a sure thing. 
The emperor of the Su family is so exaggerated. It's better now. He must be slapped in the face. A junior from the God Clan said, I don't even think about how much effort our clan has put into the ancient ruins of the immortals. How could we possibly find them just as soon as we say we found them? Feng Lao nodded with satisfaction and gave instructions to the juniors. After the agreement ends tomorrow, even if the emperor loses, you all should restrain yourself. Taiyuan Wonderland is very important. After all, this is the territory of the Su family of the Imperial Clan. If anyone offends that emperor again, Piyu and I will never protect any of you, he warned. As soon as they heard what Mr. Feng said, many people from the God Clan couldn't help but tremble when they thought of Su Jyoga's decisive killing appearance before, nodding like a chicken pecking at rice. At this time, a gloomy voice suddenly sounded from behind the group of people. People of the God Clan, the Emperor calls you over. This sudden sound startled all the junior gods. Even Feng Lao and Granny Yu shrank their pupils. When? Feng Lao turned around abruptly, and when he saw Ying Lao, who was smiling but not smiling, his whole body felt cold. The old and dim pupils were full of incredible color. A supreme? With his quasi-emperor realm cultivation, why couldn't he detect the existence of a supreme being? How long has he been here? What's the purpose? Did you hear their previous conversation? This is the only thought in Feng Lao's mind now. It has to be said that after the emperor's guidance, Ying Lao's ability was really frightening. If such a person were to hide in secret and make a sneak attack, it would be difficult even for the quasi-emperor to detect him, let alone deal with others. Feng Lao felt the miraculous concealment technique for the first time. The Su family, an imperial clan, was not only supported by a great emperor. Granny Yu shouted with a bad look on her face. Have your Su family been spying on us? Upon hearing this, Ying Lao sneered and said with extreme disdain, Surveillance? The emperor doesn't even bother to do this. The old captive's words have been brought to you. It's up to you whether you go or not. But if it makes the emperor unhappy, then you can't blame me. After saying that, Ying Lao disappeared from the place without anyone noticing, as if he had never appeared before. Not even a trace of breath was left. His who is this guy? Is he also the ancestor of the Su family? It suddenly appeared and startled me. Granny Yu's eyes flickered. She looked at Feng Lao aside and said, Old man, didn't you notice just now? Feng Lao murmured with a serious look. This person's strength is no greater than that of the Supreme, but his methods are so weird that I didn't even notice him. If I concentrate on my perception, I might be able to discover something. Old lady, the Su family's background is really unfathomable. Feng Lao and Yu Pu led a group of clan members to Su Jiuga's residence. Along the way, the juniors of the God Clan whispered, This emperor of the Su family has really found the Taiyuan fairyland, right? How is that possible? If he can be found, I will crawl back to the God Clan. And didn't Sister Ching tell you that the emperor of the Su family has never been out these days? Feng Lao looked at Nangong Ching aside and said, Girl Ching, why do you think this emperor is looking for me? Nangong Ching shook her head. After so many days, I still can't figure out the emperor's thoughts. If nothing else, it should have something to do with that agreement. Feng Lao nodded slightly and said with a faint smile, If we can monopolize an entire ancient ancient ruins, we will have a steady supply of resources in the future, and I, a junior from the God Clan, can also go there and experience it. This will greatly increase the strength of our Nangong family. Thank you, Girl Ching. Everyone came to the magnificently decorated palace in a good mood. The aura of heaven and earth here is rich, and what comes into view are many extremely precious treasures from the outside world. The eyes of the younger generation of the God Clan were full of brilliance, and some could not imagine what kind of extravagant life the emperor of the Su family lived. This emperor of the Su family is really good at enjoying himself. Su Jiuga was sitting outside the beautiful palace, sipping tea. In half a month, his cultivation level, which has now been integrated with the core of the stars, has already broken through to the realm of the God King. And he also successfully comprehended the avenue of destruction and stars. Through this period of consolidation, my own aura has become even more unfathomable. Feng Lao and Granny Yu looked shocked when they saw this. From Su Jioga, they could feel the vague power of the Great Avenue. 
The two looked at each other. They all saw disbelief in each other's eyes. The cultivation level of this emperor's son actually broke through to the realm of God King? Feng Lao was a little unimaginable. How long has it been? Feng Lao's eyes became awed and he stepped forward and said, The emperor's son. Su Jiuga nodded slightly. After scanning the crowd, his eyes stopped on Nangong Qing and smiled slightly. Here he comes. Nangong Qing, my lord, are you looking for us? Su Jiuga said with a faint smile. Tomorrow is the end of the bet between you and me. Why do I see you, God Clan? You don't seem to be worried at all. Nangong Qing was stunned. Then he pursed his lips and said with a smile, The Su family has a rich heritage, but these ancient ruins are indeed not that easy to find. Your Majesty the Emperor, you also know that immortal ancient ruins may exist anywhere. It takes time, said very tactfully, said calmly. Oh, then if this emperor says that these ancient ruins, have you found our Su family? What? The expressions of the people from the Forbidden God clan present instantly changed drastically. Even Feng Lao and Granny you were startled. Nangong Qing's beautiful eyes widened. But when I thought about how I got along with the emperor during this period, I quickly came back to my senses. He smiled and waved his hands. My lord, you were joking. They thought that Su Jioga deliberately spoke out and wanted to regret it because he failed to find the ancient ruins. Nangong Qing added, I also communicated with you after I returned. I do feel that the previous distribution of the ancient ruins was somewhat inappropriate. It can be renegotiated. Feng Lao also didn't believe that the Su family could find the ancient ruins. Not to mention the Su family, even if all the superpowers from all over the world are deployed, it is impossible to discover it. It was only half a month, not to mention finding the dilapidated and desolate Dao realm. Even if it is found, it is difficult to know the location of the ancient ruins. Without the right time, place, and right people, it would never be possible to find it. Feng Lao smiled and said, Yes, Girl Qing is right. I also told the head of my Nangong family. The Nangong family is willing to take a step back and split the profits of this ancient ruins in half. Su Jioga raised his hand to stop and looked at everyone with a smile. Look at this. Turning his palm, a red fruit filled with the spiritual energy of heaven and earth appeared in his hand. Apart from being bright red and having layers of scales on it, the vermilion fruit is just like an ordinary spirit fruit. There is nothing different about it. This is. As if he thought of something, Feng Lao's pupils shrank, staring at the red fruit. Red scale fruit. This kind of fruit is very common, but it only grows in ancient ancient ruins. Moreover, it only lasts for a very short time. Once it is taken off, the spiritual energy will be lost if the gas does not come out, and it will become shriveled up. Feng Lao's breathing became rapid. He never thought that the emperor of the Su family would have a red scale fruit. Does this mean that the Su family has really found the Taiyuan Wonderland? The juniors of the god clan behind him looked puzzled and murmured as they looked at the red scale fruit. Isn't it just an ordinary spiritual fruit? What's the difference? Seeing Feng Lao's appearance, Su Jiuga raised the corners of his mouth. After all, he is a quasi-emperor. It's normal to know this kind of thing. Now, do you believe it? Feng Lao's eyes flickered. He was silent for a long time and finally spoke. Emperor, can you take me to have a look? Su Jioga did not refuse this. It has been some time since Yixing entered the ancient ruins. It's time to go and see what treasure this treasure-hunting rat has found and said lightly, this emperor will satisfy you. The group of people left the holy emperor's Tao domain and came to the void, looking at the incomparably noble golden figure on the supreme god's roar in front of him. Feng Lao's heart palpitated more and more, because the direction Su Jioga is heading now is exactly where the broken Tao domain is. He was originally in a good mood, but he had a vague premonition. Nangong Qing couldn't help but ask, Mr. Feng, What's wrong with you? Granny you. Yes, old man, your face has not looked good since just now. Speak quickly. In order to prevent accidents and information leakage. Among the people, only Feng Lao, who was in the quasi-emperor realm, knew the exact location of Taiyuan immortal realm. Even Yu Pu, who was in the supreme realm, doesn't know. Feng Lao looked a little ugly and said slowly, Things are a little bad. 
The direction that the Su family's emperor is heading now is exactly where the Taiyuan fairyland is. What did you say? Grandma, you lost her voice. Nangong Ching's beautiful eyes were also full of horror. Not to mention the accompanying group of junior gods. How is this possible? Then the Su family's emperor's son, has he really been found? Mr. Fong, Granny Yu, what are we going to do now? Fong Lao took a deep breath, tried to calm himself down, and murmured. This place is still some distance from Taiyuan Wonderland. What we can only hope for now is that the Su family emperor is just scaring us. We can only take one step at a time. The heavens are empty. A huge formation that covers the sky like a black curtain shrouds the ruined Dao realm. Not a single breath of it can be leaked out. But even if the breath is isolated, the extremely rich spiritual energy of heaven and earth in the broken realm has solidified and is visible to the naked eye. Several ancestors of the Su family were guarding the outside world, controlling the sky shielding formation. The third ancestor looked at the Tao realm enveloped by the sky shielding formation and said with some admiration, Your Majesty, the Emperor's son, is so good at predicting events. How on earth could he know in advance that an ancient, ancient ruin would be born here? To this day, he is still a little unbelievable. Just a few days ago, in this ruined realm, soaring straight into the sky, as if it was about to break through the sky, that is the breath of the immortal ancient ruins. If the sky covering formation hadn't been arranged here in advance, I'm afraid the entire world would have known about the emergence of the ancient ruins, he said excitedly. Who would have thought that in this realm that has been ruined for thousands of years, there would be an entire ancient ruins? And now, only our imperial clan, the Su family, knows this news. The value brought by the ancient ruins is extraordinary. The spiritual energy in it is so abundant that just by practicing here, you can make rapid progress by leaps and bounds. First ancestor, no, it's not just my Su family who knows. There are also people from the Nangong family of the God Clan. The second ancestor lowered his eyes and spoke. The emperor and Nangong Qing have signed an agreement. It seems that the emperor has one. I just don't know why the emperor specifically let the boy who opened the ruins go in. Ancestor Yi shook his head. The thoughts of the emperor's son are not something we can fathom. Our mission is to guard this ancient ruins and never allow anyone to get involved. As soon as the words fell, a golden stream of light descended here. Following closely behind were a group of people from the forbidden divine race. Meet someone. The ancestors of the Sioux family looked happy and hurried forward to say respectfully, Your Majesty, you are here. Su Jiuga nodded slightly. He glanced at the sky covering formation in front of him. As an ancient formation, it has been perfectly isolated from the outside world. Su Jiuga praised with satisfaction. Well done. Turning around, he looked at Feng Lao with a look of disbelief and astonishment. Said lightly, How? Now? Do you believe it? Yupa felt bad and said hurriedly, Old man, could it be that Taiyuan Wonderland is here? Feng Lao's reaction had already answered everyone. He couldn't believe the scene before him. His whole body froze in place, his pupils dilated. Murmured, How is it possible? Su Jioga's eyes were playful and he said, Nothing is impossible. You lost. This ancient ruins now belongs to my Su family. Speaking of this, Su Jioga paused. Turning to look at Amamiya Haru, he said calmly, including you. Nangong Ching's delicate body trembled. Her beautiful eyes were full of shock. Ding, Nangong Gu, the protagonist of Destiny, is afraid and has lost 300 luck points. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 300. Nangong Gu, who had watched it for a long time, was overwhelmed with emotion. He was even more wary of the methods of the emperor's son of the Su family. But at the same time, being able to see Nangong Ching and a group of juniors from the God Clan being defeated made her feel very good. Thought with a sneer. Nangong Ching, Nangong Ching. If you agree to this request, I will see how you will explain to your father after you return to the clan. If such a vital event is messed up, even if she is the legitimate daughter, she will most likely be deposed. No. It is inevitable. The first ancestor laughed. Nangong family, you must know that it is not only you, the forbidden gods, who have the ability to find the ancient ruins. 
The methods of the emperor of our clan are far beyond what you can imagine. Feng Lao held the last glimmer of hope and spoke. My lord, can you let me see the entrance to the ruins? Said lightly. In that case, I, the emperor, will make you give up completely. First ancestor, take us to the ancient ruins of the immortal. Ancestor he nodded, and the sky covering formation opened a small opening, and the aura emanating from it all revealed the extraordinary within. Under the leadership of Izu, Su Jioga and others came to the place where Yishang was, a vast expanse of lush grass. In front of you is a mysterious whirlpool. The spiritual energy that permeates the entire Tao realm leaks from here. Ancestor, Yi came to Su Jioga and whispered, Your Majesty, according to your instructions, we did not interfere with that person's actions. It's just that the sky covering formation has been arranged outside in advance. I asked Yang Yu to go in before. It is indeed an ancient ruin, but only those below the holy realm can enter it. In a sense, the immortal ancient ruins are no different from the ruined Tao realm. It was the immortal ancient period, and the treasures of an entire Tao realm could be understood as a secret realm. However, after years of sharp precipitation, the barrier has already become fragile and crumbling. Those who are too powerful will destroy the entire world as soon as they enter. Su Jyoga's eyes flickered. Even he has never entered the immortal ancient ruins. Everyone in the Forbidden God Clan was completely unable to sit still at this moment. Is it really the entrance to Taiyuan Wonderland? I never expected that Taiyuan Immortal Realm would be in such a dilapidated Tao realm. That's not the point at all. The point is that the bet between Sister Qing and the Emperor's son was lost. Countless thoughts appeared in Feng Lao's mind in an instant, but all the time was wiped out by him. Su Jioga represents a great emperor. If they want to take action against him, the Nangong family cannot afford the price. In the opening of this ancient, ancient ruins, the Forbidden God Clan did not help at all. At this moment, there is no point in saying anything. Feng Lao took a deep breath and became older in an instant. It seems that we can only go back. Unexpectedly, this time I spent a huge price to come to the heavens, not only failed to profit from the ancient ruins of the immortals, I even lost the clan daughter. He is really unwilling to give in. But facing such a powerful son of the Su family and a great emperor, I was not enough to fill the gap between their teeth. For the current plan, we can only return to the god clan, discuss with the clan leader and the elders, and make a long-term plan. Feng Lao thought secretly. Grandma, you felt cruel, and her eyes on Su Jioga became unkind. Transmission Road. Old man, there is the Su family sky shielding formation outside this realm, and not a single breath will be leaked out. Why don't we just stop doing it and keep doing it? We will take action directly and capture the Su family's emperor alive? Feng Lao was startled and immediately responded via voice message. No, not to mention that the first ancestor of the Su family is a quasi emperor like me and the other ancestors are not at all inferior to you and me in cultivation. Moreover, I can feel that there is an aura in the dark that is firmly locked on me and the rest of the group. It should be the guy from before. You puh, you must not take action here. Otherwise we won't be able to leave. Feng Lao glanced at Yu Pu and continued. Let Ching'er stay here. With the emperor's character, he will definitely monopolize this Taiyuan wonderland. We will return to our clan first. With Ching'er by the side of the Su family emperor, we can also send messages at any time. Su Jiuga naturally didn't know about the conversation between Feng Lao and Granny Yu. Even if he knew, he would probably just smile disdainfully and pass it off. He didn't mind letting his father take action again and go to the ancient immortal realm to destroy the Nangong family of the Forbidden God Clan. Feng Lao looked at Su Jiuga subconsciously, pondered for a moment, and then spoke respectfully. The emperor's son. Our Nangong family lost this bet. I will keep my promise and leave here. Instead of watching the Su family eat the entire Taiyuan wonderland here, it is better to return to the clan now and make plans. The younger members of the god clan were anxious and puzzled. They don't understand why Feng Lao doesn't even fight for it. Nangong Qing lowered her head, her face filled with self-blame. It's all because of me that the Nangong family lost an entire ancient ruins. She even dared not return to her clan and had no face to face her father. At this moment, 
There was only endless regret in her heart. Emperor Su Jioga's eyes flickered. This Mr. Fong is actually a smart man. You, a member of the God Clan, have traveled thousands of miles just for this ancient ruins. Are you really willing to give up so easily? Su Jioga teased with a smile. Fong Lao smiled bitterly. Hey, I made you laugh, the emperor. How can you not be reconciled? His intestines are about to turn green. I will tell the clan leader personally about this matter after I return to the clan. I only asked the emperor to be kind to girl Ching. Su Jioga nodded slightly. He glanced at Nangong Gu in the crowd and Nangong Ching, who was feeling guilty. He came to Nangong Ching's side unhurriedly and said calmly, Are you unhappy being the son of this emperor? Nangong Ching was stunned. Then he raised his head, his pretty face full of bitterness. He forced a smile and spoke. No. Seeing her look like a little bitter gourd, her brows almost knitted together. Don't forget to keep smiling. Su Jioga found it very interesting and raised his eyebrows. Said jokingly, Heh, since you are now my son, as for this ancient ruins, I might consider it and give you a chance. Nangong Ching's beautiful eyes lit up and shined. It looked like a drowning person grasping the last straw. He was tightly controlled by Su Jioga. My lord, what do you mean by this? Could it be? Su Jioga waved his hand. It's not easy for people from the Forbidden God Clan to come all the way to miss you. For your sake, this emperor allows you to enter and explore this ancient ruins. Speaking of this, Emperor Su Jioga narrowed his eyes slightly and continued. Of course, only this time. What? Many people from the Forbidden God Clan present were overjoyed after hearing this. There were expressions of astonishment and disbelief on their faces. Nangong Ching's beautiful eyes were full of excitement and admiration. He spoke excitedly. Your Majesty, if you are willing to give us this chance, I, Nangong Ching, am willing to serve you all the time. After making such a big mistake, if she goes back now, her position as the legitimate daughter will definitely be lost. It would be better to stay with the Emperor of the Su family, which is also a good choice. And Nangong Ching had already had a good impression of Su Jioga. Originally, she thought that the Nangong family would never be able to join this Taiyuan wonderland. Unexpectedly, there was a turn of events at the last minute. And from what the emperor's son meant, it seemed that it was because of his. This made her think a lot. Bite. Nangong Ching, the heroine of Destiny, unilaterally severed the relationship with Yishong, the protagonist of Destiny, and Yishong, the protagonist of Destiny, lost 1,000 luck. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 1,000. Su Jioga grinned. Giving both kindness and power is what he is best at. It is also the quickest way to make people surrender without even a hint of resistance. Looking at the people of the Forbidden God Clan who looked excited and ecstatic. Facts have proved that this is correct. Of course, all this is based on strength and status. If Yishang dared to do this, he would have been torn apart by the Forbidden God Clan. At this time, Yishang in Taiyuan Wonderland was walking through a dense jungle. He looked in one direction and murmured, Found it. It should be here. Sudden. He froze inexplicably. It's like losing something important. A bad premonition suddenly arose. Yishang frowned. Reborn as a quasi-emperor, he is only one step away from reaching the top. This feeling naturally does not come out of nowhere. Yishang. Why? Why have I always been a little uneasy lately? Could it be the reason for that ice crystal and cold dragon? Yixing shook his head and thought to himself, Forget it, no matter so much. Although a series of events after rebirth exceeded my expectations. But fortunately, the locations of those treasures have not changed. In the past few days, he also collected a lot of treasures here based on his memories before his rebirth. It will still be a long time before the monks from all over the world discover the crusade against the Yun family of the Imperial Clan. It was enough for me to slowly collect all the famous treasures one by one. Yishang felt so happy when he thought of this, and the smile never disappeared from his face for a moment. And the other side, the eyes of Feng Lao and Granny you were full of surprise. Even they didn't expect this scene. As if he was afraid that Su Jiaga would regret it, Feng Lao said quickly, your Majesty the Emperor has a broad mind. Our God Clan is really ashamed of ourselves. If the Emperor can let us enter together, 
Our god clan will do our best to assist you, the emperor. The first batch of people to enter the immortal ancient ruins will undoubtedly earn a lot of money. Even if they cannot monopolize, this is great news for them. Granny you, the old woman was too blind to see Mount Tai. I have offended you, the emperor. Please forgive me. Su Jyoga waved his hands carelessly and said with something in mind. No, it's my son who should thank you, the god clan. The resources in this ancient ruins can accommodate the two destiny protagonists. You can imagine how many treasures there are. He would not let Nangong Gu and Nangong Qing go back with a group of gods so easily. Nangong Qing's pretty face flushed a little. This feeling of one high and one low is like riding a roller coaster. Even the way he looked at Su Jyoga changed. The eyes full of gratitude and awe were also vaguely mixed with some admiration. Said lightly, Okay, now that we're here, then why don't you go in and take a look? As soon as he finished speaking, he headed towards the vortex leading to the ancient ruins of the immortal. Su Jyoga was also very curious about the ancient ruins. Several ancestors of the Su family looked at the grateful members of the god clan. In my heart, I admired the emperor's methods even more. Mr. Fong took a long breath and murmured. Unexpectedly, my god clan still has a chance to enter the Taiyuan fairyland. Obviously we lost the bet, but the emperor is still willing to let me in. You pa, now you know how ridiculous your previous idea was, right? Granny Yu's eyes flickered. She nodded and said, you are worthy of being the son of the great emperor. Feng Lao looked at the people behind him and said in a deep voice, Listen carefully, this immortal ancient ruins is not an ordinary secret realm. Although there are many opportunities in it, it is also accompanied by great dangers. After entering, you will all be teleported to different places. It is best to meet up as soon as possible. Remember, if there is any treasure that the emperor wants, you not only cannot snatch it, but you must even assist the emperor. Do you know? A group of junior gods were not happy to hear this. Every chance depends on your ability, so why should we help him? Yes, Taiyuan Wonderland was discovered first by our god clan. Feng Lao's voice became cold. When you meet a clan girl, everything must be done according to Girl Qing's arrangements. If someone lets me know who among the ruins has offended the emperor, you will certainly feel better after returning to the clan. The reason why he said this was to save them. This group of juniors from the god clan are used to being arrogant, but the emperor of the Su family is at the level of the god king. Even if they were all added up, they wouldn't be Su Jyoga's enemy. If you offend the emperor, isn't that asking for death? After Feng Lao kept giving instructions, he looked at Nangong Qing and said, Girl Qing, I have to turn to you again. Nangong Qing nodded. After looking at everyone, he didn't notice Nangong Ge's eyes full of murderous hatred. Everything that happens in the ancient ruins will not be known to the outside world. And he is at the fifth level of the Yuan Zhan realm, with the highest cultivation level among all. Nangong Gu secretly thanked Su Jioga. As long as he enters the ruins, he will make the previous group of people pay a heavy price. No one can escape. Thinking of this, Nangong Gu glared at Nangong Qing fiercely. And you? Nangong Qing, before everyone enters Taiyuan Fairyland, to make it easier to find, Su Jyoga specially left a mark on Nangong Gu and Nangong Qing. A flash of white light flashed. Su Jyoga and the Supreme God's roar appeared in the air. Looking down, it was a forest overgrown with weeds and dense branches. The ancient trees here have existed for unknown number of years. They are tall and lush, blocking out the sky and the sun. The branches are crisscrossed, and a little sunlight shines in. After tens of millions of years of cultivation, what grows around it are many spiritual plants that are extremely rare or have never been seen in the outside world. As soon as he entered, Su Jyoga felt like he was surrounded by a sea of spiritual energy. The Supreme God Roar seems to like the environment here very much. Letting out a roar of joy, the innate pressure frightened many strange looking birds and beasts. Su Jyoga was slightly startled. The Misty Crow, the Xinqing Bird, the Ancient Taper. These are ancient monsters that can only be recorded in ancient books. The corners of Su Jyoga's mouth raised slightly. His eyes brightened slightly, and he couldn't help but murmured, Is this the legendary ancient ruins? It's really extraordinary. 
After so many days, our destiny protagonist must have gained a lot, right? It's time to collect a wave of supplies. Sujioga. System. Give me Yishang's position. Bite. Sujioga got on the Supreme God's roar, or made a golden light, heading in a certain direction. Taiyuan Wonderland. Yishang jumped out of a cold tanquan. The devouring divine body greedily absorbed all the spiritual energy of heaven and earth in this spiritual spring. A black light flashed from his eyes. Punch out. Boom. A large area of dense trees in front of me broke apart like a row of trees and fell to the ground. Dust and fog are rising all over the sky. Yishang glanced at the corpse of a giant demon python beside the cold pool. The body of the demon python was blue, and its layers of scales were very shiny. However, there were huge blood holes one after another on his body, and hot blood flowed across it. It looked like he had just died. If anyone were here, they would definitely exclaim that this is a long extinct monster in the heavens. Bingling Han Jiao, possessing a trace of the frost cold ancestral dragon bloodline, the Xian Jing in his body was born with the aura of the Zhu Hen Dao. Yishang felt the majestic qi in his body, and his condition was as good as before. He directly took off the crystal clear, azure blue Xianjing from the head of the bingling Han Jiao. Suddenly, as if he noticed something, Yishang narrowed his eyes slightly. He looked at the somewhat rumbling belly of the bingling Han Jiao. This is. Yishang punched away, directly breaking the abdomen of bingling Han Jiao. The flesh and blood exploded and blood mixed with sticky liquid flowed out. In the abdomen of the bingling Han Jiao, it turned out to be broken cold dragon eggs. Among them, only one blue cold dragon egg, as smooth as jade and covered with mysterious lines, was well stored. Yishang's pupils shrank, and he said in disbelief, Bingling cold dragon egg? How is this possible? Before his rebirth, he had never noticed that this ice water dragon was actually pregnant. He was overjoyed for a moment, ignoring the sticky liquid, and directly took out the ice-cold cold dragon egg that exuded a special smell. Bingling Han Jiao, as an ancient monster, reaches the saint realm when it reaches adulthood. It has the hope of returning to its ancestors with its bloodline and attacking the supreme and even the quasi-emperor. Very valuable for training. I used to be in the Tibetan sea realm and I barely managed to kill this seriously injured ice water dragon after narrowly escaping death here. I even lost the original power of devouring the divine body for this. At that time, I was not very strong and my realm was low, so I didn't notice the existence of this cold dragon egg, and I missed a big opportunity. And now, my Yishang is no longer what he used to be. Far better than before. I didn't expect that if I do it again, I'll get something unexpected. Yishang hugged the cold dragon egg and couldn't help the ecstasy in his heart at this moment. He laughed loudly. Ha 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 ha. I, Yishang, am indeed the truly chosen one. This cold sky spirit pond and the ice crystal cold Jiao are just the first step. The light in Yishang's pupils became brighter and brighter, and he shouted domineeringly. Relive a new life. In this life I am Yishang. I want to become emperor. Who dares to compete with me? The cold dragon egg in his hand suddenly trembled violently, as if in response. Seeing this, Yishang lowered his head and murmured with a smile. Do you also believe that I, Yishang, will become emperor? Don't worry, follow me. I will let your blood return to your ancestors, and you will be proud of these nine heavens and ten places with me. Just when Yishang was full of passion and expressed his heroic words, he has even imagined in his mind the image of himself standing on a frosty ancestral dragon with a blue body, an aura like an abyss and domineering side, flying through the world. Boom! A loud noise came. A golden sun in the sky suddenly fell heavily to the ground. Strong winds and thick pressure rolled up. Yishang stood unsteadily, as if he felt great terror, and the cold dragon egg in his arms shook even more violently. What's going on? When the thick fog dissipated, the golden figure emerged. Su Jioga was sitting on the mighty and ferocious roar of the Supreme God. The long golden hair is flying. The breath is terrifying and extraordinary, dazzling, like a god or a devil. Looking at Yishang below, 
Su Jiuga's handsome and charming face was full of amusement. He said with a smile, You want to become emperor? What a coincidence. I also want to. The emperor's son of the Su family? Yishang's whole soul was scared to death in an instant. The boss's eyes were wide open, his face full of shock and disbelief. His expression was as if he had seen a ghost. Even his voice trembled. Su, Su, Su. Su Jioga smiled and added for him. The emperor's son of the Su family? Yishang was confused. Countless doubts appeared in his mind. Isn't this Taiyuan Wonderland? Why does the Su family emperor's son appear here? Isn't this completely different from what you remember? His whole body was cold, his hands and feet were weak for a moment, and he didn't know what to say. Su Jioga glanced at Yishang casually. Name? Yishang Identity, Protagonist of Destiny, Direct Disciple of Han Hai Holy Sect Age. 20 Character, Arrogant, Tolerant, Tough Realm, Ninth Level of Dao Palace Realm Physique, Devouring Divine Body Kung Fu, Ancient Luo Emperor Sutra, Great Wheel Destruction Sun Technique, Heaven Shaking Palm, Vast Sea Heaven Sutra, Treasures, Origin Level A Year Wheel Remnant, Nine Roulette, Bingling Cold Dragon Egg, Bingling Xianjing, Sunleaf Grass, Saoming Zhugua. Su Jioga's eyes lit up. Dao Palace Realm Ninth Level? It seems that he was right to ask Kai Shukuin, the leader of the Han Hai Holy Sect, to take more care of this destined protagonist. Today's Yishang has not only activated the devouring divine body, but his cultivation has been greatly improved. Whether it is skills or treasures, there are more than a few. Su Jioga nodded with satisfaction. Looking at Yishang, who looked extremely frightened, he said with a faint smile, Why, I see my son here. Is it surprising? Yishang reacted quickly, his eyes flashing. My mind was spinning rapidly, thinking about the current situation. He is just an insignificant disciple of the Han Hai Holy Sect. In Tsangqing Dao Domain that day, there is no enmity between the two of them now. Although there were 10,000 questions in his mind, why did the emperor's son of the Su family appear here? But this is nothing you should think about. Yishang immediately put down the cold dragon egg in his hand and calmly clasped his fists and lowered his head. The leader of the Han Hai Holy Sect, Yishang, has met the emperor's son spoke slowly and unhurriedly. I've seen you. That day when I was in the Han Hai Holy Sect, I felt a gaze full of murderous intent. If my guess is correct, that person should be you, right? Yi Sheng's pupil shrank. The original nature is no longer there. His eyes were full of horror. What? It turns out that the emperor of the Su family had already discovered it at that time? At the same time, Su Jioga, who was sitting down, opened his bloody mouth and roared at him. A huge stream of air rushed out. The cold dragon egg on the ground suddenly trembled and rolled to a small corner on its own, shivering. Oh, cold dragon eggs? Su Jioga felt a little curious and glanced at the cold dragon egg. Bingling cold dragon egg gender. Female 5% bloodline reversion, current hatching progress. 10% bloodline return to ancestors? Su Jioga found it interesting. If I remember correctly, this bingling Hanjiao seems to have a trace of the bloodline of the Frost Ancestral Dragon. Looking at the body of the bingling Hanjiao, the rest of the eggs in its belly had been broken. Thinking about it, it must be that the single cold dragon egg absorbed the nutrients of those broken eggs, and then the blood returned to its ancestors. Said with sweat profusely, the emperor must have seen it wrong that day. The emperor is so majestic that it's too late for me to pay my respects. Furthermore, I am just an ordinary Taoist cultivator. You, the emperor's son, are an unrivaled genius. How dare I have such rebellious thoughts? As the emperor's son, Su Jioga's innate aura and supreme divine roar sat down. It's very intimidating. Even Yishang had to admit that the person in front of him was definitely not comparable to anyone he had ever seen. Now, he just wants to escape from here as soon as possible. Su Jioga smiled lightly upon hearing this. Is that so? Xiao Xiao? You are not an ordinary Xiao Xiao. It's really extraordinary to be able to enter this ancient ruins with a Dao Palace Realm cultivation level. Yi Sheng's whole body was cold. He said quickly, Your Majesty the Emperor, I just accidentally entered this place by accident. Isn't this place an ordinary secret realm? He said in a daze, pretending to be stupid. He 
who was reborn as a quasi-emperor before, knows. There are countless people who have killed people and taken treasures because of the same thing, and even he has done it a lot. If the emperor in front of him really suspects that he has some treasure and takes action against him, it will be very bad. When Su Joga saw Yishang, who was lowering his head and pretending to be confused, the smile in his eyes became even stronger. The protagonist of Destiny is quite smart. He waved his hand and said, Okay, I don't care how you got in. That one next to you. Is it the cold egg of the bingling Hanjiao? Said straight to the point. He didn't ask how a Dao palace monk could kill an adult ice crystal cold dragon. Yisheng's eyes flashed with joy when he heard this. Since the emperor has no intention of killing people and seizing treasures, then everything would be easy to handle. Yisheng quickly picked up the cold dragon egg and presented it with both hands. He said respectfully with a humble look, I passed by this place by chance and found the body of a dead ice water dragon and got it from its belly. I wanted to take him back and train him well, but now that the emperor's son is here, you are here. I am willing to dedicate this cold dragon egg to you, the emperor's son. Speaking of this, as if he thought of something, Yisheng also took out the ice crystal and said with awe, and this bingling Xianjing. As the saying goes, you can't reach out to hit someone with a smiling face, let alone someone who takes the initiative to offer treasures. It's impossible to find anything wrong with this appearance. A breeze blew by, directly lifting the cold dragon egg and ice crystal in Yisheng's hand and floating them in front of Su Jioga. Su Jioga glanced at it casually and accepted it without rejecting it. Bite. The protagonist of Destiny, Yisheng, lost his Destiny Spirit Beast and lost 2,000 luck points. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 2,000. Bite. The protagonist of Destiny, Yisheng, lost the ice crystal and his luck value by 300. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the villain value of 300. Faced with such a fateful protagonist who humbly offered his treasure, said calmly, You are a smart man. In this case, I will reluctantly accept it. Yisheng had a naive smile on his face. But there was already a sense of humiliation in my heart. When the cooked duck flies away, no one will feel better. But he had no idea at all. Although he has memories from before his rebirth, his current cultivation level is only at the Dao Palace level. The only trump card is the magical time wheel. Facing this emperor of the Su family who has a terrifying background and unfathomable strength, it would be best if he could not offend him, said somewhat flatteringly. The most precious treasures in heaven and earth belong to those who are capable. It would be a disaster for me to obtain these two treasures. Only a person as dazzling and unparalleled as you, the emperor's son, and a proud son of heaven can enjoy it. Anyway, flattering doesn't cost money. In the face of life and death, Yixing doesn't care about face. In my heart, I became more determined to become stronger quickly. Only in this way, you don't have to look at other people's faces. After being praised by Yishang, Su Jiuga's expression remained calm, making it difficult to tell what he was thinking. After being silent for a long time, Yu said, he was a lucky guy who entered the ancient ruins by accident. Let me ask you, how long has it been since you entered this place? My son, I don't like to be deceived. Su Jiuga looked directly at Yishang, as if he would crush him to death if he did anything wrong. Yisheng's body froze. Speak honestly. Your Majesty the Emperor. So this is actually an ancient ruins? To be honest with what the Emperor said, it has been six or seven days since I entered this place. Su Jioga raised his eyebrows. Seven days? I think the harvest should be quite rich, right? Yisheng's breath was stagnant. How could he not understand what Su Jioga meant? Great harvest? This is asking myself, must I have gained a lot of treasures in these seven days? Yisheng's face immediately turned ugly. In these seven days, he has indeed obtained a lot of heavenly materials and earthly treasures that are not available in the world. It can be said that it is full of treasures. But he had clearly handed over the cold dragon eggs and ice crystals to him. This emperor of the Su family is still unwilling to give up. Isn't this a robber? Yisheng forced out a smile and said, My lord, you are joking. Actually, there aren't many. With a wave of his hand, he revealed all the treasures he had obtained in the past few days in the storage ring. The Wheel of Time was hidden deep in his sea of consciousness, 
so he naturally didn't have to worry about being discovered by the emperor's son of the Su family. The ground is filled with a dazzling array of natural and earthly treasures. As soon as it appeared, it exuded a rich aura of heaven and earth. Sunleaf grass, Saoming Zhugua, Li Fengjiao, Tianxi silk. Yangi Keo and Kaming Zuguo are rare and special medicinal ingredients for refining elixirs, while Lefengio and Tianxi silk are important materials for refining magic weapons. All of them are extremely precious treasures. Su Jioga almost laughed out loud. What a treasure hunter. Although I don't lack these things, but I can't help it. After all, whether you use it or take it back to return the villain value, it is a good choice. Su Jioga looked at the treasures that Yishang had collected so hard these days without being surprised. All put into the storage ring. The sound of the system is endless. Bite. The protagonist of Destiny, Yishang, lost 50 luck points. Bite. The protagonist of Destiny, Yishang, lost 50 luck points. Seeing the treasure being taken away by Su Jioga, Yishang's eyes turned red. His breathing became rapid. He clenched his fists and trembled all over. The treasures he had worked so hard to collect were taken away by others like a tool man. Even the quasi-emperor almost lost his Taoist mind. Once back before liberation, tolerate. I have to endure it. Yishang clenched his teeth tightly, took a deep breath, and looked up at the Su family emperor who was in a good mood. I felt relieved. I have given almost all my treasures to you. Now, you can always let me go, right? Su Jioga, what's your name? Yishang was stunned. Back to the emperor, my name is Yishang. Su Jioga nodded slightly and murmured, Yishang, yes, I will remember you. There are many treasures in this ancient, ancient ruins. Being able to enter this place is a blessing for you. So take advantage of it. After saying that, Su Jioga patted the supreme god who was sitting down, laughed loudly, and then made a golden light and left towards the sky. Yishang was left alone, stunned in the wind. His heart was bleeding. Opportunity? In the past seven days, when I had the opportunity, except for what I had already taken, almost everything was taken away by this rascal. Stamped his feet in hatred and punched out. Boom. Vent the anger in your heart. I thought that I, Yishang, would be a quasi-emperor and would be famous all my life but I didn't expect that I would be treated as an oriole by the emperor of the Su family. Yi Sheng's eyes were red. If Shuer's death made me remember Su Jioga, so today's incident can be said to be that I really and completely hate the other party. Those who take away opportunities from others are like killing their parents. I, Yi Sheng, must avenge this, Yi Sheng said bitterly. His eyes flickered, and he adjusted his mentality. Fortunately, his trump card, the year wheel, was not taken away. Moreover, those heavenly materials and earthly treasures are not worth mentioning at all compared to those few treasures. But what puzzled him was why the emperor's son of the Su family appeared in this place. Could it be that Taiyuan Wonderland has been opened by the outside world? Yishang's eyes flickered, and he murmured to himself, No, it's impossible. At this time, the imperial Yun family should have just cooperated with the Nangong family. Could it be because of the influence of my own rebirth? The most mysterious thing in the world is fate and cause and effect. Yisheng looked in one direction. It seems we have to speed up. At this moment, the voices of the juniors of the god clan suddenly came from the woods behind them. That's the roar that came from here just now. There must be some treasure appearing here. Let's go take a look. Anyone else? Yisheng was shocked. He immediately circulated the ancient Luo Emperor Sutra, hid in a towering tree, collected his breath, and secretly peeped at the juniors of the god clan below. He's actually from the Nangong family? Yi Sheng's eyes lit up. It's time to grab a few people from the Nangong family and ask them what happened in the outside world. At this moment, above the roar of the supreme god, Su Jioga was looking at the cold dragon egg. Since it is the destiny spirit beast of the destiny protagonist, it can't be bad, right? He knocked on the cold dragon egg. Han Jiaodan seemed to be very frightened and wanted to run away. Seeing this scene, Su Jioga grinned. It's quite spiritual. Su Jioga narrowed his eyes and threatened. If you run away again, I'll fry you and eat you. The cultivation level of the god king is shrouded in that cold dragon egg. 
Suddenly, Han Jiaodan became much calmer and remained motionless. This cold dragon egg has a bloodline that has returned to its ancestors, and there is a slight possibility that it can return to its ancestors and become the Frost Frost Ancestral Dragon. That is a divine beast that is not weaker than the roar of the Supreme God. It is said that the combination of the Supreme God's roar and the Ancestral Dragon has a chance of giving birth to a beast as powerful as the dragon. I don't know if it's true. Su Joga thought for a while, patted the Supreme God's huge head, and said with a smile, How about I find you a wife? The Supreme God Roar who was sitting down suddenly trembled all over and let out a low roar of dissatisfaction. Su Jyoga said regardless of whether he agreed or not. System, is there any way to make this cold dragon egg hatch immediately? So expensive? Su Jyoga was dumbfounded. He looked at the cold dragon egg, hesitated for a while and then said, Is there anything cheaper? Not to mention that he doesn't have that much villain value. Even if he does have it, he won't necessarily spend it because of this unknown quantity. If it was 100% possible to return to his ancestors and become the Frost Ancestral Dragon, Su Jyoga would consider it. System, is there a cheaper one? That's it. Tianqing Sludge said without hesitation. The province is the province. The flowers are the flowers. The villain's value should be used on himself, not on the handle of the knife. It's just a cold dragon egg and it's not a divine beast egg. It just makes do. I don't know if it was my imagination, but I just seemed to hear the disdainful voice of the system. Su Jyoga. System, did you laugh just now? No, dear. Bite. Congratulations to the host for successfully redeeming Tianqing Sludge. Consumes 1,000 villain points. A small cyan bottle appeared in Su Jyo Singer. Su Jyoga opened the bottle. What was flowing inside was crimson liquid. The liquid was filled with a violent and violent force, and bubbles were floating one after another. It was extremely hot. Tianqing Sludge. You must know that the things in the system, even if they only cost a thousand villain points to redeem, are still extremely extraordinary treasures in the outside world. The cold dragon egg trembled slightly after feeling the breath. Somewhat fearful, yet some eagerly, he rolled to Sujioga. A soft, waxy, and somewhat vague spiritual thought came. I. Give. Eat. Su Jyoga was startled. Then he patted the cold dragon egg and smiled lightly. What? You're not afraid of me now. It's just a cold dragon egg. To others, it might take a lot of effort to cultivate. But in the eyes of Su Jyoga, who was the emperor's son, his potential was still very limited. If it weren't for Yishang's destiny spirit beast, Su Jyoga wouldn't have consumed such a huge villain value for it. I have given you the opportunity, but it will be up to you to make your own fortune. Su Jyoga poured the bottle of Tianqing Sludge towards the cold dragon egg. I spent so much villain value on this emperor. If you don't live up to expectations, just eat it as rations. A thick, hot liquid slowly flowed down and landed on the Han Jiao egg. Zitsi. White mist instantly formed on the crystal blue cold dragon egg shell. The violent Tianqing sludge was absorbed by it, and the egg's body suddenly turned red. Su Jyoga murmured with a strange look on his face. Isn't it ripe? Let the supreme god's roar find a place to land anywhere. In a lonely and ancient, dense jungle, as the roar of the supreme god fell, the golden and majestic terrifying power cleared the surrounding towering trees. Su Jyoga observed Han Jiaodan. The number of hatching panels for cold dragon eggs is increasing rapidly. Bingling cold dragon egg gender, female status, bloodline reversion 6% current hatching progress, 45% the bloodline reversion has only increased by 1%, but the hatching progress has accelerated a lot. Su Jyoga looked at the cold dragon egg that emitted a faint light, his eyes twinkling. Roar. A series of cold and breathtaking beast roars sounded. In the depths of the surrounding jungle, dense scarlet and bloodthirsty beast pupils shine. He was coveting the cold dragon egg. Because of the Tianqing sludge and the cold dragon eggs, they are a great tonic for the monsters. The monsters in the ancient ruins naturally follow the smell. Among them are many terrifying monsters with the level of Saint Realm. The previous oversight has been corrected. Immortal ancient ruins can only enter the holy realm at most. But due to the suppressed aura from the bloodline of the supreme god's roar, 
he did not dare to step forward. He could only stay far away, with saliva constantly flowing from his mouth. Su Jioga seemed not to notice the gloomy gazes surrounding him. His face remained calm. The breath of life inside the cold dragon egg became stronger and stronger. Suddenly, there was a click. Sound. The eggshell is covered with cracks. With the fall of an eggshell, a small azure horn was exposed through a hole. The rich spiritual energy overflowed, and a soft, crystal clear blue snake emerged from it. The pupils are like sapphires, with curiosity and desire for everything in the world. The supreme god roared and prostrated on the ground. He glanced at the young bingling Han Jiao with some bored eyes and lazily hit him. The little blue snake is extremely flexible and possesses the cultivation level of the sea condensation realm as soon as it is born. Floating in the air, wherever it swam, a thin layer of fine ice emerged out of thin air. The power of the avenue. When he saw Su Jioga and the supreme god's roar, the familiar aura frightened the little blue snake. His eyes rolled and immediately turned into a blue light, trying to escape. Su Jioga raised his eyebrows and said with a smile, Still want to run? He slowly raised his hand, and the little blue snake suddenly became unable to move in the air. It kept shaking its head and tail in an attempt to struggle. Su Jioga grabbed it in the palm of his hand and looked at the newly born bingling Han Jiao carefully. It is different from the previous ice crystal Han Jiao in that it has a small cyan horn on its forehead. It feels cold to the touch and you can see a thin layer of scales on the snake's body. Bingling Han Jiao bloodline reversion. 10% it went up some more. Su Jioga looked at the little blue snake struggling in his hand with a smile on his face. He raised his right hand with a smile. Bang. Reach out and flick. The one who directly flicked the young bingling Han Jiao was dizzy and dizzy. Su Jioga. Little thing, you want to run away after getting benefits? That's not okay. From now on, you can call me 1,000. Su Jioga stood up. He casually threw a 1,000 towards the supreme god roar. God roars, I'll let you have 1,000 first. Su Jioga planned to let Qian Qian follow Nangong Qing after the immortal ancient ruins was over. This way she won't be too bored when refining elixirs. The supreme god roared in understanding and opened his bloody mouth that was as deep as an abyss. Heading towards the young Han Jiao to greet him. This can scare the little blue snake almost to death. His whole body was shaking, and he fainted from fright. A dark light flashed. The little blue snake just disappeared into the roar of the supreme god. As a divine beast of heaven and earth, the supreme god's roar has the characteristics of hiding a small world in its belly. After throwing away a thousand, Su Jioga quickly regretted it. Look at the supreme god roar who seems to be chewing. He suddenly forgot. Didn't I tell the supreme god roar? Can't you eat this little thing? 